Uh, do you really want to load this I already, world? I already made a backup, so I'm loading good here. Zero percent. Loading. Zero percent. Loading. Thir loading. Sixty-six percent. Loading. Done. Okay. I love the narrator, dude. I love the narrator. Chess Simp is a legit is legit a fun channel. I like a lot of chess channels. That made me giggle, man. That was funny. That's pretty funny, dude. Chess has a massive fo it does have a massive following on Twitch, but you have to be pretty good to like actually have people watch you, I feel. And I'm not very good. Chess Simp is the best. I like Eric Rosen and Daniel Naraditsky. Those are my chess channels. Let's play chess. We should play chess. Holy smokes. Look at the sand. Look at the... I mean, the wood's different. The bricks are different. The Phoebe is different. Everything's different. The nether wart. I actually think the nether wart got uglier, to be honest with you. Um... Yeah, I don't like that actually. Whoopsie. I actually think chest. 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 My chest. face when I see Dolly Parton. Oh, chest. I haven't been active chest. recently. Chest. But I've missed your chest. content. Chest. You less than chest. Three. Hi. Okay. That sounds good to me. Um Anyway, what else has changed here? Would you ever consider playing The Sims? I have heavily considered playing The Sims. I might still at some point. I might still. Um, yeah. So the I think, honestly, the big thing was the texture change um, in this update. At least that's the first thing I notice. Um, like the sand. Like the sand, ha that changed so drastically. I don't know why, but that's like the biggest thing of all of this that has changed for me, at least. A lot of things stayed the same. Not everything got changed, but who we like the obsidian got changed. It's now less purple. I got a game sum. menu. <laughs> Uppykins, thanks so much for the tier one. I'm so sorry. I was so distracted there. And then purple soda. Haven't been able to watch recently, but I've missed your content. Love you. Thank you for the three months in a row. Appreciate that. Options, Thank you. Button. Options. 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 Chat settings. Narrator. Narrates chat. Let's let's set it to that. Let's set it to that. Um. There we go. Thank you. By the way, I appreciate that. Sorry, I was a little distracted there. I was a little distracted. So let me do a um. Let me do a little side-by-side -side here so you can compare. I think if I go into my resource packs, I can go into uh, Programmer Art, which changes it back to the way it was. We can do a little side-by-side. -side. So this is before the 1.14 update, and then this is after. Mm. Decide amongst yourselves which one you like better. But, I do very much enjoy this one. Uppykins, thanks for the gift sub to Cotton Fluff. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Cotton Fluff, enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Before we mention it to each other, kind of cool. Hope that means your channel has been blessed by the algorithm lately. It's been doing alright. Thank you, Emily. It's still kind of a tough transition going from one game to another, but I think that I've been doing okay. As far as focusing around Animal Crossing at first, and now working on Minecraft. Oh, the glass. Oh, the glass. I forgot. That's the best change of them all. That's the best change of them all. Is the glass. Oh, it doesn't have those nasty streaks in the middle anymore. I do wish it would connect the textures, and I think it does do this eventually. I really wish that every, like, inner border of the glass block didn't have, like, a border on it. I think they changed that eventually, though. But maybe I'm wrong. Or does it, do I need pains to do that? Actually, I think pains do that. Can I see the programmer art? Sure. It's just what it was before. It'll eventually be put together? I thought so. I thought so. If I do these, if I change these to pains, will they do it now, though? The glass is the best thing that got updated. 
The glass, even when that was first introduced, nobody liked that. But now, oh my god, you can see through it. You can see through it. Oh. Maybe panes? They do change the borders on the cube glass. That's good. I wonder if I change them to panes now, though. Will they get rid of that? You missed the sub before the gift sub. Diceman! I'm so sorry. Thank you for... Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. Thank you as well for the gifts... Or for the subscription. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes, Diceman. And enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. Now, see, it still has the border even on the glass panes. Still has the border on the glass panes. Okay. Well, that's fine then. I gotta put this fishing rod away. Thanks for the hydrate. Get your head in the game. Sorry, sorry. I'm so stupid, alright? I'm stupid. Yeah, I know Optifine does that with like, um, what is it called? Connected textures or something like that. But, um... I think that's a thing in the game by default at some point as well, so that's cool. Needless to say, I enjoy that. So, on top of the, um, oh, my head is now lower, so I'm not sleeping like a damn giraffe. Like, I swear to god, the your head would be, like, up here when you're laying flat into the bed by, like, the perspective. Hi, it's Dad, very weird. You give us your best I'm glad they lowered it to, like, down there. You lavalin lesbian! Can I do an impression of Chewbacca? I don't really like Star Trek, but let me see what Chewbacca sounds like here. I'm not a big Star Trek guy. Chewbacca sound. Let's see here. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. <laughs> Sounds like a damn cow. <laughs> I feel like I have to be, like, stabbed in order to make this accurate. Uh... Oh god. That's a video from 2009. Surprising absolutely nobody. Okay, that just sounds like a puppy begging for breakfast right there. Sounds like a trumpet underwater. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's like kind of like the whale from Finding Nemo when Dory would do the whale impression. Sounds like the, the whale impression by Dory from Finding Nemo. Can you help us? That was terrible. I loved it. You're fucking welcome. Jeez. Anyway, let me show you guys what's new in the 1.14 version of the game. Um, a fucking lot is the answer. Of course, it being the village and pillage update means that all of the workstations for villagers are now a thing. So barrels, blast furnaces, smokers, cartography tables, composters, fletching tables, grind selections, loons, scaffolding. You get what I mean. So scaffolding, which must mean bamboo is in this version, right? So I think I'm going to have to find a new jungle. Because how do you make bamboo? Is it with sticks in this version? Because I'm not seeing... Oh yeah, no, 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 okay, there is bamboo. Interesting, so I'm going to have to find a new jungle. Smithing table, stone cutter, smooth stone, s smooth stone. Right, I think that's two smooth stone slabs on top of each other. Smooth sandstone, smooth red sandstone, smooth quartz, stone slabs and stairs, andesite slabs and stairs, polished andesite, diorite. A lot of blocks have slab and stair variants now is another thing. Brick walls, andesite, granite, diorite walls, and walls apparently as well. So maybe not a whole lot of like new blocks, but a lot of new types of blocks that it that were, like, stairs and slab variants of existing blocks. 
Seems like that's a lot of what is taken up by this first one. Bamboo Bell, Campfire Cornflower, Lily of the Valley. Wow, yeah, Lily of the Valley wasn't in the original Flower Forest, huh? I didn't even think about that. Ooh, Wither Roses. So I'm going to have to fight the Wither again to get a Wither Rose. Lantern, Birch Sign. Okay, so all the, all the woods have signs now. Sweet Berries, Tall Grass, and Large Ferns. Right. Crossbows, cool. Although I still got the Cheaty Bow. I think I'll keep my Cheaty Bow. Blue dye, white dye, brown dye, black dye. These aren't blocks, but they're worth mentioning either way. So there you go. If you want to access, <clears throat> if you want to access this spreadsheet to see for yourself, exclamation point blocks. Uh, and you can well, see for yourself, and you can also see what's coming up in the upcoming versions as well. One point fifteen is literally just honey. Interesting. Is that all that added? And then 1.16 is another update, so there's a lot that I'm going to have to get then. All right. Cool. There you go. That's a lot of what we need in this version. I can promise you right now, in fact, I, I know I'm not going to get this done today. Because actually, I don't want to focus completely on getting all the blocks done today. I want to start working on a museum. A lot of people have made the very great suggestion of, instead of kind of like... I don't know, unceremoniously putting all the blocks in chests. People have suggested putting them actually physically down in like a museum. And I think that that's a really good idea. The problem is sugar cookie. You're not the problem. The problem is not sugar cookie. Thanks for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And hibernating bear. Thank you. Loving the pivot to Minecraft. Oh, I'm glad that you're enjoying the pivot. Appreciate it. Thanks for the four months in a row. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. So the problem is definitely sugar cookie. Don't don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Um so what was I saying? Anyway. Yeah, the problem is, is that I'm not a good builder. I don't know how to build a museum. I guess there is no, like, you know, step-by-step -step instructions that I have to do, but I'm not very good at building. However, much like I designed my AC and H islands, I can always just take inspiration, if not outright stealing, what other people do. And I had an idea, a really cool one. I mean, I have a few ideas, and you guys can you know, feel out these ideas for yourself, see what you guys think. My original idea was to hollow out this mountain and then kind of turn the internal portions of that mountain into a museum. That's not a bad idea. But I was also thinking of this giant lake I have here next to my base. It's ugly as shit because of the swamp water, but what we can do to make it a little bit nicer is like make like this... I don't know, you know like the Ves Vespucci canals? from GTA 5, which are definitely a real thing. Um, I just don't know what they're called in real life. You know, like, build, like, a really long, like, bridge system. And it goes, like, rows and rows and columns and columns and columns. And then kind of, like, put blocks, like, along the way there. And I thought that that would be kind of cool. Yeah, like a, muse a floating museum sort of thing. That was kind of a cool idea I saw as well. And then, I saw another really cool one, where somebody actually built, like, a museum building, as is, like, kind of con the conventional wisdom of how you would build a museum, is, you know, building a building for it. But let me pull up the, um, I saved it on Reddit, so that I could pull it up later here. Um, this was somebody trying to build a, <clears throat> like, mob museum, so they, like, capture all the mobs, and then they... Um, well, I mean, they have them, like, behind displayed glass or whatever like that. Let me show you this. So, this is something else that I really thought was a cool idea. But, of course, they have, like, glass displays where they can put, um, the mobs behind. I mean, I could do something like that, except with blocks. Happy birthday, Arbok. Welcome. Sandiction did a good one. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there have really nice museums. This is just one that I pulled up that I thought looked really good. Can you link me this post? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can... Well, yeah, I think I can just copy this and then just do this, right? There you go. Enjoy. Anyway, yeah, this was, uh, they actually are making it like a building, which is also another idea that I could do. And I thought this picture right here really looked nice. Hibernating bear. I guess with the gifts of the Owl Waffle and to Walrus. Oh, pardon me. Enjoy your emotes, Owl Waffle and Walrus, and enjoy your ad free viewing courtesy of Hibernating Bear. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A statue in the middle of a viewer? Me? Ooh, don't you have a Jesus Christ Minecraft skin? So I could just have like a giant Jesus in the middle. Ooh, that's a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good idea. Anyway, what do you guys think? Like, what do you think would be a really cool museum idea? I was kind of particular to the, um, to the, uh, the floating museum idea, but that's mostly because I think it would just be easier <laughs> than building, like, a giant fucking building, having to gather a shit ton of resources for it, but, uh, I don't know, I also do really like this idea. Ooh, a museum that looks like Blathers' museum? Well, that's kind of one of those cases where it's like, it looks bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. So if I were to build Blathers' museum and Animal Crossing, it would be like this big. But then I would have to fill that with every block in the game. Makes use of the ugly ass water. Kind of agree. Kind of agree. That'd be kind of cool, right? Thanks for the Hydrate Melon Baller. Yeah, it's like a TARDIS. That's what I was thinking. I don't watch Doctor Who. I'm kind of tired of figuring out who the hell they're supposed to be. Each room in the museum can be based on an each version and only build each room out of blocks in that version. That's a really good idea. Then again, a lot of updates don't really add a whole lot of blocks, so I wouldn't even really be able to do that. For some updates, that really didn't add a whole lot, which back in the day, there was not a whole lot of updates that added anything of sustenance. Anyway, something to spitball. In the style of the Reddit museum with different levels and shit? Yeah, maybe something like that, I don't know. Yeah, a room just full of paintings, there you go. Anyway, that's what I was thinking about doing today. But, um... If you guys got ideas and you would like to be credited if I do take your idea, you can post it in the Discord for, like, if you wanted to, like, make a, an idea for what the floating museum could look like or for what the hollowed out mountain internal mountain museum idea could look like. Do let me know. I'd rather take an idea from chat than some random person that doesn't know who I am, you know? You feel... I'd rather properly credit someone who's part of the series, and they can have a lasting impact. What is- Oh, I have a crafting table below there. When did I do that? That must have been forever ago. Anyway, another thing I wanted to do today is I wanted to bring some villagers over to my area here. I found a village when I was looking for a warm ocean last time, and there was actually one very close by. So I was thinking, since this is the update that made it so that, um... I made it so that, uh, villager trading is just insanely good. I thought I might want to bring some of them boys over here. Can you plant these straight up? No, you actually I do have to use the seeds. A trading hall? I don't know if I would do, like, a whole-ass trading hall, because, those, man, those things are, like, huge and complicated and scary, quite honestly. Multiple small museums for each version. Make them according to the version. Again, like, not every version adds a whole lot, though, is the thing. The problem with that is, is that some updates just don't really warrant their own, like... Jesus. Some updates just really don't warrant, like, their whole, like... A whole, like, room or museum dedicated to those blocks, you know? Some updates were just really tiny. If every update was, like, as big as the ones that come out these days then okay, we can maybe do something like that, but unfortunately, that's not how it was. What's up, Cadams? How are you doing? Snapple, hello. Yeah, I'm thinking we might do a little kidnapping here. Um, I have to remember where, of course, those villagers actually were. 
and I of course have to find a way to get them over here. But I think I can stick things in boats now, right? I think I can stick things in boats. A few of the updates were like five blocks. A few of the updates were like zero blocks. Yeah, so... It would kind of be hard to make a museum out of every version. But it's not a bad idea. Can I get a Yas? Yas! Material wool! Sorry. Um, hello, Hunty. How are you doing today? There you go. You got Axe New. You, you, you got Axe New Yasin, even. It's hard to make that guy Yas. How did I get a black dye? Apparently, I picked up Ink Sex. Fascinating. Could you lump a few of the quiet updates together? I could. It, it just kind of adds complications to the planning of all this, but either way. Ethereal Girl! I like that, actually. Personalize each display to the block, like a bookshelf for the enchantment table. Yeah, so, like, I'll have to flesh out the ideas for it eventually. So can you, is this an update where you can shove villagers in boats and I can, like, pretty much just boat them the entire way? Because I'm pretty sure, really, the only thing connecting that village way, way, way down there and where I live is just mostly water. I think you can do that at this point, right? So, why don't we? Let's at least bring two, so that then they can breed. But where am I going to keep them for the moment? I can't keep them in my house. I don't want these fucking pestering-ass villagers running around. How do you do, like, trading halls? Is it just, like... Because you need them to breed, so you don't want to, like, separate them in their own, like, cells. So... Hmm. Boats and minecarts. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Thinking about how I want to do this. And where I will keep them as well. Breed them like fucking cattle? That sounds... Harsh, but... I mean, I guess I could use the sheep pen. I could have them coexist with the sheep until I have a better area in mind. Are those the new textures? They are. 1.14 was, among other things, the texture update. I could lump them in with the sheep for the moment, but then I worry that things will attack them. I don't really want that. And a brown sheep just strolled up? Oh no. No all block six yet? Thank you, actually. That's a good ass idea. That's what I got these mods for, but they can't get off their ass and do nothing. Starting in Minecraft- Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Fucking jump scare, dude. Christ. I was just trying to log on to my channel. God damn. That was- I'm so sorry that you had to hear that. Add calm all blocks six. Bam, there you go. Look at that, dude. Look at that. And I gotta change the title of the stream to all block six. There you go. Thank you for the reminder. Among Us? Yes, every time someone says Among, they clearly are trying to say Among Us. That's pretty true, bestie. Sorry, yeah, I jump scared you, but it wasn't even me that jump scared you. Hey! Get off of him! Get off of him! He not doing chicken. You're not helping this situation, man. Um, right. Maybe I could actually take the hollowed out mountain and make that my villager trading hall. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe even one that I like better. What the fuck is September? It's September, besties! All subscriptions are like a percentage off. I don't know what they are. But, um, yeah, go, go, go sub to your favorite besties! Don't actually, unless you, you know, we're going to, and you're gonna take this as the opportunity to do it for a little bit cheaper. 20, 25, 30 based on tier? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, that could be good. I, I think I would be very... Juni B. Thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the, the, the tier one. Two months in a row. I appreciate that. Sorry, I don't want to make it sound like I'm encouraging you. I sent a thing in MC chat. What would you send? To convince my mom to let me sub to one more person? Please don't, man. It's not that important. 
A museum idea. Okay. In MC chat? Oh. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, like, oh, 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 and, and is that then, like, the entrance to, like, the hollowed out mountain? Ooh, that's kind of, that's actually not a bad idea. It's actually not a bad idea. Have the Animal Crossing Museum be, like, an entrance way into the hollowed out mountain? Ooh. But then I was just going to make the hollowed out mountain into the trading hall, and now I don't know what I want to do. That is a cool idea. We can take that idea and use it in other circumstances as well. So even if I don't use this mountain specifically for that, we can still take advantage of that. Help with marching band. See you guys later. Yo, enjoy your marching band. The Vespucci Canals can be the trading hall. Maybe. And that would... Ooh. Maybe. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I would do that. Trying to think how I would do that. Ooh. That's actually, I think I like that better, honestly. I think I like that a lot better. Using the Vespucci Canal idea as the trading hall. Okay, so theoretically then, every villager has its own little platform out here. Hmm. Let me go into a uh, creative world and just like think about, I know what I'm doing. Just think about, well, like, what that could look like, maybe. First times? Oh, that's right! It's for first-time subscriptions only. That's so annoying. Right? This was back when I was trying to test out the creeper idea. And then... Weather clear? Um, right. So, every villager could have its own, like, little platform. We're gonna have to picture, use a little imagination, that this is, like, over water. Just use a little imagination, okay? Just use, like, a little bit of, like, imagination. And let's get some water. There we go. Let's fill this whole freaking John up here. Smiley Is this... Face. No. I'm stupid. Like this. There we go. There we go. All right. And then every villager has its own little, like, platform. I'm thinking, like, raise it up a little bit. Maybe we could raise it up with... I feel like fences would be too flimsy. I feel like walls would be better to raise it up. Maybe like brick walls. I always like the use of brick walls. And I think now you can... Yeah, you can waterlog blocks now as well. So that would make this look even better. So maybe each platform has like a risen up like little... Or each villager has a little risen up platform specifically for it. How Danny... Or who Danny? Thanks for the tier one. Appreciate that. And Scared Peanut, thanks for the four months. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Like Houdini, yeah. Or actually, maybe, instead of these going all the way down here, we could have, like, some stripped logs to support it. But picture, like, them going as far down as, like, the water goes. And then, okay, now this is where the brick wall of, this is where the mental block sets in here. Like, what kind of, like, platform should they be standing on? Like, a stone platform? I don't think that looks particularly great, but, like, I don't know, from down here? It's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe we would choose a different stone block. Maybe we would choose a different stone block. Thematic to their trade. I think that you should keep the platforms consistent, but of course, like, what's actually on the platform will have to be um, relevant to their trade because, of course, they need workstations that reflect what they do. So, for example, if you want a fisherman, it has to be a barrel. So, yeah, stone bricks, maybe. Or I actually got these smooth bricks now, which I actually, I need to make these. For the chest. Nah, too light. Too light. Need something a little bit darker. A little bit more earthy. Yeah, like stone bricks. In future versions, concrete. Concrete's already in the game. So I could use it now. I could use concrete now. I mean, this is just, like, nice. Like, whenever... Not, 
stone brick never fails. It may not be the best looking block, but anything that you build with like stone brick is always gonna at least look good, right? Stone brick is just like a universally good looking block. It's just a universally good looking block. You can never make it look bad. You can use better things, but stone brick, it's kind of like, in many ways, it's kind of like water, you know? It's kind of like water. It's, it's always, it's something that everyone will drink. It may not be your favorite drink, but it's something that everyone can drink, right? You need it, in fact. You need water. You need stone bricks. It's simple yet effective. And it looks good with the bricks. I agree. And then, I mean, I'd probably want it to be bigger than this because that's not, that doesn't leave a whole lot of room on the platform. But then what I could maybe do is I could do stone brick stairs and line the, oh, that's not my stairs, then line the platform like this maybe so that's a little bit bigger and has like a little overhang to it. It's not bad and it gives them more room to work with here. And then, hmm. And then, like, maybe some sort of fence. I mean, if we're going to keep the theme consistent here, then we can, of course, like, fence them in here. I just worry that this is a little too bulky now. It might be a little bit too bulky. My genius is showing. Where? Yeah, stone bricks are like water. They are, truly. And then... Hmm. See? I love my water. Now, if I wanted to, like, get in and out, I would need, like, a fence gate, but then it's not... Ooh, there's no, like, center point. Less bulky on the actual lake? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna be seeing it from, like, way over here, isn't that? Yeah. This isn't bad, man. Can't catch up, because I can't find VODs of the update between the latest vid and now. They should be in the videos tab of my channel. <clears throat> but they do date back, like, a couple of weeks at this point, because I'm a couple of weeks ahead where I'm at on YouTube, you know? Use stairs in the middle of the platform? Wait, what do you mean? You can use stairs in the middle of the platform. I don't understand. What's it like? What's it more like booth-based? Booth so you can have walls with one exposed... Booth-based. So you can have walls with one exposed fence. I see what you mean. <coughs> So let's picture these as the side and the back. And then just as like a wall, we can change this if we want to. We can make this like this. And make it more booth-based rather than like, I don't know. What are we doing in creative? Oh, we're just spitballing ideas for like how, how I would keep villagers. Make it one block less big. What do you mean less big? In what way? They'd be more protected. I think that their protection would be... I think that they would be protected. Then again, like, couldn't, like, just a raid start, like, right next to them, and then they could, like, start kicking their ass? Mmm. It's fun to encase them in glass. That's a little sadistic, but I understand. I understand. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't bad. Maybe I would want to change the walls to something else. Chicken nugs. Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh yeah, drowned could spawn, couldn't they? Thanks for the tier one. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate that. And then of course I think they'll um they'll assume the role of any like works. Right. Yeah, I will have to make the wall a little taller. Uh yeah. Right, so they'll assume the role of any block that I put here, so he's a fisherman now that he has a barrel. So, I would also have to make it, like, thematic around the villager itself. So, if this guy's a, a fisherman, then I could, like, make a bunch of barrels for him to, like, put his fish in, right? You get the idea. Yo, Chicken Nugs, thanks for the gift sub! Oh, right, but now he can still get out of there. <laughs> Dickhead. Chicken Nugs, thank you for the gift sub. To Heber B. Heber B, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing, courtesy of Chicken Nugs. Appreciate it. Sorry, man. But you got out. See, doesn't this look a little bulky? Like, how the hell is those... 
how the hell are those bricks holding up this whole ass thing, right? It looks a little top heavy. It looks a little top heavy. Yeah, my livestock. Mm. Make it a stone wall. Like the stone, like the stone brick walls. I don't know. Could do a boat. Oh, God, that would be a lot, man. A boat. Oh, man, that's beyond my ability, I think. I think that's quite beyond my ability. And you reminded me it was September. Well, I do appreciate that. Don't let the corporate scheme of September fool you guys into subscribing to streamers that you wouldn't have otherwise subscribed to. Let that be a warning to everyone. Don't let it incentivize you to subscribe when you weren't going to anyway. I don't know. It'll have to be fleshed out. But I like the base that we got here. Ah, uh, capitalism. Yeah. What if the, the walls did look better, maybe? Like, what are those, like, cobblestone walls instead of this? I feel like that's too much gray, then. It needs more color variety. Yeah, I already don't like that. I already don't like that. I like the nice mix of browns and grays. Honestly, the best building theme in this game is natural colors. Colors that you find regularly in the world. You find plenty of browns with all the woods. You find plenty of grays with all the stone. I guess brick is a little off the wall, but even the brick is kind of like a shade that's pretty natural. Kind of like a clay red or something like that. So, honestly, it never fails. It never misses. Just like natural colors. Nether brick wall? Hmm. Right. That, that must be the only block that has fences and walls to it. That must be the only block that has both of those. It's a little much. It clashes a little much with the gray, don't you think? It's a little bit too, too gray. Set. Uh. Day. Would red nether walls be bad, too? I think the, the nether brick is definitely a little bit too much. Thank you, a hole, and thanks for the hydrate, Freha. Quartz? Ooh, I don't know if this build... I don't know if this has room for quartz in it somewhere. Andesite walls does exist, but I think andesite walls would have the same problem of... First of all, there's no smooth andesite walls, which is what I would think would be best. Anyway, that is the problem with, like, not standing out enough. It looks too similar to the stone brick. It looks too similar to the stone brick. The fence on top of a fence in the corners to make those skinny posts look like a nice roof on top? Oh! Do you mean like this? Do you mean like this? And then you can roof it off with, like, some sort of slab... That might look good. Like, maybe... I don't want to do spruce slab, because that's what the fence posts are made out of. Maybe we can bring back the brick now that we have at the bottom. And now, like this. Roof is... Or the roof could be, like, a colored wool. Well, I'd like something that has a slab variant, though. Having a whole block roof, I don't know how good that would look. But having, like, a roof that color coordinates... Or color... What am I trying to say? Color indicates what kind of villager it is so that I can spot it from a long ways away is not a bad idea. I'm not huge on this brick here, actually. I'm not huge on it. Yeah, I just wish that, like, there was, like, colorful blocks that had slabs to it. And, like, you know, like, if all the concretes had slabs to it. Outside roof slab, inside roof block. Okay, I think I know what you mean. So let's pull up just like a couple colors of concrete here. So, I mean, dude, these might even be like too vivid. These might even be like too vivid. If red, for example, means that it's a, I don't know, uh, a librarian, then we can see that from a long ways away. We can know where our librarian is from a long ways away because we got this giant, very vivid red roof to it. And then some sort of slab to put around that. But man, that's going to be hard to find a slab that works with that bright-ass red, don't you think? It's going to be really hard. Wool does look like awnings, doesn't it? I might even prefer to use wool. I might. Endstone? I feel like that's going to clash a lot. Yeah. 
And it's not bad, actually. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it as much as I thought I was going to. It's not bad. It's a little funky looking, but it's not bad. You know what? Terracotta, not glazed terracotta, but regular terracotta, is a lot less vibrant. Which, that might be a bad thing. You might want it to be vibrant, but... I don't know, actually. You might want it to be vibrant, but you, maybe you don't. Maybe you want it to be a little bit more natural, right? A little bit more natural. Terracotta. So... I mean, okay, let's let's not use red this time again. Uh, green, I don't know. This could be the uh, the the fishermen, because fish are kind of green when you think about it. Like, oh, just not that much at all, really. Okay. And then, yeah, I feel like that could go much better with, like, a lot of different kinds of slabs. Quartz instead of sandstone slab? Red and white wool, like market stall. See, I was thinking about that. Red and white wool, like market stalls. And then every one will have white, but then this one will be red and white. This one will be red and white. Next one will be like blue and white. Uh, any Indonesian viewers in chat? Or Monagask? Or uh, Poland? Or why do so many flags have these two colors? <laughs> And just those two colors. So one could be red, one could be blue, one can be French. No, you need some blue in there. And then one could be lime. I don't know, I think lime's a little... Lime might be a little much. Maybe Canada? You need a big old maple leaf in there. Yeah, so like this one, this one, this one, they all indicate what kind of villagers it is. Put slabs on the top of the fence so it's not outward. Slabs on top of the fence so it's not outward. What do you mean? Do you mean like take this outer layer here and make that the slab layer instead of... Okay, I think I do see what you mean. So find like a type of slab that I wouldn't mind using with that. Like... Hmm... I would have to change it depending on what color it's dealing with, so... I don't know, just, just sure, like an oak wood slab. Make that the slab layer. And then the green on the inside. Maybe that's the ticket, I don't know. Maybe that's the ticket. And then right here. Hmm... If I was going to do that, I would want it to be brighter. I would want the color to be brighter, so I'd want to go back to concrete, I think. Which, green concrete is not a whole lot brighter than green terracotta, but... Maybe a white slab? Maybe. So, like, something like quartz. Quartz is such a pain to get a lot of, though. And then... Quartz slab. Yeah, maybe something like that. Look at that. That's not bad. It's a lot of colors. More colors than I generally work with, but... Uh, you know, that's not bad. What I don't love is the fact that now there's this, uh... This, like, layer of green inside of the quartz. But that's not bad if you look at it. If you look down at it, it's not bad. But I reckon we won't be looking down at it a whole lot. I reckon since it's raised, we'll be looking up at it. Do a strip down the middle of the wood on the outside slab. A strip down the middle of the wood on the outside slab. Do you mean the middle of the concrete? One of the villagers trades quartz? Well, that'd be handy for that. What about banners? Ooh, banners. I mean, we'd have to make like a... I, I forget how to make like the banner patterns, to be honest with you. That looks elegant. It's not bad. Having like one villager and then just picture like a pathway that's just like along the side here. And then you like, hey, I want to trade some... Honey, it's 2 p.m. Try Time to trade me a mending book. And then you just talk to this villager in there. Can you reach him, though? It'd be my issue. Can you actually reach them? 
Well, he's unemployed. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, God. All right, don't look. This is, n this is not going to be a good scene. This, this is not going to be a nice scene. This is... This is going to be... This is going to be nasty. Just don't... Don't look, okay? You're not going to like this. This isn't... That this not going to be good. I'm sorry, sir, but I mean, you got to go too, I think. I think you got to go too. This is like that scene from Star Wars. The, the, the scene from Star Wars where he murders children? What the fuck? Sorry, man. Sorry, little guy. What the fuck? Anyway, um... Put me in here, and then give me, like, a... A bookshelf. Isn't that what makes librarians? No? Uh, what makes a library A lectern? Yeah. And now he's a librarian. The only concern I have is, A, where, I, where would I put that lectern? And B, I can't... Oh, I can reach him from here, but I feel like I can only do that in... In, uh... In creative mode, since my reach is longer. Hmm, okay. Will... Crafting table goes in the corner, maybe? Does he not become unemployed as soon as I take away his workstation? Because isn't that, like, how you cheese villagers to get them to, like, sell you what you want? You get rid of their thing, and then they go back to being unemployed? Or do they not do that in this version? He's really trying to sell Curse of Binding books. That's kind of why I want to refresh it. You change it. Oh, okay, so, like, you can change it to a barrel, and then become a fisherman. Well, that's good that they can't get out because of the fence being taller. Um, can't help but notice he's still a librarian, though. Do I have to, like, leave? Get out of his hair for a minute here? He's broken? Well, hey, man, aren't we all? Join the fucking club. I think I might have just almost spawned a creeper. No, he's still a librarian. Oh, there we go. And then break that, and now he's a librarian again, and he should have different traits, right? Well, okay, he, this is different, but he is still selling this fucking Curse of Binding. Son of a bitch. And now, okay, now it's Protection 2. And then don't you just keep doing this until they eventually have, like, a mending book or something like that? Like, isn't that the cheese strat? Isn't that the cheese? So I'm so sorry. I'm actually so fucking sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, now he's mad at me. He <laughs> he upped the prices. I mean, hey, Silk Touch ain't bad. Oops, sorry. Yeah, now he's got flame. Now it's even more expensive. Oh no, I'm in creative mode. Whatever will I do? So yeah, you just keep doing this. And then also getting a favorable paper trade is also very good. Because it's so easy to get just, like, a shit ton of paper. There goes the economy. Curse of binding these nuts? You need to calm down, man. They also trade glass. I can more easily farm. There we go. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. To get mending right there. That's what you gotta do. Honestly, I don't even need that much more mending. But this is good. Like, dude, getting a paper and a mending trade for very cheap as well. That's really good. That's really good. You need to trade with them once to lock the options. You do, but then you can unlock the options by doing other trades. Now kill it? I mean, I kind of want to keep that guy, even though I don't care for mending books in this. Honestly, I like this. If you guys have better ways of changing what we have here... To make it look better, I'd say the only thing I'm not sold on is the quartz uh, slabs on the outside. And the fact that the green, when you look up at there, is like, I don't know. I don't love the fact that when you look up here, you see this, like, green clashing against this white. Is that the French flag, but green? No. <laughs> no. I'd say this is the French flag here, but even then it's backwards, I think. 
Rice spruce slabs. The thing about spruce slabs is I feel like it would just be... It would match the fence too much. Like, I don't know, you do want to have, like, a good diversity of color here, but... I don't know, maybe keeping it the same is actually good as well. Maybe keeping it the same is good as well. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I kind of like the match. Yeah, it's not bad. What about a sloped roof? I feel like in like a simple shack like this, you don't really want like an elegant roof. Like this is just a shack. You're not going to put like a uh, gable style roof on a shack, you know? Now the green is too muted. So now we can go to like, now maybe we could go back to the bright concrete again. So we'll go to the concrete and we'll say that this is our color for librarians lime librarian it makes sense and now it looks like fucking ugly to be honest with you all right um well <laughs> yeah like what about red but like you know just using lime as an example what if i what if i were to do like this where i do like red white red white Stop it. Now what if I do like something like that? I just wish it was one block wider. Which I guess I could be the change I want to see in the world and make it one block wider. Librarian? Oh my gosh, you guys are so fucking smart. Checkerboard it. Okay, try that. I think I did this in the worst way possible, but that's fine. And then white, white, red. There you go. Like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. I really wish that there was slab variants. For this sole purpose, I wish there were slab variants of wool. Even if that doesn't make much sense. Yeah, this is just a testing world. Don't worry too much about it. I think if I make it so that... I do this, and then 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 I get rid of this and this, and then I get rid of this and this, and then I come out here, and then I go like this, 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 okay? And then we get rid of this, and then we take, oh, let's say like we take these right here, and then we replace these. And then we go to here, and we go here, here, okay? And then we bring these out one more. So that this is now like this instead of an even amount of blocks. Like you feel, you feel, and then we take this and then, well, now I want to go back to the stripe patterns. Now I want to go back to the stripe patterns now. Now that we have it uh, asymmetric, well, rather, yeah, asymmetrical. Now, if we go back to the stripes, it'd make it look a lot better, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, just picture that it's that long in the other way as well. Odd number of blocks is easier to work with, because now we can put a fence gate in the middle here, and not have it be, like, way out of whack here, right? So now we could actually go in there and trade with them, instead of having to rely on catching them from the outside. It's a bit big for one villager. They deserve it. I think they deserve it. Go big or go home, as they say. I, I don't know. Like, a lot of people put them in, like, these little, like, cryogenic freezing tubes that are one by one. And then they call that their villager trading hall. And I'm like, it's a little cruel. But at the same time, it's a Minecraft villager. You probably shouldn't care a whole lot, right? So, I don't know. Maybe, is it is it small or is just, like, all the other villager trading halls, like, trying to be as compact as possible by squeezing them in, like, the smallest little tubes? That's my thinking to it. It's not bad. I just don't, I still don't love the wool at the top because of how it looks against, how it looks from the bottom down here. They're just ones and zeros? I mean, ain't we all, brother? Ain't we all? What's up, Isadora? How are you doing? Quite pretty, but might want to experiment with different colors. I honestly really like the colors just outside of the wool. 
That's all I really, that's all I would really want to change. They don't need to have colors indicating what type of villager they are, but I thought it would be a nice thought. I thought it'd be a nice thought. But I suppose we could always just roof it over like this. And then just memorize where they are, because at the end of the day, I am the only one playing this world. I'm the only one that's got to memorize it. And I like that. I like that. I, I feel like this is good. What if I were to do... Yeah, maybe, and then maybe I could use banners to, like, uh... Maybe I could use banners to make them different. What if I were to do, like... I don't know. Just for the corners, do those attach? They don't attach! Oh, they don't attach. Oh, I thought those would attach. Do, do they attach later? Or do those never attach? So I was going to do for the corners only, like, they never do? Oh, that's so sad. Can I get this video to 10,000 likes? Oh, that's fucked up. Anyway, well, it's good. I don't, this is good. I like this. And we can always build upon this. Gates attach? Really? Interesting. I don't like that, though. I don't like that. You should give him a bed. I should give him a bed, shouldn't I? Because isn't that how they breed, with beds? So that if I were to go time, set, night, he should hop right in there. Yeah! Except he's dumb? Okay. He's, he's very smart and intelligent, actually. But what good does that do? That just lets them breed, right? Bed and food? Oh, he don't need food now, okay? Let's, uh, we're going far enough just giving him a bed. Alright? And then the bed kind of also has the effect of indicating what villager it is. Kind of like what I wanted to do with the wool up here. We can make every villager type have a different bed color. Hmm. If he's just going to be there to sell stuff, he doesn't need a bed. Yeah, I think that's only if you want him to breed. I think it's only if you want him to breed. Yeah, we don't want him to get too comfy now. Come on. Yeah, I don't think I need to breed them because honestly, to get the villages I want, just keep like refreshing what their thing is here, right? Send some villager inspiration in the Discord. All right, let's check this out here. Ooh, that's not bad. I think that what you're going for, Ricking Angel, is if you're, you're going for like a breeding setup. You're going for like a breeding setup. Which isn't a bad idea. I don't really need to breed them, though. If I can just keep refreshing... Um, if I can just keep refreshing what their profession is by spamming the thing, then I don't even think I need to breed them. You can make an info sign in the beginning of the bridge with the colors and the beds and the banners. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And I mean, at the end of the day, that would only be for me. And I guess for people who, like, download the world and play for themselves. But either way. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here and we're going to screen Shizot this, just in case I don't remember how to do it. And then I think we can start working on putting some of those down in our regular world here. I think we can start doing that. Problem is, I'll need a lot of spruce wood, and I'll... I mean, most of it is spruce wood, right? And bricks as well, and what else was in there? I think I had some stone bricks in there. The beds could be the same colors as the roof stripes. If I ever do find a good way to do the roof stripes, then yeah, I could totally do something like that. Could totally do something like that. I just feel like I haven't done enough building in this world, you know? I just haven't done enough. Like, when people think back on this series once it's complete, I want them to, like, think of cool areas that I've built, you know? Like, that's why I really want to do the museum, you know? It's I guess I got my house, and I got the creeper, the, the, what, what did I call that? The power grid over there with the creepers. That's really cool. I've only really mined and crafted, which I guess is fine, but still. Yeah, my builds are alright, but it's because I, like, am just not good at building that I just kind of refuse to do it a lot of the time. But I need more, like, mementos, you know? Kind of like an old person who wants to be remembered for something when they die, you know? I want to have people remember certain parts of this challenge, you know? I got the power grid out here, and this is pretty cool. Have we visited the Creepies lately? We have not, actually. 
We have not. Right over here is where my charged creepies were. And they, well, I actually do still have the one. Eh, Chris Robin. I do still got Chris Robin over here. I feel like I should bring that creeper into a museum. Like, that should be, if, when I do build the museum, I should totally bring that creeper. Because that was a huge part of, that was a huge part of this challenge, was the charged creepers and getting them. Yeah, building in survival is a pain as well. Like having to gather the materials. Like, a lot of people who are really good builders don't, they just do it in creative. Which is fine. That is what it's there for. That is what it's there for. Uh, yoink. Hit him with that yoinky sploinky. I can trap and encase every MC mob. See, people have done that before, though. I could do it as they were introduced, but not nearly as many mobs were introduced as blocks. So, I feel like it's kind of better as blocks. I don't know. New glass, yeah. Anyway, oh god, is that how the furnaces are still? Ooh, I don't think I like those. I don't think I like those. Ooh, and the crafting table's a little... Oh, this feels like... Did they change these eventually? I don't know if I love these furnaces. Hmm. Get every unobtainable block and item as a separate challenge? So, yeah, people are suggesting that I do that in this challenge, but either way. Did I miss a sub? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Ooh, we... Ugh, anyway, I think I'm gonna take a bathroom break here, and then I think we can start getting, um, some of the blocks collected for what I need. Start getting some of the blocks collected. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Damn, I do be kind of pissing, though. That's the goal, at least. That's the goal. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, don't go anywhere. Enjoy the, uh, sounds of nothing. Be right back. What the fuck is Corn Kid? What the fuck is Corn Kid? How do we feel about Corn Kid? Bro, what are you talking about? Anyway. I got some good stuff for you guys. Look at him. Thanks for the hydrate. Couple nights ago... We always bring Stanley in bed with us before we go to bed. And he'll like, you know, jump around. We'll we'll pet him. This is him. He was really particularly tired this night. So he was just like chilling out. He was just chilling out. Look at him. Look up corn kid. I don't think I'm gonna look up corn kid. Blah. Is the boy. It do be kind of the man. Look at them pearly whites. Look at them pearly whites. Shoo wish. Them some clean teeths. That freaking giant honker right there. A handsome lad. Very handsome indeed. Those are old. Well, they're not old, but they've been in the Discord for a bit now. So some of you may have seen those, but if you didn't, then there you go took a screenshot cheese why do i have these saplings on me why hero brian how did i get these saplings oh because i cut down that tree and it was it had the bug right i cut down that tree and it had the bug where it had the mixed kinds of leaves yeah, yeah, yeah. okay never mind it's a meme from tiktok well that would be why i don't know who that is because i don't I don't got TikTok. I'm not a TikToker. I think my dog is trying to kill me. Well, that's no fun. I definitely need more stone bricks and spruce wood. It seems like I need more of both of those. All right. Well, let's work on one of those things at least. Uh, how, why is your dog trying to kill you? What's it trying to do? 
It's insufferable, man. Don't look it up. Okay, I'll take that advice. Not a TikToker. No, not really. Some TikTok meme, it isn't not safe for work? That wasn't really my concern, is that it's not safe for work. That's not so much my concern. It's more just like... Should've brought bone meal. It's more just like, is it actually funny? Or is it just like... Some kid being like, I like corn, or something like that. Please look at it. Is it really that funny? It's not funny. It's not funny, but it's cute. So, I am not the kind of person that finds children saying funny things cute. I'm not really, like, a... I, I don't find children cute. Like, when a child does something funny, a lot of people are like, "Oh, I'm like, ew. Like, sometimes, and I don't get when parents do this, but, like, I get it. They have a particular fascination when their kid does anything. Oh, I guess I don't need bone meal. They have a particular fascination with like when their kid does something because it's their kid right like if stanley does something that's cute i'm more willing to be like holy shit that's adorable because he's my boy at the same time kids will be doing like the most grossest fucking thing and then their parents will be like oh my god how cute like the kid is like projectile vomiting and they'll be like oh look at him baby's first projectile vomit and I'm like, what? No. That's disgusting. Are you- what? Or like a kid like, with like a giant booger hanging out of their nose or something like that. And they're like all laughing at him. Like, oh my god, look at that giant boogie woogie woogie. Oh, and I'm like, what? No, that's disgusting. Stop. Don't encourage this behavior. Disliking children is the best thing. It's not something I take pride in. It's just the fact of the matter is that not a not really a kid's person. Yeah, okay, so there was this kid. I was at a Giants game, okay? I was at a San Francisco Giants game, and there was this kid in front of us, in the row in front of us, and he was eating cotton candy. And as kids do, he was making a fucking mess, okay? He was making a fucking mess. And he got it all over his face. It was literally the worst thing. Like, oh god, cotton candy itself is disgusting. But this kid had it all over his fucking face. It was disgusting. And he's like, look, daddy! And his dad's like, egging him on. He's like, that's fucking awesome. I'm like, that's- I literally wanted to fucking behead myself. It's disgusting. They're gross. They're germ magnets, above all else, right? The best way to stay healthy in your life is get away from freaking kids, man. God. Horrible. Eat the corn, shucked it with my grandma. Is that how the TikTok goes? Oh, that's a tiny-ass tree. Oh, no, it's not. It just looked tiny. Less and less people are wanting kids now. I feel like a lot of that is fueled by the revelation of how fucking expensive it is. And just the matter of fact that we're poorer than our parents were, generally. So, that's probably a lot of the reasoning to that. But, yeah, I mean, it is also maybe partly the revelation that kids are fucking disgusting. And pets are also disgusting at times, but honestly, like, at least they're... At least you... The good thing about a dog, or a cat, or really any pet, is that they're an adult within, like, a year. Within like a within like a year is a dog less than a year is a dog like self self sufficient. Of course, you need to take care of it still, but it knows how to walk. It knows how to sit. It knows how to go potty outside. It knows how to eat, function basically. It only takes like a few months, really. Kids, it takes like. I mean, shit, it'll take like 18 plus years before they're self-sufficient, and if even that. That's the thing, man, is like, you could say for the same reasons that you don't like kids, you may not like pets, but at least the part of pets where it's like high maintenance lasts a hell of a lot less time than a kid does, you know?
and my dog doesn't scream when she's unhappy. He's not just wailing, crying. I can leave my one-year-old dog alone for two hours, and it's just fine. I cannot leave my one-year-old child alone for two hours, because that's called neglect. Gets mad at me if I eat something after bitch licked it? Yeah, because that's disgusting. Why would you do that? Sometimes our cat will go up to Kristen and, like, lick the food that she has on her plate. And then Kristen will just be like, ah, that's funny. And then she'll eat it. I'm like, what? Don't do that. Yeah, your dog is 40 in dog years because, you know, it's an adult. <laughs> it's an adult within, like, a year. They don't knock on your bedroom door and be like, hey, it's 4 a.m. and I've been sick and I need a poo. Can you wipe my fucking ass for me? Jeez. If my parents never had me because they made the conscious decision to just be a pet household instead of a kid household, then honestly, from the ethereal realm or the non-ethereal realm, I'd be like, you know what? Good choice. Good choice. Kids are not funky fresh. Pets are most definitely funky fresh. Not to mention, a 13-year-old pet loves you. A 13-year-old pet, a pet that you've had for 13 years, loves you. Just would do anything in the world for you. A fucking 13-year-old kid is a brat. They probably hate you. You're at that part of childhood where, like, you're, like, angsty and shit. And, like, oh, fuck my parents. They don't know me. So you worked 13 years to bring this child to life, and then it fucking hates you. Pets, they don't hate you. They love you. First sight, they're like, holy shit, this person is, like, amazing. Is love at first sight. A kid... They love you for a while, and then they, like, start to get all angsty and shit, and they're like, whoa, fuck my... This is not the case for every kid, but, man, like, imagine all that work just to be, like, a kid. I can't wait to be 13. Mods? Okay, imagine doing all that work. 13 years of raising a kid, and it's in that phase where, like, they fucking hate you. I hate bratty teens, just want to slap them sometimes. As a, someone who was a bratty teen, I deserve- I needed to be slapped. Probably. I am 12. Mods. Y'all joking- y'all might be joking when you say shit like that, but I ain't running the chances. I'm not taking the chance. Don't joke around about that shit. Stop saying your fucking age. Can I just say, stop saying your fucking age, especially if you're not old enough to be on the damn website. Especially if you're not old enough. Jesus. Like, it's weird. It, nobody, yeah, nobody really cares if you're like 25, but at least you're old enough to be on the damn website. Nobody certainly cares if you're 12. And you're not allowed to be here. Like, I'm not taking the chance. If someone says they're 12, I don't care if it's a joke, man. Gotta go. I'm minus four. Okay, Axnew, that one was clearly a joke. That one was clearly a joke. Like, if it's like they're 11, 12, then they might be serious. Negative four, that's clearly a joke, okay? Don't, don't ban them for that. Don't ban them for that. Also, it's for your own safety as well. It's for your own safety. SMH, man... Sorry, you gotta, like, know when to hold them, know when to fold them. It's the nuances of being a mod, I suppose. Axnew's just on a warpath today, but that's okay. I miss being 12. I had energy. Unfortunately, I am now nearly three times that age. I haven't slowed down yet. To be honest with you, I feel like my energy levels are pretty similar to when I was, like, a teenager, which is good. Alright, well now I got enough spruce wood. Now I need stone brick, which means I need to go back in the mines. Got my pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. I'm stealing that quote? What quote? Probably joking, but half a chat's about to disappear for joking. Yeah, you better be careful what you joke about now. Can't you ban yourself? Oh, that door is still messed up, huh? Hey, what's up, big man? Remember when I built this? I mean, I guess on the YouTube series, it was pretty recent that I built this. So, yeah, yeah, you probably do remember. But holy smokes, man. This thing has got me, like, stacks of slime balls at this point. Oh, it's a good sound. 
I got a note if Captain Sparkles went live and you started singing. Holy shit, I manifested him. Yeah, what happened to this door? That got broken, like, I remember it got broken a while ago. It still isn't fixed. It's still, like, it's still missing its goddamn top. I can, like, shoot through it and everything. It just don't exist. The top of this door just don't exist. Very interesting. I don't know, that, I remember that got broken forever ago. What's your opinion on Treasure Island on Animal Crossing? They're fine. Are you expecting some, like, hot take from me? Like, I think that anyone who uses Treasure Island should be... Should be... Uh, guillotined. No, man, like, just go ahead. Who cares? Go ahead. Yeah, it's kind of like a saloon door, right? Yeah. Alright, well, I need stone brick, and this is the best way I can think of doing it. So, have fun uh, watching me strip mine. Like, what do you think? Like, a lot of people ask me that, especially when I played Animal Crossing. They're like, what do you think of people that use Treasure Islands? I'm like, I don't care. Play the game how you want. It's freaking Animal Crossing. It's Animal Crossing, man. Oh, I hear another slime. Ah. It's fine. So we back in the mines, got our pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. Treasure Island, the story? Ooh, I never read it. I never read it. Thoughts on everything in existence? How much time do you got, man? I'm a very, like, very opinionated person on various things. But it really depends on what it is. Very opinionated on some things. Very passionate. Okay, I've already been here. I just wanna... What's the best level to strip mine at? Like, why am I not strip mining at, like, just at Y11? Like, why don't I just stay up here? Opinion on pineapple pizza. Never had, never had it before. No, no opinion. I'm not gonna goof on it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, no, he's fine. Ooh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't... If I was you, oh, if I was you, I wouldn't have done that. I don't know, I've never had it. A lot of people, I think, poo-poo the idea of it. Without, like, ever actually even tried it, you know? But I've never had it, so therefore I cannot have an opinion on it. Dinner served. To offer free treasure islands, then make their treasure islands sub only while also shitting on people who sell in-game items? This feels targeted. That feels like a targeted thing. I feel like that's definitely, like, a, something that very specific... That's that's too specific that that's not, like, a general problem. That's definitely something that, like, only certain people do. I need coal. Talking about pineapples to someone? Interesting. I like pineapple, and I like pizza. I guess I'd have a hard time believing that I wouldn't like pineapple on pizza. Although, like, I don't know. Like, I understand the weirdness inherent in it. But it's like that savoriness, that sweetness, I bet that goes good together. Thoughts on modding a Switch? Go for it, man. Fuck it, mod a Switch. Put games on it that Nintendo will never release for them. Oh, is Nintendo gonna get mad at you for putting Nintendogs on your hacked Nintendo Switch? Well, Nintendo, then put Nintendogs on the damn Switch. Otherwise, don't complain when people hack their Switch to put Nintendogs on it. Is my opinion on that. My tongue be swelling whenever I eat pineapple? Bestie, I think you might be allergic. I think if you eat something and you start swelling up like a balloon, that's usually a surefire sign that you got some autoimmune issues with that. Did you grab gold ore block? Yes, I did in that video, as a matter of fact. I, even in that video, I, like, I don't want to call no one out here, but... In that video, where I clearly, at the end, show that I got the gold and iron ore, people are still like, you forgot to put the iron and gold ore. It's now been six videos, and you forgot to put it in the fucking chest. When clearly, at the end of the video, I'm like, you know, tell me how, you know, tell me that you didn't watch till the end without telling me you didn't watch till the end. Which is fine. But still. But still. Alright, that's enough for now, I think. Thoughts on trees? Trees are pretty good. Trees are pretty good. 
It's trying to eat you while you eat it? No, man. Maybe a pinned comment? Uh, yeah, maybe I should put it in the pinned comment, honestly. I saw a comment that was like, Y'all, he got the oars, please chill. Yeah. Yeah, I did. So, uh, first of all, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Ah, that was pretty good. I like that. So I think this is probably where I'll want to put the entrance to all the, uh... All the little cells that I'll have. I mean, sorry, platforms. Um, I'll probably, like, start, like, a bridge right here. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the bridge, but... Maybe that's not so important. Maybe that's not so important. Comments are good for the algorithm. They are. So I'm not gonna goof on no one who's getting on my case about... Com well, I will, but honestly, at the end of the day, it is free engagement, so... Yeah, I guess I shouldn't be all too upset about it. Alright, let's, um... Make sure that I'm lined up here in the middle. And then, I think... Let's start planning out, like, the grid that I'll want these. I want to make sure I'm far enough away from my house to where I don't hear the villagers hur, hur, while I'm inside. So this would probably be good. This would probably be good. The comment that said Babe Dagnall is playing the funny block game made me laugh so hard. Are they calling me Babe? Because that might be a perma. That might have to be a perma. Her. I uploaded two videos to YouTube today and they have a combined eight views. Holy shit. You might be a millionaire. Sounds like a generic babe to me. Uh, either way, I hate that word. God, I hate that word. Babe. Ugh, I hate it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trauma dumping. Or I hate that word. Or It's no business of mine what couples call each other. Like, it honestly is not a big deal, but I do fucking hate it when couples call each other babe. Oh, it just infuriates me. I do. Oh, I hate it. Bay? I like bay. It, at least it doesn't infuriate me nearly as much as babe does. Ugh. Sorry. Uh, okay. So, just like a square platform, just as like a... Just to start off from. Just as like a starting point here. This won't be a villager platform, but it'll be like where the bridge comes to. Why? I just don't like it. It's just one of those words that irks me. You know how like... You know how moist like irks some people? I never understood that. Moist is fine. But like, babe? Ugh. Ugh. See, like, Bay is always ironic. Nobody unironically calls people Babe. Or Bay, rather. Yeah, Tender's another one. My friends call each other Honey, like they're 50 years old and married. Honey's not bad. That's fine. But, I don't know, Babe's the one that does it for me. Ugh, I can't stand it. No one's gonna call you Babe? No one's gonna get banned. No one's gonna get banned. So how did I, um, let me go back to here real quick. Let me check something. Let me check something. Let me check something. Let's go back to tester here. Um, so I didn't connect these blocks. What I was thinking about doing is I was thinking about doing this, but I don't, eh, I don't love that. Although for the platform, hmm, hmm, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Cringing at myself for calling my boyfriend sweetie. That's not bad. Honestly, like, they're all fine. Just not babe, man. Just not babe. Ugh. Called my boss babe out of habit because I used to... I am used to ending sentences out of it. Ooh. Is that better or worse than calling your teacher mom? Which I never did. I managed to, um... I like them separate. For the villager platforms, I might do them separate, but I think for that little landing that I made, I might, uh, I might do that. Something like that. I luckily managed to, uh, not have, th have that childhood trauma of calling my teacher mom. Luckily, luckily, I managed to avoid that one. Dagnal and I call each other fucker as our pet names. Yeah. 
It's a it's a show of endearment. It's a show of endearment. Gotta head out. Hope you have a good rest of the stream. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll be like, hey, fuckhead, endearing? Yeah, exactly. It's endearing. Yeah, okay. Just try and get an idea. Hey, fucker, lovingly? It's that. Like, you, you jest, but, like, that is what it is. It's, it's all very much, like, in good humor. Oh, yeah, I need bricks as well. I forgot. You jest, but, like, that is what it is. Join the never called a teacher mom gang. It's honestly more popular than I thought. I more kids said more kids said told or called their teacher mom than I thought. Like I thought it was kind of a meme. But I guess kids actually out here calling them mom. I'm sorry if you did that. That sounds traumatic. Sounds traumatic. Alright, Ricking Angel. Have a wonderful rest of your night as well. Please forgive my insolence. I will use you as background noise while I prepare for the coming academic year. Enjoy your uh, studies, Samarmar. Enjoy your studies. Yeah, I'm surprised pretty much everyone, if you're in school, isn't back at this point. Oh, I have a stack of stone. Nice. I'm surprised most people aren't back at this point. Like, if you're, like, in school still, but you're not back yet... Like, what's stopping you? Oh, I think these brick walls... I think I actually need to sadly put these... In, at least one of them in the chest here. Because I think they're new in this version. Two days. Sheesh. Wait, two days. But it's a Thursday. It's a Thursday. So you're going back on Monday. Wouldn't that... There's no way you're going back on Saturday. Anyway, yeah, I think brick walls are new. So despite the fact that I want to use them to build with... I gotta put at least one of them in there. Unless they aren't new. Pretty sure they are, though. Pretty sure they are. Yeah. Yeah, and when were, like, cobblestone walls added? Hmm. I guess longer ago than I thought. Yeah, but there's no brick. Yeah, okay. I gotta go. Good night, everyone. Good night, Skitter. I don't start until next week. Yeah, two business days. Yeah, there you go. By the way, chat, speaking of business days, okay? And I don't know why this... Well, I actually do know why it reminded me of this. But, um... Y'all were telling me... And I'm not gonna blame you, okay? I'm not I'm not blaming you. Don't interpret this as me as blaming chat. Because... I, I You know how they say if something's too good to be true, it probably is? I should have known from the dang stizart that this was too good to be true. But I think you guys told me that if I paid off my student loans in between March of 2020 and now, I could have them refunded. As it turns out, you can have that money back, but then you have to pay off the loans again. So what it does is it essentially gives you the money back that you already used to pay off your loans, but then you gotta pay it off again. So it's basically like you're getting a loan of money that you already paid for, if you get what I mean. You can blame me. No, I'm not blaming you. I was just a little bit mad when I, when I learned that I'm not gonna get all that money back. I'm just gonna have, I, I can get it back, but then I gotta pay it off again. I don't know. But then again, just getting like, you know, then just getting all that back did sound a little bit too good to be true. Typical case of the headlines. I mean, dude, like, I called the student loan place to, like, ask if that's possible. And then they're like, no, this is how it works. And I was like, oh, okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Gunk. So, like, I did my research by calling them. And I heard it straight from the source that I couldn't do that. I didn't just read the headlines, because I actually made, I made an effort to, like, go out and do it. And when they said that you couldn't do that, I didn't protest it. I was just like, oh, okay, understandable. I didn't know that that's how it worked. Did you call them and then blame stream? No, I didn't blame stream. I was about to, though. I was about to be like, hey, but my Twitch chat told me. It was a very sweet older lady that, uh... Very, very sweet lady. Like, it's probably one of the nicest, like, 
receptionists that I've ever spoken to on the phone, usually they're very, like, bitter. Or probably for very good reasons. It doesn't seem like a fun job. But this very sweet lady that I spoke to who just very, like, calmly told me... Oh, so what you gotta do is... You got to... Well, you can do that. But you'll have to pay off the loans again. And I'm like, oh... Okay. So that's like how I have it, right? And then I think I put the stairs around the outside. But I just want that as a landing. I don't want to make this like a... I don't want to make this specifically like a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Imagine their face when I said, My Twitch chat told me. Yeah, I don't think they know what that is. I feel like the average receptionist probably isn't into Twitch that much. I still can't get over paying for an ambulance. I mean, I have insurance, so, like, my ambulance visits are not... Like, my ambulance rides are not even that expensive. But that's still crazy to someone who probably doesn't have to pay anything, right? Like, I got a better deal than probably most people do on an ambulance ride. Come on. I, I don't know why I just decided to sporadically do this. I just, I just really want to... I just really want to... There you go. I don't know why, but I had the urge. I had the urge to do that. Yeah, so anyway, my even my ambulance rides are, like, not even that bad compared to what a lot of people are. But the fact that I still do have to pay for it is, yeah, maybe a little shocking to some people. Across town cost me, like, 200 bucks, and that's, like, not bad. Is it is it crazy to say 200 bucks is not bad? I've seen people get charged in the thousands for that shit. Any conservatives who are planning to change UK student loans next year, though? I don't know, man. A lot of people from the UK are very smug about how we do things in America. It seems as though y'all are kind of headed down that path, you know? It seems like y'all are kind of headed down that path by the day. Just don't have your wallet on you and tell them you forgot your name and your SSN and then d they don't know where you live? Ooh. That's a good tip. Is that a good tip? Probably not. Don't do that. Um, either way. Now, how do we do... Should, should every, like, villager platform have, like, a bridge in between it? Or... How should I do, like, the bridge? How should I do, like, a bridge? Like... Probably not everyone arching. Just flat would probably be good. Yes, officer. My name is John Doe. I live at 123 Street Lane. Slabs? Yeah, maybe. My take on the villager platform? Let's take a look here. Let's take a freaking look. Hmm. I like this, actually. I do quite like this. Okay, so, like, you kind of got, like, hut roofs, but not, like, not like what I was thinking when I think someone, maybe even you, suggested to do, like, curved roofs. I like this, actually. I like this. This is pretty nice. I think that these are a little skinny. I think that these need to be a little bit further apart if it was me. So, basically, I would make these platforms just a little bit bigger, but other than that, I do really like what you got going on. I might want to make the, the pathway between them a little bit more elegant. But maybe keeping it simple is not a bad idea either. Maybe keeping it simple is not a bad idea either. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, someone's thinking with their freaking prefrontal cortex over here. Ooh. And the lanterns. Dude, I totally forgot those are in this version as well now. I like those. Mm, yes, that's very nice. I don't even know. Like, interesting. I would never think to do this with the glass panes in, like, this U-shape here. That's very interesting. Like, I don't even... Or is that glass? Is those... No, those have to be panes because they're, like, they're... They're into... I, I, they're panes, okay? I would never think to do that. I think iron bars might work a little bit better. It might make it feel like too much of a prison, though. 
Maybe iron bars would be good, though. I would try that with either glass or iron bars. I do really like that, and I would have never thought to do that. And then from the side, I like that. I like that, actually. I'm seeing it's very nice. Saturday in I like this for the execution of, like... Well, for the execution of, like, the path and, like, how they're going to be separated. Like, I really like the idea of having one on each side of the path. And then I really like this one for the actual design of the hut. Money! Black! I'm seeing bowling for suit Saturday. Yo, okay, fun story. And by that, I mean not a story really at all. And it's really not that fun. Anyway, I won a bowling for soup album at a like block party one time because I managed to get a hole in one on like a little putt putt thing. So like somebody set up like a little like putting green and I managed to sink a hole in one and my reward was a fucking bowling for soup album. I don't even like bowling for soup. They just gave it to me. Anyway, um thanks for the 10 bucks. Holy shit. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's a band. I don't know which one it was. You know, I bet if I was I, I bet if I saw the cover, I might be able to tell you. I bet you I bet you if I look at the bowling for soup. Bowling for soup albums. There's probably a lot of them, man. Probably a lot of them. Like Jeez, man. Album covers. I don't know if I would be able to tell you, honestly. Like. There is a lot here. Like, they have a lot of albums, probably. I don't remember, actually. I feel like it was older. I feel like it was older. Or maybe it was around the time where I actually won it. Because, like, that was the... I don't know. Maybe I don't know which one it was. Yeah, maybe I don't know which one it was. You know, like, 85 to 2022. It could be somewhere in between there. I have honestly no clue. Merry Flippin' Christmas? Holy shit, you need to watch that fucking language, man. I have no idea. Alright, I thought maybe I might have been able to recognize it. I have no idea. They were formed in 1994? I got a Google album suggestion that says Bowling for Soup, 1985. A hangover you don't deserve. Oh, that was a single 1985. Oh. All right, well, never mind then. That's one of the best white people songs. Interesting. Released in 2004. Cool. Yeah, 1985 is a song. I thought that was when they, when they were formed. Whoopsie. Alright, anyway. Um, cool. Is that the song that goes like, play that funky music, white boy? Is that that song? I never knew that was Bowling for Soup, if that is the case. I never knew. Alright, anyway. Um, I want a path. No, it's not. Fuck. Y'all just lying to me today. I just love lying to my ass. Sorry, my nose, I've been, like, itching my nose so much. I swear to God, I took an allergy medicine before stream today. Can I swim and turn that into a flying? Okay, kind of. What blocks are we missing? Oh, in this version, a lot. I'm not really worried about getting blocks today. I'm more worried about, um, I actually want to build some stuff today. I actually want to build some stuff today. So, like, what would be good for a, like, bridge? I'm in the waiting room for therapy right now. Ooh, good luck. Sand? I don't know if I should use sand. The game still doesn't recognize your skin? Oh, honestly, it does. I had to change to a Steve skin, though, for the Minecraft thumbnails. Actually, I don't even have my skin on anymore. So yeah, on it, I, I think that I could probably put my skin back and it would register it, but yeah. Had a double ad, dag for 20 seconds, and then another double ad? Ooh, I'm sorry. 
At least you got a little bit of me sandwiched in between the ads. Four ads in a row now? Sorry. I, I wish I could control them. I really do. So I was thinking for a path, of course, lining it with logs is never a bad idea. Maybe line it with a... The problem is, like, do I really want it to be flat? Or do I want to put a little coive on it? 45 minute drive home from work? Ooh, that's a long drive. Holy shit, that's like an hour and a half of traveling every day. That's insane. Dagnall, pet the what are we making, what are today? We making today? So we are making a villager trading area. I don't know if I'd call it like a hall, as most people often describe their villager trading areas, but it's definitely going to be like a area where I bring all my villagers together and have that be like where I put them all. Since this is the village and pillage update that I'm working on now, I wanted a um I wanted an area to take advantage of, you know, the big thing that this update introduced. And so I thought might as well start working on an area where I can bring all my villagers together. Maybe a trading mall, yeah, like but it's on water. Just kind of cool. Raise the platform up one block and then the bridge can be one block above water. Raise the platform up one block, and then the bridge can be one block above the water. Wait, I don't know what you mean. So raise this up one block. Are you north or south of L.A.? I'm north of L.A. Because, well, everything above north, everything north of L.A. is, of course, NorCal, right? Even though, like, I'm really in the middle. Yeah, that's true. Mr. Bezos is barely making ends meet. He wouldn't be able to survive unless he ran those four straight ads. Yeah, you know what? That's Maybe that is kind of what I'm trying to base it off of. Like the night market in Stardew. Maybe that is like subconsciously what I'm trying to do is build like the night market in Stardew. That's actually really good. Maybe that's subconsciously what I've been trying to do this whole time. I drove from where I live, but is below Los Angeles, all the way to Bakersfield and back. It was like eight hours of driving. Bakersfield and back. It was eight hours of driving. For work? That's insane. Yeah, I'm single-handedly keeping Jeff Bezos in business here. I do feel like this is a little flat here. A little flat. Maybe I should raise it up one. Maybe instead of... Okay, 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 okay. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. I had to go pick up a dryer. Oh, I was about to say, man. Eight hours commuting to work? You better fucking live at work at that at that rate. You better be fucking living there. Is that a skeleton horse in the background? It is. I actually have a few skeleton horses. Do I have ender poils? No. Sage. Two hours from LA, Dag, if you're in Baco, I'll give you money directly. No. <laughs> no. Even if I did live in Bakersfield, um, I would not want to have people give me money directly. No. Don't do that. Slabs at the bottom of the block. Um what I was thinking, I don't know if that if this is what you're kind of getting at here. What I was actually thinking about is like this, and then just like a couple of stairs here. Get rid of this gravel. I don't need your fucking gravel. I mean, I will want more of these. I probably shouldn't get rid of it. No, but I'm like, I don't want to reveal too much, but um, I'm not near LA. I'm in California, but I'm not near LA. Yes, we exist. Which I guess, like, that would pretty much be... I mean, that's the entire Bay Area, really. So. And then... One vertical one like this. Just give it, like, a little bit of depth. Don't keep it completely flat is kind of what I was thinking, you know? Don't keep it completely flat. Have it go up one, and then you can do the slabs. California is fucking huge. Yeah. It is fucking huge. That's something that I think people don't remember enough. Don't dox yourself. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to dox myself. 
And maybe like, a, or do a full block along this way here. Collect all these as well. And then, I mean, that looks a little awkward just kind of being like that. So we could do a stair here, stair here. And then half slabs to connect these. Yeah, that's not bad. And then shit, maybe another stair. Another stair like this. Dag the builder. Yo, I'm kind of popping off though. And instead of these being full blocks, now they can go back to these being slabs. Yo, I'm kind of popping off here. I'm actually like, I'm, I'm building, dude. I'm doing it. I'm insane. Fuck. I'm trying to, at least. There you go. Building in front of a live studio audience is stressful, man. That's why I never did it in Animal Crossing. See, now I kind of want this log to be a stair now. Oh, no, never mind. I like that. <laughs> that, that fixed it. We visited... We drove, like, ten hours to visit to Frisco to get home in one night. Okay. I don't live in San Francisco. Please don't call it Frisco. I, people in San Francisco get really mad when you do that, okay? I'm just going to tell you right now. I don't live in San Francisco. I'm not going to be particularly t perturbed by it, okay? I just want to let you in a little, little trade secret here. Don't call it Frisco. Don't do it. They hate it. You're going to get your ass beat by, like, some coked out by, I don't know. Just don't do it, okay? It's a city in Texas. No, I understand that. But, like, when you're talking about San Francisco, please don't say Frisco. You're going to get your ass beat, okay? Don't call it San Fran. Don't call it, if you're in New York City, don't call it the Big Apple. If you're in Philadelphia, don't call it the city of brotherly love. Spend 10 minutes in Philadelphia. You'll know that's not true. Don't call it the Queen City, which is, like, what every city claims to be. So don't do it. We live in Rancho Cucamonga. That's true. We do live in Rancho Cucamonga. Solely for the name. So this looks okay from out here. It looks okay. Why do you have two beds of a single player? Because, what? You don't want, like, a... If you live by yourself, you wouldn't want a giant bed for yourself? Bro. It, I want to... If I lived by myself, I would still have, like, a huge bed. Hot Lana? Oh my god, that makes me mad. And I don't even live on the freaking coast over there. Jesus. Oh god, don't do that. Do people call it Hot Lana? Oh god, don't do that. Yeah, it's for me and Stan the man. Eh, clunk. Okay. And then, I think, honestly, just doing, like, more slabs along the side here is fine and then line it with um maybe like some sort of wall block some stone wall block yeah like live by yourself but get a big ass bed you might as well do i do stone walls my favorite uh isn't the stone wall from like the civil war or my no no you know who i'm thinking of i'm thinking of cornwall he was a uh he was a... I think he was a... He was a general, I think. Cornwall. I remember because I used to live in... Um, I used to live in Greensboro. And there was the Guilford County Courthouse. And that was like a huge part of the Civil War. Stonewall Jackson, that's who I was thinking of, yeah. Okay, so let me get like a far away perspective of how this looks here. There was also Cornwallis. Yeah, that might have been his name. <laughs> that might have been his name as well. Um, hmm. I actually don't love it. I, I think that the stone walls are too bulky. I think they should be like fences, not walls. I think it should be fences, not walls. Or maybe not exist at all. Maybe not exist at all. I don't know. I don't love this. I don't love these. What about fences? Yeah, just like... I don't know, but like spruce fences. That's too much spruce, don't you think? Maybe I could mix in some... Oak fences? What would be a good fence color to go with this 
spruce here. How are you going to get off the bridge? There's eventually going to be a big uh, way to get on there from over there. But I got to think of how I'm going to do that. Birch or dark oak? I think the birch would clash too much. Maybe dark oak. I wish I had some on me. I wish I had some on me. I think over here should be where the first stall is as well. Might as well, right? Stone brick fence? That's what we just tried, and I don't really like it very much. Yeah, we got dark oak, though. We got dark oak. I think I should start the first one. One, two, three. Let's start it, like, right here. This will be where one villager platform is. This will be where another one is. I like it a lot as is. I don't think it's bad without any, like, uh, fences on it, but I don't know. Can chains go horizontally between individual fence posts? Chains go... Holy shit, yeah, there's chains in this, isn't there now? Jesus. Um, It's not bad as it is, though, yeah. Oop, hi. But I do wish that it was, like, a little bit more than just flat, you know? Then again, I mean, with all the stalls, you may just not even, like, bother looking at it, you know? Maybe chains are later. I honestly don't know if those are in this update. I forget how to make them. So even if I did know, then I wouldn't... Or even if I, like... I don't know. Even if I did know how to make them. I don't even know if they're in this update. Right, so dark oak. I do have some dark oak logs. Let's try a couple of these. And then make some fizences out of those. It's like that, right? There we go. I think they're in the nether update. Yeah, you know what? You're probably right about that because chains are part of, like, bastions, I think. I think they're, like, part of the structure of bastions. Help me. Help me. There you go. There we go. We got it. Doc says 1.16. All right. Makes sense. So, no, chains are not a thing yet. One, two, three... Yeah, so it's a little bit like, it does contrast. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing, then, is the question. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Should I bring it all the way over here? Should I... What does it look like with it in the back? One iron ingot and two nuggets. Oh, interesting. It's not bad from over here. I don't know. I guess I will keep it for right now. And if I find something better in the future. Darker planks in the corner. Oh, do you think instead of that spruce log being there, you think that should be like a stripped dark oak log maybe? Could try that. That might make it look a little bit better. I'm not huge on it, but I don't hate it. I'm not huge on it, but I don't hate it. What if we tried, yeah, instead of stripped spruce, we did... Dark? Oak? Did I really just grab- Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Maybe we can try that. I just got here, how's the progress? Oh, we're really not progressing as far as blocks right now. Right now, I'm actually doing a little building. Doing a little building. I can do villager platforms taller than the bridge? I don't know how I'm gonna do them, actually. I don't know how I'm gonna do them. I think everything about this build is take it as it comes. That's usually, like, how I choose to build in this game. For better or for worse, I usually just, like, let it come to me as I'm building it. Instead of, like, pre-planning out the entire building and then just simply going from there. Shit, maybe I don't strip it, though? Let's try stripping it. Oh, I do like stripping. It definitely makes the transition between the dark oak and the spruce a little bit nicer. The fact that you have this sort of transitionary block here. I do not hate that. I do not hate that. Yeah, I think stripped is usually how I prefer it. But, you know, maybe I default to it too often. And maybe I should give the woods a chance, you know? Alright, and then a few more of these so that we can start working on the 
villager platforms here. So the villager platforms, let me pull up. I really do like how... Um, yeah, I think I will raise the platforms up a little bit before actually building the platforms themselves. Yeah. So this was the uh, idea for the actual villager huts, I guess you could call them. So... In this example, they're being built up with stone brick stairs, which I think is a good idea. And then this one, they're built up with oak slabs. I don't know which one I prefer, but yeah, maybe unstripped. I don't know. Maybe. And then, of course, I actually have to build the villager hut platforms themselves, which are two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, right. I did them seven by seven. So maybe we should start with just doing that and then figure out how to build up to them in the future. Hi. Hi. I'm curious, will my Kowiwi sweater get green screened? Oh, will your Kowiwi sweater get green screened? I don't know. No. Actually, yeah, not really. It doesn't get green screened. No, pretty good. Yeah, your new your new Kowiwi sweater. So cute. You should wear it. It's kinda stinks. It doesn't stink. It smells like it was definitely in the mail for like two weeks. Yeah. Or yeah, that as well. Kawaii Desune. I think that I think you just posted weeb. I think you just posted weeb, my friend. Alright. Um I think I'll start the platforms. I'm going to need a lot of stone brick stairs if I'm going to do this. Because that's going to be the border of them. I think we'll start them three blocks out seems good. And then here will be where the stairs start. Oops. Okay. You may not know what I'm doing right now, but it'll come together. Okay, I promise. Give me like this many. Sure. There we go. I'm going to need even more than that, honestly. So let's see. We want that to be the edge. So we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven by seven on the stairs. Does that connect? Like did that corner off there? Four, five, six, seven. And do a square. A squiz air, even. Just doing stream, what are we doing? Villager uh, areas. Since this is the village and pillage update 1.14, I felt it only necessary to give the villagers... Shit, what am I doing? Wait, can't you use that stone cutter to make the stairs so much more efficiently now? Oh shit, isn't that in the game? Oh, dude, I should be using that. I'm like wasting resources crafting them like this. Oh, mama mia. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta call me out on this shit, man. Oh my god, what are you guys here for if you're not here to call me out? Also, I wanted to raise it up one. Fuck. I went for a run with the boy, and now I'm gonna sit and eat dinner? Yo, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. I was also gonna fucking raise it up one, but I'm dumb. God fucking bless America. Alright. I think villagers don't need rights? What a horrible comment. Enjoy your dindins, yeah. People call the word kawaii anime talk. That's the word for cute in Japanese. It's used in everyday life. Okay, counterpoint though. Every time I hear someone say kawaii, they are a huge weeaboo. Now, I understand kawaii is a word in Japanese, but understand when I say that every time someone says kawaii, it's because they're a fucking weeb. I've never heard someone say kawaii to describe something, and they've never watched anime before. What's up, Hisesis? How are you doing? If anyone's saying it in English, it's because they're a raving weeaboo. Which is fine. I don't judge. Out loud. I'm always judging, but I won't make those judgments known to the person that I'm judging. I'll just keep- I'll keep it all up in here. And anyone that says you don't do that, get real, alright? Don't lie to me. How do you make the stone cutter? 
Wait, I have a book for this, don't I? How do I, I have a book for this? Hang on. I this is I, I gotta use the book. Okay. Stone cutter. Have I learned the recipe for that yet? Is what I got the damn book for. I've never heard you not say it as Kowee Wee. Yeah, that's just funnier. Right. Three smooth stone and an iron ingot. Alright, easy enough. I love that I used to be a hater of the crafting book, dude. If you'd believe it, I used to be a fucking hater. Now I'm a believer. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I'm a fucking believer now, dude. I love that shit. The thing is awesome. Because, like, I, I'm so far gone from, like, knowing every recipe in the game to where now I'm, like, it's so handy to have, like, a book of all, all like, crafting recipes. Yeah, now I'm in 1.14. Surprise! Yeah, I'm quite far ahead on the Twitch stream versus where I am on YouTube. Yeah, it's like a portable wiki, man. It's great. It's great. Ah. I don't trust people who say they don't judge. Yeah, like, everyone judges. It's a natural human thing. Humans are judgmental things. That's, like, part of our, like, evolutional instinct is to judge a situation to determine, like... Or judge a person to determine whether they're friendly, or judge a situation to determine whether it's safe, you know? Like, that's why we have evolved. Of course we judge. That's, like, what we're supposed to do. Yeah, like, I'm not 12 anymore. My brain is not nearly as malleable to, like, remember every single fucking recipe in the game. It's nice to have that book. I used to be a hater. I was like, oh, I don't need this. I'm too much of a gamer for this. Now I'm like, I'm a book believer now. Judging people and judging people's interests? Of course. At the same time, like, I do still judge people's interests as well. It could be good. It could be bad. But I'm not going to say it to them because, honestly, I'm very much a believer in live and let live. As long as you let me, you know, just allow me the liberty to judge you for the way that you live sometimes. That's fine. Just as I would expect people to judge me for the way that I live. Judge these nuts across your face? You need to calm down, man. You need to fucking settle down. You need to settle the fuck down. Two, three, four, five, six. Fuck! And I didn't put the damn stone cutter down! Well, actually, I think the slabs do give you the same amount as you would have gotten from the stone cutter, so... No big deal, really. No big deal. People judge me for playing Minecraft, and that's fine. Isn't it cool to play Minecraft now? Like, people who play Minecraft are cool. It's the people who play Fortnite that are lame, right? I think that's how it works. I think the future, or rather, the past is now, old man. You can't do it with uh, wood, though, sadly. Yeah, like, now you're cool for playing Minecraft, aren't you? Everyone loves Minecraft. It's, I mean, how could you not? Alright, so how did I do the platforms here again? I just did stripped logs. And then I do them into... Oh, interesting. Did I do full blocks instead of half slabs? Oh, interesting. I guess I could do it like that. It'd, it'd save resources, if anything, to do it like that. Alright, quickly make me... Quickly grab this, and then don't back out, don't back out, don't back out. I turned them all into slabs! Fuck! Oh, god damn it. I didn't mean to turn them all into slabs. Shit, I was panicking because it was going to kick me out of the window. Because I was sinking into the water. Oh, well. Alright, and then... Well, no, 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 no. Actually, 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 actually. Not like this yet. Do it like... This... I know it's kind of a waste to do it from all the way to the bottom, but, like, that's how you gotta do it. That's how it looks good. That's how it looks good. Why does Elon Musk breed so fucking much? How many kids does he have? Does I, I only know the one kid with, like, the fucked up name. How many kids does he have? I only knew the one. So many? Really? I only ever knew the one kid, the one with, like, the fucked up, like, XE12 name. Six kids? I mean, that's a lot. 
but at the same time, like, a lot of the reason why people don't have more kids is because they don't have enough money, which is really not so much a concern for Elon Musk, I don't think. But, yeah, that's definitely, like, pushing it. He had eight kids from many women? Eight's a lot. That's a lot. Full-grown adult child and then a baby. I mean, I had a co-worker kind of like that. He wasn't, like, you know, pumping him out, but he had, um, he had a kid. He was, like, in his, like, 40s for context, and I was in my, like, early 20s when I met him. And he had a kid that was, like, my age. Because he had a kid when he was, like, in his 20s. And then... I have no more clay. Hmm. And then he had another kid. He actually had two kids that are my age. And then he had another kid who, um, who was born when I was working with him. So he has four kids, two that were born, like, who, two that are about my age, and then now two who are, like, young kids themselves. Which is kind of fucked up. Like, I, you know, his life, I'm not gonna tell him what to do. But that's kind of fucked up because he's going through parenthood again. And I'm like, wait a minute. You already got through the tough part of raising a kid from age 0 to 18 and you're going to do it again? That's crazy. It's crazy because he's basically like... He had kids once, they grew up, and now he's done with fatherhood. But no, he said, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do the whole 0 to 18 thing again. And I'm like, man, that's wild. A lot of people don't even want to do it once. You're out here doing it twice. Anyway, he wasn't really like, you know, he was a kid's person. I mean, he was a very friendly guy. But, um, right, the village is over here somewhere as well. I need clay. He was a nice guy, though. In defense of Elon, he had two sets of twins and one set of triplets. It's maybe not all... Okay, well that, you know, puts a little bit into perspective, but still. Imagine having twins and triplets and then still not being done. Like, still being like, hell yeah, more. Like, that's what I find surprising. I should really have Silk Touch for this, but oh well. Friend's sister is 25 years older. Pull-out game still weak. Like, that's gonna be quite jarring to have a sibling that's so much older or younger than you, right? My sister is, like, my age. She was born, like, one and a half years before I was born. We basically had the same childhood as a result of the fact that we were just, like, kids at the same age. I couldn't imagine having a sister that's, like... 10, 15 years older than I am. Like, how do you bond? How do you relate? Like, when your sibling's a teenager, you're like an infant baby. And when you're a teenager, they're like, they got, they're grown up. They got their own job, right? There's gotta be, make it hard to like, I don't know, like, do they even feel like a sibling at that point? More like a cousin that was born like way before you. I do not know how to interact with them. How could you, right? They're just like completely different people. They're just completely different people versus what you are. Which is fine. Me and my sister, though, we had, like, very similar childhoods because we were both, you know, children. We are the same age, basically. Seven years younger than me and is, like, my best friend. Seven years is not that much, but... I mean, yeah, that's cool, though. That's cool. I feel like if you guys were the same age, you'd be mortal enemies, though. <laughs> Usually, siblings are not often best friends. Usually, they're like mortal enemies. Sworn enemies. Now, I'm not saying me and my sister were at each other's throat all the time, but like, would I ever call her my best friend? When you- If you asked me at 12 years old if my sister was my best friend, I'd be like, No! My sister stinks! So I feel like that's kind of the difference there. I feel like that's kind of the difference between you and me. No, oh, my sister is poo-poo-poo-poo poo -poo doo doo Hard to get along with as a kid? Yeah, and then you grow up and you realize, like, hey, we got a lot more in common than you we might have thought. She got cooties! My sister's a still poo-poo doo doo, man. Sometimes you never grow out of the poo-poo doo doo phase. Sometimes one or the two of both of you. 
never stop calling each other poo poo doo doo heads. And that's fine. That's cool. All right, there's my village. Right. I should not be around that village at night because I do not want. I do not help. I do not want that getting uh, attacked by zombies. Do not want that getting attacked by zombies. Okay, I gotta go like this way. It's, a, it's very interesting. There's a jungle here. Very weird. It's like the tiniest little jungle. Does it continue? Could I, like, get bamboo here, maybe? What a weird terrain generation, dude. It's like fucking Moses parting the Red Sea here. It's very strange. Very strange what my world has come to here. Yeah, there's a, those are probably going to be the villagers that I end up kidnapping. My niece's favorite insult is melon head. Ooh, that digs deep, man. That digs really deep. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. That hurts. <laughs> Fucking melon head. My brother is for real a doo doo head. For real, he's a doo doo head. <sighs> My pop pop is the second youngest of 12. Holy shit. That means you got 12 aunts and uncles, dude? Holy fuck. That's insane. Having 12 aunts and uncles. That's wild. I got, like, a few. I got, like, a handful of them. That's crazy to me. Now I gotta break all these, and I gotta put them in the chizest. Or the flaintness, rather. Owns a lake and has 20 siblings, and he's so much proof that it's true. Huh? Huh? It's moved my little sister kept saying that she was going to be sad we didn't get along very well, but now she tells my mother she misses me and sometimes calls me to show me the how the tables turn it. I mean, that's like... That's how, like... I mean, absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? As they say. Probably do... How many chests do I have? Ten? Yeah, so just do, like, one coal block in all of them. Uh, throw a stack on there. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, as they say. What's up, Assisi? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright, that's probably it. Yeah, and then we'll throw... One of these in the rest of the chests. Why are you 14 versions behind on the YouTube videos? Uh, because uh, it takes time to edit them and then make them into the YouTube videos. Like, really, the only explanation to it is that it takes a long time to edit those videos down. And I, it doesn't take a whole lot to chug through all the versions. So I go through the versions faster than I can edit them down, is the simple explanation. You ever going back to Animal Crossing? Maybe. There's no telling when burnout will subside. There's no telling. Please update the inventory. This man has clay falling out of his pockets. Like, isn't it amazing how this game has had so many versions ever since we had the inventory? And yet the inventory hasn't changed since, like, 2009. It's crazy. Crazy. Anyway, give me some of these. So that gives you one per. That's quite nice, actually. This stone cutter is a freaking saving grace. I'm just worried that these are going to look a little too chicken leggy. You get what I mean? Like, a little too skinny. Like, you're going to look at this and be like, how the hell are them chicken leg bricks holding up that platform? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, consider that you also have these giant wood pillars underneath there, and also consider the fact that you're trying to apply logic to Minecraft, and you may not worry about it too, too much, but I don't know. How she even get them britches on? Last inventory change was 1.9 with offhand. Yeah, but even that only really adds one extra slot. And they're, they put the offhand there as to imply, like, they, they got a shield logo here. They're kind of implying that they want you to use a shield for that. 
But in reality, I never use a shield. Piece of stone at the water level to make it look like concrete? Yeah, maybe. Offhand is useless, useless on bedrock? Why? I don't play bedrock. I have no idea. Have a backpack with shulkers? I guess you could see shulkers as like a inventory as like an inventory uh, upgrade, but at the same I would argue that considering shulkers are like I don't really think that they're that end game. They don't take a whole lot of time to get, but you definitely have inventory problems well before you got you bet, well before you get to the part of the game where shulkers are a thing. So I don't know. Yeah, so maybe like a stone brick at the base of these, maybe? It straight up doesn't work. So like... How very weird. You can only put totems of undying, nautilus shells, and like two other things total? What the hell is the benefit of putting a nautilus shell? I imagine you could do... A shield and a totem of undying. Surely they let you use a shield in the offhand. That's what the fucking offhand was made for. For the most part. Like, you literally... In Java, you could put anything in your offhand. Anything at all. Why wouldn't they give you that ability in... In order to use your shield, you have to crouch? Huh? What? What the fuck? What? That's the fucking point of that. I learned that shields could be much worse? Yeah. I already don't like using them in this game. In Java. And you're telling me that they're like that in Bedrock? Good god. Alright, don't tell anyone. These aren't actually stone brick blocks. These are just slabs. But it's our little secret, okay? Shh, 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 shh. It's our little secret. What are you building? A place to... Yeah, that looks much better. I like that. Much, much better. And actually, that makes it so that I could do this. Cool. Um, place to keep villagers. Because after all, it is the village and or pillage update. I'm going to do this. Just I I'm going to do this temporarily, okay? Don't get mad at me. I'm tired of having to use fireworks every time I want to get back up. Um, yeah, I'm having a place to keep villagers, is what I'm doing. Creepers almost make almost no noise till they explode. Hmm, I mean, they are called creepers. A creeper. But I can see the annoyance in that, for sure. Can see the annoyance in that. Hmm. And then maybe some spruce platforms to go up there, like that one image on Discord did. Borf? Why Borf? So, one, two, three, and then, is that going to break the whole thing? No, good. Like this. Yeah, like that. Spruce logs, best logs, he's spitting facts. Ha like him or hate him, he's spitting facts. I always play with subtitles on and no sound. Yeah, I don't use the subtitles feature, but, um... I like it for finding where mobs are in a cave. Like, if I'm trying to find, like, a mob or something, and I can hear it, but I can't locate it, because my, like, auditory hearing is horrible... Then, I like it for that purpose. I like it for that purpose. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think they got subtitles on Bedrock. Really? I mean, I knew that Bedrock had things that Java doesn't have, and then vice versa. It seems like... Yeah, I like that. Um, it seems like... It's more definitely things that Java has that Bedrock doesn't have. When I thought that it was like kind of kind of fair, you know, even across the board. And then what about maybe dark oak slabs to contrast that? Dark oak slabs like this maybe? Oh, uh, I'm gonna do this. Stripped dark oak slabs. 
Yeah. Is there a spectator mode? Really? Just interesting. Learning a lot today. Learning a lot today. Redstone behaves differently. So, like, something that you build in Java won't work on Bedrock. So it's like a redstone contraption. I thought that... I mean, is that intended? Like, do they really want to make them, like, two separate games? And, like, all of this is kind of, like, intentional behavior? Or are they, like, genuinely just being dumb? They do. It just seems like... I don't know. There's ways to make the versions different without making them, like... I don't know. Noticeably worse. Oh, wait. You know what? I actually have a good idea for this. Not bricks like this, but actually... Um... Do you have... I don't. Some of these. I wish... Why doesn't that give you six, man? That's so annoying. The stone cutter gives you six now. Um, I want to do that as a corner, though. Like... Can I corner this block? And have it, like, curve around? Like this. I want this, but I want it here. But I don't think I can do that, can I? It sucks. That's what I wanted to do. Like that, maybe? Eh, I don't really like that. I don't know. I guess that's not bad. I wanted it to be, like, the corner one, though. Temp replace the slab with a stair. I think it'll go back, though, as soon as I change it. Like, I want that, but as soon as I break this, yeah, it goes back to that. Sad. What's up, Jake Lufflin? What's up? Both are for PC now, but Java was originally for PC. Yeah, Java is only PC. Isn't Bedrock, like, PC and then everything else? LMAO. Bro, tell me how to say your name and I'll start saying it right. In Bedrock, you can bone meal sugarcane? Yeah, I want that for Java. I want that for Java. I want... I've been eager for that feature in Java. Sometimes you just need su your sugarcane now. Sometimes you just need that shit now. It's my sugarcane and I need it now, for God's sakes. And then maybe like that, just to make it a little bit nicer. Oh, maybe like... <laughs> I don't know. Building with wood is so hard, man. Building with water, like... I don't know. Yeah, see, that sucks. Because now this looks like a checker pattern, and I don't like that. But now I guess I can get rid of this. Since you can't even see it up there anyway now. Because I got the thing on top of it. And then change this to the fence. Or the stair. Help. Yeah, there we go. Now change that to that. And then that to that. And then... <laughs> uh, sorry if it's hard to see. I think maybe just keep it simple, stupid. Well, K-I-S-S. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just keep it simple, huh? Dark oak stair? No, I think stairs just in general don't really work there. I think stairs just in general don't really work. Alright. That's fine. I have a Mac and I have Java. Well, yeah, because Java's for Mac. My real name is Jay Lee, pronounced J Lee. But it's okay if you don't remember. Okay, I'll try, but I can't promise. I can't promise. Slabs better than stairs? I can't math? Yeah, I think the slabs as they are now, I think is what you mean, right? I think as they are now, I agree. I think that those look better than the stairs do. The stairs look a little too clunky. A little too funky and or clunky. Ooh, can I get the sniper dual achievement? Okay, hang on. Check it out, chat. Okay, hang on. Check it out. Hang on. You gotta you gotta wait. You gotta hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, just hold on. Just 
How did that miss? What? Oh, he's gonna die not from the arrow, though. Wait, no, he didn't die. Hang on. How did that miss? Come on, now. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Oh! Get the fuck out of here! Shit! Come at me with that fucking bow and arrow bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Where is the narrator? Dagnal underscore says ratio. Interesting. I guess he doesn't announce that. Seems kind of weird. Narrator. Narrator. Done? Narrate system button. Options. Done button. See, this is not Controls. What I want. Button. Contr options. Narrator. 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 Narrates chat. I thought that that would count as chat. Ooh. Interesting. Well, either way. Now I don't like this. <laughs> Fuck! Now I don't like this, because I don't like this little bit of wood that's sticking out of the corner here. Urgh. I can never get this shit right. Blue candy. Thanks for the 14 months in a row. Howdy. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Enjoy another month of emotes and ad-free viewing. You can use stripped wood? Oh! I know. You're so... Fucking right. Oh, but you can't do it. You have to make the wood and then strip it? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, God. That's so annoying. So now I got this uneven amount. And oh, my Lord. Oh, but that's so much better. You're so right. Ooh! What's up, September? Mining and crafting is going good. I actually really am not doing much of either of those today. He stops talking if you press tab. Can I knock out, like, another advancement really quickly? Uh, probably not the end one, huh? Like, uh, fucking, uh, shit. Oh, fuck, I'll piss. Oh, god damn it. Um, construct a better pickaxe? Like, what if I drop this one and then pick it up? No? Come pull it out of the crafting window? No. I don't think I interrupted it, though. I don't think I did. Um, okay, so anyway, we now have this. Now... Wait, 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 no, 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 don't, no, don't do that. Don't, no, 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 no. Okay, let me go to the Discord here. Because I'm going to basically copy-paste this person's idea completely. That's a good idea for the museum. Okay, so here is what I'm stealing. <laughs> for lack of a better term, because I'm going to be honest with you. I am just straight up stealing your design. So, fences, mm, okay, fences in like a U-shape here, stone, or, uh, spruce fences in like a U-shape along both sides here with, okay, I'm gonna need to like keep this open in like another tab here. I'm gonna need to like keep this open because I'm going to have to reference that way too much. Okay. Allowing carrying larger stacks of torches, like up to 256, or just fucking, like, quit doing the multiple of 16 bullshit that every game insists on doing. Do it like fucking Terrari, where it goes up to 999. Fuck it, dude. Go crazy, if you ask me. You might as well. Go fucking insane. Go psycho mode. Alright, and then any more spruzus? That's what I call spruce wood. Yeah, go stupid, in my opinion. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Okay. Like that. And then, like, in a U-shape. So, like, here, 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 here. How high did you do it? Three. Okay. So, one more. And one more like that. Here. Here, here. Here, here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then three tall spruce wood behind the outer edge of this. Okay, unstripped. Or no, do you have it stripped? I think it's unstripped. I think I'm going to keep it unstripped. I got too much stripped wood here. I think we need a little unstripped as well. 64 will stop being a funny number. 64 isn't a funny number. I think it's a stupid number. I hate it. 
My neurodivergent need to have everything perfectly even could not handle that. I think you'd get used to it, but maybe. I don't know. Might be able to get used to it, though. So I assume you have stripped wood like this, if you're going to do them in this corner. Oh, wait, but that's not how it is at all. Hang on. Is that how you did it? Yeah, it is how you did it. Okay. Well, in that case, then you got glass panes. I'm going to have to get glass panes. And then on top of that, you have... Are these um, slabs? or These are slabs, right? They're not stairs. These are slabs. And then this is like a top slab above that, I think. Fuck it. Everything stacks to 24. Fuck it. Nothing stacks anymore. Yeah! There you go! Oh, wait. They are stairs? Oh, okay. Your field of view must be insane. Those are like... Interesting. All right. You could extend it back further. I could. Yeah. Didn't they make an April Fool's of that? Did they? Oh, God. That's not a very funny joke. April Fool's is supposed to be funny, man. That's not funny. That's horrible. So it's just stairs all around. Hardcore, no stacks, all suffering. I mean, I don't like it when games make a hard mode of the game by just making it annoying. Like, they don't even add, like, a challenge to the game. They just make the existing game more annoying, and then they call it hard mode. <clears throat> Terraria hard mode. <clears throat> uh, or, sorry, master mode, rather. But, um, yeah, I don't like it when they do that. So true. Your FOV is normal? Why do those look like stairs to me? And now since I made all of my fucking durr things into slabs, now I got no more fucking stone bricks to turn into stairs. Fuck my ass. Let's go back to this. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need motherfucking... Uh, right, let's pull up the side profile here. Right, okay, so you have a 3 by 3 you have a 3x3, three three, and then you got another stack of logs right here. Good. Good. If you need more screenshots, let me know. I might... I think I can do it. I think I can do it from here. And then... Just gotta tab out. Okay, so I think what you did... I think what you did is you did stairs... You did it right here and right here. So, like, you cornered it off right there, I think, is what you did. And then you did a 3x3 three three of, like, a stripped wood pattern on the side here. Okay, I think that's what you did. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Coolio. And then... I'm gonna need glass. I need glass and I need more stone bricks now. Help me. All right, on my light right now. Scaling enemy health doesn't make the game harder, it just makes you grind more. Yeah, things that developers don't want to hear. But that's... I don't know. You can just... Luckily, Terraria is a great game that... is guilty of that, but at the same time... just lives on its... It, it could literally, like, they could ruin the game and it would still be a well-loved game. Just because of the fact that it has the... I don't know, just the endearing fan base that it does, you know? They can get away with doing shit like that because they've done enough good to counteract the bad. So, I need more stone bricks and I need slab, or sorry, glass. Glass. And also my bricks are done. Get this flint out of here, fuck. Oh look, new recipes unlocked, chat. Should I do stained glass? I wonder, do we think that there would be a color of stained glass here that would work better than just regular glass panes, I wonder? Anyone else here traveling two states away from Ohio to their Canfield Fair? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Is there a color of stone or of glass pane that might work better there, I wonder? Hmm... Brown or gray? I think brown would be too much brown. I think we need to... I think if anything... We need to step away from the two colors that we've been using so much. Maybe 
maybe the glass color could be indicative of the type of villager that it is, sort of like what the banner is doing. Like, the banner, I think the, the, the reasoning behind the banner is to easily signify which villager it is. So maybe we could match the banner color with the glass color that we use. Ooh. Yeah, like maybe red if it's uh if we want to match it with like a red banner would be good. Hmm. Or I don't know, maybe it would look really tacky and we should just do regular glass and then the red banner. Ooh. Dark blue. Well, I think we would change it depending on what kind of villager it is. So really we'd have to like associate villager colors with or villager types with colors. So it really would depend on what villager I want to put in here. I guess the closest one I would want is a librarian, which might be good for like a white white stained glass. You did hear Stanley. He's borking at something. What he borks at, no one knows. Let's try white, which I think I can now do with this. Yeah, that's how you make white dye. Don't really know why they changed that, but either way. Fair enough. God, why did you make it so that you fucking you get leftover glass here, man? It's so fucking annoying. Sorry, sorry. I need to calm down. I need to relax. I need to settle down. Okay, I need to. I need to calm down. I need to relax. I need to relax. Yeah, it's just borking. Um, I should put these, uh, I, I should put fucking slime balls away and these spruce fucking things. Don't need those. A house centipede just crawled over my foot? I think you might need to, like, cut off your foot. Might be the only solution that I can see. I think you gotta cut off your foot, man. I think you're done. I think you're done and dusted. That foot might have to go now. Or move, yeah. I saw... Actually, I don't even want to talk about this. I don't, I don't want to say what I was going to say. Cool redstone, thank you. I don't want to say what I was going to say. It's too disgusting. But it had to do with bed bugs. That's as far as I can say. It's as far as I could say. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. I remember one time... There was a trip that um, our work sent us on. Not me. I wasn't a part of this one, luckily. But uh, our workplace sent us on a trip to go train somewhere. And the place that they sent us... Uh, this, keep in mind, this is definitely like a multi-million dollar company that sent us on this work trip. Privately owned multi-million dollar company that sent us on this work trip. And... The motel that they sent us to, yes, the fucking, like, Motel 6 that they sent us to, had bed bugs. So not only could they not shell out for, like, a decent hotel, they found one that had, like, fucking bed bugs in it. Luckily, I only heard this experience anecdotally and did not experience it for myself because that is fucking disgusting. This is how you did that, right? Yeah, yeah, you did, like, a giant... Did like a giant U-shaped here. Should I keep... Well, as long as I don't have the roof, I can climb over it. And counter that with my high school, my notoriously underfunded high school, sent us to the Gaylord National Resort in National Harbor, Maryland, when I went on my little uh, science... When I went on my like little science and technology uh, school trip... They sent us to a fucking resort. I don't know how that makes sense at all. I To this day, I don't know why the hell they sent us to such a nice place, but they did. It was incredible. That was probably one of the best times of my life when, um, when they sent us on that. Alright, and I think you probably just did slabs to top this off, which I think is perfectly fine. Look up the Gaylord National Resort. National Harbor, Maryland. That shit was amazing. Shit was amazing. Every year they send them to, like, really nice hotels. I'm like, usually they only reserve the super... Like, they only reserve the big bucks for the freaking sports teams. That's, like, one of the common things about high school is, like... Wait, could they not get out of here? 
Could the villager not escape here? Wait a minute. Did I do something wrong? I sage? No such thing as late. Oh, what's up? Yeah, sage. How you doing? Yeah, no such thing as late. Could they not get out there? Or did you do something to prevent that? Here. Nine already. Time is fake. Am I dumb? You know what maybe I could do is um put a lantern instead of here and here, maybe just do one here so that they can't get out. Oh, you had a pain. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You had a pain at the top that you destroyed. Right, okay. Okay, yeah, that's not a bad idea. So you lined the uh you lined the top with panes as well. Or rather, you put one right here. Did you just, like, put one right here? Well, you can still get out when you do that. So probably not that. Probably not that. Must have did one right here, here, and here, right? Mmm, okay. Got it. You lined it, I see. Probably like that. Thanks for the hydrate. Storm Cloud! Thanks for the nine months! What, time is fake? Yeah, tell me about it. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for the hydrate. I'll count that hydrate as the hydrate that I just took. Because I took two sips. So honestly, like, that counts. Protest all you want. That counts. Alright, now how did you do the side logs here? Oh, I think I see how you did it. Okay, yeah. Not that I have to do it exactly as you did it, but... I figure I might as well keep it similar. So you did it like this. And then you did these like this. Boop, boop. And then we're going to strip all those. Boop, 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 boop. Beautiful. I love that sound as well. It's like... How did they get that? They must have stripped logs in real life to make that sound. There's just no way you get that otherwise. There is just no other way. Alright, and then I like the I like the idea of using the appropriately colored windows as well. I like the idea of that as well. Okay, interior designer. Okay! Yeah, wait till you learn that I'm literally just taking this from someone else. <laughs> um, right, and then if this is the librarian... Then they'll need a lectern, and if we want to design it, like... If we want to design it like this, then we'll also want to do some lanterns. Right, we're going to want lighting in here. I see that you have a glowstone in the middle. I should probably do that. Or a sea lantern, actually. In fact, I think I'm going to use a sea lantern. Because, I mean, being on water, it's thematically appropriate. I think I'm going to, you know, put a little bit of my creative little jutspa on there. And do a sea lantern instead, I think, would be good. Generally, I like using sea lanterns more than I like using glowstone because they just look really good. And I know, like, I'm tarnishing your design. I'm completely tarnishing your design. How dare I? Oh. We'll call a little creative liberty on my part, though. A little creative jutspa. A little je ne sais quoi. <laughs> yeah, baby. They record real pandas for Minecraft pandas. That's pretty cool. I didn't, to be honest with you though, I think I don't, I think that I have never seen a panda in game. So I don't even know what they sound like. Should I surround that with slabs or do I like it sticking down like that? Hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, I got copious amounts of slabs. What am I doing? Hmm. I think I like that. I like the depth that it adds. The mud blocks have a nice mud sound to them. Ooh, quite muddy today. Been a while since I made it to one of these because I've been moving in for college. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well. I hope your college move-in is going well. It's about that time, yeah, for a lot of people. Sad. Oh, you should just be like me and drop out of college and become a Twitch streamer. And a YouTuber. Because after all, this isn't a real job, so... I mean, it must be pretty easy, right? It must be pretty easy. Right, and let's make some lanterns as well. I think you guys told me how to make lanterns, but... I think I probably forgot how to make them as well. I'm gonna try, though. I think I actually do remember. One iron... Well, don't you need a torch for the... 
What the fuck was that? Don't you need a torch for the lanterns as well? Don't you need to use a torch in here somewhere? So, like, turn one of these into those, and then probably get, like, four of these. Because I think you guys told me it was like this, right? But where don't you need a torch in there as well? Dangan Rampa? No, I don't think I'll ever play Dangan Rampa. I don't think so. I guess I use end rods, but I like I like lanterns better. Or it wait, isn't it like you surround a torch in iron nuggets? No no no, you guys were telling me how to make chains now that I think about it. I think you guys were telling me how to make chains. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, I'm a real fucking goober. Hang on. I think this is how you make lanterns, right? You just do this. Yeah! Look at that! He's a genius. Yeah, okay. A chest full of nuggets. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Yeah, you guys are telling me how to make chains. I'm thinking of something else entirely. Yeah, and chains aren't in this version, so that's why that recipe didn't work when I wanted to make them. Alright, so here, here, is where you put the lanterns, and then... I mean, I don't know where you put them... Honestly, like, I don't think you need lanterns on the inside. You got that sea lantern, that's gonna keep it plenty bright. That's gonna keep it plenty bright. Okay. I think that that's fine, honestly, as it is right there. I think that's fine. And then... And then just imagine, like, a bunch of these all color-coordinated with the, uh, the glass and the banners that I'll eventually put on the side. And then just imagine, like, a whole-ass, like, line of these along the docks here. I think that'll be quite cool. Hi, Antiperspirant. What's up? How are you doing? And Ezo the Bezo. What's up? That was just for the aesthetics? Okay. Good enough. And now, how do we make a lectern? I probably have enough bookcases to decorate it, but the lectern's what I really need, because that's what tells the villager to be a librarian. And then, I'm gonna see how hard it is to bring a villager all the way over here. Probably quite hard. While I wait for it to turn nighttime, I'm gonna use the bizath room. Be right back. Hi. Hi, Day. Hi, Chad. Been lurking for about an hour, just haven't talked. That's okay. Nobody feels, nobody should feel the need with which to pipe up if you just want to, uh, hang out. Nobody should feel the need to. You know, I usually don't, like, do this for people that are just kind of, like, being annoying, but you guys are kind of just being annoying. Like, you clearly are, like, searching for, like, Minecraft streams to just, like, hang out and just talk amongst each other. Thanks for the follow, by the way. That's clearly, like, what you're doing. You're just, like, looking through the Minecraft category and just being like, yo, where should we just start, like, acting a fool? Not twitch.tv slash diagonal. You take that somewhere else. Interesting numbers. I have a thing where I can just, like, auto-click, like, one hour, two hours, three hours. And honestly, Jesus takes the wheel from there, man. Jesus takes the wheel from there. All right. Now I need to get a lectern and i think i have some bookcases in here yes i do i only have five though i want more than that and how do you make a lectern tell me oh wondrous book how do you make a lectern i don't think i've ever made one of them before i think the only ones i've ever made i've stolen from villages Ooh. Is it on here and I just missed it? And you know what's sad is I'm gonna have to make one, but you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to put it in the fucking chest. I'm gonna have to put it in the chest. Ooh. Bookcase and wood slabs. Bookcase and wood slabs. Why wouldn't that be on here then? I've gotten both of those things. Why wouldn't that be on here? Is it on here and I'm stupid? Do you need a book? No, do you? Because you put the book on it after the fact. You don't need a book to make it, right? Three wood slabs on top of a bookshelf. Is what I'm hearing. So like this. Slab at... Three slabs top. 
Okay, interesting. I would have never got that. I would have not in a million years would I have gotten that. Not in a million years if I would have gotten that. Fully thought you were having a long ass break, but then the stream was paused. Ooh. You know what I really like about YouTube streams that I really wish Twitch would get on doing? Fucking make it so that you can pause a Twitch stream, and then when you unpause it, it starts playing from where you paused it. And then if you want to go back to where it's actually live, then you click like a button that says live to go back. What the fuck, dude? It seems like a no-brainer, right? But no. That would be nice, right? YouTube streams do that. Twitch streams, they're like, I don't know. We don't have competition. We don't need to innovate. That's them. That's what they sound like. Fuck Twitch. But also like, you know, September, besties. Haha. <laughs> oh, 20% off your first time subscription to your channel. Haha. <laughs> oh. Mm. Um. Okay. What is Dag building? A sanctuary for a librarian villager. And eventually I'll have a sanctuary for all the different kinds of villagers. So. Twitch's ads didn't work when they tried to implement that? Oh, is, is the ads the reason why they don't do that? Ooh. I feel like YouTube runs ads, though. I don't know, because my ad, my, my ad blocker still works on YouTube. So to be honest with you, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't, <laughs> but until, honest to God, the day that YouTube makes this, if, if they ever decide to do this, but the day that YouTube makes it so that ads, their ads get around ad blockers, dude, is the day I'm fucking, I, I might just have to, I might have to, I might have to go after that, man. I think it might be time for a good old fashioned beheading. I think that's it after that, man. I don't think I can, uh. I don't think I can continue on. It might be time for a good old-fashioned beheading after that. When I can't even watch YouTube ad-free anymore. I think that's it for me. And you might say, oh, that's rich. You're a YouTuber. You you live on ads. Why do you use adblock? Because A, I'm a hypocrite. And B, I don't, I don't ask people to not use adblock on my content. I actively encourage people to do so. Because they're just fucking annoying. They're annoying. Ads are just inherently very annoying. Go ahead and use ad blocker, dude. Should, no one should tell you otherwise. Oh, I like what you did here as well, where you did, uh... I didn't notice this detail at first, but you used carpets here. You used carpets to also match the banner color. I like that, actually. So if this is going to be the white one, then we should use white carpets. I like that. Yeah, instead of just sticking them in a hole in the wall. Like, that's fine, and oftentimes that is what I will do, but I don't know, man. I'm trying to build stuff in this series because I want people to remember this series with, like, you know, maybe not tangible buildings, but they, like, have them look back on this series and be like, oh, I remember when he built this. Because it is kind of a series that you're going through the history, you know, of all the different versions of the game and having like stuff to look back on, I think will be very important when this series eventually wraps up, you know? Hey, what's up, Lesbian Panda? You changed your username? What was your old username? Getting YouTube Premium is the best thing I ever done. I used my free trial of YouTube Premium. They gave me like a free trial. I think it was for like a month. 14 days? I don't remember. I used it, and honest to god, like, I didn't use any of the features of YouTube Premium. Oh, Luna Rose, okay. I didn't use any features of YouTube Premium because the big thing is the ad-free viewing, but I already have ad blocks, so I don't even care about that. What does YouTube Premium offer that makes it worth paying for? Because I didn't use any of the features, but then again, I didn't really look a whole... I didn't really look that hard, you know? I didn't really look that hard. Probably four would probably be enough. That'll give you six carpets. Mm, maybe that's not enough. I don't know. Yeah, but I used my free trial, and then they're like, oh, your free trial's almost over, and we're gonna start charging your card. And I'm like, eh, no. No, you're not. So I canceled it. Because I honestly didn't... There was one thing that I took advantage of that YouTube Premium does. 
Um, and that's to download a video so that you could watch it offline. Eh, I thought it would actually, like, download it onto your device, but no. Oh, I actually need more. I thought it was going to download it onto my device, my computer in this instance, but no. All it does is it makes it so that you download it and it links to your uh, account so that you could watch it offline. Which is cool if you're going on like a road trip or something like that. That's not a bad feature, but is it worth how much YouTube Premium is? YouTube Music? I don't use YouTube for music, so that's not really th something that I care about. And then there's always just YouTube to MP3, you know, you know, that little thing. You know, the thing that literally everybody uses to illegally download YouTube videos, but nobody really cares because we all kind of just, you know, accept that it's just easier to use. Yeah, yeah, that little thing. Yeah, I'm aware. Also, goodbye. Casually listening to you while I do my college capstone. Capstone? What the hell is that? Is that like the cap that you graduate with? Capstone. What the heck is that? Either way, I hope you're having fun with whatever that is. Even if I have no fucking idea. It's a senior thing. It's a senior project? Oh, okay. I had to do a senior project for high school. I probably had to do one for college as well, if I had actually made it to senior year. I do it so I can graduate. I see. So is it like a dissertation sort of thing? I think usually, like, people will do their dissertations, and that's like, the, that's like their final project sort of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's like that. Or, like, yeah, senior thesis. Yeah, something like that. All right. To get the villager in here, let's just make a little bit of room here. So, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Can you lead villagers? Like, can you tie them to a lead? For my major, it's a class I'm required to take. I see. No, no, no. But I can boat them, and that might be fine. If I can boat them, that might be all I need. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to, first of all, put a bunch of shit away, because last thing I need is my inventory being clogged. Canra! Eight Holy whole shit. Soggy months. Those are some soggy-ass months, dude. Thank you for the eight months in a row. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope your months are good. Your health is good. Um, yeah. The image of leading villagers on a rope would be problematic as best. At best, it's true. It's a lot of like things that you could argue about in this game that probably don't look too good. I don't know. Hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I got an honors project and a student teaching to do when I'm about to graduate. Technically, I'm a senior right now, but I'm not graduating in four years, so it's okay. Interesting. All right. So, let's just go... I think, honestly, just bringing them by boat would be fine. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not going to act like it's going to go smoothly here, but I think this will work, okay? Okay. And honestly, the villager doesn't even have to be, like, a librarian. I could bring whoever. I could bring just whoever, right? And then... They were, like... This way-ish. Thanks for the hydrate. One second. Hello, what did I miss? Just a little bit of building, really. Oh, you found a deep, dark biome, then realized it's the same deep, dark biome? Are they really that big? Like, 600 blocks? That's pretty big. I've still not seen a deep, dark biome myself. I've only ever seen them in videos. I've only ever seen them in videos. Eventually, I'll have to mess with them, and honestly, it's not- it's maybe not even as long as I, uh... 
think that I'll have to start worrying about the deep dark. It's kind of crazy. All right, who wants to volunteer? Who wants to be the one? Yeah, so just honestly, none of them are employed because I feel like this was before they actually had like employment stations. So, yeah. If you wanted to, like, there you go. And then what I can do, <laughs> this is, this is, what's the nearest water? Right there? Okay, so here's what I'll, I mean, I can't take two of you boys. I need to get here as well. I mean, I gotta break the boat without hitting them. Boys, you're making this mighty difficult here. Alright. If I dig famous. out... Sage! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, All right, boys. Just need one of you up here. Thank you, Sage, for the four months in a row. Sheesh, no way. It's been four months. Oh, but it has. Oh, but it has. Thank you for the four months. I appreciate that. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad previewing. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here's what we're going to do. Hold on tight. Excuse you. You're coming with me, big man. Is there any way I can get to, like, the ocean? No, don't sink. What? What, they sink? Why do they do that? That's not what they're... It's not what a boat is supposed to do. It's not what a boat is supposed to do at all. No, I know you can't trade, all right? Just relax. Yeah, down we go. Apparently, luckily, I was able to get out of there. Yeah, this is a... This isn't a glitch in terrain generation. This is just, like, where a lot of versions, like, bordered when I made new terrain. Uh-oh! Hi. Oh, my goodness. You just finished cleaning his ears? Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, that's a big yawn. That is a big-ass yawn for a little boy. All right, he is not having it. He is not having it no more. Yeah, squeaky clean ears. Look at that. Chat, consider the fact that my dog's ears are probably cleaner than yours. That's kind of embarrassing for you, right? That's kind of embarrassing for you. Like, that's a bad look, man. That's a bad look. All right. We should be good to... Huh? Why? What is this boat doing, man? What is this boat? Why is it bad? Are they still not fix damn boats in this version? My god. Dude, no, no, no. Come on, man. Don't run into the cactus. That's the last thing you should do. All right? Go. This way. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ. Do I really gotta fucking... Why is this boat like, yeah, being like Titanic? Alright, you know what? Yeah, get in the boat here and then we'll just go on land, okay? If it fucking makes it easier, we'll just go on land. Who cares? What's up, Jinsi? How are you doing? I guess it has a hole in it, man. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Quit, quit doing that, please. Alright. And then now, it should be as simple as just making the Z coordinate go down. Cool. And that's how we're gonna we're gonna have to do this for every villager that we need to bring over. Boats sink if they do any incline, bro. They used to like shoot up to the surface. They used to be like really good. They would like shoot all the way up to the surface. Canra, thanks for the gift of Denudo. I appreciate that. Thank you, Nudo or Panudo. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Well, now my boat's going to sink as soon as I hit this. Now, surely, my boat's... Yeah, there it goes. All right, dude, you're going to have to get out of the boat. i have to go grab this thing again. Luckily, he get, is smart enough to get out of the fucking boat. That's a fucking relief. Also, why are you flying, man? Come on. Get fucking... Act serious here. Luckily, they're smart enough to get out of the damn boat after it starts sinking, but, uh... Yeah, that's about all I can give him credit for right now. He's being a little bit of a big B with a little P. If you get what I mean. 
use your uh, wildest imagination to... Really? Are you just being... Are you just purposely being a bitch now? Oh, you're just purposely being a bitch, and now this isn't going to get up. How the hell am I going to do this, man? I got to get this thing, like, way, way, way deep into there, okay? Okay, now he's, like, well across. No, don't fucking go back. I swear, don't fucking hair ha me, all right? I'm going to fucking get mad. Get in the boat. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> What a fucking nightmare, man. And I'm gonna have to do that every single time. God damn. Thank you, Canra, for the gifts of the Nudo. Nudo, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it. Oh, look, there's another boat. Man, that must have been from forever ago. Holy shit. Can you, like, make a water bridge? Is that really worth it? Or, like, you just mean to span that, like, gap there? Honestly, yeah, it might be worth it to do that. It might be worth it to do that. All right, my friend, you're going to be a great librarian, the best librarian that anyone's ever seen, all right? That's going to be your home, not your prison cell, your home for the foreseeable future. And you're going to love it. By God, as soon as you lay eyes on it, you're going to love it. It's going to cost you uh, $2,500 a month in downtown beautiful San Francisco. It's a real fixer-upper. It's a, It needs a little TLC, but it's a passion project. No, 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 no. The fact that it has zero bed, zero bath does not make it a studio apartment. It makes it a converted living space. Right in downtown Frisco. All right, buddy. Last bit of cooperation I need from you. A little worried there. Last bit of cooperation that I need from you, my friend, is I need you to get up the fucking stairs. There you go. I need you to keep on climbing. Okay. Wait. No. No, 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 no. You're not a blacksmith. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. You're not a blacksmith. Sorry, that's bait. Sorry, I just baited you. That's... You're not a blacksmith. I'm, I'm sorry. You're not. <laughs> he took the fucking stone cutter. Ugh. Um, sorry. You're actually a librarian, and you're gonna be a really good one. I hear you're going to be the best librarian. I hear that you need to stop fucking walking away. I need to put a bed in there. Actually, if I put a... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Oh, wait, I dropped my glass panes. Okay, well... All right, all right, all right, no, 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 you got to promise me, you got to promise me you're not going to leave. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go get your fucking glass panes. Now turn into a librarian while I'm gone. Why is he not going to unjob himself? I need you to unjob yourself, okay? I got you a lectern. Change of passion, man. No, no, no. Sorry, you gotta drop. Like, I know you've been working your whole life to become a blacksmith, but, like, I really, really need you to, like, be a librarian. I really, really... Whatever, Mason. I really, really need you to be, like, a librarian. Okay, I'll be back. You better be a librarian by the time I get back. Huh. He's a mason because the fucking stone cutter that I was using, he automatically assumed that was his workstation. So, whoopsie daisies. So he's going to get a white bed because the rest of his shit is white. So I'm going to need more white wool. I also need some white glass that I dropped because I'm a fucking idiot, honestly. Threaten him? I feel like my words are motivation enough. He knows what he needs to do. He knows what he needs to do. It's up to him at this point. It's up to him at this point. He knows what he's got to do. His assignment's been made clear. His assignment's been made quite clear. Alright, and he's safe in there, so the fact that nighttime is approaching does not concern me a whole lot. Does not concern me a whole lot. Get that out of here. We gotta make more fucking white stained glass because I fucking threw the rest of it out. Like an idiot. You can't tell me what to do. There is no boss in that guy around. There is no boss in him around, unfortunately. And no more white carpet. 
He wiped on I. <laughs> he, he did her me as like a... All right, like he understood me. He understood me. He knows what I'm asking. He said her. If that's not uh yes sir, then I don't know what is. Don't forget to name him. He's not going to despawn. Villagers don't despawn, so I don't need to name him. I don't even know if you can name villagers, can you? I don't think you can. I don't think it's possible to name villagers. I think it used to be able to, but I don't think you can anymore. You can? Oh, okay. Maybe I should... Ooh, should I raffle off a chat name for him? Ooh. Hey, you're looking like a fucking blacksmith still. Or whatever the fuck it is. Pal, do I gotta, like, break this and put it back? Is the carpet in the way? Surely not. Carpet shouldn't interfere with that. Get... They change their jobs at a certain time of the day? Now! Now is the certain time of the day. Holy smokes, that's ugly. Any other stone cutters around? No, just in my inventory. Yeah, like, I thought he would immediately get stripped of his job as soon as I broke the stone cutter. I thought he would immediately be like, oh, fuck, well, there goes my workstation. Should I... Alright. I feel like if I put the bed here, he'll, like, warp outside. I don't want that. But I'll take the chance. I'll take the... Okay. I'll take the chance that it's probably fine. Probably all good. No, 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 fuck off, dickhead. All right, y'all good, man? You need any snacks? Anything from the store? Okay, <laughs> just gonna say, there's a lectern right there. Looks really nice. I want that lectern. I'm kind of jealous of you, if anything. I love that lectern right there. Could read all I want. Why do they got a Squidward nose? It's not Squidward nose, man. That's just... Not every big nose is Squidward nose. What if Squidward got villager nose? What if I got villager... Look at this. I got a honker. Why don't they got Dagnal nose? What is this little... Oh. Would reloading help? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe penis nose. Penis came before all of them. Alright. Um. Well... Like my favorite hip-hop artist of the 1990s, Coolio. We have done everything that we need to this point. We just, it's a matter of waiting for that guy to assume his role in society. Penis came? That's really funny, actually. That's really fucking funny. Um, Oakley Doakley. I guess we could do the banners, but I could do those at any point. That's not fine. That's, that's fine. Now, if anything, I'm going to end stream soon because it's three and a half hours, for goodness sakes. Quite long for my for, for my standards. Quite long. Uh, I just feel like there's something... Oh, there's my... Oh, that's just extra glass. Okay, forget that. I feel like there's, like, something that, like, I'm forgetting to do. Some, like thing that I've had in the back of my brain for a while here. But I can't recall what it is. Can't recall what it is. Right. Well, okay. I think I actually... Wait, I think he's a librarian now. Hang on, hang on. I think he's a librarian. I think I saw him looking like a librarian. Did you make a second lectern? No, 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 no. No, we only need the one. I think he's a librarian. He is. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Pause, champ. All right, now I should have checked his trades there, but that's it's fine. It's fine. All right, you're a librarian again. Luck of the C3. Okay, no. Now we just got to keep fuck refreshing until we get mending. I guess mean, a good paper trade, but you want mending. 
Right, he didn't undo himself. Lure three, that's horrible. Right, I guess he didn't start his, like, shift, right? Because don't they have, like, times of the day with which they work? I think th the reason why he didn't unjob himself is because they they work on, like, a shift, right? Like, only after a certain point in the day do they actually begin working. And I guess they're not going to change their profession until they're at that point, right? Okay, that actually makes sense. So now we're good to just keep refreshing it until we get mending. Okie dokie. Power 5? I mean, that's not bad, but I already got the best bow that one could ever have, so... Yeah, I think they have, like, a schedule. You know how, like, Stardew Valley NPCs have a schedule? Well, I think villagers do as well. I think villagers have something similar to that as well. well nice, dude. That's really good. I think villagers have something similar to that. I like the library. Yeah, it's... Ooh, there we go. I like his design. He's got, like, a book on his top of his head. Oh, silly little guy. He's got an old book on the top of his head. All right, so now we got a mending villager. 22 emeralds isn't bad either. 22 emeralds isn't bad. I'm kind of sad that this second trade isn't a paper trade, but I bet you if I keep trading, he'll eventually unlock a good paper trade. Why don't we do that now? I could buy a few bookshelves. 22 emeralds a book can get me a mending book. I do still need more mending books, so you know what? Sure, let's do it. That's a hat? No, it's clearly a book. He clearly has a book as a hat. Yeah, my dumbass thought it was a funky hat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a... I'm pretty sure it's a book. Did I just hear, like, a sound that sounded like aliens invading? I don't know. Either way. It sounded like someone was getting, like, sucked up by, like, a UFO. Like, Ooh. I don't know why. I just heard, like, a sound like that. Did you, Wait, you guys heard it too? You guys heard it too? I thought it was a real-life noise. Yeah, what was that sound effect? Wait, what, what, what was that? What was that? Or was it a real life noise that my microphone just picked up? Is it a guardian? There's no guardians here. You know guardians. That was a cave noise? Well, that was a cave noise after that. I, it was like two sounds. Like one was a cave noise and then I heard another one. Interesting. I've never heard that in my life. I don't think I have either. That sounded weird. That's just a generic cave sound? It sounded like a fucking alien abduction. Anyway, how many emeralds was it for a mending book? Whatever, just bring them all. Just bring them all. Bring the freaking lot. That's what they say in the UK. Bring the lot. 22? Oh, well. I'm bringing 26. Surely, like, one trade probably isn't enough to get him to the next level, even if it is a shit ton of emeralds. So, we're gonna probably have to grind up some emeralds. I just want to get his paper trade unlocked. As soon as I get his paper trade unlocked, I can make, like, fucking Jim Cramer-style insane money. Yeah, that only gets one. Shit. Very unfortunate. What a deal! Alright, but now we have, like, infinite mending books. Not that I really need infinite mending books. Every- all my armor has mending on it now. <clears throat> I managed to get a mending book with sweeping edge on it when I was AFK fish farming last night, so Randall now has mending. Mending, mending, mending. My axe does not have mending. I guess that would be the next thing. It'd be my axe, but after that, like, my elytra's got mending. Everything's got mending. So I guess, really, should mending be the enchantment that I want him to have? I don't know. Maybe I'd be better off with something else, but I think it's always good to have a mending villager, just in case. Alright. Even my bow has mending and infinity, because I made it before that- they made it before the update that you could have either one. Or, one or the other. Was it a dolphin that made that noise? Did you make that noise, son? Sounds like it could have been a dolphin noise, maybe. Holy shit. God, that's so fast. God, that's so fun. I should really, like, trap a dolphin so that I can get over here quickly. 
Randall, he's good, right? Anyway, um, yeah, so I think maybe I might off camera build more of these. I might not, but I'll want to have one of these little huts for every villager in the game at some point. That does look real. I really do like the look of this from far away. I do really like the look of these things from far away, from over here. I really like those. I really like how it looks from over here. That's quite nice. Now, I'm wondering, like, should I do them one over here? Like, one on each side here? Or should I just only do them on that side so we have just a giant long row of them? Would probably be more compact to, like, do one on each side of there. Oh, thank Dizzy Nitrum for the design. They, they're the ones who made it look cute. I'm a fraud. I just stole that shit. But that's okay. With permission, of course. I like it, though. And I really like the idea of having, like, a villager trading hall on water. It's very cool. Very cool. And like other people have said, it's better than just sticking them in, like, a one-by-one -one wall or something like that. Not that that's bad, but it definitely... This... I, I prefer this. And at night, it's going to be all lit up. Very cool. What is, what is that? Oh, is that a dolphin? Yeah. If it was a drowned, I might actually want to get a trident. Anywho, um, I think I'm done. I'm like that with Bob's Burgers. I have actually seen full episodes of that. It's a good show. What's up, Cerulean Cow? Is in the Animal Crossing stream, but I lost the DLC when I moved onto a new Switch, but I still have the ability to edit my villagers' houses. Wait, really? So when you moved onto your new Switch, you have to rebuy the DLC? That's kind of lame. Why would they do that? That's kind of lame. I thought it would be linked to your account, so as long as you're still logged in, you're good. That's very weird. And yet you still retain some of the ability from the DLC, that being to redecorate your villagers' houses? How does that make sense? Are you sure you lost the I don't want to gaslight you, but like... I don't know, it's very strange. Your face cam is behind the chat? My face cam is behind the chat? It's behind nothing, really. It's behind the torch. It's behind the torch, really. That's pretty much it. Money, that's why? I don't think so. I think when you buy the DLC, it's linked to your account. But that's what I thought. I could be wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, so last time I only had, I think it was just this one built. As far as the, uh, the villager stalls go, or the villager trading hall i don't know that seems like a very glorified name for what this is but i will say this is a hell of a lot nicer than just sticking them in a wall like most people do okay so i have four of them now i only had one last time this guy i got the it's the same librarian with mending but uh now i mean let me sleep so that they wake up so i can show you it's not a villager concentration camp. No. Jesus. Christ. God. Damn. <laughs> no. Anyway, I still got this guy. This is the same mending guy. And I think I revealed that he had silk touch last episode, last time as well. I think, I think you guys already knew that. Um, but now he needs more trades to get to higher levels. So I might work on that today. Uh, and then I have a cartographer over here. I decided to keep the cartographer. It had so maybe that was maybe you guys didn't see that. Either way, he has silk touch now. Not sure why it's doing the sub thing again when I just resubbed the other day, but whatever I guess. Yeah, so sometimes they let you double up on those. I don't know why it does that, Dizzy, but either way, I mean I don't get double the amount, so you just get double the alerts. Thanks for the three months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I only had the librarian. Yeah, I only had that guy. But now I got this guy, who's a cartographer. And I decided to keep the cartographer and the librarian close to each other. Because cartographers and librarians can have paper trades as well. But this guy has a paper trade, which is really good. And I've actually completely unlocked all of what this guy has to offer. Um, with paper trades, basically. I just kept farming paper, 
and glass panes as well is a really easy thing to trade for and i can get a woodland explorer map now which means that i can actually find a woodland mansion if we ever want to do that now the thing about woodland mansions is despite the fact that they are relatively new lol lol thanks for the two months in a row Devin. appreciate that enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing appreciate it what's up ranbay how are you doing uh, so yeah, now I could go find a woodland mansion if I wanted to. Unfortunately, they don't really introduce any new blocks, but you can get some good loot. That's how you get, um, that's one way of getting the totems of undying. But luckily, I never die, so that's not really a problem. A uh, yuck. Anyway, that's my cartographer. And now, I also got a farmer over here. Um, I've already maxed out his trades as well. The big one is wheat. Wheat, I mean, super easy to farm. Very easy to get lots of emeralds out of that. Um, his suspicious stew gives me blindness, so that's pretty bad. But other than that, it's nice to just have him around. Ideally, I'll just have one of all of them at some point. You was up, Saul Goodman. Welcome. And then I have a fisherman who is barely leveled up past apprentice. His trades are like ass but whatever it's fine it's fine cannot stick around sadly but i wish you the best of streams thank you enjoy the rest of your day what's up it's jay lee right jay lee i think i remembered you've been busy off stream yeah i mean these took me um it probably took me like 30 minutes each to build these so yeah about an hour and a half and then i did some afk fish farming that's why i have 78 levels and i also uh filled up a choker box full of materials oh like all my paper that i was using to trade him with might as well uh might as well do that since his trade is re-unlocked again so yeah this is like basically afk emerald farming um so there you go put those away the fisherman trades for uncooked fish and he'll cook the fish for you so that's how i've been trying to get his trades unlocked um you know what i can do with this lantern is i can put that away in the chest since that is a new block i think to, last time i just focused on building these villager hut, huts here I think today I'm actually going to start focusing on getting some blocks that were introduced in this update. Not all of them, because there are going to be some that are quite tricky to get. But um, I can hope to get quite a bit done. Let's also trade these glass panes. I think... Is it the librarian that trades glass panes? It's not. It's the cartographer still. Okay. Those are looking good. They are looking very good. They are looking very good. Yeah, I really like how these are coming along, and just picture eventually, of course, a whole line of them with all the different kinds of villagers down this line. And I saw someone with a really nice idea for how to bridge this to the... You okay? Okay. Um, for how to bridge this to the mainland here, let me show you. Um, is last night on Discord, somebody made an idea for me, and I'm totally gonna use it, because it is quite nice. Minecraft Villager Breeder? I don't actually think I saw this specifically, but this is actually quite nice as well. So this is a Villager Breeder? The thing, I don't really think I need a Breeder, because I can just pull all the Villagers that I need from that, um... From that village that I have not too far away, but this is good for the future. This was the bridge idea that I was really enjoying. Um, so we can bridge from the mainland over to this little platform we have out here. Thanks for the hydrate. I thought this looked really nice. So there's two designs. One with, I guess, stone brick walls and one with fence walls. I think I like the stone bricks more. Mm. Actually, it's kind of cool. I don't know if they're in chat, whoever made this, but um, I see. I see what you did here. So you basically swapped out the wood and the stone between these two. So it's the wood fences here and the stone fences here. The stone flooring here, the wood flooring here. I actually like this. I think I like this one better with the wood flooring and the stone accessories. But let me know what you guys think. The word breeder is absolutely nasty, nasty, nasty. What? Oh, come on, man. That's worse than moist? Even moist ain't that bad. Everyone out here hating the word moist, man. I never understood it. Never understood it. 
Stone flying with wood accents better. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll go with that one. I think they're both quite nice. Notice me, Dagnal. What's up, big stinky Lulu? Moist as in cake? Yeah, see, like, that's nice. If you say, like, if you walk outside on a particularly humid day, you might say that it's quite moist outside. In which case, I'm like, eh, could you think of a better word, like humid, maybe? But if you're like, this cake is nice and moist, that's not even that bad, man. That's not even that bad. It's like the water is wet debate. No, it's not like that at all, I don't think, right? That's, that's like a whole, like, scientific thing. This is just, like, semantics, really. Minecraft VODs finally caught up today. This is the first live stream. Yo, welcome, Thornbush. Thanks for catching up. Auto laser. Holy shit. 27 months. That's insane. Enjoy another month of emotes and add free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I mean, I have a whole grocery list of things to do today as far as blocks. Hello, Mom. How are you doing? Um, of course, all of the villager workstations, most of the vill- I don't know about all of them, but most of the villager workstations are new blocks. So, I'm gonna have to make basically all those. Those are like the barrel, the blast furnace, the smoker, cartography table, composter, fletchling table, grindstone- Lectern, loom, smithing table, stone cutter. All of those are new blocks introduced in this update. So all of those are going to have to be made for the chests as well. So I think let's start with those. Brendan. Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate that. The Prime. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... And I have the unfortunate, uh, problem of, I don't know how to make fucking any of these. Although I think a barrel, actually, I may know how to make a barrel. Ooh, it's gonna be tough, though. I'm gonna need... Ooh, well, actually, I don't know if I'll need your help. If I, if I need your help, I'll ask for your help, okay? How's that sound? Actually, use your jungle logs, because I hate the jungle freaking logs. They're nasty. I hate them. Sorry, I'm trauma dumping. So I think it's like this... And then you gotta make, like, some slabs out of them, and then you can make a barrel, right? Okay, there's a barrel, so that's the first workstation done. A blast furnace? Doesn't a blast furnace take... ...smelting smooth stone to make the ultra smooth stone? And then... Yeah. Okay, let me go get some smooth stone. What's up, S4276? Been a while since I've joined the stream. Welcome. No in-game recipe book yet? Yeah, it's exactly what I'm gonna try to use, but it doesn't always... I don't know how it works 100%, but it doesn't always tell me... It doesn't always tell me things that I can make with what I have in my inventory, but I'm probably just using it wrong, to be honest with you. You can make bedrock? No. Do you have a favorite song or genre? Not really. Not really. I, I'm all over the place with my favorite songs, my favorite genres. I can like anything from Mozart to Lil Jon and the Yin Yang Twins at any given moment. It's just, that's just how it is, man. Problems with Twitch being super laggy today? I have not. I'm sorry that you have that, though. Do you have a favorite movie? No, I'm not really a person of favorites. I'm a... I like what I like, but I to to mentally have like a ranking for all the things that I like is too much, you know? And also takes a level of critical thinking that I don't care for, you know? I'm a simple guy. If I like something, I like it. I don't need to have like a hundred reasons why I like something. Favorite color? I guess green, but then even then colors can be used in the right and the wrong circumstances to where, ah, even green's kind of ugly in this situation where I'd prefer a red. And it's like, it doesn't make any sense. How can anyone have favorites? Oh, right. So stone slabs. We'll get to that eventually. We'll get to that eventually. S stone stairs, stone slabs, like those are all new as well. But I think... I think, I think, I think, I think, um, if I were to take this and then do this, that makes then the smooth stone, like the ultra smooth stone, right?
I, I thought I heard a Minecraft cave sound. I think it was a real life noise. What's up, Spart Ryan? I, I definitely didn't read that as Shart Ryan. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. So Smooth Stone in itself is a new block. Um, and that might unlock the recipe for the Blast Furnace? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Smoother Stone. There you go. Because I always called Stone Smooth Stone. And I guess this is... Shit, that is even smoother than smooth. As ice smooth. Shit. All right, put that in there. And then put the barrel in there as well. Why not? Watching the, your series on YouTube, absolutely loving them. Thank you. I appreciate that. Smoother brain. Yeah. This is, uh, hang on. I don't, I can't make the joke anymore because I don't have a piece of smooth stone. Here we go. This is my brain. That's your brain right there. Good golly. How are you going to recover from that? Jesus Christ. All right, anyway, um, I should be able to... I think this is how you make a smoker. I think you also need a furnace, though, right? You also need a furnace. So, I only need one smoker, or one blast furnace. There we go. Wait, no, 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 that's a smoker. How do you make a blast furnace? I'm pretty sure it takes this smooth stone and a furnace. And I might take iron as well? Is it... What, what am I missing? Streamer's being mean to his chat? I don't think so. There's some Carlos Santana smooth featuring Rob Thomas. That song is Rob Thomas featuring Carlos Santana. Don't insult my man Rob. Smooth slab? Wait, they take smooth stone slabs or just stone slabs? Is that right now? Oh, also, I didn't put in enough coal. Whoopsie daisies. Well, that's fine, because I didn't need that much anyway. No, normal stone slab. Like this. Okay, well, that's how you make that grindstone, which I probably want to do, yeah. Blast furnace. Like these smooth stone slabs? Or wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. Like these. Yeah, this is what you mean. Well, that's how you make the armor stand. <laughs> this recipe book's not that great if you don't even know where to start. Five iron, three smooth stone, one furnace. Five iron? Man, running me through the dang ringer here. My god, what do I look like? Make Made of iron? There we go. Blast furnace. Jeez, what a freaking... What a puzzle. Somebody say grindstone? I I think I said that. Oh god. I did say that, didn't I? Okay, so we got a barrel, blast furnace, grindstone, smoker. You know, like the smokers. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Those kinds of smokers. We have this lady at the corner of the street that I live on who has a dog named Pearl. And this lady, bless her heart, has probably been smoking for... The better part of, oh, I don't know, 110 years, at least from the sounds of it. Von Deere. Von Deerdy? I don't know. Either way, thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Yeah, so her dog is named Pearl, but whenever she calls her, it's Poil. Poil. So anyway, um, what's next? I'm not insulting nicotine addicts. I'm merely sharing a nice story about an otherwise very nice lady. Okay? Cartography table, actually, I made those yesterday. Those, I think, are quite simple. So I think it's just two paper on top of four wood. Unfortunately, I've used all my paper for trading. How silly of me. Hey, Dagnall, been watching on YouTube for a while. Thought I'd come to Twitch and support you. Love the content. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. I would feel bad if I didn't. Okay, that's good enough. Can I... There we go. Put one back. We don't need all those. Uh, boys. You don't want to mess with this, man. I don't think you do. Loom, fletching table, composter. Yes, that's after this. That's after this. Close enough. Okay, well, you know. Wait, I only have two? I need three. 
Oh, Chad, I'm not very smart. I, bro I broke two... I broke four. I put one back. I... How did I only grab just two of that? Anyway, I got need three. I just rage quit the game I was playing. Ooh, what game is that? 50 a day? Wait, 50 a day? My great grandma sounded, smoked 50 cigarettes a day and lived to 98? Some people are just built different, man, but holy shit, 50 a day? Alright, cartography table. Composter, which is a weird recipe. I had to make one of those for the farmer as well. I remember it taking fences, weirdly enough. Fences, of all things. 50 a day? Like, I think a pack a day is quite a lot. 50 a day is, like, how much is in a pack, for goodness sakes? A lot. <laughs> a lot, I think. Composter, very good. I bought tickets to see The Garden and Machine Girl. What is that? 20 in a pack? So, like, two and a half packs a day? Oh my lord. That is insane. She went to the pokies literally every day until the day before she died. What is the pokies? Poker? Like the casino. I got a hug from Machine Girl Singer? Who is that? I've never heard of them before. Yeah, and that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money as well. I mean, I know cigarettes especially now are very expensive, but they were never cheap. Fletching table? Oh god, a fletching table. God, I don't know how to make a fucking fletching table. I want to say it takes flint, weirdly enough. I don't know why, but I feel like it takes flint. And then, I mean, is it in here somewhere, maybe? A fletching table? Gonna, gonna go fletch my table. Ooh, well a loom is. Oh, and that's easy. Okay, I'll remember that. That's a smithing table, which actually has no purpose until they introduce netherite, right? A fletching table. How the fucking hell do you make a fletching table? There it is. It is flint. It's four planks and flint. Alright, good. I kind of remembered. Really, the lesson to be learned here is make more of those. Jeez. Alright, fletching table. And then the loom was two strings, so let's grab two of these. Rip fletching table. I'm not meaning to, like, I'm not trying to be mean to my fletching table here, but, like, what does this thing do? Nothing. You can't even really do anything with it. This would be, wait, does this block have a purpose yet? It may not have a purpose in this version, but you know what they could do to give this thing a purpose? Make this the thing that lets you, like, tip the arrows with the various kinds of, like, uh... Make this the thing that lets you get, like, the glowing arrows, the poison arrows, the slowness arrows. I know it gives the villagers a job, but, like, if we could actually make use of it... Like, why- that seems like kind of a no-brainer. Surely that's been suggested before, is to make that the thing that, like... Make that the thing that, like, lets you tip the arrows, right? Orphages made more arrows? Yeah, or something like that. I don't know. Hydrate? Thank you. Like, does the... I don't think the loom does anything yet either, for that matter, right? I think it's just the... Oh, no, this... Oh, right, this is for the banner patterns. That's right. So it's basically useless to me, because I never use that. And then the smithing table doesn't have a use right now either, I don't think. I think that was two iron on top of four wood i don't think the smithing table has a purpose yet either but that'll be what you use to make netherite tools and netherite armor hydrate yourself with vodka i dare you i don't drink sorry man smithing table stone cutter we already made one of those how do you make more stone cutters i think they take iron right i think those also take iron uh yes they do one iron very good very good. What happened to dog cam? Dog cam hasn't been a thing for a while. And that's all. I think that's all of the workstations, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's all the workstations. 
You don't need the loom to make all the versions of the banner? Don't you need the loom? Well, I guess so. I didn't know that. Wow. Why are you wowing the fact that I don't drink? Like, I, I don't understand. A lot of people have, like, this weird thing when somebody doesn't drink. It's like, Ooh, what, you think you're better than me? And I'm like, no. Not really. All right, so that's all the workstations. Barrel, blast furnace, grindstone smoker, cartography table loom, smithing table, fletching table, composter, stone cutter. Right. Okay. You're missing a lectern. Shh. You're right. I am missing a lectern. All right, we already made a lectern, though, so I should remember how to make this, right? You're almost time for a long weekend. It's Labor Day. That's true, besties. How do you make these things again? Oh, fuck. Why did dog cam get removed? Oh, because I don't want to summon my dog at his, against his will for the entertainment of my chat, mostly. Um, I forget how to make it. I did. I used to. Hang on, hang on. Let's go into here. Let's go into here. I made it before, so it should be on here somewhere. Hang on. Don't tell me. Don't freaking tell me how to do it, okay? I'm going to figure it out myself. I'm going to be self-sufficient king over here. <laughs> ah, bookshelf. Easy. Oh, that's so easy. Oh, that's the easiest thing I've ever seen. And it's actually going to take exactly how many planks I have. Oh my god, look at that. We got a lectern. My school starts the day after Labor Day? At least your school is reasonable. Okay, now that's all the workstations. Alright, very good. But that's hardly the all the new blocks that got introduced in this version. A lot of the blocks that got introduced in this version are like walls, slab, and stair variants of blocks that have already existed for a while. So, I reckon to believe that we'll probably be able to knock out quite a few more blocks without even leaving our home here. At least your school, like, makes sense, because why wouldn't you start after Labor Day? Why wouldn't you, like, not bring the kids back on, like, I don't know, like, bring the kids back and then have a long weekend immediately after that. That never made sense to me. Have you done an anvil? Yes. Big respect for being teetotal, man. Keep the liver in check, G. What is teetotal, man? Any other thoughts for the museum? Um, Yeah, I'm still trying to work on the villagers at the moment. But uh, eventually I'll get around to the museum as well. So, let's see here. So, smooth stone itself is a new block. So, we'll reserve one for the fern- Or, for the furnace, for the chest. And then smooth stone, I think, has... Oh, no. Smooth stone doesn't have any other variants to it. So, actually, we're good to just put this away. And just put this one smooth stone in there. T total are people who don't drink, but are condescending towards people who do. So, not you. Yeah, I'm not condescending, but... Oh, wait, I already put one in there. I'm not really smart, chat. Have you done three anvils? Yes, I've done all the different kinds of anvils. I've done the anvil itself and then the various stages of damaged anvil, which are actually called chipped anvils now. When did they change that? Very interesting. I never knew that they did that. I got two tickets, but I don't know if Dagon will want to go with me. Who are they? Where are they playing? When is it? You gotta keep me in the loop here. You gotta keep me in the lizoop. Alright, and then... Smooth... Smooth red sandstone. Oh, God. Does... Okay, red sand makes sandstone. Right, we got that. And then there's smooth variants of red sandstone, which I assume are like... So, smooth red sandstone... Red sandstone isn't new, but smooth red sandstone is. Sandstone slabs and sandstone stairs are not new. But now we can make a smooth variant of this. Is a smooth... Is a smooth variant of redstone... Red sandstone? God, that's very confusing. Yeah! Wait, no, that's chiseled. No, that's not smooth. How do you make smooth? Is smooth like this? It is like... No, that's cut! 
Wait, why am I not using the fucking thing that makes this whole shit easy? Hang on. Why am I not using the, like, thing that's supposed to make all this shit easy? The stone cutter, for God's sakes. Yeah, take a shot every time I'll say smooth. You put it in a furnace? Ah, son of an ass. Son of an ass. So what you're saying is that even if I put this in here... Yeah, that still only gets me the cut and the chiseled. However, I think this does have a wall now. Red sandstone wall? Yeah, that is new. What is this? That's cut red sandstone slab? Is that new? Cut red sandstone slab? Is that new as well? Jesus, this is confusing, man. Like, the, the hardest part of this challenge... Okay, maybe not the hardest, but like... Some updates really don't add that many new blocks. They just add, like, variants of existing blocks. And then it gets so easy to get it all twisted up. Cut red sandstone slab. Do I have this? No, I just have red sandstone slab. Where the... Cut red sandstone. I don't have this written down anywhere, man. I don't think I have this written down anywhere. Too many blocks. This is too confusing for me, man. Say ointment. Go on, I dare you. Huh. Trying to add my list of things to do to keep my procrastination going. Ooh. Interesting. Cut red sandstone is 1.8. Right. When was cut red stone... Okay. Jesus, it's so hard. When was cut red sandstone slabs? When was cut red sandstone slabs? Is that new in this version? 1.14. Okay, good. So I didn't miss it from like forever ago. Cut red sandstone slabs. All right, apparently those are new as well. Holy shit. God, this is like literal rocket science. And then apparently putting this in a foinus is how you make the smooth red sandstone. Okay. Same as stairs. Wait. Smooth. Cut. Cut red sandstone has a stair variant as well. I don't see it. But maybe. Maybe, maybe. That's an iron. Smooth red sandstone. That's kind of a nice block. I, why don't I hear more about this? Right, so that has a slab and smooth red sandstone slab. Jesus Christ, they look the same, man. Why would you care about which one is which? God. All right, anyway. Yeah, the names of some freaking blocks are like longer than some sentences out there, man. Like, how does this is so easy to get all twisted up? Right, now we got to put this back in here, and then we got to make a stair out of it. Oh my lord. There you go. And I think we're going to have to do this for like... Smooth cut. And there's no cut stair. So why do you have a smooth and a cut version of the slab, but no cut version of the stair? Smooth red sandstone stairs. What a fucking mouth. What a fucking mouthful. Waxed, weathered, cut copper stairs? I'm not looking forward to that. The copper update. Luckily, you can just get a shit ton of copper really easily. Ugh. Cut, red, smooth... I'm not... I can't. I can't. My, 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 it, t it twists my tongue too much. It twists my tongue. Oh, right, and then red sandstone walls are a new thing as well. So is that all the new red sandstone stuff? Jesus. Too many adjectives update. Exactly. Jesus. How do you not get this, like, completely twisted up here? Alright, grab that again. Now let's bring this all down to the basement here. 
Waxed, lightly weathered, cut copper stairs. Oh my god, really? Is that a block? What a fucking nightmare. What a fucking nightmare. All right. So that's that. And then there's smooth sandstone slabs. Okay, so now let's grab our sandstone, and now we can make smooth cut sandstone slabs, st sandstone wall, and then smooth st sandstone with two of these. Don't use your coal ass coal block for that, please. Oh my god. Buzzy bees, nether, both parts of caves and cliffs, and wild left to do. Yes. And buzzy bees did not introduce a lot, so that one won't be too, too bad. I don't think, at least. Hey, girl boss, how are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. I'm alright. Smooth sandstone. And now, dedicate one to smooth sandstone slabs, and then one to smooth sandstone stairs. And there you go, that's sandstone done. Yeah, this is gonna be really tough to commentate over or explain in the video. I thought those were fish. Alright, we got one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Alright, beautiful. Let's give these things the same treatment we did with the red sandstone. I hope it's not weird that I called you girl boss. Oh no, no, I get called girl boss all the time. It's fine. Find out it's useless, except for the scope. I mean, copper is good for building, but if you're not a builder like me, yeah, kind of useless, honestly. I think I already put a brick wall away. Lumichu. Hey, Dag. Thanks for the two months in a row. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. So now andesite, diorite, and granite all have wall variants to them. They might have stair variants to them as well. Yeah, so they have... Oh god, why would you ever make these? Why would you ever make these? Oh no, why would you ever do this? Oh god. And then... Did I already make, like, our smooth polished diorite slabs already a thing? Or do I have to make these as well? I'll make them just to be sure. The polished stuff was already a thing. I think that was the only thing that you could do with it before. Alright, and then all of these blocks now have that treatment as well. I think you weren't able to make slabs and stairs before, so let's do that. Like this, and then like this. Okay, and now my inventory is fucking full. Too many blocks that look alike? It's so easy to get twisted up here. I'm gonna need like a Harvard astrophysicist to confirm that I've gotten all these blocks here. So, smooth... Polished versions of these didn't have slabs and stairs, right? When were they first introduced? Yeah, they were first introduced here, but they didn't have slabs and stairs. Okay, so these are new. Andesite, polished andesite, slab, wall, slab. Let's keep the slabs together. Not that it, it's not important. And then, regular, polished, polished, regular, and I never made a diorite wall. Okay, yeah, I gotta make a diary wall. Uh, someone with a degree in blockology. Yeah, 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 I gotta get a diary wall. Thankfully, Dag is the only person that needs to use their brain to figure it out. Yeah, imagine me! The, the, the bloke who just gets to watch me do all this shit. I would ask that at least some people in chat are using your brain to make sure that I'm doing all this shit right. I think I am. But it's tough. Diorite stairs? Diorite anything? I'm- I, I actually like diorite more than granite, but it do be looking like an Oreo milkshake, don't it? It do be looking like a damn Oreo milkshake. Honestly, I'm never using these. Don't put them away, because I'm never using them. Never! Never gonna use those. Absolutely not. Right, and then granite for all that as well. Here. Here. Wall here, here. Alright. And put the granite away. 
bugs me how useless copper is. I mean, they might make a purpose for it again eventually. Again, like, it's a good building block if you care to use it. Not me, though. <laughs> I don't care to. Smooth. And then onto this chest. Regular granite slab. And then wall. Yeah. And then we'll throw these away. Join your sandstone friends over here. Rip copper golem. Oh yeah, they were gonna make a mob out of them. The mob vote. Honestly, like the first mob vote, the one that added the uh the oh the the phantoms. Why the fuck did that get voted in? And I say this as someone who voted them in. What was I thinking? But then honestly, the one that voted in the LAs, is that what they call them? The LAs? The allies? I don't know. Those seem pretty cool, honestly. Those seem pretty cool. They, we might have gotten that one right, at least. Those seem pretty cool. The blue things, yeah. I don't know what the other choices for the Phantom one were, but I just remember... Well, now I know Phantoms are fucking annoying. Oh yeah, the Mooblume was one of them. And then the Copper Golem was another one. By the way, I did see a couple of Phantoms when I was building these huts over here. Because I didn't sleep in a while, so I got a few phantom membranes, which is what lets you make slow falling, I think, for as useful as that is. The giant squid thing and blaze king? Ooh, interesting. Alright, moving on then. Nether brick wall. Red nether brick wall. Nether brick wall, red nether brick wall. Uh, do I have any nether brick? Seems not, but I can make some. Oh wait, you know where I keep my nether brick is in the nether, rather appropriately. The Blaze King got used in Minecraft Dungeons? What is that? Is that like an RPG? I've never played that before. Dream rigging the vote? Yeah, that is like... I don't know, that is a lot of power that just like... Okay. That is a lot of power that just, like, Minecraft YouTubers could just have to say, like, Oh, hey, this is what you should vote for. Yeah, I guess, like, pretty much what Dream wants is what Dream would get, because he definitely has the following that where he could, you know, do that, right? The glow squid sucks? I don't think it's bad. I don't really think about it at all, to be honest with you. But I don't think that they're bad. Can I have one piece of coal, please? You look like the kind of guy that would like banana Laffy Taffy. I'm gonna do you one further. I don't even like Laffy Taffies, man. I think that, honestly, Taffy, just in general, is gross. It's a very popular um, confection. Where I live, saltwater taffy. It's fucking disgusting. It's horrible. Saltwater taffy where I live is like a, a delicacy. I hate it, dude. So bad. That's a cool piston chest system you got. Thank you. Credits to Ethos Lab. I did not make this. Axolotls cute as fuck. You don't want to hear my opinion on axolotls. Banana Laffy Taffy is so good. Fuck whoever said that. That's very mean. Glow Squid adds a cool bioluminescence to the world. I think that they're cool, and they give you those, like, bright item frames as well. No, Saltwater Taffy's so good. I disagree. Respectfully, I disagree. Oh, wait, so Nether Brick... Right, so Nether Brick Walls are new, and then Red Nether Brick Walls, which I think takes two Nether Wart to make? Licorice is the best candy. I'm going to stop you right there. No. No, licorice and all of its horrible, like, I don't know. People say, like, oh, Twizzlers aren't real licorice. You got to try real. No, I don't. It's fucking disgusting. Full stop. All licorice are bastards. IMHO. Horrible. Horrible candy. Oh, God. Why? All right. And then red nether brick walls. Tastes like... Dagnall likes the taste of extinct banana, confirmed. 
I like modern bananas. I like regular bananas. Alright, so they're there. Uh, a campfire. Oh yeah, how the hell do you make a campfire? Probably coal. Wood. Sticks. I don't know, maybe I unlocked the recipe for it. You're a nerd derogatory for not liking licorice? I don't know, man. All I'm saying is that... Oh, yeah, here, here it is, right here. There we go. All I'm saying is that when I was a kid, okay, they would always pass out licorice. That was, like, the candy. I had a teacher who, after, like, every big test, they used to hand out, like, the bowl of candy, and you'd pass it around. And everyone would take all the fucking licorice out of it. And I'm like, why? Am I the only son of a bitch in this world who does not like licorice? It was fucking disgusting. Then again... Uh, the ad, the converse thing was at lunchtime when they gave us raisins with our lunch, which happened occasionally. Everyone would give me their fucking raisins because I was the only motherfucker that liked raisins. You're American. Any licorice you've ever had doesn't count. Okay, respectfully, I'm going to um, assume that you're from Europe. And I know that in very many places in Europe, you guys like to take a piece of licorice and then fucking pound a literal like kilogram of salt in there and then you call that like your national delicacy okay so you can insult me all you want but i'm not gonna be the one that dies of like liver failure because i had like salted licorice in my childhood that's horrible. That sounds disgusting, okay? What's up, Sad Jazz? How are you doing? Was this point worth making my palm hurt? Yes. Yes, it was. Marmite is also gross. Never had Marmite or Vegemite, but... Yeah. They don't sound great. So all of the woods uh, now have sign variants as well. We already, of course, have the oak sign. But we're gonna need signs for dark oak. We're gonna need signs for spruce. We're gonna need signs for birch. We're gonna need signs for jungle. We're gonna need signs for acacia. We're gonna need signs for motherfucking... Is that it? Dark oak, spruce... I don't know if I have any spruce, because I think I brought it all with that. Oh, I have fucking had another brick. God damn it. I feel like I'm missing a wood. I feel like I'm missing a wood. Oak, of course I'm missing because I don't need it. I think it's just spruce maybe, right? Birch? I got birch. Birch, acacia, dark oak, jungle. And then I'm going to grab spruce. And then maybe that is it. I don't know. Can't wait for the nether woods. Yeah, those are be coming in the 1.16 update. Which is going to be the next big update. 1.15 is just the bees, which is not big, but... Uh, 116 will be the nether wood and everything in the new nether update, which will be fun. Vegemite's good. Just don't put a slab in your mouth or your sandwich. A little amount goes a long way. Isn't it, like, super salty? Isn't Vegemite and Marmite, like, super salty? Very popular in, I believe, Australia. And the only reason I know that is because there's that Men at, Men at Work song that goes like, He just smiled and made me a Vegemite sandwich. And he says, oh, do you come from the land down under? Not even the fucking best Men at Work song. It's honestly, like, not that good. It's honestly not that good. But, like, you know, don't hate me for telling you the truth. Acacia, spruce, dark oak. But there, that is a song by Men at Work. That song is so good. It's fine. It's not nearly the best Men at Work song. He's like, yeah, I think Vegemite's very popular, where, uh, what's his name? Cliff? I forget what his name is <laughs> in that, uh, band, but yeah. It's from Australia, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so all the different woods now have their sign variants, which are a little off-center, by the way. You will never unsee that. And... I'm not gatekeeping men at work. You can like what you like. I'm just saying, it's not the best one.
That song is good. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. But I'm just saying it's not to... Who can it be now? That's my saxophone noise, in case you were wondering. That's how I make a saxophone sound. Smooth Quartz now has a slat... Wait, was Smooth Quartz a thing already, though? Or is Smooth Quartz new? I think Smooth Quartz might have already been a thing? There's Black of Quartz, Black of Quartz, Black of Quartz... Oh, no, not Randall. Smooth Quartz, is that a thing? Your saxophone noise terrified my bird? Well, your bird probably would terrify me, so it's really only fair. Is Smooth Quartz a thing already? Why do I feel like it is? I feel like it is. Where was... When was all the quartz shit introduced? Really? All the way back here? Quartz, quartz, chiseled quartz, block of quartz. Maybe smooth quartz isn't a thing? Somebody check that for me. When was smooth quartz added? Was it 1.14? I feel like it's been a thing for a while, though. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, 1.14. Mm, okay. So, is smooth quartz like the other smooth blocks where you have to stick it in a furnace? Or can you put that in a stone cutter, maybe? Let's see. Here? Yeah, that's how you make pillar and chisel. But, okay, so you probably gotta stick it in here. Give it a little cook. There we go. Just, 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 just one. You don't need a whole ass thing. You don't need a whole ass thing here. Four quartz? I think it's like this, because this is how you make all the stone shit. Yeah, okay, so smooth quartz, and then I'm going to need two, actually, because I'll need one for stairs and then one for slabs. I went to a Wahoos yesterday with my friends, but the ride was pretty fucked. A Wahoos? The hell is that? So, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stair. Okay. Beautiful. Throw one of those away. I, dude, I don't know a cryptic. I, I'm trying my best out here, but I'm struggling. Sticking in these nuts? That's fucking disgusting, man. That's fucking disgusting. Stone slab and stone stairs. Right. So, stone slabs. Have I not already put those in here? I have not. Okay. Well, stone slabs and then stone stairs are new as well. You need to calm down. Yes, I don't see the much of a difference between the smooth quartz and the regular quartz. I think the regular quartz is already pretty smooth, but uh, what do I know, I guess. Don't you need a smooth quartz block? You're right. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself because you're right. You're, you're freaking right. Everyone's always so freaking smart all the time, you know that? You're all freaking wise guys. Dag, my poor, my switch is broken and I'm too poor to fix it. And I want to die because I want to play Animal Crossing so bad. How do I solve this? Are you venting to me or do you genuinely want an answer from me? Because I have no idea how you fix that, man. I've never had to fix a switch in my life. It's like an arcade with more? Ooh, okay. I guess the spreadsheet is helping, but I don't know. Like, what is the difference between this... And this. Okay, the only thing is this just doesn't have a border around it. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing. It doesn't have, like, the border. Jesus Christ. That's... Kind of ridiculous. Shit, hang on. No, 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 you wanna... There you go. It's, it's a very minor thing. I think about Axnu wondering if he can fit his... Not reading that. I'm not reading that. Um, hey, dude, you want to quit fucking with the things that I threw in there? Alright? Let him despawn. Yo, imagine Litter in real life just despawning. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Like, you, like, litter outside, but it, your, like, bottle that you litter de despawns in five minutes? Oh my god, dude, we'd have the cleanest-ass planet. Anyway, um... 
Right, we already did all that. Mossy cobblestone slabs and mossy cobblestone stairs are a thing now. Yeah, you get the lava pit trash can. There you go, IRL. That's free heating right there. Society, if litter despawns. Yeah, man. All right, mossy cobble stair. Oh, and wall. I feel like the wall is definitely new as well. No, wait. Mossy cobble walls are not new. Those have been a thing, I think, as long as walls have been a thing, right? Check that for me. I think the only thing new with mossy is stairs. That's fire. Yeah, I don't think walls are new. I just don't think I've ever used them. Why do I have three pings on Discord? The blokes chat's popping off right now. Holy shit. What's the blokes chat? Sorry, that's confidential in information. Litter does despawn, but it takes a hundred years. Oh, come on. Fix your game, God. Oh, this has been a certified gamer moment. Okay. What's your favorite Minecraft animal? Oh, I'm kind of an animal. Sorry. Um, I think it's probably uh, the villager. I think it's probably the villager. Stop? What do you mean? That's so good. That's so good. What do you... See, but now why would you do that? It's actually so good, though. That was disgusting. What do you mean, man? That was actually so good. Mossy stone brick slab. Mossy stone brick stair. Shit, dude. I don't think I have mossy stone bricks. But can't you, like... You can make them now, right? You can make them now. My, oh, yeah, because I already had some in here. That proves that they're not new. You can make them with vines. Problem is, is, I really don't think I have vines. I think I can grow a jungle tree, though, and get some vines. Why don't we do that? And then I'll need my shizzers. And I also need some bizone meal. Bizone meal. This guy, he's unhinged today, man. Apology video with tears? I'm not apologizing for that. Hello, but I'm not sorry. Villagers over dogs? Am I- I'm surprised? The thing with dogs, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. I, I refuse to get a dog in this game, man. I would want it to, like... I would be too sad if it died, which they're very prone to doing. Alright. Here and here. I'm not even gonna bother cutting down the tree. Literally all I want is just make mossy stone. Garden Lantern Lisa. Thanks for the four months in a row. Tier 3! Wait, I'm... Have you been in Tier 3? Or did you just upgrade? Holy smokers, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Extra emotes. And the same amount of ad-free viewing. What was that voice? Help? That was Mr. Frog from Smiling Friends. Hello, but I'm not sorry. In response to him eating a TMZ reporter. No, I've been a three. Holy shit, thank you. Did I never acknowledge that you were a tier three? Did I never acknowledge that? Well, thank you either way. Okay. Mossy stone brick stairs. Mossy stone brick wall. Hmm. Red nether brick slab. Red nether brick stair. Fuck, I need more red nether bricks, huh? One, two, three, four. I need more red nether bricks. Oh, shit, and I threw my nether bricks away. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, lord. Oh, god, that's so embarrassing. Did you place smooth red sandstone and smooth sandstone in the chests yet? Smooth red sandstone and smooth sandstone. No, I guess I didn't, did I? I guess I didn't. Because those are new, right? Yeah, I guess they are. Because smooth... Yeah. Okay, yeah, let me do that. That's a good point. How's Stanley doing? Just fine. Thank you for asking. That's what happens when you litter? No, man. No. Consequences of my actions? Absolutely not. I think not. That Mr. Frog impression was pretty good. Yeah, I thought so.
How's Mona doing? Gotta give the cats some love, too. Yeah, he's doing fine as well. Oh, yeah, I gotta make a... I gotta make a fucking thing here first. Yeah, he's doing good as well. The boys are well today. Thank you for your concern. Both the boys are quite well today. Sla stairs and slabs, stairs and slabs, stairs and slabs, stairs and slabs. I know, dude. It's enough to make a grown man cry. I'm overusing this emo because I only have 24 hours. I think you could buy it again tomorrow with your channel points if you want to. But yeah, that's okay, though. What color should I paint my nails? I'm very indecisive. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I want to be held responsible for this life-altering decision. I don't know, man. That's quite the responsibility for me to pick. What if, like, you painted them, like, flesh-colored? Like, the same color that your nails already are, but, like, it's paint. Like, it, it, people would look up, people would look at your nails and be like, oh, wow, your nails aren't painted. And then you shisha them in their face, and it's like, wow, they are painted. I just never noticed, because they're the same paint as your flesh. That's terrifying? What is terrifying about that? That's actually really good. I gotta go back and get some nether brick. Shishisha. Paint them gold? Or or gold, yeah. Mauve? What the hell is mauve? Is that like a red? Anonymous! Thanks for the gifts of the Jinsi! Christ, too many noises going on. Jinsi, there you go. Now you get those emotes for a month. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you, Anonymous. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I got to do like this. All right. Mob is purple. Could have said skin color, but you have to say flesh. People have different skin colors, but we all got flesh, okay? We all got flesh. It's the universal common denominator. We're all flesh meat bags. What's up, Ollie? How are you doing today? Welcome. I have some good and bad news. I'm officially part of the naval fleet, but I won't be in chat nearly as often. So what you're saying... So what you're saying... So, what you're saying is that, is you're a seaman? Sea, seaman? You're a... Congratulations, that sounds like quite the accomplishment. But that's okay, you're doing something that you enjoy. Even if it means taking some time out of the stream. I appreciate it. Um, happy to be a part of this, I miss older Minecraft. Yo, it's pretty great, thanks for joining. Right, I already had nether brick, like I said like two seconds ago. And my nether wart, right. Did not need... Wait a minute. Am I dumb? Oh my god, chat, I'm so dumb. I made nether bricks, but I don't need nether bricks. I need red nether bricks. Chat, I'm an idiot. But we already knew that. Right, so red nether bricks now have uh, stairs. And slabs. And fence. Rip. Yeah. Stairs and slabs. I already made the walls, I think. My friend drank body wash yesterday on the bus ride. Oh. Wait a minute. I was just thinking about something. You know how, um... Nether bricks have fences... You know how nether bricks have fences? Do red nether bricks have fences as well? Keyboard shortcut to copy your current coordinates to your clipboard? Isn't that already a thing, I think? I think that's already a thing. Hang on. Aren't red nether... Hang on. It's showing all, please. Do red nether bricks have fences? I know they have walls, but I know that nether brick has walls and fences. Do red nether bricks have fences as well? That would only make sense, right? Wait, no they don't? It's kind of weird. Why would only one nether brick type have fence to it? 
I mean, it is kind of weird that, like, it's probably the only block nether brick that has fences and walls of that block type. Because, yeah, they got fences here, and then they got walls way back here. It's got to be the only block that does that. But red nether bricks only have walls. At least as far as I can tell. Yeah, there's just red walls. No red fences, though. Anyway. All these stairs and slabs have fried my brain. You're telling me! I'm gonna go and make them! These is easy from the sidelines, I imagine. Anyway. Thanks for the hydrate. Even though I, I could if I was a, If I was a mean guy, I would have counted the last hydrate as that hydrate. But you know what? I won't. Because I'm a good guy. I have morals and principles. Finished all my shit early, so I gotta leave work almost an hour early? Hell yeah, brother. Fuck yeah, boys. Sorry. That sounds good. I'm happy for you. Clear this shit out of my inventory. Um, okay. Now, end stone brick slabs and end stone brick stairs. I believe I already have these, so at least this one's easy. I don't gotta make them. They already had walls, right? Endstone brick stairs, endstone brick slabs. I think endstone bricks already had walls before this. Probably when they were first introduced, if I had to guess. Probably when they were first introduced. So, here, here. Let me try to confirm that, that they already had walls. No. They didn't. No, no, no. They are new. Hang on. I'm stupid. They are new. Okay. Never mind. Good night, Dagnal. Have a good stream. Yo, have a good night, tiny snail boy. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, by the way, chat, it is worth mentioning something. I think September, this month, this very month that we are a part of right now, yeah, it's already September, is probably going to be a bit of a down month as far as content from me. I am planning a little trippy trip trip back home for about a week. Um, and of course, like, I will try to have YouTube videos that go up while I'm gone, but I can't promise it because it is quite a lot of work. But I will try. I will try. So for about a week, there will be no streams. And... Uh, I, I hope that I can get the same amount of YouTube stuff done, but I can't promise anything. Congrats on the vacation. Congrats. Thanks, I guess. Um, Prismarine now has a wall to it. It already had stairs and slabs. We already had that, but that has a wall now. Stone brick walls are new. I can't believe we didn't have stone brick walls. That's kind of insane to me. We didn't have stone brick walls. Yeah, I have some right here because I was using them. Okay, cool. Mossy stone brick walls. Oh shit, I need more mossy. I used your Hello Fresh code. My meals should be here next Thursday. Yo, let's go! Hell yeah, I hope you enjoy them. God, Sheets sounds so good right now. Bro, I get to go to Sheets. Yeah! I get to go to Sheets. I get to go to Wegmans. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I should stream while Dag is gone. You should. You shouldn't even wait until I'm gone. You should totally stream and make YouTube videos. Kristen's been like, I should make like anime reviews on YouTube. And I'm like, yes, you should. And then... Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what exactly she'd want to do, but... Oh shit, chat. I'm so sorry. You know what you know what happened? I toggled my mute button to my F3 or my F5. Okay, anyway, uh sorry about that. Yeah, I should probably change that back, huh? 
I this is what I usually have it when I when I like play normally, but I guess yeah, that mutes me, huh? Sorry. Anyway, what was the last thing I said? What was the last thing I said before I muted myself? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Kristen, you should stream. Kristen should stream while I'm gone and make YouTube videos, do anime reviews. Pro streamer right there. Well, can we just say pro chatters for letting me know? Thank you. Otherwise, I could have been gone. I could have been going on a rant for like five minutes, for God's sakes, before realizing. Gosh. At least I read my chat. Sandstone walls. Did I not already do sandstone walls? I think I did. I'm going to double check it. What's a sheet? It's a gas station, um, like, yeah, I did. And then that probably means I did red sandstone walls. I did. End stone brick walls, which I did. Yeah. And then a lantern, which I've already done. Back. Yeah, back here. Okay. So it is just these two, or these three, rather. Boop, boop, boop. So I think that that's all the blocks. Oh, wait, I already did a mossy stone brick wall. Oh, silly me. I think that's all the blocks added to this version that are just like slab, stair, and wall variants of existing blocks. That was horrible. That was just mind-meltingly difficult to account for all these blocks that already exist, but just now have, like, different slabs and stairs to them. That was horrible. I never want to do that again. Alright. I think that's it for blocks that we can make at home. The rest of the blocks in this version are ones that we're gonna have to travel for, like bamboo, whoops, bamboo, which will be used to make scaffolding, a bell, cornflower, lily of the valley, wither rose, which means I'm gonna have to fight the wither again, <clears throat> Sweet berries, tall grass, and tall ferns, which will be quite hard to get. Those will be quite hard to get. So now we actually got to do a little adventuring. Now we got to do a little adventuring here. The Viking, thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. And Black Shroud, hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And both of you enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very, very much. Do I need to bring anything to get those blocks? I don't think I need shears, because tall grass and tall ferns you grab from a chest in a village. Um, so I don't think I need shears for that. I don't think that... I think we're good, honestly. I think we're good to just leave whenever we're ready. Give me my food right here. My water. My water. I don't need bone meal. A bed? It would be wise to bring a bed, would it not? It would be wise. Don't let the wither travel back home and destroy your house. They actually made it so that it can't go through the portal anymore. So lucky me. That wouldn't happen again. That wouldn't happen now. I think we can leave. I just, I mean, I should probably make a bed, right? Probably make a bed. Do I have... I don't think I have wool in here. I think I keep my wool somewhere else completely. Dizzy. You crafted the mossy stone brick wall and stairs, but missed mossy stone brick slab, I think. Mossy stone brick slab. You're right. You're right. It appears as though you are correct. Mossy stone brick slab. Well, geez, man, if I did that, what other blocks did I miss, for God's sakes? Christ. All right, do I... I'm going to have to grab another vine, which means I'm going to go back and get my fucking shears. I'm going to... Never mind. I'm okay. Hopefully that's all I missed. Thank you for pointing that out, Dizzy. Thank you, Lamavana, for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I mean, it was I was bound to miss one. I'm surprised I only missed one, to be honest with you, as far as blocks in all this. But if that's all that I missed, then that's not bad. Was smooth stone slab already a thing? Yes, that was a thing for a long time, actually. 
That used to be what you would get when you did three stone blocks in a line, but now they have the smooth stone as its own separate thing now in this version, which is, oh god, it just adds to the confusion. Smooth red and regular sandstone, just blocks. Yes. Right there. I did do those. Yeah, that one I almost missed until someone pointed it out. I'll just take that bed. Who cares? But now my respawn point's going to be wrong, so let's do this. Do a double check later just to be safe. I mean, I can go through them now, and you guys can screenshot it, and then you can tell me if I missed anything. But, yeah. My brain, reasonably, is quite fried after doing that. So what did I miss? I missed the... I missed the slab of this, right? Yeah, okay. I missed the slab. Did... Randall. <laughs> hey, Raiden! Meehan! Thanks for the raid! Appreciate that, thank you. How was your stream? Emperor, love your vids? Thank you, I appreciate that. Right, I missed the slab. Alright, good. Now I gotta move all this shit over one, because it's gonna bug me if I don't. Alright, very good. What's up, Neon Rainbow Unicorn, and all the people that came from Mayhand stream? What'd you play? Oh! Alright, we're just about to set out for an adventure. Um... To get scaffolding, bamboo, bell, cornflower, lily of the valley, wither rose. Well, not wither rose. We'll get that later. Sweet berries, tall grass, and large fern. I want you to look at that fern and be like, damn, that fern be large, though. And despite how much I hate it, I will use elytra because it is just simply the best way to fly. It is just simply the best means of transportation, even if it's boring as hell. And since I haven't generated very much terrain out this direction at all, it seems like that's the direction I should keep on going. So, uh, yay. here we go. So I think if we go past that village that we found where I keep kidnapping all the villagers from, I reckon not too much further than that will we find new terrain. I reckon it wouldn't take much longer than that. The challenge is going well today. I just got... I mean, we, we've gotten a shit ton of blocks so far. Now we actually gotta travel out and start getting some more here. But traveling... Like, the world is so much smaller now with all this fucking elytra bullshit. I don't know, man. I don't know, the world is so much smaller now. Back when, like, you could only travel... Oh, hey, another village. Back when you can only travel... Wait, I have been here before. Back when you can only travel, like, by walking, not even sprinting, the world just felt so much bigger, right? Now that you can just do this, man, the world is so much tinier. To be clear, the world is the same size, but the world seems so much tinier now when you can just do shit like this. So here's my warm ocean, which was generated in 1.13. So, theoretically, going out a little bit further in this direction should get us some new terrain, I would think. My computer, you, you probably can't hear it. That thing just, the fans started, the fans started going. The fans are, the fans are revving up. Yo, Bonnie. Do the laundry and get ready for the overnight shift. Happy to have... Happy to be included, like always. Well, thank you. I hope your night shift goes well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing, of course. Is this new? This is loading quite slow, so I feel like this is new. Um, Do Lily of the Valleys and Cornflowers only spawn in flower forests? Or can they just spawn in, like, any old plains biome, maybe? I don't know. Let's keep going a little bit further. Alley oops. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing as well. Did you drink Red Bull for wings? No, I actually had to visit an end city. But that slogan's not nearly as catchy, unfortunately. Go to the end city gives you wings. No, no, that doesn't work. What's up, Repuffs? How are you doing? Totally agree. Yeah, I, I, on one hand, I mean, I'm a kind of a hypocrite for using them, despite how much I hate Elytra. 
On one hand, I kind of hate how it's pretty much disincentivized any other way of traveling, have Elytra. But it is just simply the best way to cover this much ground. I'm Rick James, bitch. Show me your titties. I just need to find any landmass. Like, landmass, not an island, ideally. You know about the lawsuit on Red Bull by someone? No, what is, what is the lawsuit of Red Bull? What's that about? Probably like, what, gave someone cardiac arrest? <laughs> I'd imagine so, if you drink enough of them. He jumped off a building after drinking it? And he's blaming the Red Bull for that? Oh, another ocean monument. Cool. And he's, dr and he's blaming the, uh, the Red Bull, huh? Interesting. I don't know how well that's going to hold up in court, but more power to him, I suppose. More power to him. And not being better than a cup of coffee, I think. Oh, oh, hey, there's a cornflower. Hi. That's a cornflower. Yeah. Okay, so you don't need a... I, I thought you were going to need a, a flower forest to get these. But apparently they just spawned on this little-ass island. Now, Lilies of the Valley I'm not sure about, but hopefully those come pretty quickly as well. Kind of cool. And then this dolphin... Actually, you know what's the one method of transportation that Elytra hasn't made obsolete? Getting fucking Dolphin's Grace and then going like... Like this. Yeah, okay. Elytra hasn't made that obsolete. Luckily it doesn't make it last... It doesn't last too long. Enjoying the stream. Oh, Hope thank you, you enjoy your vacation later this month. I plan on it. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And enjoy, well, not your emotes and ad free viewing, but you get what I mean. Buried treasure. I mean, I'd always take more hearts of the sea. Oh, and I'm actually very close to this one. Well, golly, I got to head exactly in the direction that I'm heading. Okay, it's probably near this landmass over here. Hey, give me some speed! There you go, big man! Oh, yeah, now we're cruising. Meow. Oh, I love that. I love that. Forests or in new 1.17 biomes? Okay, interesting. Good to know. So, it just could be like any plains biome then. So it could be even... Right next to me. Hmm. Alright. Neon Rainbow Unicorn brought me here. Neon Rainbow Unicorn brought me here. She likes videos. binging your videos. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits. And thank you, Neon Rainbow Unicorn, for bringing them over here. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always welcoming new clients. That's what you guys are to me. You're just clients. Alright, so right about here. Right about here? There it is. You're not in 1.17 yet? Oh, shit. I misread that. Yeah. Okay. Take more of these, I guess. Sure. Why not? All right. Cool. Oh, yeah. Break the chest so that new maps that I load don't point me towards that one. All right. So we will need a flower forest for the Lily of the Valley. Okay. Well, good to know. You get a horse. Alright, we're on a decent-sized landmass. There's a swamp. I don't think I need anything in a swamp, but it probably means that there's more out there in case this landmass ends. Sorry, I've missed a lot of chat. <laughs> you could have applied for $10 directly or $15 in Red Bull products. Not that it actually I, I I don't I don't think I'm following, but I don't know. It just seems like I, I wouldn't want to be the one suing Red Bull, that's for sure. I wouldn't want to be the one. False advertising. Yeah, I don't know, man. If people are like, I drank a Red Bull and I didn't get wings at all. Have fun with that one. I'm sure the judge will. I tell it to the judge, Buster. Alright, looking for a flower forest or a jungle, because of course jungles give you bamboo. Well, that's a really tall mushroom. I don't think these give us anything, right? I don't think these would give us anything new. Although I could find a woodland mansion, considering this is a dark oak forest and a new one at that. So I could find a woodland mansion. 
If I do find one, will I even bother taking it on? Jeez, man, I don't know. I don't know if that would be worth it, to be honest with you, because those things are actually quite tough. What block are we on right now? We have quite a... Ooh, another ice spikes. Or is it... Oh, no, it's totally an ice spikes. Okay, I thought it was just this one lonely little ice spike out here. Oh, interesting. Well, this will be very handy if I ever want to make, like, a super, like, fast tunnel with, like, a boat. You know how you put a boat on blue ice and it goes super fast? Well, that'll be a good place to collect ice if I ever want to do that. So we'll, we'll mark those coordinates down. But I don't really think I need anything from that biome, and I don't know if it would lead me to anything that I do need. There were lilies in that forest by the coast? What? Lilies in that forest by the coast. I'm out of fireworks. I see turtles. I see oxide daisies. You probably know what you're talking about, to be clear. I want to make sure you didn't just see, like, an Oxide Daisy or something like that, or an Azure Bluet. Sophie. Another month of uncozy streams. Dagnall love, I'm gonna leave the stream running while I go sleep. Hope everyone's having a happy day. Thank you. But, oh, fuck me. Six months in a row, I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. What is this 3D bed? I didn't know you could do that. You sleep in a bed in third person? You do a third person bed sleeping? Oh shit. And lilies of the valley. Hey. I only need one. So there you go. Literally right there. Okay, dude. That was like two, three of them. Okay? You can understand how I missed that, alright? That was like two or three of them. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Okay? I want to make it clear that only one person spotted it, alright? Yes, it's very easy to say in hindsight that you knew those were there, but I don't know, man. I'm not so convinced. Yo, five-star Minecraft world. Let's go. <laughs> Animal Crossing. Anyway, moving on. guess the big thing we need now is a jungle, right? Jungle, any type of village would be welcome as well because they can give me tall grass and tall ferns. Um, and I guess that's it, really. I guess that's it. Swamps, reasonably, would probably point me to jungles, considering they're both wet biomes, but I don't know how true that is. Oh, yeah, llamas! I totally forgot that llamas are in the game, quite honestly, but there you go. They don't give us anything, but sure. My eyes are simply superior. Definitely better than mine. Can't you bone meal for tall grass? So, you can... It's kind of weird. You can get the two tall grass from bone mealing, yes, but you can't collect it. You only get one tall grass from doing that. So, what, I mean, I guess I can demonstrate it here, because there's definitely going to be some in this plains. Okay, so you get this two tall grass here, right? But if I use shears on it, which I stupidly forgot my shears, you only get, you get two individual pieces of tall grass. To actually get the tall grass block... You need to get it from a chest in a village. That's the only way to get that, uh, the two tall. Other than getting two individual ones. So, yeah, it's a little confusing, but that is what you gotta do. Apparently, there are loot in village chests. So that's why I'm looking for a village. And then a jungle for bamboo. That's what we're working on. Like, isn't it amazing? I've traveled thousands of blocks, and I've only been doing it for, like, ten minutes here. It's kind of ridiculous how OP Elytra is, as long as it doesn't break, which is kind of a concern, actually. A bit of a concern. My Elytra breaking. It does have mending, but... Ugh, still. I always find those in spruce villages. Are spruce villages even a thing yet? I actually have no idea. I thought, I'm still under the mindset that villages only spawn in, like, plains and deserts, but honestly, there might be spruce villages now. In the village and pillage update, it would make a lot of sense. Gotta carry around some XP bottles for on-the-road repair? That would be smart. That would be smart. 
Okay, we got a village here. It's actually quite a big one. Oh, right, these are the new ones. These are super nice compared to that one that I have near my house. Oh my god, these are so much nicer. Wowee. Yeah, these are much, much nicer compared to the ones that I had. Okay, well, so what houses have chests? I don't actually remember. Do Does any old house have a chest, or do only specific ones do? Let me take these off, by the way. Interesting. Let's see. I mean, let's just go through all of them, right? Good night. Good morning, chat. Sadly, a human body requires sleep to function. Unfortunately, that is true. But thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have yourself a good rest of your night. Found your AC Museum speedrun. You're very entertaining. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, that video, I think it's going to overtake my... And thank God for this, by the way. It's going to overtake my... How long does it take for a... For villagers to pay off a bridge video. And honestly, I couldn't be more thankful for that. Because that video fucking sucks. My museum video, I look back on it. And I cringe at some aspects of it. But it is objectively better than that stupid ass bridge video like i'm thankful for that bridge vi i'm thankful for that bridge video because it is the one that basically allowed my channel to initially grow but man that video is not very good the video is not very good all right well i only saw one chest and it didn't have it didn't have what i was looking for so I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Yeah, so I guess try another village. Try another one. So unlucky with the chests here. So does every house have a chance to spawn a chest and I literally only got one? I don't know. Red paperclip video. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a really cool concept. I, I kind of, ooh, and there's just immediately another one. I don't know if deserts can give you that, though. I feel like deserts wouldn't be able to give you... I feel like deserts wouldn't be able to give you, um, like, shrubbery. Because, I mean, they're a desert. There ain't no shrubs out here. But it's worth looking, I guess. Worth looking. Oh, wait, is this the smooth sandstone? Oh, it totally is. Hmm, could have just grabbed it from there. Oh yeah, you guys got cool colored beds. Kind of reminds me of the, um... Gerudo from Breath of the Wild. And probably other games as well, but that's the only game I played. Okay, nice, nice making me work for it at least. Yeah, nothing. Ugh. Yeah, I feel like deserts wouldn't have what I need. There's also a tiny village. There's also a pyramid over there. I think you're the channel from Guess the Village. Yeah, those were my videos. I don't, that's the one that you found me through? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Tallgrass spawned in Savannah and Plains Villages. Okay, so that one had a chance. Deserts, unfortunately, don't give me a chance. Sad to see, but oh well. We can at least go over here and loot this. And then we have a Savannah right there, so we'll try in there. Two tall ferns are in Taiga villages. Two tall grasses in Savannah. Two tall ferns are in Taiga. Ooh. <clears throat> Interesting. So I have to find a Taiga. So I have to find a Taiga. Interessante. All right. Duly noted. Just having a goof. Just having a goof. I'm gonna grab this gunpowder to make more fireworks should I run out. Uh, wow. That is the worst loot I've ever seen. That is pretty horrible. Oh yeah, you can get rid of this as well. No. Dickhead. Gold apple. I don't know. It's not like the Omega gold apple. So is it even that good? I don't know. I don't know. Help. Okay. 
It's not, it's not even like the good golden apple. The god apple, as they call it. I'm gonna give my elytra wings a break here. Is that a village I see, or is that like a dirt wall? I'm gonna give my elytra wings a break here. Let's do a little walking. Taiga and Savannah villages are my least favorite. Savannah villages do have this ugly-ass acacia wood, but I don't know, man. It is pretty obnoxious, isn't it? It is pretty obnoxious. Does the god apple even exist anymore? I think it does. I think it's like a super rare find in a chest. I think it's a very rare chest find, but you used to be able to make them with gold blocks, and that was incredibly overpowered. All right, well, attempt village number three. Attempt number three. No. Nope. <gasps> nope. Although I could take that brewing stand. Not that I really need it. What's up, gents? How's everyone doing today? So, how does chest spawning work? Am I dumb and I'm just getting incredibly unlucky with none of these houses having chests? Or do some houses just literally not spawn chests? Hi. It's too hot. Not hot enough. Acacia, acacia, acacia. Fuck. Oh, I don't think I did, actually. I should show chat if they haven't already seen it themselves. Ooh. Tall... Yeah, wait, this is what I want, right? Yeah, tall grass. Yeah, that's what I want right there. <clears throat> oh, nice, okay. And then tall ferns are only from taiga villages, right? Yeah, don't put that down, because I think if we put this down... <laughs> I think if we put this down, we won't be able to pick it back up. We'll have to find another one. So keep that safe and sound in your inventory. Cool. All right, well, we got tall grass. Now we just need tall ferns. While we wait here as a, as a celebration of finding tall grass, if you're not in my Discord, what are you doing? Because you could, you're missing out on shit like this, dude. So, it was Kristen's mom's birthday yesterday, so there was a little party outside. There was watermelon, there was pizza. The boy loves his watermelon. The boy loves his watermelon. Sometimes we'll just give him a rind, and we'll let him just gnaw on it. And by the time we come back to the rind, it's literally just the rind. He ate the whole goddamn melon. Not rind and all. He didn't eat the rind. I don't think that's good. But yeah, he'll just leave like a bare ass rind. They love eating the rind? They're not good. I mean, maybe they're fine to eat, but they're not good. They're not good. Yeah, if you're not in my Discord, you could be, you're missing out. You're missing out on this Stanley, the, 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 this, this Stanley content. He do be kind of chomping though, man. Have you ever seen yellow watermelon before? Isn't that just like a honeydew? He do be kind of chomping. I just deleted Discord for my mental health. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm not going to force you. Thanks for the hydrate. He is really gentle with it, right? But look how... Hang on. I saw a frame there that was really funny. Look at, look at that. Look at how mean. Oh, look at how mean he looks. He's showing them teeth. Look at those pearly ass whites, dude, as well. Oh, he looked mean. Ooh. That's what he's saying. He giving you the angie face. Look at that. He teethed up on a Saturday. Look at him. Anyway, um... Look at him. <laughs> I love these scrunches up his nose. Not again? No, that's him making the noise. That's not me. That's him. That ain't me. Anyway, if you want to see these uh, Stanley pictures and videos and more, exclamation point Discord. Oop. Exclamation point Discord. My bank is calling me. One second, chat. 
Hi. Your bank ever call you claiming to be your bank and then they're like, we saw a fraudulent transaction on there. Please give us your credit card info. Because my phone actually will tell me like, this is a call from your bank. It was Tom Nook. It might have been Tom Nook. Hi, yes, bank, send us money. Well, it's very convincing because it actually had my bank like name on there. And they're like, hey, we noticed a fraudulent transaction. And then I go on my bank profile and it's like literally just normal. Yeah, like a incredibly like convoluted spoofed numbers. Kind of scary. Because they're like, is this, you know, my name? And I'm like, Jesus, man, you really did your research, huh? Oh, yeah, melons. I actually want to bring these because I can trade these with, uh, I can trade these with one of those villagers that I have back home. I spent four twenty sixty nine on chicken tendies. Yes, yes, that was me. Hmm. Fake car insurance or health scams? Yeah, dude, it's scary. It's really scary. Not having a silk touch axe? Yeah, kind of cringe, right? I mean, I guess... Well, yeah, if, even if I harvest them with the axe, it wouldn't give you the same amount, so... Kind of need to do that. Alright, so now we only need a taiga village, right? To get... To get tall ferns. Right? So... That's why you never answer the phone and just hope it's not important. I usually abide by that, uh, rule. I don't know, though. I actually gotta go this way. I usually do abide by that, but, uh, I've actually had a call like that recently, and I was just answering it to make sure it was another one of those. And then I just hung up on them. As soon as they were like, do I have the pleasure? <laughs> I mean, oh wait, I did come from that way. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go, I guess, this way then? Over here. They're like, do I have the pleasure of speaking to Dagnall? Except they said my real name. It would have been a little weird if they said my username, but... And I'm like, okay, pal. A bank does not... A bank would not formally refer to me as... Uh, Sir Dagnelson Esquire. I'm like, come on now. You're, you're showing your hand that quickly. I speak in a foreign language. R pretend I don't speak English. There you go. That's the trick. And then they call your bluff, and then they start speaking the language that you were trying to speak, and you're like, oh, fuck. Alright, I need a taiga. Sayo Dagnal. Yeah, if a scam call ever called me Dagnal, I would be horrified. I'd be like, oh my god. I pretended to be a child and gave the phone to my mom so that she could say I was 12. Oh, really? I really like Kit Boga. Because, I mean, that's his entire streaming thing, is he calls scam numbers, and he just fucks with them. He just, like, toys with them as a way to disincentivize people, uh, scammers, trying to call people. I don't know how well it works, but it does make for some pretty funny Twitch streams. It does make for some pretty great Twitch streams. Buenos dias, fuckboy. <laughs> Right, so we need a swamp. Or we don't need a swamp, but a swamp could lead us to a jungle, which we do need. Hello, Mr. Shellos VMAX, the wise. Please give us money. See, what I think that they're trying to do is they're trying to be like, we have a fraudulent transaction on your account, and then they'll just make something up that you clearly didn't spend money on. And then you'll be like, no, no, I didn't spend money on that. And they're like, oh, well, then your account is compromised. Please let us, please give us the details so that we can plug your information in and report this fraudulent transaction. And then you're like, oh, okay, my bank account number is this, my credit card number is this, and then you're done. That's it. That's all they need to do. Do you watch pierogi? He's hilarious. No, but I like pierogies. They're very tasty. Did you spend $500 at Dildo's RS? Hmm. Ah, well, yes. Yes, I did. Oh, fuck. Um, well, okay. Good day, sir. Alright, so here's the taiga. Let's try here. Well, then, even if you do say yes, they'll probably, like, make something else up entirely, and then, and then just keep saying yes to the shit that they're asking you to until you get tired. Or until they get tired. That's what you do. Ooh. 
A villager outpost? These, this doesn't concern me, but I think it has some good loot. I might regret doing this, but... I mean, okay. Ooh, I get a crossbow out of it. Okay. Free crossbow. All right, I'll take it. Why not? My favorite Pokemon. It's not true at all. Yeah, what are you getting out of the dildo factory that costs $500? That's a good question. But, I mean, they have to make it absurd, so it's pretty obvious that you didn't spend money on it, right? Are ominous banners in this one? Yep. Oh, shit. That's actually a good point. Are ominous banners counted as its own block since... Oh, here we go. Well, this is a forest village. This isn't a taiga village. This is a forest village. Or maybe it is a taiga village? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to look through it. Are ominous banners counted as something else entirely? Since they are technically their own thing, I think? Paper. Actually keep that so I can make more fireworks. I think it's its own block. Okay, so I'm going to have to initiate a raid then. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Yeah, I can do that. The Prostate Destroyer 5000? Oh no. That's a tiny ass village or am I just missing some of it? Man, they made these things so much cooler. So much nicer. Yeah, I already went in there. That's just a tiny ass village, I guess. Did someone say raid shall- Oh, speaking of raid! Alright, yeah. That... Oh wait, sweet berry bushes! I can't believe it! I forgot these! I completely forgot these. And foxes! Wait, do I need to... I don't need to silk touch these, right? No, you can just plant these down and then they turn into sweet berry bushes again. Yeah! Okay, so that's all we need to do. Right. And then here's the tall ferns that I need, but unfortunately cannot get. Hmm. So this must be a taiga village, then. This must be. Well, that's a real shame that it's a real tiny one with only one chest. Because there was no tall ferns in there. What does Fox say? Oh, God. Don't remind me of that song, please. Help. Alright, moving on. Foxes are dog software on cat hardware. That makes sense. Ring a ding, 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 a ding. No. No, that's not what they say at all, man. All right, another tiger. Hmm. I am looking respectfully for a village. What is, was those pigs down there that I saw? And finish my pizza. Should I give my slice to, slice to my dog? She wants it. Ah, common dog trap. Making you think that they deserve that slice of pizza by giving you puppy dog eyes, in reality, is just a farce. It's a phony baloney trick. It's a devilish little trick by your dog to get free food. Don't fall for it, man, okay? As a dog owner of many years now, I can tell you it's one of the easiest, most devious tricks in the dog handbook, okay? Don't give in to them. Or do. But it's all just a... It's all a ruse. Ooh. This isn't a taiga village, because it's in a plains, technically. Well, that sucks. I need a lot of villages. Very few in the places that I need them. And then, when I do find a village, they barely have any chests. What's up, Jesse the Messy? How are you doing? Um, oh, I do need a bell! What am I saying no to that for? Give me a bell. Alright, cool. Was that the first village that I found with a bell? Or are bells only in plains biomes. So I think this might be the first Plains Village that I found. No, it, def it definitely wasn't, but I think the first one that I found was really tiny and then didn't have a bell. Are you a nitwit? He is a nitwit. Oh, poor guy. Bells are in every village. What the fuck? And I just missed them? That's embarrassing. Yeah, well, we got a bell. Which leaves... Yeah, it really just leaves the large ferns and bamboo. And then, of course, with bamboo, scaffolding. That's all we still need. Large ferns and bamboo. 
All right, good to know, but sad I haven't found it yet. Ooh, I'll take these. Just robbing them blind over here, sure. Why not? All right. Village looks destroyed. Yeah, like, they get intercepted by, like, weird terrain generation, and they kind of look a mess. It's floating. It's fine. It's normal. So, taiga, jungle. Taiga, jungle. Yeah, and then wither roses. How do you get wither roses again? They're like, you need to summon the wither, and then the wither needs to, like, destroy flowers or something like that, and then those flowers turn into wither roses. No, 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 no. You need to summon mobs, right? You need to summon mobs. And then the mobs, when they die from the wither, turn into wither roses. Yeah, never mind, I just remembered. So, I think the way that you usually do it is when you spawn the wither, you like throw a bunch of chicken eggs down and it spawns a little bunch of baby chickens with like barely any HP. And then, of course, the wither just easily kills like a bunch of them. I think that's how you do it. As morbid as it is, I think that's how you do it. So, I think that's probably how I'll do it as well. Murder? Yeah, well. I could do it at my creeper farm, but I want to... I don't know if I want to... Ooh, yeah, I don't know if I want to do that in the overworld. I think I'm going to do the cheesy strat of doing it underneath the end portal because that's just way less destructive and annoying well this is a dangerous place to sleep the edge of a cliff but good night they're they're dying for a very good cause it's true it's very true all right hopefully a village in this taiga and then that leads into a jungle. That jungle is a bamboo jungle. And then we can be done. I'm actually... Hold on. I'm actually getting quite close to... Yeah, I think we're entering already generated terrain. Because I've been kind of unknowingly circling back. Yeah, I think we actually got to go... Yeah, see these world borders. I've definitely been here before. All right. Damn. Damn. All right, let's make our minus Z higher, I guess. And then maybe try crossing this ocean. Yeah, okay, well, there's seagrass here, so this is probably newish then. Putting an item that cannot be placed inside of a world, inside of a painting, make it a block? No, because then by that definition, wouldn't literally everything be a block? Because... Everything could be put inside an item frame, I think, use what you mean. No, I mean, that's, like, way too... That's looking way too much into it. And also, item frames are entities. So, I, I would argue no. And if somebody does not agree, then I would encourage them to... Sure, do, that cha do this challenge, but by your rules, then. See how easy it would be. See how easy it would be. Yeah, extreme sleeping. Blacksmith spawned over a pond and there was no chest? Oh no. No chest? Didn't get your like five iron ingots or something like that? Alright, I really... I'm running out of fireworks. That's, I mean, that's why I grabbed this gunpowder. So I can make more, but I think I'm also running out of elytra durability. I think, luckily, when your elytra runs out of durability, it doesn't break. It just becomes, like, t what, what would you call it? Tattered or something like that. And then you can just repair it once you get back home. But I really would hate to have it die at this point. I really would hate to have it die at this point. Torn, yeah, whatever. Tattered, torn tarnished you get what i mean i'm also very sad that i have not found a jungle not even once very sad finding plenty of taigas just no villages in those taigas it will drop me out of the sky though that is a good point so Ooh. better make sure that if that happens oh here we go better make sure that if that happens we are not very high up but hopefully it doesn't. Alright, well, they gave me a little runway here. Ow! What? 
fucking six and a half hearts? Jesus, what did I hit? I was just landing. My god. Christ. I didn't hit it that hard, surely. Chest? If I- this is a big village, man. If I go through this entire village without seeing anything what I need, thank you. But wait, that's just a fern! That's just a regular fern, that's not tall! I already got regular ferns, shit! Urgh. I already got regular ferns, for fuck's sake. Sure, why not? Sure. I already got fucking regular ferns, man. I don't need more. That's very annoying. If I, Now I'm going to be extra annoyed if I don't find any. Now I'm going to be fucking extra annoyed. Chest? Ouch. I mean, hey man, you're doing that to yourself. Ooh. Tough scene. I mean, honestly... Shit. Shit. That's a tough scene, man. That's a tough scene. You just... You hate to see a boy boss losing like that. An empty map. I don't want a fucking empty map. I don't want a fucking empty map. Sorry for my language, but I'm getting freaking mad. Go home. Everyone go home. Okay. Get the paper? Oh, that would actually be very intelligent of me, wouldn't it? Be very intelligent of me. I need leather and an anvil if I'm gonna repair these things on the fly, though, aren't I? Ugh, fuck it, just dig me into here. Just... Hate to see a boy I'm gonna get mad, okay? I'm, I'm beginning to get mad. Fern, fern, fern. I don't wanna go to Mexico no more, more, more. There's a big, fat policeman at my door, door, door. I've already been there. I'm taunted as well by the fact that there's like a hundred tall ferns around me. Where was that paper at? Amelia. Thanks for the ten months in a row. Fuck. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. I gotta get rid of these. Too dangerous. Where was that? Paper was in here, right? At the top. Yeah, there we go. Well, I'm running out of chests, and I still got no tall ferns, so... Fern. Is there a specific house where they can spawn, or is it just any house? They're trolling me. They are. I'm being trolled. Or trawled, as the British would say. I think that's it. I think that's all the houses. I think that's all the houses. Unless there's an upstairs to here that I missed. No, because there was just a... No. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm looking for a tall fern. I mean, I know that they're all around me here. Those are just regular ferns, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, yeah. I think I'm SOL for this village. I think I'm SOL. Which means shoot out of luck, in case you're wondering. Burn. Well, that was a chest I didn't check yet. Um, unfortunately... Well, maybe I... I don't think I've been all the way out here yet. Copium. I'm coping hard right now. Coping very hard right now. That was literally just the chest I checked. Resorting to destruction of property. I mean, man, like, if they didn't want me to destroy their shit, they should have given me a tall fern in the very first chest I looked. I'd have been out of here by now. Oh, uh, how many blocks are left? Tall fern, bamboo, scaffolding, and wither rose. That is it. Maybe arson is the solution. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> Somebody pulled up the percentages one time to tell me, like, what the chances are. And I'm pretty sure the chances were not bad. 
when someone said, hey, here's the chances of finding tall ferns in a taiga thing. And they weren't bad. And I assume that that's per chest that you check? Man. I mean, if that's the case, man, that's really unlucky. So many chests, too. Like, that was a very generous village in regards to how many chests I got. Very rude village in regards to how little tall ferns I got. Tough scene. A very tough scene. Yeah, now my elytra's gonna fucking probably keel over. What I could do, I guess, is I could get an ender... I can get obsidian and ender eye. I have more elytra in a chest. In my ender chest. If I really want to resort to that. That was another village... And this one, it seems tiny, but, I mean, it's something. Better than nothing. Try this one. Try this one, I guess. Attempt number two. It's an 18.6% chance. Per chest? If that's the case, per chest, I should have been pretty... I had a really good shot, then, to get one. I'd had a really good shot to get at least one in all those chests. 18.6, that's like one in five-ish. And I definitely checked like well more than five, so I got pretty unlucky there. Ugh. I mean, I guess it balances out the very lucky that I have gotten with a lot of things in this series. But I'm still mad. I still reserve the right to be very mad about it. And I will be. I'll, I'll, I'll use that right. I'm going to use that liberty that I have to be mad, and continue to be mad. Oh wait, leather. If I get an anvil, I could repair my elytra now. Hmm. Okay, I mean, it's not what I was looking for in there, but... A welcome surprise, I suppose? Is this even a fucking house? No, it's like a little shack. A little freaking Shaquille O'Neal over here. I think that's it. This is a tiny little village. This is a tiny village. There was really not much here. There's only like two chests. You need phantom membranes to repair elytra? I thought it was leather. I thought it was leather. Oh, fuck. I think it was leather before they added phantom membranes. Oh, my God. That's really annoying. Needless to say. That's really annoying. Alright. Uh, hopefully this isn't back the way I came. I think it might be, though. Hang on. Yeah, this is the way we gotta go. Don't you have mending? I do, but I don't really have a quick source of XP. Although, I guess I could just kill a bunch of things. And get XP that way, like animals or whatever. Or actually not sleep one night and then just kill some monsters on the surface. Yeah, I guess I could just do it like that, huh? Trade with a villager to get XP and repair your elytra? Yeah, or just kill things. I feel like just killing things would probably be the better way of those two. So, yeah, you know what, you're right. Maybe not all hope is lost. I just gotta make sure that when and if they break, I'm not a thousand feet in the air. That's the only thing I gotta make sure of so I don't die. I would really hate to have to come all the way back here. So I'll just check it real quick, yeah. Murder is never okay? Okay, but in this very specific circumstance, I think it's justified, okay? I think it's justified. Yeah, I guess they changed that. I, it used to be leather. I'm pretty sure it used to be leather, but probably when they added the phantom membranes is when they made it so that... It takes those, not leather. Alright, do I go ocean or continue on the mainland? Honestly, the mainland's kind of fucking me. Let's go ocean. And if my elytra runs out over the ocean, then I'm just fine. I'll just plunk in the water. One around quartz ore and shulkers to repair the mending stuff? Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea, actually. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but it is a good idea. There's a lot of good ideas in my life that I would benefit from, you know, doing. So I don't think I'm going to do that, but that is smart. Okay, I really don't want an ice biome. It's kind of the last thing I want, honestly. We want hot biomes for jungles. 
hot local sexy biomes in your area. Guess who just got some hot cho so some chocolate milk? Yo, was it you? I assume you wouldn't speak on behalf of other people, but yeah, is it you? It's a perfect introduction to current Minecraft. Yeah, and it's really good for me as well because I'm I'm like a lot of people where I haven't played a lot of the modern versions of Minecraft very much, and so this is kind of a way of easing me into the newer versions. Going step by step through all the versions to see things as they were introduced really helps me get into the swing of modern Minecraft instead of like loading up the latest version and being like jarred by the fact that I can't recognize anything. A Mesa? A Mesa? What the fuck? I don't suppose that's the Mesa I already went to. That would be really unfortunate. But the fact that I'm not seeing any tall or seagrass in the water tells me that this is the Mesa I've been to. I wouldn't be surprised to see my nether portal out here. Oh, that would be really unfortunate. Oh, that would be very unfortunate. Because, yeah, I don't see seagrass in the water. Which I feel like means that this is terrain I've already generated. Oh. Very unfortunate if that's the case. Yeah, Mesa next to snow. I try to, like, use logic to determine, like, where biomes might be. And then I'll see a fucking Mesa next to a snow biome. And I'll be like, oh, okay, well, we can just throw all that out the fucking window. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, well, we found a swamp biome. So a swamp is probably, might be near a jungle because of the fact that they're both moist, hot biomes. And then I'll see a fucking taiga next to a mesa, like we're seeing right now. Is this a taiga? Like, it's a snowy taiga. Do snowy taigas give you taiga villages, which can then get you tall ferns? Or are those only for not snowy taigas? Like, could this give me a village? Yes? Okay. Well, I guess I'll stick around here, then. I guess I will stick around here. For as long as possible, at least. Got an ice spikes, as well. Which is kind of cool. Kind of rare. Only one way to find out. I mean, that one didn't have one, but I do still believe that there might be. A chance for villages to spawn in there. Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty low. Biome temperature logic was overhauled in the 117 or 118. Well, it makes sense because that was the update that changed, like, terrain generation, like, as a whole, so... I'm not surprised. I guess to research all this stuff, I would have to, like, preface and say that... Make sure you're doing it in a version, like, this old. Alright, Taiga Village number... Three, I think? Ouch. Please. Just one tall fern. Thank you. Large fern. That's what I meant. Thank you. You understood the assignment, despite the fact that I didn't actually know what it was called. Alright, beautiful. It only took one chest in this village. My hero. My fucking hero. Let's go, boys. Alright, I'll kill your pigs as well so I can get some XP to repair my elytra. I should also look around for some more paper, because I need paper to make more fireworks, which I'm going to run out of soon. You can't turn books into paper, no. Don't you need to be wearing elytra for the mending? Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. God, I took that off. Paper? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? It's quite a dangerous little village. Like, holy shit. The, av the fucking average life expectancy of the villagers in here is like... Oh, yeah, get some XP from this as well. The average, like, life expectancy of these villagers has got to be, like, two years old because they keep dying and falling off cliffs, man. Insane. Is offhand a thing? It is a thing, yeah. So I guess what I could do is I could do this and put the mending in the offhand, but I don't know, just wearing it's also fine. Be easy enough to just wear it. Don't you oink at me. Even think about it. It's pretty slim anyway. They're fucking idiots, as we saw by that guy that suffocated in a berry bush. Or rather got pricked to death in a berry bush, huh? 
All right. Eh, I mean, did maybe like a bar of HP there. Is there any more quick coal ore down here? Help. All right, I'm fine. You pushed him into a berry bush that was premeditated? No, it was not. Once again, he chose to live in an environment that was as dangerous as it is, okay? Now, I'm not trying to victim blame, but all I'm saying is that guy could have left that berry bush at any given time. And he didn't. So what's that tell you? This is not premeditated. I did not push him in there. And even if I did push him in there, he had every right in the world to get out of there. He let it happen. He let it happen. Maybe he was a masochist. Yeah, he got off to that being suffocating in that berry bush. Maybe. Maybe, man. Please, I need more coal. Or... Help. He was at peace. He was. I've never seen someone so at peace. I'm back. Welcome back, Jinsi. Welcome back. Alright, how much did that give me? Barely fucking any. I was expecting that to be a little bit better. I think they nerfed mending at some point. As far as, like, how much XP actually heals your shit. I think they definitely did. And to be honest with you, it's probably smart. It was pretty OP for a while. It was pretty OP for a while. Not to mention, I'm also holding a sword that has mending. So I think what we should do, actually... Kill something with our sword, but then quickly switch away. So that... So that the XP doesn't go to the sword, like this. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. But then again, like, all my armor also has mending, so a lot of things take the priority over the elytra wings, I feel. But, it's probably the best we can do. I'm gonna play MC with you? Yo. I might open up a server at some point if y'all really wanna play Minecraft with me. Maybe once we get to the end of this series, like, once we get to the... Most recent update, the 1.19 update, maybe I will actually open up a server as a way to celebrate the completion. Hold it in your offhand, like this. Yeah, yeah, I guess that works, but it's kind of annoying. I hate holding things in my offhand, it's very annoying. Would y'all chug jug with me? Thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, and the server starts at alpha 1.0. Hmm. That'd be kind of cool. I can't. I gotta switch. Um, so, don't count on it. But I think that there is a way of making servers both compatible for Java and Bedrock. I think that there's a plugin that allows you to do that. But don't... I don't know for sure. I don't know how it works. But I think that if I could, I would like to make it accessible for bedrock users and java users there is yeah i know there is i've never done it before though so i don't know what all it entails but it is a thing it is a thing switch only allows like five servers like in a server list eh, make sure mine's one of those five is all i would say all right put these back on real quick and then this way yeah. Yeah, we are like 14,000 blocks out now, but we haven't found a new jungle, so... It's pretty much what we gotta keep doing. Pretty much what we gotta keep doing. I guess now avoid cold biomes like taigas. Try to stay to, like, warmer, more temperate biomes. Can you give me some advice? Um... I, I'm sure I'm not a smart person though, man. If, if you're looking for, like, real-world advice for real-world problems, like, oh man... I don't know if I can help you on that, but sure. Hit me with it. What you got for me? Ooh, is that a... No, it's just a big tree. Shit. Switch MC sucks? What's so bad about it? I mean, isn't it the same as all the other console versions? Okay, there's a village down there, but I don't need a vi any village anymore, so... I'm pretty much just looking for a jungle. Did you get enough Nautilus shells? Yes, I did, because I AFK fish farmed for like a couple of nights, and that got me like a, over a stack of them. So yeah, I have enough Nautilus shells. Probably more than I'll ever use. So no worries about that. No worries about that. 
I should really be careful being this high up, because if my elytra dies, I am fucked. Just lags and freezes constantly because of all the stuff in my world, but it's badly optimized? Ooh, interesting. To what extent is that, like, Minecraft's fault? And to what extent is it just, like, you know, Mojang? Or is the, the Switch's fault, you know? Like, I don't know. The Switch isn't, like, known for its... It's just not a powerful console, so I don't know. I don't know. I remember they had Minecraft for the 3DS, and... I'm kind of like, if you manage to make that run okay, how could you not make it at least run half decently on the Switch? So I don't know. Maybe it could be better. But also, the Switch is not very good for processing power. Maybe an ocean would be the best thing to stick to. It would at least let me give my elytra a break so I can boat for a while. I have my Club Penguin cartridge for the DS. What the fuck? Club Penguin's on the DS? What the fuck? How's the Elytra health? I'm checking on it occasionally. It's still okay. Still okay. I mean, if I Elytra over the ocean, I'm okay. Because, I mean, if I fall in the ocean, no big deal. Okay, wait. Actually, question. When the Elytra dies and becomes, like, the Tattered Elytra, does XP still heal it at that point? Or do you actually have to repair it? Ooh, I don't know why, but I feel like when it's in its, like, tattered state, yes, it still heals. Okay, well, no problem then. I'll probably just keep using them until they're at, like, the no bar of durability. What's up, Toitles? How are you guys doing? And then boat for a jungle, I guess. These boats are, like, decently fast in this version. It does fix. That's good. one physical Switch game. I got Mario Kart 8, Breath of the Wild. Oh, I'm out of... Oh, I'm out of fireworks. Oh, no, that's really bad. Uh, I mean, it's fine, but it's not great. Uh, jeez, man. All right, well, take these off, and... Ooh, that's really not good. <laughs> that's really not good. And then come down here, and then make that. If anyone ever finds that goddamn crafting table, I would be surprised. That's got to be the most hidden crafting table in my entire world there. Alright, then get in the boat. Savannah, that's not really what we're looking for. You inspired me to beat 1.0 Minecraft? Ooh, how was it? It's still, like, quite bare bones compared to modern versions, but it's kind of where I would draw the line between old and new Minecraft is that version. I should grab some sugar cane and kill some creepers to make more fireworks. Oh, I got kelp. I've been kelped. I need advice to talk to this girl. Oh, man. I, I'm definitely not the person for that. I'm definitely not the person for that, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not the person for that. I went to eat dinner. What did I miss? Well, I only need bamboo. And... That's it. Just bamboo. And then bamboo, of course, to make scaffolding. And then after that, a wither rose. But we're not going to get to that today. Because that's going to require summoning the wither. Which would be... Yeah, quite difficult. Well, not quite difficult. But I'd have to grind for the three wither skulls. Better than a Discord mod? Whoa, why are Discord mods out here catching strays, man? What the hell? Why are you out here firing at Discord mods? Jeez, man, they didn't do nothing. Most Discord mods are probably fine people. They get this bad rap, but, you know, they're probably fine, most of them. Don't stare at their boobs? Wait, who the hell is saying don't stare at their boobs? Like, wait, was, is that in replying to someone who, just said, who told them to stare at their boobs? Probably don't do that. That's not good advice. Bamboo has a chance of spawning inside chests of shipwrecks also, I believe. 
That's the advice for talking to girls? Yeah, that's good advice. I thought somebody was giving the advice counter to that. Let's checky check check something here. Um, chest loot. Jungle temple shipwreck. What? Ooh, is that in this version? Can be dropped by bamboo. Right, right, right. Wow, it, it must be then. Holy shit, wait, really? What a fucking MVP. And it's a what chance? It's a 14... I mean, it's not great, but I'm, it's worth checking every single shipwreck then. Holy shit. Wait, and there was a shipwreck just back here, wasn't there? I mean, shit, if I'm in the ocean, there's gonna be a ton of them. I saw a shipwreck back here. I don't remember where, but it was back here somewhere. If I go like this, no, like that, that's probably the best view I'll get. Holy shit, though. What an MVP. Still mauling over losing image perms to a copy pasta? Whoa, that the Discord mod? Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, here's a shipwreck. Dude, if this gives me bamboo, that's insane. I thought you could only get them through bamboo forests. If this gives me bamboo, whoever said that you can find them in shipwrecks deserves to be like VIP'd for a day. But only if this one gives me bamboo. Poisonous potatoes. Oh, more paper. <laughs> um, right. Well, there might be another. There might be more. I don't really know how these things work, but there might be more chests. I mean, either way, honestly, that is some incredible intel. Because I did not know that. I did not know that. All right, well, we'll still look around for some shipwrecks then. That's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, where was I going before? I was going this way. It's like a one in seven chance. Yeah, but shipwrecks can have like two chests, so your chances of every shipwreck are unlikely, but definitely worth checking every one. Ugh. Time to go now. Wish I could stay. Good luck. Yo, have a good rest of your day. Anyone else draw while watching me? I think a lot of people do, like, their various tasks and activities while watching me. I'd like to pride myself as someone who could be put on in the background while y'all are out there doing whatever it is you do. Which I'm happy about. A lot of people are like, I sleep to your streams. And I'm like, oh, am I that boring? But no, I actually quite take that as a compliment. All right, we got another. Dude, shipwrecks are very common. Like, it, like they are rare in shipwrecks, but shipwrecks themselves are not that rare. So it wouldn't take finding too many of them, I would believe. I wouldn't take finding too many of them before we'd get a bamboo, surely. Okay, yeah, this one has two with a buried treasure map, which I don't know if I really care about, but sure. And also paper, which I definitely do care about. And it's got one down here. So yeah, every, not every shipwreck has two, but also has a lot of iron, which is definitely worth getting in itself. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine then. I guess just stay along the coast. Like, don't ever leave the ocean at this rate. Keep going in the ocean until, holy fuck! Relax, man! Jeez! Holy smokes. Hey, you want to, like, actually give me that, like, insane boost as well? Did you see him, man? He was fucking zip zooming. Holy God. Hey, you want to give me that? Yeah, 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 give me some of that as well. No, 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 give me my, my swim. No, my swim ran out. All right, back to boating then. <laughs> I think one of the dolphins gave the other dolphin dolphins grace, and that's what made him, like insanely fast what the hell is this 
What the hell is this? Oh, is this one of those things that are supposed to be underwater and it spawned out of water? It spawned out of office? Oh, oh, oh. You're getting a speeding ticket. It's interesting enough for my brain to do menial tasks. There you go. I'll take that. Yeah, so it's supposed to be one of these, but I guess it generated on the surface. Oh, it has a chest. I mean, do these give you bamboo? Gives you a shitty-ass fishing rod. All right, worth checking, I guess. Worth checking. Acacia Village. Don't think I'm interested, Chief. Don't think I'm interested. Avoid red lights by driving at... Oh. <laughs> That's good advice. That's good advice. I think my old Honda Civic could get up to that. There was a second chest on top? Ooh, okay. The chest. I mean... I don't know, do, the, do these get... The first chest made me not so excited for the prospect of the second chest, but maybe that was just a shitty first chest? Vivacious Galapagos Penguin. Thanks for the five gift subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Help. And everyone that got a gift sub from Vivacious Galapagos Penguin, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. That is a great username. It always is a... It's a, it's a good, like, mouth warm-up. Like, when I gotta, like, start streaming, I gotta get my mouth warmed up. I gotta get some syllables in, into my fat fucking vocal cords, and I'll just be like... Vivacious Galapagos Penguin, Vivacious Galapagos Penguin, Vivacious Galapagos Penguin, Vivacious Galapagos Penguin. Me, 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 me. I don't actually do that. You, you, the, the, like, honestly, the first words that I say in my day-to-day -day life are probably, like, <laughs> probably the first words that I say on stream. Like, I don't really get warmed up at all. I don't think I'm out here getting warmed up at all, really. All right, boys, I'm sorry to say, but I do be kind of needing your XP. I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry. I just want to know I'm very sorry for what I'm doing. Check that this is actually refilling my... Okay, yeah, it, it did a little jump there, so that means that it is filling up. It's also filling up my sword, though, so here's what we'll do. There we go. Have that all go to... The wings. Everyone stream Galapagos by Wednesday Campanella? Who the hell is that? Wednesday is the name of someone, or is that just like their stage name? Giant cactus behind you? Holy shit! What the fuck? That's insane. Or is that just a... No, that's definitely a giant cactus. I thought it was just a cactus behind another cactus. No. That's a giant-ass cactus. Oh my god. That's a toll, boy. Insane development. Thank you for pointing that out. That's an obscene cactus. Get that off my screen. Get! That's a very unholy cactus. I agree. I don't think the Lord Jesus would like that. Alright, I don't feel like climbing that mountain. This is really not repairing my wings very much. <laughs> this is not repairing my wings nearly as much as I thought it would. Max is normally three or four? I thought Max only went up to like three. That was six or something like that. Fun diagonal fact, the, the tallest saguaro cactus ever measured was 78 feet tall. Holy shit. That's a lot of feet, man. That's a lot of feet. Dan Schneider would like to know your location. I don't know if that's a feature. Yeah, wait. It might be going to your armor. Well, my armor's full, so it shouldn't be going to that. It shouldn't be going to that. So, Waro, don't pronounce the G. Don't pronounce the G. So, Waro. Interesting. 
I was midway through a Dan Schneider joke. <laughs> Beat you to the punch. Ooh. I didn't realize that was full. Yeah, I think if it's full, it should go to the other ones. I mean, Color will do the same as well. Maybe you, you could still... Wait, there's still Quentin Tarantino real estate there, though. Ooh. Just because I beat you to the Dan Schneider punch doesn't mean there's not still some Quentin Tarantino. You know, you gotta, you gotta pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. Come off with a better one. I have, a ca I have a cutting of a cactus that's been in my family for 135 years. Holy shit, man. That's insane. That's an old-ass cactus, man. It's crazy to me that there's shit, like, out there living. Like, mammals. Not, like, you know, microbes or whatever. Like, actual mammals out there that are, like, hundreds of years old. Like a Greenland shark, for example. I think there's like a Greenland shark that's been estimated to be like 500 years old. I'm like, that's insane. That thing was like swimming around 100 years old when George Washington was the president. That's fucking insane. Uh, that's crazy to me. Like your mom? Dude, my mom might be in chat, man. You gotta be careful with that. Holy shit. Don't lobsters also get like really old? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Not the one on my plate tonight, though. A uh, yuck. Just kidding. I don't. I've never actually had lobster. Never actually had lobster. Help. Miss Dagnall, I apologize if you were here, dude. She's married, man. You just. It's just L after L today, man. It's clearly misses. All right. Some Greenland sharks still have a de defect on their eye that ages them back to the Hiroshima nuclear bombs. I mean, even that was only like a hundred-ish years ago, so... I mean, we're talking like there's some sharks out there that are like 500 years old. But you're saying that like they were affected by the bomb and they still have markings of it happening on them? Just asking for a ban at this point. Like, mamma mia. The oldest tortoise is named Jonathan? That's amazing. I actually have a thing against misses. What's your thing against misses? You know what I don't like? When, like, old dudes call their wives the misses. Maybe that's what your problem with it is as well. Because I don't like it when... I don't like it when people do that. I don't know why. It's just like... It's just... I don't know, kind of like when people call each other babe when they're couples. I don't like it when, like, when, like, it's usually, like, older dudes will call their wife or their girlfriend the missus or the wife, the girlfriend. I don't know, it's kind of, like, objectifying, like, I'm sure most of them don't mind. Like, I'm sure most women who who are the girlfriends or husbands of those people probably don't mind i'm probably the only one that finds an issue with it but and it's not even an issue it's just an irk really and i was like ugh this is kind of cute i don't know man what one they find cute i find a little weird but maybe it's just a me problem the old ball and chain or my old woman, man? The old ball and chain? What does that mean? I prefer calling my significant other hey you or dumbass bastard instead of babe. There you go. True love. True love. Depending on your tone? Well, of course, right? Like, me and Kristen will call each other fucker. <laughs> Which sounds really bad, but, like, we don't say it in a rude way. It's a very endearing thing, okay? Don't try to, don't try to diagnose us, alright? It's a very endearing thing. Be like, hey, fucker. What's up, fucker? I would get it. Yeah, like, I get it. I think people who are in relationships get it. People who are not, maybe, like, that's fucked up. I love you, fucker. Exactly. Tracks with everything I know about your personalities? What can I say? I, I, I don't put on a facade. That's for sure. I don't put on a facade. 
I'm in London, and the Twitch app just made me accept cookies to watch Dagnall. I'm like, what the fuck is an app cookie? Wouldn't it just be, like, tracking your, like, watch history? You know what it might be for is channel points. It might be for tracking your channel points, but I don't know if I'm right about that. But that's, like, the thing I would think. I love your PFP on Discord. Thank you. Cookies are delicious delicacies. Pretty true. Cunt? Affectionate? I mean, that's just Australia, right? That's an affectionate term out there. Surprised they're not called biscuits? Yeah, they're not called... That's true. Do they not call web cookies biscuits in the UK? Ooh. That's a good point. Help. You're gonna... You're, you'll die. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll die. And in Ireland? Yeah, do they call them biscuits out there? Do you accept the biscuits? Oh, God. A good, rich tea biscuit? Ooh. Alright, I'm actually gonna not sleep this night because I wouldn't mind fighting some blokes to get some XP. I would not mind. I call my boyfriend a dumb bitch and he calls me a little bitch? Yeah, that's just how it is. I call my cat bitch, but that's beside the point. I'm not in a relationship with my cat. All-nighter? Yeah, I think I'm... What was the last time I did an all-nighter? God, it's been years. Like, there's all-nighters out of, like... Oh, nice. Nice single-player video game lag. There's all-nighters out of, like, you know, just wanting to be rebellious, I guess. Fuck bedtime, you know? And then there's all-nighters out of, like, necessity. Like, if you're going on, like, a road trip or something like that. But honestly, either one of those, I can't remember having had in a long time i can't remember the last time i had an all-nighter either out of necessity or like desire i don't know all right i'm gonna fly for a little bit here because i don't feel like traversing these mountains or insomnia which luckily i don't suffer with but yeah also those Cleaning my room, because my mom was like, clean your room, your sister's coming tomorrow, and I forgot. My sister didn't even look at my room. Well, would your sister even really care, you know? Like, I don't know. Who would honestly care? That's kind of like when my parents would tell me to, like, make my bed. And I'm like, why? Respectfully. Why? Why would I do that? I'm the only motherfucker that sleeps in my bed. Okay, he's in the shipwreck. I'm the only guy that sleeps in my bed. Is my bed. Why do I need to clean it or make it look nice? For what? I'm just gonna crawl back into it. But anyway. Alright, this is a big shipwreck. This should have two chests, probably. If I had to guess. Okay, more paper. I'll take it. Kill some creepers and I can make quite a few more fireworks. <sighs> okay, well, I mean, we did say it was unlikely, so... Guess I shouldn't be too mad. Guess I shouldn't be too mad. I'm pretty mad. I'm pretty mad. Oops. Oh. Alright, can I fly out of here? There we go. That's just... It's just an island swamp. Okay. More shipwrecks, though. We'll look out for them. Waste of a shipwreck? We're looking for bamboo, which apparently has a small chance of spawning inside a shipwreck, so that's why I'm checking the shipwrecks. Oh, hi, boys. I need you. And I miss you. I think that's how it goes, right? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Oh, wait. Well, no, that might have still went to that. It might have still went to my wings since I was wearing them. And now I want. And now I wonder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you guys know it. You guys know it. You're. What do you call fans of Carly Rae Jespin? Jes Jesters? I don't know. Either way. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all very intelligent. Make a mob farm fast for XP? Oh, 
that's fine, man. We're good. That's Kelly Clarkson? Huh? Or is it Jepson? Oh, fuck. I actually have no idea. I don't even need that anymore. I only got six... Six gunpowder from three creepers with looting three. That's a little disappointing. You're singing two songs at once? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Isn't it like... And I need you... And I miss you. Isn't that how it goes, man? I'm pretty sure it is. I haven't heard that song in a long time. Yeah. That song is by Vanessa Carlton. We're not talking about Vanessa Carlton. Who brought her into this? Maybe me. Yeah, that was going to happen. Call Me Maybe? That's the song I was thinking of, yeah. That's the, uh, and I need you, and I miss you. Oh, what's up, man? You got a fishing rod. That's pretty cute. You got fish me. Ouch. Swamp. Uh, what are we at? I mean, we're almost at three hours, man. I'm getting kind of tired of looking for this fucking bullshit. Respectfully, I'm getting a little bit tired. If I go for like another 30 minutes without finding one, I think I'll head home. I gotta get out of here, though. Yeah. Another village. <sighs> How many fucking dark oak forests have I found? I feel like I've found a ridiculous amount of these things, but no jungles. Kind of absurd. We're tired of explaining this singing bullshit to you? It's not bullshit, man. It's not bullshit at all. These streams are keeping me going on lunch right now. Ooh, I hope your lunch is going well. The best meal of the day. I don't know if that's actually true. I guess it's subjective. They spawn mansions, though, which give you total of one dying. I don't really care about those, though. I don't need no totem of undying. I need fucking... I need just that jungle. Alright, I can make more of these, actually. There we go. 36. Some of my wings okay? Yeah, they're alright. Good enough, at least. Yo! Getting confused, because they both use violin in the same way? Maybe. Maybe. No, I kind of want to avoid s snow. Dinner is, is the best meal. It's pretty good when you use my creator code. <gasps> Exclamation point hello fresh to get yourself 16 free meals with si three surprise gifts. Then dinner will easily be the best meal of the day. Hmm. Alright, check. It's good. Hydrate moment. Hydrating while also flying. It's a pretty skillful thing. There you go, besties. There you go. Thank you. Single-handedly keeping this fucking stream running. I want to say, man, I might have even been here before because we are... Oh, no. Never mind. That lava's just generating for the first time. Never mind. Fears alleviated. but still with no jungle. You started with 1,000 miles and then switched to Call Me Maybe? Huh? You, are you talking about the song that's like, I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. No, man, I don't think we touched that song. No, 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 I don't think we... No, what do you know that is different? No, I don't think so. No, that's that song. That's that song. That is the song that is called 1,000 Miles. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am thinking of the song that goes like, uh, making my way downtown, right? Oh, shit. I think you're right, actually. Okay, never mind. Y'all are right. Y'all are so right. Anyone ever tell y'all how fucking right you are? Oh my god, you guys are so fucking right. You guys... 
No, no, you're still, I'm, I'm still, though, like, kind of convinced that you're thinking of that song by, what is it, the Proclaimers or something? I, I still am not convinced that that's not what some of you were talking about. Not that I'm trying to, like, gaslight you or anything, but I don't know. That's the first thing I thought of, at least. That's 500 miles? Isn't that what you said? And then the song, okay, is a thousand, is, okay, 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 right, so, but in the song, it's 500 miles and then 500 more, okay, liberals, what does that add up to? Did you pass math class? What's that add up to, fucking liberals? Huh? Liberals blown the fuck out again. You're so funny. Thanks, man. Jesus. It's all right. Someone please link the songs? No, I'm not going to get DMCA, man. I'm not going to listen to them. DMCA. Do you you all like these streams? Y'all want them to get taken off the face of the internet? Yes. Too bad. Don't link them. Dagnall is Jesus Christ on the cross? Exactly. I'm saying the shit that y'all don't want to hear. I'm saying the shit y'all don't want to hear. Two very different songs in two very different genres. I guess so. Isn't like... <laughs> isn't the 500 Miles like indie... Not indie. It's like Irish folk music, right? That's like Irish folk music. And then 500 or 1000 Miles is like pop. Could you explain what ratioing is? It just means that you're, like, when when you reply ratio to something, the thing that you reply to must have said some, like, stupid shit. So if you reply to someone saying some stupid shit by saying ratio, then it's basically a way of telling the person that you replied to that whatever they posted was fucking stupid. So, like, if someone says, like, I don't know. If someone says that, like... I'm trying to think of something very egregious. Like, hmm. Someone got like a hot take for me that I could ratio real quick. Anyone want to lay yourself on the cross for me for, for just a minute here? Just use you as an example. Dogs are mid. Okay, so here's what you do. You say at actual underscore wonder. Dagnall underscore says at actual underscore wonder ratio. There you go. And then you're blown the fuck out. And then ideally a ratio should get more likes and engagement than the thing that you replied to. So if I reply to someone on Twitter that said some stupid shit and I say ratio, the ratio really gets driven home if you get more likes on your tweet that you replied with them to than the actual parent tweet itself. That's, that's, that just sends it home. That sends it home that whatever they posted was really fucking stupid. That's what ratioing is. Is it relevant because of your ratio? No, I don't think that's it. Is that a shipwreck? Uh, I think it might be. I don't know if that's it, but maybe it is. Ratio, I mean, maybe there's many dimensions to ratioing. I honestly have no idea. Maybe it's more complicated than I thought. A lot more nuance. Ooh, that's a really good chest. An XP bottle. How very interesting. All right. Repair my elytra wings. I think that's probably the only chest in that one. Um, down here, I guess. Boom. There you go. L maidenless ratio. Yeah, there you go. In no time, y'all will be ratioing fools on Twitter like as your like as like you knew all along what it meant. Just don't forget, old Papa Dagnall taught you that. I don't actually carry that opinion. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like you know, I had to use you as an example. You needed some like truly heinous shit to reply to. Some truly heinous shit. A severe lack of female companions? Hmm? 
Do you have God Armor? The armor with all the different protection enchantments? It's only available in 1.14? No. I would have thought that that would have been patched well before this version, but no, I don't have that. Can I do that? That seems like it would be, like, quite hard to set up to get the levels and all the books that you need for that. Feels like there would be a lot of setup for that. I think I'm gonna start, like... No, I mean, I'm not... Urgh, I was like, I want to start heading home because I don't want to fucking spend all day here looking for a jungle. But, I mean... I don't know if I want to give up now. A little gambler's fallacy, but I'm kind of in too deep as it is. Yeah, it might be too expensive. Is That would be really hard to set up. To A, get all the books for it. And then B, have it be not too expensive in like the when you want to combine all of them. And then, of course, getting the levels in itself would be quite a pain in the ass. It seems like it'd be really hard to do, but maybe it is possible. I don't know. Yes, if I recall correctly. Maybe I'll check it out. I mean, if this is the only version where I can do that, uh, if it's white, take flight. Yeah, maybe if this is the only version that I can do that, I could look into it. But I imagine it's kind of hard to get set up. If it's white, say goodnight. Oh, I heard take flight. Although I don't live around polar bears, so it's not really an issue. It's not really something I need to, like, you know, drill into my brain on the, you know, one in two billion chance that a polar bear wanders its way down to central California. But we do have brown and black bears, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, it's literally on our flag, so probably. Yeah, grizzly bears, right? So, well, how does it work? It, it, if it's brown... If it's brown, lie down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, I guess it's say goodnight. I think that's how it goes. Ice village? Uh, that was a taiga village back there, but I don't need anything from there, unfortunately. The pillager outposts give me bamboo. That'd be quite unlikely, I imagine. Quite unlikely, but I guess we can look. Quite unlikely. Let's give it a look, though. See, like, if you just sneak into the top, man. Oh, no, there is a... There is a... Oh, no, he fell. Never mind. All right. Thanks for all the shit. I guess. <gasps> See ya. If it's white, it wields spite. <laughs> I'd be spiteful if I was a polar bear. We fucking destroyed their habitat, man. I'd be quite spiteful. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lie down. If it's white, say goodnight. Yeah, is that not what I said? Do I need an ominous banner? Well, actually, that's a good point. But can't you get those through raids? Like, can't I just, like, summon a raid at some point and then get it like that? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I think that would be probably my better bet than taking my chances around one of those things. They're quite dangerous. All right. Please. Jungle. Ooh, this is a good sign. It's a jungle wood shipwreck. Ooh, I feel like that's a good sign. I feel like I'm manifesting some good pussy crystal energy from this. Ooh, I feel a positive. I think Venus... I think Venus is in a good place right now. I'm feeling some good energy from this. I think this is our... I think this is our bamboo right here. I think this is our bamboo. Now, how do I get into this fucking place? How how do I how do I function? Chest, please. Help. Good pussy crystal energy. Yeah, that's what I said. You heard me. How? How do you navigate this? Where the hell is anything? Oh, there's a door. Isn't that, like, the door that locks the chest room? Was that a door? It was a door. Is it fucking... Yeah, it's, like, embedded into the rock. Making this very difficult. Chatty, waddy, woo. How the hell... Where, where, where? I don't know where. I don't know where. I, I, I There fucking just may not be a chest. What did I return to? I found a ship. 
And I want the chest in the ship. And I'm about to tear this whole thing up here looking for it. Making you work for it. Yeah, you ain't kidding. There we go. All that for... It's really good. I don't suppose buried treasure gets you bamboo, does it? Surely not, probably. Surely not. Probably won't, but... And there might be another chest on this fucking thing, but, I mean, I don't know if I want to keep messing around in this thing. There's another chest? Where? I, I mean, look, if you can point me towards it, man, like, feel free, but... I, I don't know if I want to fucking bother with this thing. Like, where the hell would it be? In here? Back? Back where? What's the front? What's the back? I have no idea. Honestly, there might be another one, but... I don't know if I can be asked. Oh, hey, man. What's up, boys? Woo! Jesus. Alright, I guess maybe we can look at this. Maybe it spawns in there. Uh, that's southeast. Southeast. Alright, this way. Alright. That's quite a ways away as well. Two more? You didn't get the one that had bamboo as a possibility? Look, man. <laughs> First of all, would are they not all? Are they not all? Like, the same as far as the loot tables? I guess not. But, oh well. If I didn't, I didn't. It's not the end of the world. I needed titty energy, not pussy energy. Ah, was that my problem? Classic mistake, unfortunately. Classic blunder. Jungle! Wait, this... Okay, so wait, this didn't lead me to the shipwreck, or this didn't lead me to a treasure that had bamboo, but it led me to a jungle, which hopefully has bamboo. I think only some jungles have bamboo, but I think I see some. But I think I see some. I see some, like, unless that's vines. Oh, it might be vines that I'm seeing. Oh, I think it might be vines. Okay, well, I'm going to give this, like, a big look over here. I'm also going to sleep um, once I can. Homie said jungle. I did! I'm very excited. All right, you, you boys got to go, I'm afraid. Got to go, man. I got to sleep. Do it for the vine? That's pretty funny. All right. Now the world is bright. Oh, man, if there's not bamboo in here, I think I might cry. I think you might actually see me cry. All right, do I use my elytra? They might break, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, All right I guess I should finish finding this buried treasure. Do I not need something? Sure, that. Oh, there's another chest in there. I can make a YouTube short about finding bamboo to please the algorithm. Oh, there is bamboo. There's totally bamboo. Nice, 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 nice. All right, cool. I mean, I guess I'll still check this just to, you know, see. Just to give it a wee look. Just a wee baby look. Help. Uh. Help. Huh? These things confuse me, man. I don't understand. This is a cool island. Is it just an island? It looks like quite a big mainland area. Alright, fuck it, dude. I don't need whatever's in there. Who cares? Just gonna point me to another freaking buried treasure. Yeah! Alright. Okay, that's good. Because I thought that not every jungle is a bamboo jungle. And I don't think that this is a bamboo jungle. No, it's just a jungle. But luckily, it seems like, despite that... It's still got bamboo. I wonder if we could find a panda as well. I wonder if we could find a panda. 
what do I not need? Um, mutton, I guess. Cool. And bamboo spreads like crazy. Like, it grows, like, actually fucking insane. So, I'd be willing to bet that we don't need very much of it. Like, honestly, just cutting down one can give you so much, so. Of course, we only need one for the chest, then we need enough to make one scaffolding, so. It's not like we need a whole lot in the first place, but just grabbing one means that we can get so much of it. But, you know, I guess I wouldn't be against grabbing more. If I find a panda, I'm not going to bring it all the way home, to be clear, but I guess it would be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool. Alright, where's this lead me to? What a weird place for treasure. Oh, it's a parrot! But again, like, I don't think I could bring it home. I would need to get seeds? Well, actually, it would follow me home, wouldn't it? If I tamed it with seeds, but... Nah, I don't... I don't know if I really care that much. Okay, this is probably, like, around here. I want my chest. I want... I want my chest. I I want I want my 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 chest. It sit on your shoulder. I've never had a parrot in this game. I don't know how they work really. Oh my god. Good lord, it can't handle all that sand. Can't handle all that. No? How do you how is that not there? It's my chest and I need it now. Alright, fuck it. I guess I don't care about it then. I already did get one more Heart of the Sea, but it's not like I need a whole lot of them. It should be beneath the sand. Yeah! Oh, he okay, yeah. There's a bamboo jungle over there. Alright, yeah. I think we have, I think we have enough uh, bamboo. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the difference between a bamboo jungle and a regular jungle. Cool. I'll still grab a little bit more. Man, my single player game. My it, it it's got to be the only single player game to ever exist that has lag. That's insane. That's crazy. That's a ton of bamboo. Yeah. But honestly 29 bamboo is going to get me so much. So we don't need any more. 16,000 blocks loaded. Of course there's lag. No, like server lag in a single player game it's it's insane all right well we are we're what 23,000 blocks away 24,000 blocks away from home uh all right well i don't think our elytra is gonna make it quite that far but i guess we'll try to repair it with mending and we need to head this way and this way. All right. Well, let's skedaddle. We got everything we need. The only thing we need now is a wither rose, but I'm going to have to grind up some wither skeletons. Probably for... I don't know about tomorrow's stream, because it is Sunday. I don't normally stream on Sundays. However, I didn't stream yesterday when I would normally stream, so I might do a little makeup stream tomorrow where we just try to do something a little bit on the chiller side and maybe just try to farm a few wither skulls it's a holiday weekend i have every right to not stream tomorrow take my holiday off but oh since i'm a dedicated streamer hey 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 give me 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 the good yeah yeah you go yeah boy since i'm such an amazing and dedicated streamer who's so generous and loves my fans more than anything else, oh, I might just stream tomorrow to make up for not streaming yesterday. But that's only since I'm such a nice guy. I'm such a nice guy. It is also a race weekend as well, yeah. So I'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow. There's an ocean monument. It's also true. Although I feel like tomorrow's race is going to be a total runaway for you-know-who, so... I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate. One hand on the W key, one hand on the bottle. <laughs> one hand on her leg, one hand on the steering wheel. Ooh! Meow. There we go, that was a nice little boost. 
Voldemort is in F1, if Max Verstappen is uh, Lord Voldemort, which if you're a Lewis Hamilton fan, he might be. He might be. I work 48 hours this week. Inventory for my store. Tonight is 2 to 6. 2 to 6. Like, AM? Ooh. That doesn't sound very nice. 48 hours on Labor Day week? That sucks, though, dude. I'm sorry. Or maybe you like your job. I don't know. I don't always... I shouldn't always assume everyone fucking hates their job, you know? It's just so normal to hate your job anymore. But maybe you like your job. I don't know. But even if you do like your job, man, 48 hours is a lot. That's the that's a surefire way to get you to not like a job that you do enjoy. Is to do that much work of it, you know? 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., but my night... Oh, it's my night to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. What the heck did they do to this game to screw it up that badly? I don't know, man. I don't play Bedrock. No, I don't play Bedrock. Six nights at Freddy's? My dad was obsessed with F1, but the changes and everything that happened last season made him stop watching completely. How did the changes last season make him stop watching? It sounds like he was a Hamilton fan, and since the changes nerfed the Mercedes car, he no longer is a fan because his favorite driver isn't doing as good anymore. That sounds like he wasn't an F1 fan. That sounds like he was a Hamilton fan. Did I soul read him, or am I completely off the mark? Anyway, I don't want to talk about sports too much. I don't want to lose, like, 200 viewers. He was a Hamilton fan. There you go. Sounds like he wasn't an F1 fan at all. If anything, if you're an F1 fan, last season would have been more interesting. That shit, that was the most interesting F1 season in years. Dang, F1 balance patches. I mean, this is a gripe that I have with F1 games. But honestly, if there's any anyone in my chat... Enjoy the rest of your days. You'll have a good night, MCalc. If there's anyone in chat who, like, plays sports games... Do you... you? I mean, I imagine... It's not even a question of do you share this gripe. This is a pretty universal gripe with, like, Madden, <laughs> FIFA... And now F1 is in the grubby hands of greedy-ass EA. They're so bad, man. NBA... I don't know how bad the 2K games are. Actually, I think MLB The Show is pretty good. And NBA 2K might be pretty good. But every year, man, like... <sighs> these games are so bad. Sports games are in a bad place for a while. And have been for a while. It's kind of sad to see. EA is nasty. Yeah, and I mean, even if you're not a sports fan, you know that to be true when it comes to, like, The Sims being fucking garbage, needing to spend $1,000 to get all the DLCs. And the DLCs basically being mandatory for it making the game actually worthwhile to play. I'm sure, I mean, this is already well known for a while. Opinions on George Orwell? Okay, actually, this is not answering your question at all. Okay, chat, I'm gonna- I'm, I'm either gonna blow your mind, or I'm gonna look like a big fucking dumbass, okay? I hope that I'm blowing your mind when I say this. Did y'all know that Mark Twain is not his real name? Did you, did you guys know that Mark Twain is not his real name? I forget what it is, but his name isn't Mark Twain. Yes? 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 His name is Samuel Clemens! His name is Samuel Clemens. That's so fucked up. <laughs> I thought his name was Mark Twain. Because that's just a normal name. If his name was like Pussyfucker, I'd have been like, oh, clearly that's just a stage name. But his name is Mark Twain. Oh, honey? What do you mean? That's just like, nobody's ever told me that. I, li I just learned that yesterday. I literally just learned that yesterday. We learned this in school? I did not! I must have missed that day. No, I did not. I did not ever learn that. I feel like that's something I would have remembered. Because I would have been just as mind blown about that as a kid as I am at about an adult. Yeah, Mark Twain's just his drag name. Okay, I want like a, I want like a show of hands how many people did not know that. Because, dude, like, I'm getting lambasted by all the people who did know that. 
But like, how many of y'all didn't? Poll? Yeah, if there's a mod in chat, run a poll. I had no idea. I had no idea either. Fuck it, I'll run a poll. I want to know. No, that's a prediction. Shit. Manage poll. New poll. Mark Twain. I knew that. If you knew that Mark, Mark Twain was not his real name, then vote I knew that. If you didn't know that, then vote then Mark I didn't know that. You have five minutes to vote. A poll is already active. Oh fuck, thank you mods. You're faster than I am. Who is Mark Twain? He's an author. I mean, I at least knew that he was an author. I don't know, man. Call me stupid all you want. I feel like a lot of people don't know that. Thank you, mods. I don't even know who you're talking about. I mean, maybe he's not as important in other countries' literature as he is in America, but he's a pretty big deal over here. Yeah, he wrote Harry Potter, 1984, The Scarlet Letter... Johnny Tremaine, etc. I knew Samuel Clemens existed, but I didn't know they were one and the same. Some people out there only know him as Samuel Clemens? Not really big in British schools? I suppose not. He wrote the Bible too? Yo, <laughs> I heard that shit. Bangs! Never read it myself, though. Pride and Prejudice? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. He wrote everything. Shit, he's writing the exact script that I'm reading off of right now, for God's sakes. He was just that ahead of his time. Mark Twussy? Fucking delete that, man. That's disgusting. Fucking Mark Twussy. His Samuel Cl Clemussy. Okay. I mean, Mark Twain, Mark what Mark Twussy is just the uh, is just the drag name for it. It's actually called his Samuel Cl Clemussy. Okay, I'm sorry. Mark Twain didn't write Johnny Tremaine. Esther Forbes did. I know, man. He also didn't write the Bible, as we were joking about. King James clearly wrote the Bible. Samuel Clitoris. Ooh. He's got the Mark Twussy and the Samuel Clitoris. <laughs> it's really good. That's really good. I really hate it, but it's really good, actually. It's actually really good. He put his whole Twussy into the Hungry Caterpillar book. Man, it's a bestseller. New York Times bestseller, just like every other author that I see at the bookstore. Unfollowing and blocking? That's kind of fair, but you're also laughing at it. Like, you're blocking me, but you're also laughing because you know that it's funny. This reminds me of the video where the girl is near a breakdown and her teacher wanted to name the author when quoting the Bible. Huh? Okay, but has anyone else seen The Adventures of Mark Twain and was terrified and had nightmares after watching the Satan scene? What are you fucking talking about? Respectfully. What the fuck are you talking about? I have no idea what the hell you're on about. Are we done sexualizing 19th century authors now? Yeah, for now. You never know when it'll start up again, though. They call that... <laughs> never mind. Never mind. This? Somebody watch that and describe it to me. Is this some, like, Courage of Cowardly Dog shit? When are you headed back to your base? I'm freaking trying, man. It's slow going when my elytra is completely broken. Well, not completely broken, but if I were to start flying there, it would break, like, halfway there. So I'm trying to get it some HP through mending by killing these things. But it's slow going, as you might imagine. It's slow going. The mighty Randall. <laughs> you should watch it. It's a scene in a kid's movie. No, man, I've seen plenty of scenes in kid's movies that are not stream appropriate. 
They used to get away with a bunch of shit. Like, look at those old Warner Brothers cartoons, man. Jesus. Yeah, kids shows. I don't want to show half that shit. Mm-mm. Not twitch.tv slash Dagnal. Mm-mm. Spy Kids 2? I've seen Spy Kids 2. I feel like if I were to watch Spy Kids 2 again, though, I would probably want to, like, die the entire time. That... I remember it being, like, horribly cheesy, and that was, like, kid me who thought that it was horribly cheesy. I can only imagine what adult... how cynical adult me is to the point where I don't think I would enjoy Spy Kids 2 or any of the Spy Kids films anymore. To be honest with you, I, I think I'm too cynical to enjoy those anymore. I think I'm too far gone. Like, those things were cheesy as a kid. But man, as an adult, I could only imagine. Imagine disliking Spy Kids. The thing is, is I liked Spy Kids. I did like Spy Kids. I just, I, I want to keep it in, I want, I want to not tarnish Spy Kids, okay? I know that if I watch it now, I will ruin it for myself. So I'm not going to watch it because I don't want to ruin it for me. Because I want to keep the memories of Spy Kids that I have very positive. So I don't want to watch it again, because I don't want to ruin... I, if I were to watch it now, I'd hate it. I'd, I'd be way too cynical for it. So I can't. Yeah, the thumb thumbs, dude. You think I'm going to like be able to watch that shit with, like, not cringing up into a ball? All withered up and shit? Like, God, no. I'd be dying. I'd be absolutely dying. I'd be, like, curled up in a ball, fucking withered as hell, just screaming to Satan. <laughs> I never seen Shark Boy and Lava Girl, I'm afraid. It was like a flash game like that, wasn't there? Kung Pao enter the fist anymore because it's not as good as I remember. I've made the mistake of watching old movies that I used to enjoy and then having them not be nearly as good as I remember. I refuse to do that with Spy Kids. It's too sacred. It's too sacred, Chad. I can't. Different things? Yeah, I was thinking Fire Boy and Water Girl. It's different things, but in the same ballpark. Infinite Elytra thing at all? What, as far as, like, never having to use fireworks? Yeah, but that's not really my problem. My problem is the fact that they have, like, no durability. So far, I'm around three minutes in. Three minutes into what? Flash games really hit different. I th Could I, like, go back and find, like... I don't know. Is Could I, like, go back and play those old Flash games? I know Flash got discontinued by a couple of years ago, maybe, but... I would love to go back one day and just play, like, the fucking Lemonade Stand on Cool Math Games. Like, I imagine the good ones maybe are still playable, because some fan maybe converted them to a format where they could actually be played. Flashpoint? Ooh. Okay. There's, um... Oh, fuck, my favorite one was Line Rider. Fucking Line Rider, where you... Where, I mean, you literally just, like, draw lines, and then this little guy on a bike, he'll, like, ride along the lines, dude. Lemonade stand, yeah. Is that on Flashpoint? Like, is Flashpoint a website, or is that, like, an alternative to Adobe Flash? Thanks for the hydrate. No temple? Are you talking about Temple Run? That was an app, wasn't it? I don't think that was a Flash game. However, there was a Flash game um, from, like, 2003 on miniclip.com. Crypt Raider. Oh my god, dude. Crypt Raider. That was, like, one of, like, the first online games I ever played was Crypt Raider. That shit was awesome. Fancy Pants Adventures. Oh my god, dude. Yes. Oh my god. Dude, people were, like, legitimately very talented at making really good Flash games. Ah. Adventures of Remus. I don't remember that one. You walk past the temple? I don't really care. I just want to get home. I just want to get home. 
Opinions on Papa's games? You don't want you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to have your little heart broken. You want to stay in your secluded headspace where only you are correct, okay? Where the Papa's games are the greatest things that God's ever invented. You want to stay in that headspace, and I respect you for that. I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to ruin your... I don't want to ruin your headspace. I don't want to. Chloe, thanks for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you really want my opinion on Papa's games? You're not going to like it. They're a cult... They're, they have, like, this cult following to it, and I never really understood it. Can I do something? Chat settings. Does this change the F3 fucking... See, like, I could do reduce debug info, but it gets rid of my coordinates, which is, like, the very thing that I want. That's, like, the only reason I have this fucking screen up here. Why is it that... Why is it that reduce debug info gets rid of all the shit that no one uses? It it's the only thing it fucking it, it ugh, so fucking annoying. Anyway, um, I just wanted to see if I could shrink this. Ugh, it's so annoying. Anyway, um, they fucking suck. Okay, I hate the Papa's games. I fucking hate them. One of them. The thing is, is that one of them is fine. Like, just one of them existing. It could be Burgeria, Hot Dogeria, Ice Creameria. I don't know how many there are, but you fucking got you Name a food. It probably has a fucking Papa's game after it. Kebaberia. I don't know. I don't know if any of those ones that I said exist, other than Burgery. I know Burgery exists. But even if just one of those existed, that's fine. But no, what they had to do is they had to fucking milk it. <laughs> They had to fucking milk it. They have to, every fucking food has a Papa's game with it now, and they're all the same. And they're all the same. If just one existed, when it was just Papa's Burgery, I think was the first one, it was fine. It was a good game. But now that every fucking food has a Papa game up around it, and they're all the same, you all do the same fucking things in them. It, it, it's like you clearly are just trying to fucking milk this out. That's no fun. Papa's dick in Balleria? It probably already exists, man. It probably exists. Papa's diarrhea? That's pretty funny. You're literally mad? Papa Louie has you so bothered? Papa Louie got you all hot and bothered. No. I'm the only sane person in this chat. Papa's hot dogeria is the best? Oh, wow, it's so... No, 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 it's the best. It's so much different than all the other fucking Papa's games. It's so much different. I swear, it's different. It's different than Papa's burgeria. In this one, you put ketchup, mustard, and relish on the hot dog instead of ketchup, mayo, barbecue sauce on the burger. Fuck you. No. No. Fuck off. I'm not- I'm fine- I'm calm, man. This is me being calm, okay? I've never touched the Papa's games for the- for my part. So you're neutral. But you understand what I'm saying, right? Neutral parties in this understand me. People who are sworn to the Legion of Papa are mad at me. They're at my throat. They're mad because I'm right. Yeah, they're like, I'm not like other Papa's games. No, they are. They're all like the same fucking Papa's games. They're all the same. Sorry, but that's what I was saying, man. I, I, You could have stayed ignorant of my opinions on Papa's games. You could have kept your little positive headspace that you have about Papa's games. Just that. Positive. But now I've come in and I've destroyed your entire, like, will to live, maybe. I've ruined your little secluded headspace that you had in regards to how you see P Papa's games. I've challenged your opinion, and many people don't like that. They don't like to have their opinion challenged. They like to live in their little positive headspace. Okay? I'm sorry that I had to break you out of your comfort zone a little bit. The bubble has popped, and now you're woke. Uh, you know, I didn't want to have to be the one to do it to you, but somebody had to. Somebody had to shake you out of your little... Never mind. Getting a little too into the bit now. 
Should be glad I don't know what these games are. I mean, it's really simple. You've probably played games similar to it, like Cooking Mama. Is They're kind of like Cooking Mama. So, they're kind of like... You... You run a restaurant. Yo, Omega Zero. Thanks so much for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Did I miss Chloe, your subscription earlier? I'm sorry if I did. Thank you, Omega Zero, though. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Is my Elytra even healing, man? I don't know. It really doesn't feel like it is, so fuck it. I'm gonna put it here. And I'm just gonna wear it and hope it heals that way. I hope it heals more than it is. Like, because no, it doesn't really feel like it is. I didn't? I'm sorry, Chloe. But thank you for that. I appreciate that. Thanks for the seven months. I mean, I know that they give almost no XP, but, like, it's better than nothing, so. Better than nothing. And then I put away the sword, because my sword has mending on it, so. I want to make sure that that doesn't take the XP. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of like Cooking Mama, except you run a restaurant. So you actually have to, like, manage the aspects of, like, dealing with customers, taking their orders, having to deal with, like, the hustle and bustle of a busy day. It's kind of cool. Like, they're honestly, one, like I said, one Papa's game, if only one of them existed, it's a good game. But they had to milk it. They had to make the same game over and over again with different fucking foods. And they're all just, like, reskins of each other. The, just one game on its own is it's kind of cool it's kind of a fun game with like the managerial aspects of it of course the aspect of making the food itself they're kind of cool but they just they went too far they went too far they took it too far opinions on minecraft frogs to keep on the opinion train i have not played 1.19 with the frogs i really don't have much of an opinion I don't have much of an opinion, to be honest with you. And honestly, I'm not a big frog person. I kind of don't love how... I'm gonna... I'm gonna new them off of this, I think. Just be easier. I don't... I kind of hate how, like, frogs are, like, all the rage. Fucking... I don't know. I think it's... I, I'm not saying it started with Froggy Chair and Animal Crossing, but, like, everyone fucking loves frogs now. Frogs are everything, and they're everywhere. Oh, yeah, I should probably get an ominous banner, huh? While I'm here. Everything's fucking frogs, man. It's annoying. Like, nobody liked frogs until, like, just something, like, I don't know, maybe they rolled out, like, 5G or something like that. And now frogs are fucking everywhere. Help, help, help. Okay, my elytra, they are very sick. Please help me. Okay, did I already loot this? Ooh, hang on. Okay. Oh, hey, man. Ouch. Not very nice. There you go. Um, I guess I could kill those guys for some quick XP, but I don't know if that's worth it. Um, anyway, something just changed, and, like, everyone just started being obsessed with frogs. I don't know what happened. Kind of don't understand. Um, goodbye. Uh, but I'm running out of food. Oh, brown wool can go. No! Okay, I need this one. This one? Please? Thank you. Alright, we're out of here. That's my elytra. It's okay. It's okay. So we need to go yeah, this way and a little bit less so this way. Alright, there we go. I have 64 pork chops. That's good stuff, man. Oh, you're, you're saying that I could throw out that fish? Okay, yeah, you're totally right. You're so right, bestie. You're so freaking right. I mean, I'm going to keep going until these elytra have, like, zero HP. And just stay, like, close to the ground so if they die, I don't die. Because it would... I mean, this will get me, like, a few thousand blocks. Anyway, what were we talking about? Yeah, everyone's obsessed with frogs now. I don't get it. All the, like, cute kawiwi shit always involves frogs. Don't understand. I mean, they're fine. I think frogs are fine. But... I don't necessarily find them, like, cute kawiwi, like a lot of people do. That's just me, though. Kind of like axolotls as well. What's up with, like, just everyone, they just started loving axolotls all of a sudden? Don't understand. I just don't really get it. 
just it, it's like the internet will just go through these phases of like just their new the new hot obsession you know frogs had it axolotls had it before frogs but I don't know. For a while, it was axolotls. When in before that, like fucking barely anyone even heard of an axolotl before. I don't know. Is this called ominous banner? It is, but honestly, like, I don't know. Like, it's a light gray banner. Like, it says light gray base. I would argue that this is just a light gray banner, which I have already gotten. But I don't know. I don't think I. Honestly, I don't really think I need it, but. I'll get it. Minecraft axolotls? They're ugly. Axolotls are ugly as hell. Axolotls are fucking stupid. They look like little aliens. They're disgusting. If I saw an axolotl man, I would fucking run. Very overrated. Personally, hippos should be more loved. Maybe. I think there's a lot of animals that deserve more love. <laughs> Not because people will get axolotls because they're trendy, but they're hard to take care of, and oftentimes people will get them without knowing that it, what entails and how much they have to do. Yeah, I mean, that goes for any animal. Any animal, despite what I think about them, deserves to be loved and treated well if you have them as a pet. But if you're getting them without, you know, knowing how to take care of them just because you want to have an axolotl, oh, I want a pet axolotl, at least do some research, right? Thanks for the hydrate, and hello. Hello to my very handsome son, who I do take very good care of. He's spoiled. Mm-hmm. He's spoiled, if anything. Hi! Hi there! Oh, are you, uh... Well, oh, thank you. We spent over a thousand dollars to get his teeth cleaned. Yeah, a thousand bucks to get this fucking guy's teeth cleaned, huh? Yeah, because you're getting older, man. Last thing we want is to have to pull teeth out. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? You don't want your little teeth pulled out. Thank you. There you go. Oh god, that was my glasses, man. <laughs> Jesus. He is silly. Pop Pop, you're so silly. Is that right? Oh god. It's time for bitch now. Oh god, bitch wants in now. Oh my lord. No, I don't want to. I, I, if I hold him in my hand, I will sneeze for an hour. You can bring it. You can bring him onto the camera frame, but like, I'm not holding him. I can tell you that much right now. I'm not going to hold my cat. I will sneeze for an hour straight if I hold him. I'm very allergic to, well, not very allergic, like, I will die, but, like, I'm, I, if I touch my cat and then touch, like, anything that I own, I will probably sneeze for, like, an hour. Yeah, they want to see him, but... Now he doesn't want to let go. Yeah, now, it, like, when you pick him up, he, like, latches to you. Wash your hands after... Freaking doing my job over here. I love being allergic to all my pets. I mean, don't get me wrong. Damn, he's zooming. Holy shit, dude, settle down. Don't get me wrong, man. I love my cat. I love my dog. And I love them enough to where, despite my allergies to my cat at least, I will still, like, take good care of him. But... Yeah. Take a piss break so that Kristen can show us bitch? I do kind of need to piss. I do kind of need to piss. So maybe. Then again, I'm only like 10,000 blocks out now. Not too much longer. But not that allergic that I will die. He's a sentence I relate to deep. Jesus, man! Girl bossed a little too close to the sun, don't you think? I mean, if I could, it's really not a good time to leave right now, because it is nighttime, but we can fix that. Uh-oh, I think I see a creeper coming. Uh, please sleep faster. There we go. <laughs> Just a little scary. This is probably the most terrifying thing I've done. 
bro's a little overzealous a little bit all right hang on i still got like shit around me here oh see ya i didn't get the xp for that now shit get out of here get out of here school there you go and then you give me xp mend my wings mend my broken wings and learn to fly again I thought that was pretty good, honestly. Do y'all like that? I, I think that's pretty good. I think that's got chance for the next Minecraft. Dude, that's another... That's a... That's a winner. That's a fucking winner, dude. That's a fucking winner. That's the next big Minecraft parody right there. Mend these broken wings and learn to fly again. I don't know what the rest of the song would be, but there's your chorus. There you go. Someone smarter than me could do the rest of the song. I'll take all the credit for it. I bought four emotes today. Let's fucking go. I also thought of another funny one yesterday, but I can't remember how it went. If I remember it, I promise you, I will uh, sing it. Despite how probably fucking embarrassing it is. So no bitch. No, he he's already he's 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 scooted. He's already left the he's already left the building. I'm afraid. Tarantulas. Look, man, I'm not a big spider person or a bug person. Don't think I would ever have a tarantula pet. Okay, my elytra wings are officially zero HP. So let's get to the land over here. No, I would not have a tarantula or a spider or a bug pet just in general. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. Not for me. I get that people have phobia. I don't even have a phobia, really. Like, if I saw a tarantula, I'd be like, mm, I don't I mean, I don't like it, but it's fine. It's not going to kill me. But I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> it's still not really a, a, a good reasoning to justifying liking something is you know is not just oh well it won't kill me so i must like it so yeah it won't kill me but like still don't want one i don't like bugs like i don't like things crawling on me generally running over a wire i don't like things crawling on me if i have a pet that can crawl on me and it's tiny uh-uh mm-mm no, and it's not cute either. I don't see... I don't get it when people say that, like, bugs are cute. No, 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 not really. Not really at all. IMHO. But it's fluffy? No, like, aren't those... Aren't the hairs of a tarantula meant to, like, make you itch and, like, irritate you? Yeah, it's fluffy. It's genetically made fluffy so that it could be more fucking irritating. They're interesting, but they're not cute. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I stand with it as well. Fluffy moth? Yeah, moths are fluffy. That makes them even more terrifying. Oh, hey, look. Blue ice. They're cute from a 50... Yeah, like behind glass, right? Sure. Sure. Like the despicable prisoner. Behind glass. Bugs with hair bug me? That's pretty funny. But also, yes, me too. Yo, what's up, big PB? You think I should call him... You think he'd like being called PB? Hey, what's up, peeps? How you doing? I, I think he would like that. I bet he would love that. Oh, I bet he would maul me to fucking death. Got my huge bag of popcorn watching Dag versus chat. I'm not verse I'm not against my chat here. I try to cooperate with my chat, but you know, we just don't always agree on some things, and that's okay. It's okay that we don't agree on everything. I hope that they can respect what are you doing, man? I hope that they can respect how I feel, just as I try to respect how they feel. Axolotls? Disgusting. Papa's Flash Games? Disgusting. Frogs? Overrated. Tag on a Saturday evening? Primetime television? Ooh. That reminds me, football season starting soon, chat. Y'all gonna watch some football? Y'all gonna watch some motherfucking football? 
Or are y'all gonna be the types where your family brings over all your distant relatives to get together to watch the big game every Sunday, and you're just like holed up in your room? Ooh. College? Yeah, college football's already back. I hate football? I know, man. You're on Twitch, of course. I I'm pretty sure most of us don't like sports. I'm the minority that does. But I get it. I get it. No, I'm not American. Well, that's, you know, good for you, I guess. Quit bragging. I prefer baseball. Yo, baseball's pog, man. People say it's a boring sport, but that's because they don't understand it. That's because they just don't understand. I will do that before I watch a football game? Jesus, man. It's a little dramatic, don't you think? I'm gonna be watching twitch.tv slash Dagnal. There you go. The only real sport. I'm not worried about the stats? Like, okay, to people who don't like watching sports, do you like playing sports? I like playing sports, maybe even more than I like watching them. It's fun. I enjoy it. I understand how not everyone might, but I don't know. I think it's fun. Nope and no, no. Gym class must have been tough for y'all, huh? Uh, help? Must have been a tough time in PE. I get it. I get it. Oops, not the right kind of wood. Shit, and now I can't make it, because fuck. God fucking bless America. Oh, I'm gonna get mad. Can't mix the woods for boats anymore, since there's specific types of boats. Alright. It's fine. Gym class has people who think that they're on the wrong team. What do you mean? I love playing volleyball. Volleyball's good. My sister used to be on the volleyball team, so I would help her practice. Sports hurt? They do hurt, but hopefully the fun balances out the hurt. Ideally. PE was fine, but my bones have aged. Yeah, that is, that is pretty true. Badminton's fun, yeah. More like... <laughs> good mint. <laughs> but, hi. What, what's the temperature? In my room? Yeah, dude, my, my computer's working. It's toasty in here, man. I like it that way. I like it that way. I wouldn't want anything else in the world. I wish it was 100 degrees in here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Uh, I do. I do. And I'd much rather have Popeyes. I'm going to... Uh... On Monday, apparently we're going to... Uh, I can get through this. Come on now. Apparently on Monday, we're going to the store. The the Michaels. Um, And when we go there, we have the choice of either In-N-Out Burger or Popeyes. Chat, when I tell you that 1,000 times out of 1,000, would I choose Popeyes over In-N-Out Burgers? I'm being serious. It's not even a debate, really. It's not even a debate. What the whore's doing? I fucking love Michaels. Nah, I mean, you know, they got some good stuff there. Popeyes is lit. I don't like In-N-Out. No, it sucks. In-N-Out is so... Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Oof, I agree. I agree, my son. My very loud son, who is very handsome. But yeah, In-N-Out Burger sucks ass. I've been on the In-N-Out Burger rant too recently, though. I think I gotta... I gotta mix it up here. But yes, I don't like in and out It's bad. And horrible. And stinky. And not to mention, like, even if it was mediocre... Which, I don't know, maybe I... You know, it is mediocre. Like, calling it bad is... You know, acting like I wouldn't eat it. Sure, if you gave me in and out burger, I would eat it, okay? So maybe I'll call it mediocre instead. But, let's say it was good. Maybe even great. Every time I go there, the line in the drive-thru is into the road. The line in the store is out the door. 
is not that good, man. There's no place that's good enough to justify waiting that fucking long. Not a single place. So even if it was great, I still would not get in and out burger. Because you're often waiting like an hour. Fuck that. Absolutely not. Okay, Dr. Seuss, I see you. No, I'm not a huge piece of shit like he was. That dude was... That was a bad dude, man. And I'm not talking about, like, a bad dude. I'm talking about, like, a bad dude. No. I almost take offense to that. Favorite fast food place? Man, I... I, I don't know. Like, Wendy's, I guess. I think, like, Panda Express is, like, a cut above fast food. But it's definitely not, like, genuine Chinese, of course. Nobody... I don't think nobody's claiming that. But it's, I think it's, a, I think it's a cut above being fast food. But if it does count as fast food, then I would probably say Panda Express. But Wendy's is definitely fast food, and that shit is amazing. Yeah, like pretty sure Dr. Seuss like cheated on his wife who had cancer at the time. Yeah. Cookout's very good. I only ever saw him in North Carolina though. But it was good. It was good. Subway? You know, I don't hate Subway. In fact, I like Subway. I'm not even going to say it like that dramatically. I, I do like Subway. It's, um... Yeah, I don't know, though. I feel like there's often better sub places, but you just kind of crave... You know, honestly, I feel like a lot of Subway's business, like their profits, are people who crave Subway... However, they acknowledge that there are better sub places out there. Because I'll be honest with you, man. Sometimes I just crave Subway. I mean, come on, man. Have you ever had those cookies? Mamma mia. Holy shit. Sometimes you just crave Subway. And even though I acknowledge that better sub places exist, sometimes you just want Subway. You don't want Jersey Mike's. You don't want Firehouse Subs. You want fucking Subway. And sometimes it's just like that. And I feel like that's, like, why anyone would really go to Subway. Is because they're having a craving that only Subway can fill. That's my Subway theory. But those cookies, man. Like, oh my god, man. Jesus Christ. Like, for that reason alone, I would probably go to Subway over, like, Jersey Mike's. Those fucking cookies. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Do you have anything that I care for? No. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. I am being shot at. I cannot stay long. Oh, give me some of this. Why is it called Subway? I don't know, man. Want me to give you the Subway lore? I don't know. Firehouse is good. Firehouse is very good. Honestly, like, it is very good. It's probably more expensive, but it is very good. It is very, very good. I kind of wish we had one here. Pepperoni, salami, shredded cheese, heated for a minute from Subway is just yes. Does sound really good, man. And that oven, man. Like, that oven that they toast the sandwiches is? That thing must be magic, right? Like, no, 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 no. We, we, no, no, no. Let me, let me just spit something out for you here real quick, okay? That thing... Physically is not possible. I think that we need to... Open our eyes, maybe? There's no way that you could shove a sub in there and then have it be like 30 seconds and it's beautifully toasted. Golden brown. Wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous. There's no way. That's not physically possible. The laws of thermodynamics don't allow for a sub to be cooked completely, toasted completely that fast. They have a particle accelerator, man. I'm, 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 I gotta be convinced of it at this point. There's no way! That's too fast! There's no way that thing heats it up that fast. It's nuclear. It's gotta be made of, like, some fucking plutonium in there, man. It's insane. Fucking ridiculous. Open your eyes, sheeple. Absurd. It's because they're over 500 degrees? Look, my little convection oven that I have in my kitchen can get to 500 degrees. Now, I can tell you that I could put a full Subway sub in there and not have it be that toasted that fast. I could crank that shit to broil, 500 degrees, and it would not be cooked that fast. There, it's some, there's something fishy about that fucking... 
There's something fishy about that goddamn thing. I'm about to... I'm going to crack the code one day, all right? Is all I'm saying. I'm going to crack the code. That thing is not possible. I need just, like, one bar of health for my wings so that I can feel comfortable using them, please? Please? Air fryers are glorified convection ovens? Mods, been that guy for two minutes. Two minutes. Help. Help. I just need XP? Just a little. Just a little biddle. Yeah, it blows... Like, this is what people don't understand. Yes, they function the same as convection ovens in the sense that you put something in there and it cooks. But you don't understand, okay? The reason why an air fryer works so well is because it... It gets that air everywhere. Underneath, over top, to the sides... Is all over the place. You ever take something out of the oven and, like, it was clearly just, like, only cooked on one side? I hate that. It's horrible. But that's what you get when you don't get an air fryer. That's what you motherfucking get, okay? You get that fucking half-cooked bullshit. Anyway. We're almost home. We're almost home. Oh, in my creeper field. Hey! How very interesting. I left in this direction, and then I come back in basically the opposite direction. Holy shit. I almost got really sidetracked. Either way, oh my lord, what a journey. Homeward bound, the incredible journey. Bamboo, tall grass, large ferns, sweetberry bushes, bell, lily of the valley, cornflower... Ominous Banner? Look, I'm going to be honest with you, that's very loose as far as the definition of a new block, considering it is basically the same thing as a light gray banner, which is way back here. It's basically just this. But I guess, sure, we'll count it as a whole separate thing. I don't know if I agree, but whatever, I got one, so we'll cover all of our bases. And then that's it, right? We just need a wither rose now. Oh, sorry. We actually, we need scaffolding here. We need scaffolding. Which I honestly don't remember how to make that. But I'm sure I can use the thing. How do you make scaffolding? Is it like this? How do you make scaffolding, Chad? Ba yeah, bamboo. And string. Oh, okay. That's, that's what I was wondering. The, the string part was the part that I was wondering, chat. String in middle top. Okie dokie. Scaffolding. Look at that. And you get six of it. Oh, that's bang for your buck right there. That's bang for your buck. Figure it out, Mayo Man. You need to calm down, dude. You need to calm down. You need to fucking calm down. Jesus. Anyway, yeah, we got scaffolding bamboo, bell cornflower, lily of the valley, sweet berries, tall grass, large fern, and tomorrow, which I guess I'll stream tomorrow, even though it's a Sunday. I guess we'll do a little bit of wither skeleton skull hunting, get the wither summoned, and get a wither rose, and be done with version 1.14. But that will be for tomorrow. I have them all right here. Eventually, it's kind of strange. I'm going to have to start deleting them pretty soon. God damn it, this webcam. Piece of fucking garbage. I'm going to... Stay. Just fucking stay. How much storage do you have? Not that much. Two terabyte hard drive and then a one terabyte SSD. They don't take up that much space. Like, for example, um, fish, so this is the unedited fish video. I guess that's 55 gigs. That's not a great example, but yeah, like, the unedited ones I should probably delete because they are really fucking big, but like, I don't know, the, the flower spreading video, that's 2.06 gigabytes. That's not even that bad. That's not even that bad. Like, let's see here. Uh, how do I look at my, there we go, I got... 
Yeah, see, I'm running out. I only got 592 of my basically two terabyte hard drive. And then I have an external hard drive, which I'll probably, I should actually probably put all of those videos on there. And then my SSD has about the same amount free, but it's only one terabyte. So there you go. Anyway, yeah, you could load from save, like drag your world folder somewhere and then or have it default, hopefully, to where you have it saved or just find your seed and then it'll tell you where all your slime chunks are. I have so much less because I got Final Fantasy 17. Wait, they have 17 of those? That's insane. I didn't know they had 17 wow, Final cool. Fantasies. That's crazy. Anyway, this is the weather thing that I'm using. Uh, 99. 99. Anyway. Sleepy Nia. Thanks for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. And Strawberry, thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There is no Final Fantasy 17. No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Either I'm reading Final Fantasy 7. I don't know why my head said Final Fantasy 17. That's definitely 7. I know how to read Spaghetti. Roman numerals. Paschetti. Thanks for the 10 bucks, Ricking Angel. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Way to dox yourself? That's not my website, man. That's not my website. I mean, it shows what city I live in. I don't know. Oh, oh well. Oh no. Gonna better come get me. No, I'll be fine. I've definitely said what city I live in before, okay? It's not a big deal. And if anything, usually saying stuff like that makes me more likely... I don't know. I don't know. I fear, yes, that is a fear of mine, but honestly, no. That's why I try to reserve a lot of my, uh, that's why I, ooh, I got a traveling merchant. That's why I try to reserve a lot of my personal information. I do it a lot more so than a lot of other people on Twitch. Do you have anything good, my friend? Not really. Podzle? I mean, dude, honestly, this guy could totally give me things that I need. Like, what if, theoretically, I'm ne I'm in need of, like, one block, and then the Traveling Merchant just comes in and gets me it? Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Or maybe it would be kind of cheap, I don't know. Either way, Geeky Tez. Thanks for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's very interesting. Um... What the fuck is you doing, man? Hang on, I gotta turn my sound up a little bit. Yeah, hopefully you don't hear my fan. It's like two feet to my right. It's not a big fan, though. It's just pumping a cool breeze at me for the moment. So I haven't done any more work on this villager trading hall here. You need, you will need the wandering trader for like half the blocks in 1.17. Why? Because that's the only way to... Hmm. Interesting. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think if, if the wandering trader is the only way to get some blocks, I don't think I'm going to rely on that. Yo, it's Abby Kadabby. Thanks for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. I live in fear someone will something will happen to my favorite streamer Dagna who lives at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Can't miss it. Anyway, yeah, so I haven't built any more of the villager hunts, but or hunts. Oh god, I'm still corrupted by Animal Crossing. I still haven't uh, built any more villager huts. Ventilex. You're the only content creator I am willing to go on to Twitch for. Ty, for all the wonderful streams you've made my nights much oh, better. Oh, thank you. Heart. I, I'm glad to make your nights better. Thank you for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, yeah, anyway, I haven't built any more of these villager huts. Um, but what I have been doing is I've been trading with the existing villagers that I have quite a lot. 
they're now all uh max level i think they're called masters so they're all masters now and in particular this fisherman has been a huge coup for me 13 raw salmon for an emerald, 6 tropical fish for an emerald, 4 puffer fish for an emerald. That may seem like a lot, but consider that pretty much every night I AFK fish farm all fucking night. Um, and you can imagine how many emeralds that gets me. I've been me. a long time watcher on your YouTube and I never played Minecraft until watching your streams. Thank you for introducing me to such a wonderful game laughing face. Also, a boat for an emerald, man. Like, yeah, that's... If you have a fucking automatic tree farm, holy shit. Peachy Keen. Such a wonderful game. Yo, let's go. I hope you're enjoying it. And thanks for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Like, bro, at this point, I might make, like, a, a beacon out of emerald blocks. I might make, like, a beacon out of emerald blocks. It's kind of insane. Dragon fruity. Thank you for the two months in a row. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. So just to demonstrate, I was AFK fish farming for like two hours before starting stream today. Let's check on what we got. So we're up to the third chest here, which means this chest is full and this chest is full. And I honestly don't care about anything. <laughs> I don't care about any of this. Like all the saddles, all the like non-stackable things. I'm going to pull those out here. Check the hoppers as well. There we go. And basically everything that I fish for is getting trashed because I don't need it, basically. Will we do any AC&H within the next month? I don't know, man. I don't know how the ways of burnout will fade away or stay. I, I don't know. I'm burnt out of the game. And a lot of people ask me, like, oh, when are you going back to AC&H? And it's like, I don't know. I can't. I can't speak for the devil that's encapsulated me as far as being burnt out of AC and H. I don't know. I'll go back to it if I ever do feel like going back to it, but I don't know. It'll probably take quite a long time. It's been such a long time since I've been on Twitch and on your channel. Do you remember me? Oh yeah. One hint, Super Max. How have you been, Dagnall Petherston? Well, of lay, course. Dagnall How could Petherston I? Lay. How could I have forgotten, Melvin? Thanks for the six months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. How how could I forget? As soon as I saw your name, I'm like, oh, yeah, I think I know who that is. But thank you, Melvin. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Ugh. Would you play modded ACNH? The thing about... First of all, I don't have a modded Switch. Kristen has a modded Switch. I do not. What's up, Core Blinded? Or core binded, rather. I don't have a modded switch. Kristen does. So, theoretically, yes, I could. Um, I could. But I also uh, don't really think that there's any mods that are actually... Okay, I don't really know that how many mods that there are that actually makes ACNH a better game. Rather are just like reskins of characters and... Just kind of like surface level stuff. Nothing really that changed a lot of the things that I don't like about AC&H or a lot of the things that make me burnt out of AC&H. I don't really think many mods fix that stuff. I think a lot of the mods are merely just like surface level, oh, we turned Raymond into like, a, I don't know, a fursuit or something like that. Anyway, here's a little example of how OP these trades are here. Here's a little example. If I get lucky here, I might actually get the uh, pufferfish discount knocked off here. So it it refreshes twice a day, is what it says, two times per day. But as soon as you hear him interact with that barrel, that means that you can go again. That means that the villager refractory period is now over. If they could change villager dialogue with mods, I, maybe they can, but, like, that would be one thing. 
that would make me consider maybe playing it again, but I don't know. See, if, if you get lucky, you'll actually get a Pufferfish discount as well, making it even more OP. And in two hours of AFK fish farming, I got 53 emeralds. So, just to give you an idea of how insanely powerful uh, this trading is, plus my AFK fish farm, that's how I've managed to get all of these emeralds. So, yeah. <clears throat> What's up, Ellie? How are you doing? Well, you think about some of my ideas. What were your ideas? Um, to be honest with you, because, yeah, if somebody has, like, a good challenge idea, that usually motivates me to play ACNH again. But honestly, like, I I'm enjoying Minecraft, man. I'm enjoying Minecraft. What is... What is the next block? The next block that we need is a Wither Rose. It's actually the only thing we still need in this version is a Wither Rose. Um, which means today is going to be kind of a, uh, is it, literally just today is going to be trying to get a wither skull or rather three of them. Ideally, maybe more than three of them, but, uh, at the same time, so all bows and fishing rods, I do not want, so we'll just get rid of those. Ideally, we get more because I wouldn't mind having a beacon for my personal use. So if we get three wither skulls pretty quickly, I might even try to, um get three more but that's basically all i have to do today because i don't have any wither skulls and i need a wither rose and a wither rose is acquired by summoning a wither and having it kill not a good book and having it kill uh mobs that's all you need to get a wither rose so that's what i got to do today just farm up just farm up wither skeleton skulls that's pretty much it yeah i don't want that also you know what i wouldn't mind getting soon enough is a trident but that might take a bit, because they are pretty rare. But I don't know. If I see a drowned, I'll try and kill him. I'll try and kill him. No, Dagnal, the XP? What do you mean, the XP? Dang, get the XP. Dag, get the XP. What are you talking about? Dagnal, your XPs? Chat, what are you talking about? You could use a grindstone? Grind- Jesus. Chat, look at how many levels I have! I got 83 levels! You think I'm struggling? You think I'm struggling? I ain't struggling. That's like telling a, per a millionaire that he dropped a dollar on the ground. I basically got an AFK XP farm in the AFK fish farm itself. Christ. I'm like, what's everyone yelling the XP about? Am I like throwing away bottles of experience or something? No, you're telling me to put all this shit on a grindstone? I, I forgot that that's even a mechanic in the game, for God's sakes. Garbage, garbage. I mean, it's good, but I have so many of those. Garbage, garbage. Mm, garbage, 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 garbage. Garbage, 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 and I'll keep those. Even though I have so many fucking name tags at this point. I have so many name tags. Mr. Mr. Bezos! You, sir, sir! You dropped a penny! Oh, thank you. <laughs> he starts sweating coolant. What's up, Melanie? How are you doing? Throwing away mending hurts the sea. Not mending books, mending bows. Mending bows, mending fishing rods. Like, bro, I got this mending fishing rod right here. That literally never breaks because, of course, fishing gets you XP. It has the best, it's literally the best rod that you could get, and it just keeps repairing itself. I don't need more mending fishing rods. I don't need a mending bow. I got a mending bow with infinity, for God's sake. You can't even make these anymore. I have the best bow and the best fishing rod in the game, and y'all are yelling at me for throwing away a mending freaking Jesus. Get real. Come on, chat. Come on. Are we starting this this early? Are we starting this this early? Jesus. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to go to the nether, um, and I'm going to get wither skeleton skulls, and that's all we basically gotta do today. That's basically all we gotta do. I was gonna do this yesterday as, like, a Sunday stream, because it's gonna be kind of boring. Well, I mean, boring if I... Bo the actual... Jesus Christ, that sounded disgusting. That sounded so fucking disgusting. I'm gonna murder you. I'm going to murder you. I'm going to murder you. Get out of my face. Um, it sounds boring, but I think we'll... I mean, I don't know. I think it'll be fun. 
Oh, yeah, here's a... Uh... Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, hello. Do we have a visitor? Oh, do we have a visitor? I think we have a visitor. Doesn't this give me the, the bad omen? Does this give me the bad omen? How do these work? I honestly don't know how these work. Do you actually used to live in PA? Yeah, is that so hard to believe? I'm actually going to go back to Pennsylvania for a week on the 13th. So from the 13th to the 20th, no streams, Chad. 13th to the 20th, no streams. I'm sorry. We'll be heading back home for a week. So yeah, not only am I from there, I'm going to be back there. What's up, Snoofkins? Can of soup. So, it shouldn't... Like, if there's one of the... Look at this Enderman damage, by the way. This is ridiculous. Like, if there's one of those guys, then surely there's more. It can't just be one, right? I thought that would... I thought that would kind of... I thought that would start a raid by doing that. But apparently not. Apparently not. Alright. You kill the guy with the banner for the raid effect? Well, I thought if there was one of them, then there would be more of them, and then some of them with banners on their head. And you're giving a bad omen? Well, I don't see him. These omens ain't that bad. They despawn really easily. They're so broken. Well, fair enough then, I guess. Fair enough then. There's three scouts. I only see one. Unless they, like, spread out. I don't know, I thought I might fight a raid, which would be cool, because I think the raids are, um, a way of getting the, uh, what do you call them, the undying things, so. You could also go to a woodland mansion, which now that I have a cartographer that's max level, I could totally get a, why is that there? I could totally get a, uh, woodland explorer map. Unfortunately, I really don't feel like traveling 10,000 blocks out to get one, so yeah. That's unfortunate. Undyings of Totem. There you go. What's up, Jaylee? How are you doing? Three scouts? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done a raid in a long time. This is about the last version before I took a long break from Minecraft. It was, like, about this version. So I have not done very many, like, raids and stuff like that. A lot of the stuff that's newer in the game... Like, I still consider this, like, a new update. Around the update Aquatic is probably around when I start to become more unfamiliar with a lot of the more recent things. So I don't really know how raid raids work. Oh, right. This is where the game thinks a fortress is. <laughs> how very interesting. Um... As you can see, there is blazes and wither skeletons and no actual fortress, uh, which is kind of funny. Yeah, this is where this is where the game thinks we have a nether fortress. However, I'm going to go to an actual nether fortress to farm skulls. Um, since I don't really know where the borders of this particular nether fortress are so i'd rather go to one where i actually know the way to navigate it let's go boys in the fire let's fucking go do you have any skulls yet i literally just came here i literally just got here oh yeah i should probably like fly i should have brought fireworks man damn oh well I think we can fly a good ways to where we need to go. I mean, at least it makes it so that the walking's a little bit easier, even if I don't, uh, even if I don't have fireworks. What's the 98F4? That's how hot it is, man. It's toasty today. As the great Rob Thomas once said, man, it's a hot one. Dagnal Twitch streamer thought it was too hot. I mean, I said it before already today. I would 10 times out of 10 rather have it be this hot than like 30 degrees. So, despite my complaining, I do enjoy this. Where is, how do you get to my nether fortress? Do, am I, it has, it has been a long time since I've been there. I honestly don't really remember. 89 in DC? Oh, boo-hoo. I mean, honestly, with humidity, that might even be worse than where I'm at. You know what I should do is... No, nah, that's at 20, man. I thought that was, like, lower. How do I get to my nether fortress? Do y'all remember? Because I don't really know if I remember. I don't really know if I remember, for God's sakes. 
At least you don't live in Florida. You could have stopped the sentence right there and you'd still be right. But yes, it might be hotter in Florida. A lot of people in like Arizona are like, oh, you want to see hot? You want to see hot? And then they get like really defensive about their state being the hottest. And I'm like, you know what, man? You're right. Your state is the hottest. You're valid. You're so valid, bestie. Wait, that's where I found the soul sand back when I first was looking for it. I think that's where I found it right there. Wait, I don't think this is the right direction at all, man. I'm in Oregon, and it's already getting colder. Lucky you. Or maybe unlucky you. I hate the time of year where it starts to get colder. I don't like it. 37C? Oh, is that what, uh, is that what the temperature there is? in celsius because yeah that's pretty toasty that's pretty toasty that's pretty toasty dude i'm confused right so there's my platform i guess let's go back there canadians with the cold self-deprecating canadians are a bunch of self-deprecating bunch but that's okay that's okay 75 and rainy where i am whoops I mean, I like the rain. 75? Man, it's a little... I mean, that's kind of like jacket weather, man. Honestly, that's kind of like... You're getting a little cool down there. Getting a little cool. What's up, Charlie? How are you doing? Reminds me of, once again, Smiling Friends. I've been watching a lot of Smiling Friends lately. It's a good show. How are you not melting in that heat? It's not even that bad, man. It's not even that bad. Y'all are just dramatic. Y'all don't know how to function when it's, like, not 72 degrees. Anything hotter than that, y'all just break down. It's not that bad. Like, I'm inside. I'm in the basement, you know? 75 Kelvin? That seems pretty toasty. I think that's toasty. At least that seems toasty. I don't know. Maybe that's perfectly fine, though. Maybe that's perfectly fine. Ouchie. Alright, let me try going further down my bridge. I honestly, it's kind of stupid, but I forgot how the hell to get to my fortress. I forgot. Oh, if those guys shoot me off of here, that's going to be big trouble. Ah! Uh, crisis averted. 273.15 Kelvin is 0 C. Oh, so that's actually really cold then. That, that's actually really cold. My heart jumped? Oh, no, man. It's fine. Don't don't be a little baby about it, okay? It's fine. I'm on 1.14 now. Is this the netherite update? No, that will be 1.16, which will be the version after the next. Next version is Buzzy Bees, which really didn't add very many blocks. Uh, and then after that is, yes, the nether update, which will be fun. I think it'll be fun. 102F football practice tomorrow? Ooh. That's no fun. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. It is, like, 98 degrees, but at least I'm not, like, outside doing physical activity, man. At least, like, I'm not outside doing physical activity. Pour one out to the people out here who live where I live that are actually out there, like, working outside. Pour one out for them. They're the ones who really need it. Excuse you. They're the ones who really need it. Not me. I'm sitting in a basement where it really doesn't get that hot. I'm fine. I'm fine. I guess let's just look around here for another fortress. Because I don't remember how to get to the one that, um, <clears throat> that I had near me. So let's just look for a different one. I guess. Do you have an AC? No, but... I live in the basement, like I said, and it doesn't get that hot in here. Like, it's it's upstairs. The house that I live at, upstairs. Oh, it's, it's probably a fucking nightmare. It's probably like 80 plus degrees up there. That's really who you should be worried about. You jump off of stuff that scares me so much? It's fine. Everything that I do is very controlled and calculated, okay? Everything that I do... I'm never in danger, okay? Because everything that I do is very, very under control, okay? I've been playing this game for too long. Oh, you're lucky. Ooh, you're fucking lucky. You know that, Buster? You know that, Buster Brown? Ooh, not so lucky that time. Oh, hey, another fortress. 
I'm very reckless in the nether. No, I'm a very cool, calm, collected individual in the nether. No, dude, I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? If you're ever worried that I don't know what I'm doing, ask yourself what game I'm playing, okay? If the game that I'm playing is Minecraft, then rest assured I know what I'm doing. Like a 10-year veteran of this game. More than 10 years at this point. Can we see dog? No. Oh, Jesus. He's not entitled to, to being a clown for your sick, twisted desire. He's a very busy man who has very busy things to do. Do you just, do you demand seeing people like you do dogs? No, of course not, because that's not very nice. Ooh, now that being said, I do have some good Stanley videos if you guys haven't seen them in my Discord, exclamation point Discord. We got some good Stanley videos here, so I guess you can see this. I guess you can see this. This is him when we took him out this morning. It was already pretty toasty out at this point. It was already pretty toasty out. Yeah, he's currently in a meeting. He is not available at this moment. It's the man. They didn't mean Stanley. They meant your toes. You know, your dogs. If that's what they meant, then I think I'd have to ban them. But I don't think that's true. This is very important business. This is This might be what he's up to right now. Probably not. We actually have the door closed. I don't think how- I don't think we left him outside. <laughs> Hopefully not. Living the life. Champagne. Up in the sky. First class. I don't remember how the song goes. Hey, that reminds me. I'm going on a plane soon, chat. That's gonna be fucking nerve-wracking. I've never been shy about telling you guys about my, like stress of flying but yeah yeah i have to go on a plane soon i'm not exactly looking forward to that don't fall like that's the thing is that like it's it's fine planes are so much safer than cars and i know that my brain knows that so why does my brain not register the fact that well not register that fact just full stop I don't know, I guess that's why it's called anxiety, or something like that. It's kind of irrational sometimes. Just sleep? That's the thing, is like, I don't know if I've ever, like, tried sleeping on a plane, but I don't think I could. I don't think I could. Like, sleeping is, that's pog, right? But could I do that? I don't think I could, man. I'm gonna be, like, stressed out as it is. I'm gonna be stressed out. Anyway, yeah, like, I don't know, maybe, it, it, my brain just doesn't comprehend a plane. I mean, honestly, like, not many people can. They are quite complicated, but the more you understand it, the less worried you are, because you understand how much, like, safety mechanisms there are in a plane, right? It makes you appreciate how safe flying is, but the thing about anxiety is that you can tell it all the logic and all the facts in the world, and... It just doesn't understand sometimes, you know? Anxiety doesn't listen to nobody sometimes. That's just how it is. So yes, I know that airplanes are very safe. But all I'm saying is that when I'm up at cruising altitude and it starts going boom, 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 you know, and because we hit like a patch of turbulence or something, I'm going to be freaking out, okay? Because that's just how it works. That's just how anxiety brain is, man. And there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, I've been on planes before, though, and been fine, but this will be the first time I'm on a plane by myself. I mean, not by myself. That would actually be pretty sweet if there was no one else on the plane. That'd be awesome. But, like, without Kristen. Kristen will not be there. Stanley. Nobody will be there. I've always ever flown with uh, family or Kristen. So, it'll be the first time I ever fly by myself. I will donate a hundred dollars if you die. First of all, you don't have a hundred dollars. Second of all, I mean, I just know that that's true. Second of all, I'm not that desperate. Have you seen Final Destination? Shut up! 
That's exactly the reason why I have anxiety. Is for, like, the fact that my stupid-ass brain... My stupid-ass brain watches, like, plane crash videos before going on my damn flight. And I'm like, that's why I'm freaking out. Oh, back in 1983, the, uh... You know, like... United Airlines Flight 535 crashed landing into Long Island. And I'm like, oh, fascinating. Okay, so that's going to happen to me now. Recommend headphones in case a chatty Kathy sits next to you. Like, honest, I will bring my headphones. Yeah, like, I know, like, how planes work. I've been on them enough, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. The chatty Kathy is not my concern so much. My concern is, you know, having a panic attack. You know what's worse? Well, not worse than the plane crashing, but something more so that I'm worried about than the plane crashing is just... Ooh, nice. That was pretty quick. Nice. I'm not so much worried about the plane crashing. I'm more worried about the fact that I'm gonna have a panic attack on the plane. It's it's not the plane crashing that I'm worried about. It's the panic attack. It's the panic attack of thinking that the plane is going to crash that is going to be more so the issue. See you. Because you're stuck in the air, man. Your fate is sealed with that airplane. If you have a panic attack or any other medical emergency, sorry, Buster. They can do an emergency landing, but like you're not you're not like you're not going down anytime soon. You're stuck in there. At least with a car. At least with a car, you can pull over, right? You can pull over. There's safe places to do so. If you absolutely need to stop, you can stop a car. Just fine. If you want to stop a plane, sorry, pal. No brakes. No brakes on this plane. Mm -mm. How long will you be flying for? Um, I have four flights. Uh, I'm, it's a round trip, so I got a flight to San Francisco to Denver is the first one. By the way, if y'all are familiar with these airports, please get me a uh, airport review. Because I have never been to any of the airports that I'm having a layover at. Okay? San Francisco to Denver. Then, then I have like a one and a half, two hour layover until I'm going from Denver to Pittsburgh. And then on the return trip, it's Pittsburgh to O'Hare, Chicago O'Hare, and then O'Hare back to San Francisco all the way. So, airport reviews, what are we thinking about uh, Denver, Chicago O'Hare? Can I get some, can I get some airport, airport reviews here? I've been at Denver, it's pretty shit. You know which one was shit? George W. Bush Airport. Wait, no, that's in Houston. I think it was Dallas-Fort Worth that sucked, but they had a Whataburger there that was delicious. Pittsburgh's airport's good. Pittsburgh's airport is good. Those, I've been to Pittsburgh many times. I've been to Pittsburgh's airport many times. I've been to San Francisco's airport many times. I know those ones. It's more Denver and San Francisco, or, uh, Denver and, shit, he just despawned. Denver and O'Hare I'm not familiar with. I asked someone, uh, who lived in Chicago, though. If there's any good restaurants in O'Hare that I should try. I don't remember what he said. But if it, it's worth asking you guys as well. What are the best places to eat at O'Hare and at Denver when I got my layover? I think my layers are probably long enough to where I could afford to, like, stop somewhere to eat. Unless they're, like, fucking huge and I'll never make it across in time. No, Dallas was bad. Dallas was the worst airport I've ever been into. It was just, like... It was just, like, dingy. I don't know. It was just, like, not that... It, it felt like it hasn't been renovated since, like, the 70s. And maybe that's true. I don't know. Denver has conspiracy theories and shit? Ooh. Like, what? Which is the huge Texas one? Houston was pretty big. Houston was pretty big. I don't know if that's the one that you're talking about, though. But Houston was pretty big and pretty nice, actually. I liked Houston. Atlanta is huge. It might even be the biggest one in the United States. DFW, Logan, and Orlando? Interesting. Yeah, I don't travel much, so I'm not familiar with a lot of these. I'm not familiar with a lot of these. Constantly charges you... Car constantly changes your gates, so you have to be on top of it. Oh, no. 
See, that's really scary. A lot of what I fear as well is the fact that since I've never flown by myself before, I'm kind of on my own when it comes to, like, figuring out where to go. It's not so much, well, it is the plane, and then also the fact that I have to navigate the airport by myself as well. So, the last thing I want is to miss a flight, because I wasn't, like, paying attention to them saying that, oh, your gate changed. So, I'll, keep, I'll be vigilant about that, though. Dallas-Fort Worth is bigger than Houston? DFW sucked, man. DFW sucked. That shit was horrible. Thanks for the hydrate. Catch your trip, catch, enjoy your trippy trip trip. Well, it'll still be about over a week from now, but thank you. Have yourself a good rest of the day, Jinsy. <clears throat> um, but yeah, how often do you upload VODs? Uh, I upload them at the same time that I upload to the main channel. So like once a week-ish. The Newark airport? I mean, that is New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, but did you really expect a good airport when you went to New Jersey? Like, I don't know, I feel like you were setting yourself up for failure in that case. What were you expecting? Is Jersey actually bad? I don't know, I just know it gets a bad rap. But I've never actually been there before. Maybe it's okay- Ah, Jesus Christ! Hey, hey, whoa! Dude, these guys are freaking insane. Insane. Luckily, I- you know... I had the option of going for a budget airline, but I actually spent the extra money to go for, like, a bigger airline. Because I fear, like, I don't know, man, I already fear flying enough. The last thing I want is, like, some, I think the planes would be okay, but, like, I don't want some, like, rickety-ass plane with a pilot that's, like, brand new. Like, I don't want a plane that's, like, poorly maintained with, like, new pilots. Like, I don't know, man. I paid the extra to get that level of reassurance. And maybe I'm stupid for that. They're probably all fine. But still. Stay away from Spirit. It wasn't Spirit, the budget one that I was looking at. But, yeah. Frontier was the one that I was looking at. It was Frontier. And I had the option of having, like, a round trip for, like, only a few hundred bucks at Frontier. But I opted for a little extra to get, like, an established airline. It's a pretty good place to live. Ooh, interesting. I wouldn't mind living in Jersey, like, just outside New York. That seems kind of cool. Yeah, United's what I'm going on now. So, yeah. Easy Jet? I've heard bad things about Ryanair. Isn't Ryanair, like, really bad? I don't know if we have it in America, Ryanair, but... I hear Ryanair's pretty bad. Better airline, less people flying in the aisles? Yeah, like, also, aren't, like, the people on budget airlines generally, like... I don't know, not too desirable? I haven't had a bad, like, flight experience as far as, like, people on the flight. Like, I've never had one of those people that, like, shove their feet into the armrests. Into, like, your armrests, so you gotta be like, oh god, dude, get the fuck out of here. I've never had any of those people yet. It's only a matter of time, though. It's only a matter of time. I feel like you're, like, more likely to get those kinds of people when you go with budget airlines. Ryanair is fucking terrible, but they have a fire Twitter account, though, I hear. I'm flying with Ryanair on Thursday. It's not bad, but they make you pay for every little extra. I guess that's what they gotta do to exist as budget airlines, though, right? It kind of makes sense. They hide the fees, and it ends up costing just as much as if you were to fly, like, a bigger airline. Which makes sense. I don't even know if it's a good business model, but I don't know. Ooh, get him. Ooh, get him. Ooh, get him. Get him. Shit his ass. Shit his ass! There you go. I'm glad the skeleton didn't kill him so I can get the looting, but either way. Heard you talking about Ryanair. Answer your question. They're awful. One of my flights was delayed for five hours and I couldn't get a refund. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to side with Ryanair on that one. I'm not going to give the company the benefit of the doubt. But... Don't they usually not- isn't that kind of normal? Oh, Jesus. Aren't, isn't that kind of normal? Like, unless it was cancelled, would they refund you? 
I don't know. I kind of thought that, that only if it got canceled would they refund you. But maybe I'm wrong. And in fact, I probably am wrong. It's not a bad delay. I mean, I definitely want, don't want to have to be the guy that's waiting around in an airport for five hours. I, I definitely don't want to have to do that. But, you know, it could be worse. Five hours with no refund is standard? Yeah, I don't know. I, if it was like 24, maybe, get a partial refund. But... I don't know. I think it's, most airlines would probably be like, what? It's not cancelled, so fuck you. Most UK airlines are rubbish. Well, that's two things in your sentence that told me that you're from the UK. I think we missed a wedding, so... Oh, okay. Well, if you missed a wedding because of it, then that's real shitty. It's just kind of an unfortunate circumstance then, huh? Because pilots are severely overworked? I mean... I think even, like, budget airline pilots are incredibly well-trained is the thing. So, like, I say, oh, I don't want to fly a budget airline because the pilots are, like, you know. But the pilots are actually probably very, very, very good. Because to even be a pilot of one of those big jets, you gotta have trained for, like, 20 years, I think. Something like that. And yeah, they're overworked because of the fact that, I mean, just simple fact that how many pilots out there got 20 years of flying experience on a Boeing 737, you know? I play a f premium price if they let me fly the plane. I would w demand a refund if they made me fly the plane. I would demand a refund. That's, that's, no, I don't think I'd do that myself. We're running out of blimp pilots. Gotta be honest with you, I don't think I've seen a blimp since the good year passed over where I used to live. I kind of don't, I kind of forget that blimps exist a lot of the time. <laughs> I think I've only ever seen one, and it was the good year one. They should hire the top flight simulator streamers. I think, actually, fun fact real pilots say that landing and taking off in flight simulators actually harder than a real plane which i can believe because of how like not automatic those planes are but i mean there is a lot of like assistance devices right boeing these nuts you didn't even spell it right man it's b-o-e-i-n-g christ you didn't even spell it right there's only, like, 20 blimps left in the world? Yeah, so what? They only need, like, what, 40 pilots? <laughs> Is there really a shortage? You don't need that many, surely. Help. The Hindenburg? Yeah, and I think that that kind of set the precedent of blimp travel, huh? Most of the pilots usually go on bigger main go on to bigger main lines as well. Yeah, like if you're a pilot of ten years at Ryanair, surely you could like get more money at like United or something like that, right? Surely. I think pilots also have to learn English if it wasn't their ah if it wasn't their native language, because I'm pretty sure that's the standard communication language. Just on top of the already amount of ludicrous shit that you gotta learn. Imagine having to learn a whole nother language. Help. You can fly in a blimp? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that they are they are a method of air travel, yeah. Not a very popular one, but I think you sure can. You sure can, Palio. What's your opinion on hot air balloon travel? Fuck no. Absolutely not. Not something i would do in i mean i say a hundred years man but that's a long time but it's definitely not something i would do fuck that absolutely not i don't want the only thing keeping me in the ground that is a thousand feet below me this dingy ass basket in a hot air balloon fuck no absolutely not what's up cotton fluff how are you doing Had to sound apathetic and tired over the PA system? Huh? What the fuck sense does that make? No, I would not do hot air balloon travel. Fuck that. Kristen says she was in a hot air balloon one time. Kristen's... Oh, God. Jesus, they're all over the place. Kristen's a lot braver than me in that context. Kristen doesn't mind flying. Kristen's, like, okay with it. I'm the one who's fucking freaking out about it. I'm the one who's freaking out. 
I was, yeah. I guess it was cool or something. I have my doubts. Korean pilots, oh, don't shoot me. Korean pilots were frequently retained by the U.S. airlines because they would frequently get into crashes due to their status difference between the captain and crew. The crew wouldn't say the captain was wrong, and that led to so many problems. Interesting. Interesting. I'm craving Heinz hoops. Ooh. Like the ketchup. Why is there a tup at the corner? Oh, because it's hot today. I just wanted you guys to see how hot it was. It started at 99 when I started stream today. That seems to be the hottest it got. It hasn't gone higher than that. It seems to be going down now, but still pretty toasty. I've climbed to the top of a lighthouse. It was really nice. See, I can do that. I'm not afraid of heights. I mean, I kind of am. I kind of am. I'm not going to act like I'm not at all afraid of heights. That is part of the reason why I don't like flying. But if I could, like, climb to the top of a lighthouse, I'd be okay. Do you want to play In the Hood with me on Roblox? No, man. I'm playing Minecraft. Playing Minecraft. What's up, Shannon? How are you doing? You know what I wouldn't do, though? You know what I would not fucking do? Not in a hundred million years? You know those, like, uh... I mean, I think you can do this on, like, most huge skyscrapers, like the fucking Space Needle in Seattle. What you can do is you could go to, like, the top floor, and then usually they'll have, like, a glass floor. Like, at the very top, they'll, like, install a floor that's, like, got this room with glass flooring, and you can look down on the city below you. Fuck that. And fuck whoever decided to make that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get out of here. I would never do that. I did that at the top of the Tokyo Sky Tree. Absolutely not. Not in a hundred years. And then I see these, like, photos of people, like, laying down, looking, like, laying down on the glass floor, being like, ah, as if they're falling. And I'm like, ah, it's glass, man. Like, I know it's probably hard, like, really hard in glass. It might even be, like, stronger than concrete. Fuck no. I would sooner fucking behead myself than do that. Mm-mm. Not twitch.tv slash diagonal. That would be fun. More power to you. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Imagine riding an airplane that had, like, glass floors. Ugh. Sorry, scary enough to look out the damn windows. Not in this house! Is 21 here? That's pretty chilly. That's pretty chilly. They have a restaurant like that in Canada that spins while you're eating? And a glass floor that overlooks the falls? Wait, I think I've seen that tower before. I've never been in it, but I've been to Niagara Falls on the Canada side. I think I know what, what tower you're talking about. Oh, God, no. On top of the fucking heights, you gotta deal with the motion sickness of your fucking restaurant spinning around? Oh, my God. Fuck off. Absolutely not. Sooner fucking eat at, like, a fucking... What's that restaurant that, like, insults you all the time? Like, dicks or something? I'd sooner eat there than at that. Help it slowly turns. Well, I understand that, but still. I know it's not gonna... But, like, still, man, even slowly. Even slowly. Oh, is that closed now? Good riddance, honestly. Fuck that. I would never do that. I would never do that. Too skilly. Dick's Sporting Goods? Yeah, I think it's called, a uh, Waffle House? No, they don't insult you at the Waffle House. What's up, Franny? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing good, Ranbay. Thank you. No, they don't insult you at the fucking Waffle House. I have received fantastic service at the Waffle House, as a matter of fact. I have received wonderful service at the Waffle House, okay? So don't insult the Waffle House like that. No, there's a restaurant where, like, their whole novelty is, like, insulting the shit out of you. And I think it's literally called Dick's. 
I think it's literally called Dicks. Or something like that. I remember there was one in, like, Myrtle Beach or something. Karen's Diner? No, the Heart Attack Grill? No, not the Heart Attack Grill. That place is awesome. <laughs> that place is... I, I love the concept of the Heart Attack Grill. I, I love it. It's so ridiculous that, like, I, I love it. Finally catching you live. Yo, what's up? My gender is broken. Welcome. Thoughts on the Rainforest Cafe? I have never been to the Rainforest Cafe. I have no thoughts on it. Seems like a novelty. Yeah, Dick's Last Resort. There you go. I would thrive working at Dick's. Yeah, you just get to it. Like, it's honestly like a great place to work, I imagine. You have to deal with customers, but you actually are encouraged to be rude to them. That's amazing. It's coming to Amsterdam soon? Ooh, interesting. Called Karen's. Amazing. As if the Karen meme wasn't already thoroughly dead. About the guy who keeps fighting a Waffle House cook? No, what the fuck? The hell are you talking about? I love bullying people. I would love to work there. There you go. Send in an app to Dick's Last Resort. I wonder if you can clap back. Surely you can clap back at the employees as well. Like, the employees don't just... It's not just a one-way street where they just insult you. Surely you're allowed to, like, clap back as well. Surely. Because, I mean, I don't know if I would. I'm, I, I'm a little too socially awkward for that, but, like... I would try. I'd try to clap back a little bit. I'd feel very bad about it, though. I would feel very bad about it as soon as I'm done, though. I'd feel horrible. Your mom? Yeah, just hit him with, like, a your mom. And then they, like, give you a titty twist or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. That's, that's going the extra mile. I would just laugh or die on the inside. I feel like Dick's Last Resort... I would probably, ha yeah, I would have to be in the right mood for it. If I'm on one of my particularly, uh, like, bad mood days, I probably wouldn't want to go to Dick's Last Resort, because I would probably be, like, just in a worse mood. But if I'm in, like, a good mood, shit, let's go to Dick's Last Resort, man. Let's go get our ass fucking insulted by all the fucking busboys. How's your meal, fuckface? If people are mean to me, and we banter, I fall in love a little. This is why I should go to therapy. Any attention? Boy, have I got a restaurant for you. Boy, howdy. I haven't seen Wither Skeleton in about 15 years. Getting a little concerned. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that wasn't good. Uh-oh. Looks like I pissed off the piggies. Server bullies me. I'm in love with you. Oh my. Oh my. What are you trying to get? Wither skeleton skulls. They give you paper hats and wrote stuff on them. Wait, really? Oh, hang on. I actually put sharpness on this axe. Let's see if this can one-shot them. Let's see if this can one-shot them. No? Dude, this thing does so much damage, though. This thing does... It's got a sharpness 5. It does 12 attack damage. What does my sword do, for reference? My sword does 10. Doesn't seem like that much, actually. Doesn't seem like that much. Maybe once I make a netherite, it can one-shot? Bros have him beef with pigmen? Luckily, I think they're probably okay now. Surely. Surely you're not mad at me. Oh, hi. Ow! Someone's mad at me. Good luck with your goals. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. The only way to go into the nether is with a bow. I love sniping in Minecraft. It, it's pretty prudent to go in with a bow. What's up, Wolfie? How are you doing? And Jazz. How many skulls? I only got one. I got one pretty early on, and I haven't gotten shit since. Have not gotten shit since.
What is the plan today? Wither skeleton skulls. Get a wither summoned if I get them quickly enough. And get wither roses. That's all I need to do in this update. It's the only thing I still have left to do in this update. So that's all we got to do today. You can use the one in the chest? Huh? The one in the chest? Oh, you mean the wither skeleton skull that I have stored away? No, I can't touch that. I feel like once something is in the chest, it's off limits, you know? I think I've broken that rule a couple of times, but I feel like that's... You know, I feel like that's a good rule. Once something's in the chest, stowed away, then I think you shouldn't touch it anymore. I think that... I think that it's off limits. 18... I don't think Netherite would one-shot. It would do 18 damage, and Blazes have 20 hearts. I assume 18 if it's a critical hit. Interesting. Maybe it would, like, one-hit a zombie, at least? Old Nether or New Nether? What is old and what is new? I assume you mean pre-Nether update 1.16. How many updates do we have left? Um, 113, 114. So after 114, we got 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. What was that, five? Five updates left. Not bad, actually. Doing, making very good progress. Yeah, so after this one, 15, which is short, 16, pretty big. 17 was... What was 17? 17 was Caves and Cliffs Part 1, right? Which is a, probably the biggest one that I have left still. 18, I don't think added anything, because it was all just terrain generation. And then 19, which will be a big one. So, really, like, 5? But only 3 that are pretty big. Only 3 that are, like what I would consider big updates. So not, yeah, not bad. I've kind of been gaming as of late, which is why I kind of want to slow down a little bit, you know, like slow down, build more things in the world. I feel like I'm plugging through these too quickly sometimes, but yeah, I don't know. Seem more challenging to me. I like the new nether. I like the post 1.16 update nether. I feel like the nether was just too boring back in these days. I, I don't know. I like the bastions. I like the uh, the new biomes. Although I hate that basalt delta one. Fuck that biome. All my homies hate that biome. Um, oh, what else did that update introduce? I forget, honestly. The I mean, the fortresses are still the same. But... Shit, I actually don't remember. Is it just really the Bastions is the only big thing? Bastions in the biomes? And then, uh, of course, Netherite, which, I mean, people have been begging for a new ore for a long time, so there you go. You got Netherite. I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. Oh my, that was a big boy. Big man. Oh, see you, man. Ow. Ow. Stop. What am I even doing? Get out of here. Lodestone and the respawn anchor. Oh yeah, I've actually never made those before. I'll have to look that up. Because I don't know, never made those. Oh yeah, and then piglin bartering with gold. And if you have a gold farm, isn't that like super OP? If you got like basically unlimited gold. I love all these regular skeletons and like zero wither skeletons. That's really good. Really good. Loving that. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, wait, I think, yeah. <clears throat> this is stressing me. I got it under control. I got it under control. Oh, yeah, it also introduced the ruined nether portals that you find on the surface, which are kind of cool as well. Bartering is broken with that gold? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they don't give you, like, a, a huge variety of things, but, like, what's the best thing that a bunch of bartering can get you? Ender pearls, I guess, but, I mean, if you have an enderman farm, like, you are probably already set. I don't know, if you can make, like, a gold farm, you probably already got, like, an enderman farm, so I don't think ender pearls are particularly the best thing that you can get from them. You ever play dungeons? Minecraft dungeons? No. It's very important for speedrunning. Yeah, I've seen Minecraft speedruns that utilize bartering to get ender pearls to make the end portal. I've seen those before. I used to watch them quite a lot. 
It's very... Seems like a miserable game to speedrun Minecraft because it's just... I mean, like a lot of speedrunning games, just insanely just RNG dependent. Of course, it takes skill, but like... I don't know. It's not a case where the best runner could have the best time because of how much RNG there is. All achievements? Yeah, maybe. The problem with the achievements is that every update that I do, it like... I don't know, some updates like change the achievements that I've done, like it resets them, so... That's why I haven't really gone all out for achievement hunting quite yet, because I just keep getting reset. But, yeah, maybe at the end of the speedrun. They have a rare chance of getting netherite? Really? That must be recent. I don't remember them give, ever giving me netherite. I don't remember that. Maybe you're right, though. The ones that are on a random world. Yeah, see, those are the ones that I used to watch. Random Seed. Random RSG. Random Seed Glitchless, I think that stands for. Set Seed Glitchless is going to be, like, more or less the same thing every time. So, there's less RNG to it. It's very rare. Interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know that that was a thing at all. Full stop. The most competitive category in the world? Is that right? The most competitive in the world? I don't know. Isn't like... Isn't Subway Surfers kind of popping off right now? I don't know. It seems so stressful. It can be. A lot of people have a bad mindset about speedrunning. Where they're defined by their speedrun times. And if that's how you choose to live, then yeah, I can imagine it's quite stressful. But it doesn't have to be, I don't think. It doesn't have to be. Speedrun this world? Well, this world has changed so much. Like, this world is so much different from when it first started. Like, if you take my seed and you plug it into a modern version of Minecraft, it's, got, it's not going to look anything like what I have. Because it's changed so much. Thanks for the hydrate. Mario speedruns? Saying Mario speedruns is very vague. You know, there's a lot of Mario games out there. You ever played Splatoon? No, I've never played Splatoon. Odette! Pee pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo? How dare you post this? But thanks for the four months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. And a pee-pee-poo-poo -poo to you as well. Oh, that literally just despawned. <sighs> Man. Oh, there's one. Way over here. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Bro, that shit is so good! At least the older ones for the Wii and for the DS. I, I think the new one for Tokyo 2020 is not very good. But the older ones, man, oh my lord, those are fun games. YouTuber called Dagnal. He's such a great guy. That <laughs> it sounds like you're pumping his tires, man. It sounds like you're pumping his freaking tires. Get off his dick. Mario 64 is one of the original speed games. Yeah, I like watching Mario 64 speedruns. 120 star, particularly. Yeah, I liked Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games um, for Beijing 2008. I had a copy of it for the DS, and then I had Vancouver 2010 for the Wii. Oh, those were so good, man. I actually... Shit, I mean, I... Hang on. I literally got it right here for the Wii. I don't know why I'm acting like, oh, it was such a good time, chat. It was such a good t I literally have it right next to me. As if it's not immediately in my presence. Vancouver 2010 is very fun. I loved Vancouver 2010. The good old days. On DS was the shit, yes. Now the new one is just shit. It's just shit. Hey. Hey, bozo. Can I have a head, please? Still only one. I mean, it's only a 5% chance with every Wither Skeleton, but... Ugh, getting kind of annoyed. 
maybe sticking to this area where like there's just wide open flat area might be good actually simpler times yeah they were they were hey get the fuck out of here get the fuck what's up boys get away from the edge please it's a good chance to be honest with you it's not great it's not great <laughs> i don't know I do have looting three, in case you're wondering, so this is with the be giving myself the best possible chance. Is beheading enchantment a thing? No. No, that, that that's never a thing, unfortunately. It seems like a no-brainer if they were to, like, add it and have it just be, like, a good way of getting mob heads. Like, who says no to that? That's just, like, I don't know. Seems like kind of an obvious enchantment that they haven't done yet. 5.5, but still a chance? Yeah, so that means, like, what? One in every, like, 19 or 20 should give me a head? I don't know how many I've killed at this point, but I feel like it's probably been maybe 30-ish. Hey, whoa. Why am I in fire? Why am I on fire? I just heard some mad thunder. Ooh. I don't mind the sound of thunder. I mean... Anything that indicates rain where I live is pretty good, but, yeah, even, like, when I lived in a place that rained a lot, I still enjoyed Thunder. Average was, like, 60 kills for three heads. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many I'm at. Not 60, not even close, but, oh, yeah, I heard one falling there. I heard one falling. I thought so. I wasn't going crazy. I'm definitely not at 60 yet, but still only at 1. Man, it's chilling on 85 levels. Yeah, AFK fish farming, man. I'm gonna abuse the shit out of it until they make it so that AFK fish farming sucks. I'm gonna abuse the shit out of it. Do you have a P.O. box? No, but I've been thinking about making one. I just haven't gotten around to it. I haven't gotten around to actually making a P.O. box yet. But me and Kristen wanted to open one. Is that a... No, it's just a torch. But I saw it said sword. It still works on bedrock? Well, it works, I think, in Java as well, but it just gives you trash. It just gives you trash if you were to use, like, the one that I have built at my house. You just get trash because the pool of water is really small. Two months, baby. Ah, Liana. Thanks so much for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so, like, I think it still works. The farm that I have never breaks, but it just becomes, like, a junk factory. It just gets you junk. Because the uh, the little one by one thing of water that I have, you need you need to, the water size, the pool that you're fishing from, to be big enough for it to give you anything good anymore. Which is kind of why I'm AFK fish farming like every night, just so I can take advantage of it before they fix it. It's free XP, I guess. It's an AFK XP farm, so not bad in that sense. But I don't know. You'd kind of want some good enchanted books, right? At the very least. Hey, bozo. Hey, bozo. There was some lightning and it lit up my curtains. Ooh, like, set your curtains on fire? Well, that's not so good, man. You should go, like, take care of that. That sounds like you should definitely, like, go douse that flame. That's probably not what you mean, but, like, that's what it, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like your curtains are on fire. Help. Ouch. Don't shoot me off anything, please. Ah. Not on fire. It was just so bright. I see. I see. I mean, I would hope not. I want a thunderstorm that is not a tornado tonight. Tell me you live in the Midwest without telling me you live in the Midwest. Sure hope the storm coming tonight isn't a tornado. I mean, 
This seems a little dangerous. <laughs> it's a very, like, uh, iffy place to be. But... I don't think I've been down here. Has it got a chest, maybe? No. Or are these bozos? How many freaking things do I have? Over a stack of blaze rods now? Nice. I wish my cat could talk. I know that dude is mad funny. What tells you that? Plot twist, they are on fire? Ooh. Really out here living in a place called Tornado Alley? I mean, it's not really a choice for most of them. It's just where they ended up being born, probably. But, yeah. It's not exactly a great... I don't know. <laughs> it's not exactly a great selling point for the area, but it's got to be some cheap real estate out there. Yeah, it's, it's the Tornado Alley Roulette. You could buy a house in Kansas, but there's like a 25% chance it gets destroyed by a tornado in your lifetime. But it's cheap. Do you take the chance? Yes or no? And I guess a lot of people say yes. I'll take that chance. Shit, I'm a homeowner. Glad I live where there's no natural disaster related events, just snow. I mean, snow can be a natural disaster. I live near the Windy City and never get tornadoes. I don't think Chicago is particularly windy, more so than other places, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's real estate with gacha mechanics, exactly. I heard that voice crack, man. I don't think I had a voice crack. Sometimes I just ugh, enunciate. By changing my pitch. But if I did voice crack, then you try talking four hours a day, five days a week, and see how much your voice cracks. Not a tornado. Not for a tornado. Because everyone there is a blowhard? Oh no. That's very mean. But is it true? It's windy because it's by the water. I live in a city by the water. It's not called the Windy City. It's called, I mean, I don't know. It's actually called Surf City where I live. But that's a very contentious name because so many places along the Pacific Coast claim to be the Surf City. So there's actually a lot of controversy behind us calling where we live the Surf City. There's actually a lot of controversy behind it. Thanks for the hydrate. Like, there's this whole, like, debate. We're the surf city. No, we're the surf city. And everyone claims to be the surf city. Help. That was very mean. Could at least drop my head if you're, or drop your head if you're gonna be that mean about it. It's the least you could do. The Great Lakes, bro. Yeah, no, I, I know. I lived, right, I literally lived in a place called Erie. Pennsylvania, one of the five Great Lakes was right there. I know how they are. I went to a concert at Soldier Field in Chicago and the wind was kicking my ass. Interesting. Maybe it is more particularly windy over there. I don't know, man. Sounds like it's just a way to get your tourist dollars. Oh yeah, we're windier than the other cities. Fuck you. Help Lake Erie, the least Great Lake. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, okay? Don't come at Lake Erie like that. Fuck you. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just hate when people... I just... Stop. I hate it when people say that, okay? Because Lake Ontario exists, alright? That's the worst Great Lake, alright? Dagnall said yes to going to the see the garden with me. I don't know who it is. I don't know what I agreed to, but I did agree. I don't know what I agreed to, though, Chad. Who is the garden? I live in Cleveland. Lake Erie is pretty trash. Bro, you live in Cleveland! You're surrounded by trash! You didn't do yourself any favors! You literally live in a place called the Mistake on the Lake, man. Okay? I feel like you lost all credentials when you said you lived in Cleveland. You obviously don't have a very good standard of goodness. You live in Cleveland, for God's sakes. The Garden? So jealous? Who are they? 
I don't know who they are, but apparently they're coming to town and Kristen bought tickets. Without telling me, by the way, that she bought two tickets. She, 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 she okay, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna goof, okay? I'm not gonna goof. But she bought two tickets and then asked if I wanted to go with her. I'm like, shouldn't you have, you know, done the events in a different order? Oh, nice. Number two. Yeah, Toledo. Erie ain't bad. What's wrong with it? So what if it's got a lot of bacteria and they have to shut it down for two months a year, deny, you know, restrict it from the public until it clears up? Oh, yeah, the Cleveland tourism videos. I love these. I want to show you these to you. I guess these aren't... These probably aren't that funny. Unless you're from around the area. But as someone who lived near Cleveland... These are pretty good. I enjoy these quite a lot. Alright? Fun times in Cleveland today! Cleveland! Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone! Come and look at both of our buildings. Buy some food that's prepared near the street. Who knows, you might even see this guy. You should come on down to West 6th Street. It's the perfect place if you're a douchebag. Watch the poor people all wait for buses. Who the fuck still uses a payphone? Here's the place where there used to be industry. This train is carrying jobs out of Cleveland. Cleveland leads the nation in drifters. Here's a statue of Moses Cleveland. He's the guy who invented Cleveland. Yeah! Hang on. Oh, no. I thought they had a part at the end that was like, at least we're not Detroit. We're not Detroit. Or something like that. The second one is better. Well, y'all look them up for yourselves, all right? I'm not going to be your... I'm, I'm only your source of entertainment if it's coming from me, okay? Tell me these are real. They're real. Look up Cleveland tourism videos. Look it. Look it up. Cleveland music made me want to shake my ass. About the only good thing to have come from Cleveland, man. The only good thing. That's in part two. Ooh, okay. Yeah, go watch part two then. Every city thinks they're the worst city, and every city is right? No, man. My city where I live, everyone thinks that this place is amazing. I kind of wish that my city had that level of self-deprecation that a lot of people from Cleveland, for example, might have. But no, man. People where I live actually love it so much, and it's... It's arrogant. It's honestly borderline arrogant, you know? Like, this place has many flaws to it. I mean, it is California. So a lot of the problems that we have here are not specific to where I live. But I actually kind of hate how, like, people are so fucking, like, jovial about living where I live. It's expensive. It has very surface level and deep-rooted problems to it. But everyone here is like a California bro about it. And they're like, yeah, man, surf city. And I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. It always rubs me the wrong way. I wish people would be more self-deprecating here. Baltimore's a shithole, but it's our shithole. There you go. At least embrace it. Did you get your elytra fixed up? I did, yes. Yeah, we got the pizza bomber. That would be in the e the in the Eerie Tourism video. This train is carrying jobs out of Cleveland. Fuck you, Baltimore. <laughs> I love that video as well. Very good. My city is a city, I guess. They all kind of blend together. I always find it weird when people are very, very... Uh... I don't know. Like, I understand being proud of where you came from. But some people who make, like, where they live their entire personality, you know? Like, the California surf bros. I see them all the time. The people whose entire personality is based around California. And I'm like, man, you are a very uninteresting person if the best thing that you can say for yourself is that you're from California. 
I don't know. You can usually identify them just by looking at them, but sometimes it takes a little bit deeper to get them to, you know, to for them to say how uninteresting they are. The townies? Is that what they call them? I don't know, but yeah, those kinds of people always irk me. But I guess, sure, be proud of something. I choose to be proud of my accomplishments and what I've done in life. Not so much the fact that I was born in Erie, Pennsylvania. But, you know, even that leaves a lot to be desired, so... Maybe not a whole lot to be proud of. I wish I lived in California. Um, yeah, a lot of people say that. And you might be right, maybe you do. But it has its problems. It also has very many good things about it as well. It's a reason why it's very expensive to live here. And that's because, in many ways, it is very nice. <clears throat> I do not wish I lived there. And they... Yeah, some people are like that as well. Is obvious as recognizing a Floridian? I don't know. I've never been to Florida. I don't know if I recognize them so easily. What gives away the fact that somebody is a Floridian? What gives it away? Rural California instead of Metro California? There you go. Unfortunately, rural California probably means that you're not near the sea, which probably means it's like 110 over there right now, so... It's got its ups and downs. Being old? Okay. That's maybe a... That's one sign, maybe. Sunburned and unhinged? Look, man, I lived in North Carolina. I could describe many people from North Carolina like that. I don't know. They have Florida man energy. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to wonder, like, what that specifically is, though. What's Florida man energy? Board shorts and Chad energy? I don't know. Ah. Hiding your little buddy there, huh? Ah, lag. Oh, no. Yep, that was gonna happen. Nice, uh, single-player video game, uh... Single player video game latency lag. That's really good. The greener a city is, the happier the people get. Is that right? Maybe. Maybe that's true. No chill in any part of their lives? Ooh. Why so many blaze rods? I don't know. I'm trying to get wither skeleton skulls. The blaze rods are an afterthought, really. But I'm, I'm collecting them. They're a good fuel source. Lots of good things you can do with them. So I guess that. Getting sleepy. Gotta get up early tomorrow for school again. Good night, Dagnal and viewers. Yo, have a good night. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Oh yeah, everyone's probably back to school at this point. School officially has started now because it's after Labor... No, it is Labor Day. So, it probably starts tomorrow for a lot of people, if it hasn't started already. So yeah, it's about that time, huh? Unfortunate. It's the best, well, one of the best times of year when you're out of school. One of the worst times when you're in school. My cat sent that last message too early? Oh no. Your cat said I reclaimed my Florida man identity? Dude, like, your your cat might be sentient, man. Holy shit. That's like a well-constructed sentence. That's insane. Some universities have started. I feel like most of them would have started by now, right? I feel like most of them would have started by now. I know that, like, high school has probably been started for a while, but it surely, like, tomorrow has to be the last first day of school for most people. At least in North America, I feel. I don't know about other places, but yeah. I think we've definitely started. Ah. Good morning. That's a really cool shirt. Thank you. It's really hot outside. So I'm trying to stay cool however I can. Help. You dirty bitch. You're a dirty little... Ooh, I was... Ooh, oh, I'm gonna call you a freaking bad name. Not like a, like a bad name, but like I was just gonna call him like a dick or something. My niece starts next week? Your niece? Like, preschool? I don't know. 
two weeks ago club. See, that's pretty normal. Late August, early September. That's pretty normal. Okay, but I can't stop laughing about someone's cat being a Florida man. <laughs> it's really good. That's a really... That's a sentient cat, man. Pretty crazy. I... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bitching here, alright? Y'all ready for a little bit of a bitch and moan here? Don't get mad at me, please, alright? I'm gonna do a little bitching and or moaning here. Um, so, Kristen yesterday, last night, was showing me these TikToks of this cat. And the whole thing with this cat is that its owner feeds it food... And it, like, chews the food really loudly and really weird. And it goes, like, <laughs> when it's chewing. And she showed me the videos, and they all have, like, over a million views. They post, like, several times a day, I think. What the fuck, man? Is it that easy to just milk your animals for... TikTok superstardom anymore? Like, really? It's a cat that chews its food very loudly, and it literally gets, like, millions of views every time. Monkey Cat Luna? And just, and just immediately, like, a hundred people are like, I know who you're talking about. Is it really, like, it's insane. It's insane to me. I'm like, man, I could just, like, if I really wanted to, I bet I could, like, get Stanley to, like, I bet, like, I could have Stanley, like, I, I could teach him, like, a trick or something like that. And then now he could be, like, the corgi that, like, uh, I don't know, shakes his butt or something. I don't know. Just anything for views, right? Might as well. It was that easy anymore. I thought there was two up here. I'm like, dude, I should do that probably making millions of dollars a year stanley's the reason i started watching you i mean look i'm not gonna say that i will always i'll always have stanley in the back pocket if i ever need some quick oohs and ahs but i'm not gonna use them for views man like i don't know that's it always just feels wrong to use your pets that way I'm sure those pets are very well loved and appreciated by their owners, but doesn't it just rub you the wrong way? Doesn't it just give you the feeling in the pit of your stomach when you see one of these very popular TikTok animals? And it makes you think that, like, man, do they like this pet for the fact that it's a, you know, it's a wonderful, engaging... Well, I mean, pet, I guess. It's it's a it's a it's a source of happiness for them. They love this pet. Do they love this pet because it's you know, a pet to them and they care for it and they nurture it? Or do they like this pet because it makes them an insane amount of money? I don't know, I guess as long as the pet is being taken care of, why should I care that much, you know? Part of me thinks that. Part of me is like, you're a fucking scumbag. But that's my, that's where the opinion gets maybe a little controversial. Help. Okay, well, despawning also works. I get that. It's like, do you love the pet or do you love views and money? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Of course, they would never admit to it being the latter, but it always makes me think that it's the latter when I see that, you know? Do family influencers like their kids? Exactly, man. I always get the wrong impression from that as well. Hello. I don't hate Winky. <laughs> There's this cat on TikTok or Instagram. What is it? No, no, no. What is he on? Instagram or TikTok? There's this cat on Instagram called Winky. He's ugly as shit. Kristen loves... She's ugly as shit. Ugly as shit. This is the ugliest cat I've ever seen. They're called Winky. Kristen is obsessed with Winky. She wants a cat like Winky. And I'm like, that cat is so fucking ugly, man. It's like this little dwarf cat with like... I don't know. It just looks ugly. I, th I don't think anything's wrong with that. I think it's just ugly. I don't know. Oh, man. 
Anyway, Kristen likes cats. I'm not so much a cat person. I'm more of a dog person. Don't call them ugly. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. That cat's ugly. <laughs> the cat is ugly, man. There's ugly cats out there. They exist. It's not like they have feelings. Well, they do, but, you know, they don't understand me. Winky means something else here? Oh, no. I don't want- I don't know if I want to know what it means. Had the pet beforehand, realized it did a funny thing, uploaded it, happened to go viral, decided to run with it. The fame is more of an afterthought. That's probably best case scenario. That's probably best case scenario. I don't know if it's always like that, though. Hopefully. There's some fug ugly cats out there. Like, look, they deserve love just as much as anyone else. But man, I hate those fucking sphinx hairless cats. Oh my god, they they creep me out, dude. They creep me out. I can't do it. I, I don't like them. I don't like them. They they just give me the heebie jeebies, man. I don't like them. They deserve they deserve love. And like any other cat. But I wouldn't get one. Yeah, like Bingus, exactly. Winky means pee pee? Oh, okay. Well, that's not that bad. I thought it meant something worse than that. They're really hard to take care of? I would have think that a Sphinx cat would be easier to take care of since, I mean, they don't need to groom themselves, right? Yeah, Kristen wants a Sphinx cat. Kristen wants... Kristen wants every cat that we find, okay? Every cat that she sees online, she wants it, okay? She's like, I want a Winky. I want a Sphinx cat. She's gonna be a crazy cat lady. She's gonna be a crazy cat lady before- t I gotta, like, keep her in- in- in line here. I gotta keep her from, like, adopting every cat she finds. I gotta be the bad guy. Bathe them weekly and clean their toe, ear, and eye gunk? What the fuck? Why? Why, because they don't know how to clean themselves because they've never had to? Their skin needs to be taken care of specifically, and they have weird health issues? Interesting. I wonder how many people adopt Sphinx cats without knowing that. Kind of unfortunate. Kristen's such a mood? I mean, I'm kind of like that with dogs, but like... I don't know, man. I also know my limits. I think one dog is enough for me. If I had a bigger place, I could do two dogs, but for right now, one dog is enough. Stanley also isn't a very social boy. He probably wouldn't like it if we had, like, more than just the one cat that we do. He probably wouldn't like it very much. So, knowing that, and then knowing the fact that I live in a very tiny living area... Yeah, we're, we're a one-dog, one-cat household for the moment. If I had a bunch of money in space, I'd have so many cats. I mean, at least you're like, is if I have the money in space. A lot of people don't take that into consideration before getting animals, you know? And that sucks, because that is, like, the big thing that you have to consider, right? It's the first thing I would consider if we were thinking about getting another dog, is like, oh man, do we have the room for that? Depends on what kind of breed it is. Oh, you are not very smart, man. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, hold on. Dude, there's like five of them down there, but they keep getting pushed off the edge. I don't think he dropped one. Hang on. Just, yeah, come on over. You can come on over now, surely. Ah. Head? No. They get oily and start to smell after a while. They have a whole myriad of health issues. That's crazy. I thought they would have been less maintenance because of the fact that, I mean, they don't have hair. Less hair, less problems. If I had 0.01% of Bezos' money, I would open an animal shelter. So that's what? One one hundredth of his money? Bro, that's still like... That's still like over a billion dollars? Give me a fucking... Yeah, give me a fucking... A thousandth of that money. Give me a thousandth of it. Give me a ten thousandth of it. Fuck, dude. That's like, what, ten million dollars? Jesus. 
I'd be alright. I'd be doing just fine. Hello, Dag and chat. Hope everyone's doing well. Hello, Jesse. How are you doing? I'd open a cat cafe. Oh my god, I don't... Kristen wants to go to a cat cafe as well. Kristen wants to go to a fucking maid cafe. Which, cat cafes I see the appeal of. Maid cafes... Look, and maybe my impression of a maid cafe is wrong. So tell... Kristen's like, there's a maid cafe in LA, and I'm like... No! I don't want... No! No, I'm not vlogging at a maid cafe. It seems weird. It seems... No, I'm not streaming at the fucking maid cafe. First of all, that strikes me as a place where they don't let you do that. We should, we should do it. We should dress Stanley up in a Sailor Moon dress. No, we should not dress Stanley up in a Sailor Moon dress. Because, no. Because we don't need to. The specialty ones are fun, like buff maids. Buff maids? <laughs> Interesting. The world's gotten itself in a big damn hurry, man. Wait, who shot? Oh, I see a see a big man. Yeah, I hear you as well. Ow. Please ex please stream from the maid cafe. I will pay you dollars for the exposure. From your maid cafe? You own a maid cafe? My Wi-Fi is dying? Well, I guess that's better than your wife dying. But, uh, ah, sorry to hear that. No, but, like, um, isn't a maid cafe, and maybe I'm wrong, but this is always how I've seen them. Like, I've watched videos of people going to maid cafes, and it's like, of course, the maids, and they're like, I feel like it's for people who just, full stop, just watch way too much fucking anime. They want a hot anime girl maid to, big busty anime girl maid to give me food. Which, you know, like, whatever, know your worth, treat yourself, etc. But, like, man, I think the average person would find that quite weird. And that's me. I'm the average person. What's up, sweet Zayra? How are you doing? Yeah, more like maidenless cafe. I feel like maidened people do not go to maid cafes. <laughs> I feel like people who have maidens do not go to maid cafes, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm not saying it takes a level of loneliness to go to a place where you have a bunch of women serving your every need. But... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know if I'm off the mark, though. Let me know if I'm off the mark. Chilling an MC? Yep. That's all I'm doing. Uh, boys, how the hell am I gonna get to you? Okay, I know a way, I know a way. I would totally take my BF to a maid cafe. Hey man, if he wants to, go for it. I don't know if I would be particularly enthused about it myself. What blocks do you need? I just need a wither rose, which is, uh... Of course, I need the wither, which is why I need wither skulls. So, right now, I'm just working on Wither Skulls, but it's four Wither Roses. Come on, man. Group of three? Nope. I think you should let Stanley dress as Sailor Moon. No. <laughs> if he- if he walked up to me dressed like Sailor Moon, I would be like, You're going out in that? Uh-uh-uh! I would be like the- I'd be like the sitcom dad about it. I'd be like, you're not wearing that! Mm-mm! I'd be like, take that off, go dress decently. Which, I guess for him, dressing decently is dressing with nothing at all, because he doesn't wear clothes. So, maybe it wouldn't be like the sitcom dad. I'm not slut-shaming him, man! Sailor Moon's not a slut! Jesus, I don't think so. Wait, how is that slut shaming? Jesus Christ. You y'all calling Sailor Moon a slut is while I'm here and 5.5 kitty, 5.5. Not very good. Plus he's a dog. Yeah, that it's all a joke in the first place. Second of all, 
Y'all calling Sailor Moon a slut from the sounds of it. Stanley dresses like he goes to Euphoria High School. What the fuck? What's Euphoria High School? It's a show? Oh. What, chat, what's Euphoria High School? And why does Stanley dress like he's going to Euphoria High School? What does that mean? Wearing a choker? Well, he does wear a collar. It doesn't choke him, though. It's a... Glitter club clothes and go-go boots? That just sounds like you just made words up. That sounds like you just made words up, man. That doesn't sound real. What's going on here? Got a little fight? We got a little rumble in the jungle here? We got a little we got a little tussle? We got a little tussle in the in the in the vessel? I don't know. Do you think choker necklaces actually choke people? No, but like, why are they called that? Why are they called chokers if they choke people, right? I know, they're made of like, a little elastic bands. They like, don't do anything. Counterpoint, they're called chokers. That tussle, I don't know what a vessel is. Te a tessel in a vessel, maybe? I don't know. Because collar is too crazy? What are you talking about too crazy, man? I go to this fucking Spencer's. You go to the back room of the Spencer's. They got a fucking, like, dildo. They're called, like, the Wacky Zacky Intestine Diddler or something like that. You're gonna call a, ch a, a collar too crazy? What are, you, what are you talking about? Can we see Stanley right now? No, he's not your servant to come at your command. No, he's very busy. A tussle in the Tesla. There you go. I don't want to watch a show with... I'm not reading that. Well, I did read it, but I'm not reading the rest of it out loud. He's just doing his business. He's doing his business. Come on. One of those things is not like the other? What do you mean? Stanley is filing his taxes? He might be. He might be. You never know what that guy's up to. You never know. I right, I probably take this off now. I'll probably take this off here. 93 is a reasonable temperature. 99 when it was at 99 at the beginning of the stream, that was ludicrous. 93, that's reasonable. It's not that ridiculous anymore. Stanley's a little late for filing. Ah, next year's taxes, okay? He got an advance on his W2s. Thanks for the hydrate. He's committing tax evasion? No, he's not. Dude, might be fucking... You never know if there could be feds watching my stream, chat. You gotta be careful with what you say. Christ. Me remembering in Arizona elementary school, they'd force us to do recess in 100 degree heat. I mean... I'm not saying that's right, but I'm saying, like, that is Arizona? Like, what are you gonna do, right? Do you just not- what's the alternative? Not having recess? I guess. Do they make you do recess? Like, they make you do, like, physical activity in 100 degree heat? Oh, nice. That's three. Cool. I guess I'll go kill these two over here, though, still. Indoor recess? Like, what is indoor recess? Like, in the gym? You gonna really take, like, a whole school and put them in the gym? I don't know, man. It seems like a tough situation because you live in Arizona. You, you do live in Arizona, so I don't know. I've never had indoor recess. But I've definitely had recess. Like, I used to live in North Carolina, and, I mean, it'd get triple digits there sometimes. And we'd have to go outside, run the, run the mile or whatever. But it was, I don't know. North Carolina. What are you gonna do, man? You know, say, like, oh, no, sorry, can't do it today. It's 100 degrees. Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, not. Um, alright, well, I am leaving. 
too sweet. Why? <laughs> I did ecstasy at 16, okay? If it ever rained, we had indoor recess? Nah, man, they'd still send us out there. And I liked it. I don't know. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Kill the weather? Played board games or did stuff in the gym? See, like, the thing about recess is that, like, you can do... Like, we were able to do that as well. Like, we were able to do that. I used to play chess at recess because I was a fucking nerd. But still. Like, we could do that. You didn't have to go outside. You you could sit outside and, like, not do physical activity. That's the thing about recess. You were able to do whatever the hell you wanted. Chess is epic? What do you mean? I agree, man. Try to tell that to the general consensus of Twitch chat, though. Oh, there's this thing called en passant, and it means in passing in French, and, and yeah. The response to someone in chat, not as a brag. Okay, I was just wondering the context to it. It was very interesting. En croissant? Yeah, there you go. Ouch. Um, yeah, so I'm just out of here. See you. So now we have to summon the Wither, and I can luckily summon the Wither this time with the portal trick that I attempted last time. But last time I attempted it, I didn't know that the Wither could travel through the end portal. And so he did travel through the end portal, but now luckily that got fixed in some update. I don't know which update, but they fixed where the Wither spawns or well if you summon him under the end portal he actually goes through the end portal they fix that now so luckily that shouldn't be a thing anymore yeah do i have a bug bite on my nose no man i just got like allergies and when i get allergies i like scratch my nose but like i don't know i don't know just a bad allergy day i suppose i just itch my nose a lot I mean, when you got a big honker like me, like, there's a lot of real estate in there, man. A lot of real estate. Hey, give me that. Let's just, like, dig most of the way there if we can. So it's pretty much this way and a little bit this way. Alright. Just go as far as we can. For the moment. You can bring a fish to- Oh yeah, so what I was going to do is I was actually going to use chicken eggs. What you can do is you can just spawn a bunch of baby chickens and then put them in the killing chamber with the wither and then... I think when the wither dies, like the explosion that happens after the wither dies, I think that that counts for killing something. So I think... I think that's the way to do it? But I don't know, I'd really hate to fuck this up and have to get three Wither Skeleton Skulls again, but, uh... I don't know, maybe I'll test it in creative before I do. Maybe I'll test it in creative. They have to be adult chickens? Do they? Okay. Do they? Maybe. You might be right. You might be right. Buckets of fish? That's a good point as well. I do have a lot of, like... Well, no, I sold all my fish for the emerald trading. So maybe I don't have a whole lot of fish. But... I could probably catch some. Surely. Probably catch some. You're glowing today? Happy Monday? Thank you. How are you doing, Ryai? Welcome. Positively radiant. Positively radioactive. Maybe it's Maybelline. Unconventional method for killing the wither. <laughs> the unconventional way of killing the wither is the way that the game that the game developers intended for you to do it. Sadly, um, I really don't think anyone actually fights the wither anymore. At least the way that it was intended to be fought. I think most people do the end portal trick anymore. That's honestly the unconventional way of doing it is by doing it the way that the game meant for you to do it, sadly. I wish that, I don't know, part of me wishes that the Wither could not be cheesed so easily, but then on the other hand, the Wither, like, fucking destroys your area, so I will always choose to do it the cheesy way, 
because I don't want my entire fucking... I don't want my entire area destroyed. So, I don't know. A pigman army to defeat it? That's pretty cool. That's a bit unconventional, though, I would argue. That's a bit unconventional. Killing with bees? That's that's conventional? I don't know. Perhaps we have different definitions. Efficiency 5 pickaxe versus netherite. Go burr. Netherrack or netherite? Because honestly, I think all you need is like efficiency 2 on diamond pickaxes to instant mine it. Needs like efficiency 2, I think. Wait, this way? Oh no, I gotta go this way. What am I doing? Iron golems work well. Yeah, I can see it. But, like, they did, none of that is, like, the intended way of fighting it. Like, that's the difference. It's unconventional because that's definitely not what the game developers intended for you to do. Make the wither fight the warden? It's like a whole cool anime battle? Ooh. I have to see that, actually. That sounds fun. Maybe I can do that. Right, okay, we're over here. The Wither versus an Efficiency 5 pickaxe? I could try it. Try to do a little YouTube challenge. When bees were so OP and killed the Wither super fast? How OP are they? Do they just... You know, actually, I've never fucked with bees in this game. Do they, like, poison you if they sting you? And then that poison, like, goes crazy? Dinner time, BRB. Yo, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. Wither versus the Warden? I feel like the Warden has, like, way more hell. But the Wither's probably faster, right? But the... I don't know, that doesn't really matter when the, the Warden has, like, that, uh... That ranged attack, the Sonic Boom, I think. Oh, the rain. Let me... let me... Let me turn this up, dude. The rain... It sounds so good now. It sounds so good. I love the rain sound now. It used to be so, so bad. It used to be so bad, like, basically, like, TV static. Now it actually sounds like rain. And, like, dude, I can listen to this shit all day. Oh, this is so nice. Oh. All right. It still looks kind of ugly. I wish they would make... You know what would be really cool? Like, dynamic weather. Like, you know how, like, if it's raining on one part of the server, it's raining everywhere on the server? What if there was, like, weather fronts and, like, dynamic weather? That'd be really cool, actually. That'd be really cool. Anyway. Um, I am going to, unfortunately, sleep and get rid of the rain, but still. Music do I like the most? Animal Crossing GameCube, probably. Yeah, it gives, like, bad bitrate problems when I'm streaming, so that's kind of part of the reason why I'm going to opt out of the rain for the moment. Can Dagnall hit the gritty? What the fuck is the gritty? Is that, like, a fucking Egg McGriddle for McDonald's? Ooh, I'd fuck one of those up right now. Alright, um... Let's hope that this works. Let's hope that this works. Let's, um... Let's bring some things for the wither to kill. Hang on. Do I have eggs in here? No. You know where I have eggs? I know where I have eggs. It's a TikTok dance? That's kind of what I assumed. That's kind of what I assumed. Because every, like, term... Every, like, new internet slang that I hear... I always assume that it comes from TikTok. Because, I mean... Well, rarely am I wrong about that assumption, so... You know, until I start being consistently wrong about it, I will always just assume that that's true. Thanks for the hydrate. You have no idea what you did? No, I think I know. Man, you haven't left yet. You still got the same traits. Interesting. Uh, I don't need, like, most of this shit here. Like... Stone sword, bow... So y'all think I should bring fish, then? I assume I would need to bring fish in, like, a bucket? Like that? And then spawn him? Do I need a bucket for every individual fish? I probably would. Well, I do have quite a few buckets, so let's go grab them. Why not? 
Wild World is so good, though. I mean, I like Wild World's music as well. Sure, sure. There's not an Animal Crossing game that has bad music. Would the Wither Rose be able to spawn in water? Well, I'll drop the fish, and then I'll get rid of the... That's true, then, because then the fish are going to die, though. But yeah, no, surely, like, it, they'll still die in water, or it'll be able to... It doesn't... Okay, What maybe what you're thinking is that, like, it plants itself, but no, it just drops as, like, an item. It just drops as, like, an item. So, no, I don't... Oh, the buckets need to be water? Oh, I thought the buckets could be empty when you grab them. Okay. I think maybe what you're assuming is that it would, like, plant itself into the ground, but no, it just drops as an item, so I think it would be fine. But if I'm wrong about that, correct me now or forever hold your peace, because I think I'm going to go do it now. Could you trade with villagers for chicken eggs? No, I don't think any villagers trade for chicken eggs. I don't think so. All right, let's hope that this goes better than the last time that we fought the Wither. Also, you know what's nice is that, um, you know what's really nice is I can actually keep the Nether Star from this as well. I only really need the Wither for the Wither Roses, but, uh, I need, a uh, I need a beacon as well. I don't have a beacon at my base. The last Wither that I spawned, um, I have, I obviously had to use the star for, to make a beacon for the chests. I never actually got one for my own personal use, sadly. Oh, yeah, you gotta, uh, you gotta get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid, dumb animal! If the rose can, it will place it as a block. If it can't, the rose will drop. So, yeah, I mean, then you would need to have dirt around, right? I just need the Wither Rose in this update. I just need the Wither Rose. So we'll hop in here. Oh, Boggy! The end! Let's fucking go, boys! Hell yeah! We got the end. God, this place is ugly. <laughs> Ooh, wee, this place is looking kind of rough. Whew. All right, so... I don't know if I should trust you guys in regards to, like, how I should build this very dangerous thing, but, like, how exactly deep do you have to dig this below the portal? I assume, like, three blocks below the portal is probably good. Three blocks below the portal, okay, so like that. GG, easy. Such an easy game chat. The rose plants itself. It will give you a status effect if touched. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be just fine. No, no real worries. After last time, I don't want to take responsibility if this goes wrong. Very smart of you. Very wise. Very wise. Alright, so that's the whole way that way. And then this way. So I think it's just like this, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's the entire underside of the portal dug out. Now, I think the the sand st or the soul sand should go like this, right? Maybe I should make a backup. Yo, know, maybe I should. Maybe I should make it too deep. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. So I think. It goes like this, right? Okay, so too deep. Because I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep up above in my head. Instead of going under. You know what, chat? You're so right. I know what I'm doing. You're so right. You're so fucking right. Chat, anyone ever tell you how fucking right you are? Oh, how convenient. Anyone ever tell you how fucking right you are? Because you are. You're very correct and very smart. Oh yeah, I gotta actually resummon the dragon on this. God damn it. I haven't fought the dragon on my thumbnails world yet. Um, I need an anvil. And then, what does this have? Sharpness 1, that's shit. And then give me sharpness uh, 5, and then give me power 5, and then give me a bow, and then give me a sword. 
Okay, let's just, let's just knock this out. You don't need arrows, right? No. Okay, give me this. Give me that. Alright, let's do it. And then give me some... End frames? Frame? There we go. No. What do you call these things? Grease? No. How, what do you call the things? End... The end crystals, that's right. You gotta do it like this. You gotta go glunk, 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 glunk. Power up. Hey! Ah! Uh. Hey. Fuck off. No? Too recent a version? What does that mean? What does that mean? Because can't you summon them? This is still how you summon the Ender Dragon, right? Egg? Dragon egg? Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean dragon egg? Also, is the dragon egg not a thing in here? I didn't even see the... Huh? Dragon... You can't even get the egg in here. Maybe switch to survival? Ah, shit. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta do it like this. I gotta do this. And I gotta do this. And I gotta do game mode survival. And then now I gotta get rid of it. Like, do... Fuck. Might hurt. Would slash summon work? Maybe? Ah, oh, fuck. And now I gotta go here and I gotta put them back except for one. I gotta go, like, here. Here here and then back to creative or back to survival i don't understand i don't understand it's okay hmm. f3 f4 exist i don't know what you mean f3 has been a thing for a while that's really weird this is how i did it in my main save is it because of like this shit? Like, no, I had this on the portal when I summoned it in the last version. That? These these ladders? I don't know. This is really strange. It's completed. It... Oh. No, I don't think this would do it. Because, again, like, this is exactly the state of the end where I summoned it the last time. See, if I do slash summon, then I don't think it actually, like, first of all, shut the fuck up. Um, I don't think it actually, like, really, I, I think it's, like, a very informal way of doing it, though. And also, where's her health? Like, where's her HP? Like, there's no boss bar at the top. Like, this seems like an informal way of doing it. Also, I guess we should get rid of these now. Like, is she even gonna die? I don't know. Do you need to re-enter in survival? I don't know. But here's what I do know. I don't care enough to keep trying. So... I think... In between the bedrock and soul sand? There's... Two blocks of air between the bedrock and soul sand. Also, the tail of the soul sand is under the direct middle of the bedrock. Okay. So... Here, right... This block right here is where the tail of the soul sand goes. And then... Okay. Well, let's just put it down then. So, right there. And then it goes like... This... It goes like 
Well, I guess we'll do it like this so that we're close to the entrance. Talking about like here then. So here's where the sand or the soul sand goes. And then here would be where the heads go. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about? What's up, Justin My Lions? Or Justin Mylans? So like this. I feel like it needs to be one higher. See, I thought it had to be one higher as well. I can post a pic in the MC channel of your Discord. Discord? Sure, go for it. Maybe it's maybe it doesn't have to be a perfect science. Maybe it doesn't have to be a perfect science. But for no reason at all, you need obsidian under the tail. Oh, okay. Maybe just say fuck it, bestie. I see I've made that mistake before though. See, I've made that mistake before. <laughs> I've made the mistake of saying fuck it, bestie before. After what happened last time, I don't know. I don't know. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Is just in case this goes wrong. It might just make me a little cheeky backup. Just a little one. It's just a little guy. Just a little ass backup here. It's... Just not that I think anything will go wrong. Could this be done on the nether roof? Maybe. I think that it's usually done at the end portal because that's just most convenient. But, uh, yeah. So, here we go. I got me... I got me a backup that I definitely will not have to use because that would be ridiculous. And... Give it a try. Oh. Maybe it needs a little bit more room around it. Perhaps. Just a little bit more room. Just like, you know, might as well make it a square. I mean, everything else in this game is a square, for God's sakes. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, though... Okay, okay, hang on. <laughs> Gotta remove the end stone. The blocks around the tail. So what you're saying is just get rid of this whole ass layer. Might as well. Okay, interesting. This thing feels way too loosey-goosey now. It feels like it has too much room to move around. See, that don't look right, man. That looks like... That, that looks like that thing is not gonna suffocate. It is not suffocating. Very loud. Can I just say? Very loud. Probably this. Not that. Um, Maybe this? Okay, not that. Um, this? Not that. <laughs> um, ah, that's literally off. Um, is he damaging himself? Oh shit, he might be, but I feel like he's gonna break through the end layer. You know what? Just, just to be safe. See, like, he's definitely going to break through the end layer, though, is the thing. And also, I need to summon these guys. Also need to have this, have some fish be alive here. Okay, just have a, have a bite, have a bite in the middle of fighting the most terrorizing thing in the game. Just, just, uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go like that, and... <laughs> Woo! Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> is we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go on here. Here. 
here and then we're gonna I'm gonna say like here and then we're gonna and then we're <laughs> real silly like real uh real silly like here <laughs> oh god, I gave myself the hiccups. Pardon me. Oh man, what happened? Nothing, man. My game crashed. My game crashed. Nothing. And I think the last autosave was uh, right before I was about to summon the Wither. Um, so that's unlucky, because I actually killed it already, but I, um, I need to do it again now. I need to do it again now. So that's uh, pretty unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. Now, something tells me that this is not right, though. I'm going to do a little bit of a... I'm going to do a little bit of, like, executive override. And I'm just going to say, like, this doesn't this doesn't feel right. So I'm actually going to fucking put the block right back where it was. And then I'm going to do this. And we're going to just, just, like, maybe move this up to here or something like that. Oh, I don't know. It just feels right. That just That just feels more right. I don't know what tells me that that is correct now, but that feels like the right way of doing it. Okay? That feels like the right way of doing it. Okay? And now... And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like here, and then we're gonna go like here, and then we're gonna go like here, and then we're gonna carve this out just a little bit more here. It's good intuition, right? It's good intuition. Now, we're going to get a bunch of these guys spawned here so I don't have to do it in the middle of the fight. Um, that seems wise. That seems wise. Finally, and then... My subs. Oh, I don't really know. Do a little content. bit of, like, Thank here, you, and then... I mean, shit, I might as well, like, do some, like, chickens as well while I'm here, maybe. Finally able to continue my subs. Really enjoyed the MC content. Yo, you're welcome! Thank you for the 11 months in a row. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. You're welcome as well for the content. It's my pleasure. Alright. Um, so... <laughs> hey, Pally, you, you stay in there now. You get a little too big for your britches there. Um... Yeah, so the reason why I'm spawning mobs in there is because that's how you get the Wither Rose. The water will stop the Wither from spawning. Look, smarty pants. That might be true. Okay, you know what? You're very intelligent, actually. You're so smart. You're actually... <laughs> you might be the smartest person. Like, ever, for that matter. So here's what you do, okay? Here's what you do. Um, you come into here, and then you just, you just, you get all this shit out of here, alright? Get, get all this shit out of here. I don't want this shit. This shit sucks. I hate this shit. There we go. And then you come into here, and then you go like this, alright? Beautiful. Now, do these stop the wither from spawning? Yes, yes they do. Alright. The fish do the same thing that the chickens do. Where they... Well, jeez, how am I gonna do this, then? Um, hmm. The fish do the same thing the chickens do, where they, if they die from the wither, they will drop a wither rose. Yeah, I play Stardew. Not lately, but I do play it. It's a good game. Pick up the water and have floppy fish, but then they'll die from suffocating, right? Then they'll die from suffocating. You don't want that, obviously. Hmm. So the wither needs to be completely cleared around it. So maybe what we can do is we can just dig this out one more. Spawned after the wither spawns because of the explosion. Ideally, the explosion doesn't do much, though, because he's going to be in the walls, though. Like, that's what I thought. I thought that the explosion wouldn't hurt them because he's going to be suffocating in the portal. 
but this is why we made a backup. So if it if it does work that way, then it's fine. No harm, no foul, I guess. No harm, no foul. Okay, and now like this so that the fish can be inside of here without getting in the way of the wither spawning like that okay and now all this water doesn't really do anything <laughs> so i don't know you have some fowls in there yeah no harm no foul exactly exactly precisely all right now all this water has to go backup i don't know what you're talking about well see every time the game crashes it makes a backup so that you can quickly restore it uh, in case any of your of your like data or anything like that was lost so that's why i have the backup um that's why i have the backup okay well um right we got our fish we got our Chicky Chickies. We got our Withy Withy. I don't think you should call him Withy Withy. I don't think he would like that very much. Um, oh, I, I missed a Fishy Fishy. There we go. Um, do you think he would like being called that? I, I don't think he would like being called that. I, I I wouldn't like that myself. Personally, I think that would be quite... I don't, I don't, I, I don't think he would like that. Dude, I mean, you know what? You could die to the Wither, you could die to me. I see you've made your choice. You've made your choice. I don't think you would like that very much. Um, all right. Okay. I mean, if they die to the wither explosion, does that still drop a wither rose? Because if it does, then no problem, right? Okay. First of all, Buster, you're not really suffocating. Which is unfortunate. But you're also... I mean, you're not killing my mobs. And thus getting me wither roses. Which is... Not great. Hmm. Hmm. No, no wither roses. Um... Because, like, standing, like, right here does not do any damage to you. Free the fish? Well, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Can you pop him out a bit at low health? No, he's stuck in there. I, I can't get him out of that bedrock. But, luckily, he's in a phase now where he's just regenerating faster than he's dying from suffocation. Or, no, maybe not. Maybe it's, like, I think maybe the dying is happening a little bit faster than the suffocating is. Hmm. Trying to nudge him out? Can I nudge him? Oh shit, maybe I can nudge him. I'm I do be kinda nudging. I do be kinda nudging actually. I mean if I can, I'll try. Am I nudging him? Ah, I actually don't think he's moving at all. Luckily he's not dying very fast though. So I got I mean I could pause and think about it. What if I were to, like, spawn a fish, like, in the end portal? What about a fishing rod? Bring him down a block once he gets to low health? How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? What's up, backpack? How are you doing? Yeah, I think the fish would just go to spawn. Yeah, I think you're right. How do people do this? I used to have, like, a in a server of mine, in a server that I used to play on, I used to, um, there used to be a farm setup where you could do this so easily. Should I destroy the obsidian? Is it the obsidian that's really blocking him, though? I don't think it's the obsidian that's blocking him, but tell you what, I'll time it to where he's really low on health, and then I'll break the obsidian... So that, if that is what's doing it... Okay, that made him, like, go higher up. It didn't bring him down, though. Oh! Hey, 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 over here, over here, over here, Pally! There you go, over here! But wait, you're not dropping Wither Roses. Wait. <laughs> Hang on.
where 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 wither roses where where roses I think in this version you can only use chickens? I told you to use adult chickens? Holy shit. You guys are so smart. Is that what you want to hear? Is this what you want to hear? Holy shit. Everyone that told me I should use chickens is so fucking smart. Right? Is that, is that, that's what you want to hear, right? Do they not spawn on endstone? I thought they dropped. I don't think they, like, get planted into the ground. I think they just drop, right? Hang on. Let's check something. Let's check something here. Uh, let's see. Wither Rose. Minecraft. Ugh. This is not the Minecraft wiki. <laughs> um. Alright. Here's what, uh... Here is what I'm going to see. So these are all for 1.17, 1.16 plus. That's interesting. Because what I was wondering was... Wither Rose, please? Rose, flower, yeah, whatever. Um, history, one point fourteen. They did drop, but the subsequent explosions destroyed the item. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, if that is the case, then, <laughs> woo, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> here's what we're going to do. All right. Look, call it cheesy all you want. I'm not getting three wither skeleton skulls again. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Zero percent chance I do that. Yeah, it crashed again. Fuck! Why does this shit keep happening? Damn. So, like, can someone go through the footage, maybe, and actually see a wither rose there, and it just got blown up? Like, if somebody rewatched the footage there, did you actually see one, and it got blown up, and that's why you theorize that it... That's why you theorize that it did spawn? Do you want me to clip it? I, be, I believe you. I believe you if you saw a wither rose. If that's the case, then that's all the proof and slash or pudding that I need. Um, because, that was scary. Because, 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 because. I mean, I'll just do it again and just be a bit more careful about it. Easy. Bam. Then this obsidian's the key to it all, it seems. It seems like the obsidian is key. I didn't see any. I think I saw one too. I don't know. For some reason, and now maybe I'm like placebo like fooling my gaslighting myself. I thought I saw one too, but I didn't say anything about it at the time because I was like Oh, it's, you know, well, you know, if it was there. Surely, why would they make it so that and they do this for the nether Jesus Christ, son. Are you all right? You all right? Hey. Oh, my Lord. I think he drank water way too fast, dude. He was like... <laughs> Not like throwing up, but like... I think, I think he forgets to breathe when he drinks water sometimes. Yeah, he's fine. He's just hanging out here. I think, like, you ever, like... I, I don't know. I don't think anyone's ever done this, but, like, do you ever... You ever drink water, like, way too fast? I think he, like, forgets to breathe when he does. There you go, my son. It's all right. Because I heard him drinking water. 
before coming in here. I think he just drank a little water too fast. It's all right, son. We all do it. Um, all right. So back here with this. Back at it again at the end. Uh, portal. Um, let's get a. I mean, we could just go ahead and summon it now, right? And then well, let's get some chickens in here first of all. I think. Yeah, he's fine. He's just, yeah, I don't know. He does this sometimes where sometimes he'll eat and or, well, mm -hmm. sometimes he'll eat and or drink too fast. And he does this where he, uh, he does this where he, I mean, I really should spawn this because those guys are not going to last too long. He does this sometimes where he eats and or drinks too fast. And so he just like, he, he, he forgot to breathe like as he was eating. And it's like, son, you gotta remember to breathe. It's very important. Alright, and then... Fuck, I did that way too late. Because, yeah, they're just gonna suffocate. Do I at least have a chicken? Wait, wait, wait! Woo! Give me that, give me that, give me that! <laughs> I got one! I got one! Oh, okay, we got one. Um... Okay, cool. <laughs> All I need's one. All I need is one. <laughs> oh, alright. I thought that... That explosion at the beginning of the fight wouldn't do it. I thought that after I break the subsidian, it would do it. Oh my! Did you hear that? He just sneezed. Oh, he just sneezed. Oh, all right. We got a wither rose. First try as well. Couldn't have asked for any better than that. Woo wee! What the fuck, dude? Get the hell out of my house! Get out of my house with this fucking, like, nearly clotheslined me as I was getting out of bed. Christ, man. Have some decency. This is not your place. I think he's actually... Jesus Christ, man. You're, like, choking your llamas over here, man. This is so fucked up. Like, can you boys get in there? No. I don't think they can. Uh, anyway. Uh, Wither Rose... Let's go. The last block that we need in Minecraft 1.14. And now I have another star for a beacon for my personal use, which is good. Because, well, I mean, it's it's just good. I don't really think I need to explain it any more than that. Because, of course, the last beacon that I had to make had to go into here. Where did it go? Right, we had to put it in here. So now I actually have a beacon for my own use as well, which is good, because I've been wanting one for a while. I always kill them for the leads and then set the llamas free. Don't the villagers, like, if you have villagers nearby, they get really mad at you for doing that, though? I don't know. I don't want my villagers to be mad at me. I don't want them to be angry. It's like that and then glass, right? Where's my glass? I got two glass? Oh no, that's not good. I'm excited for bees? 1.15 slash the bees update will not be a big one, but maybe we can do a little bit of messing around with the bees. Like maybe I, uh, maybe I'll actually try to like, you know, do something with the bees. I've never done anything with bees in this game. Are they actually like good for anything? Honey blocks? Like are honey blocks any good? I don't know. And anyway, I don't think we're getting to that today. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that quite today. I think, if anything, I'm going to stay on this version for a little longer and maybe try to... Um, maybe try to... Build some more of these uh, villager areas here. There we go. There we go. And now... A beacon? Yeah, there we go. Cool. I got a beacon for my own personal use. Good for redstone? R slash honey fuckers? What the fuck, man? Alright, well, I mean, I know that... Oh, you came through the portal, little guy! Oh, what a journey! He came through the portal when I spawned him for the wither. You were gonna die and give me a wither rose, my son! Oh! Oh, what an incredible journey! Look at this little fella. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay, so 
I don't think I nearly have the amount of resources that I need for building like a full nether portal or a full uh, beacon. Usually I use iron, but dude, like I got so many emeralds from AFK fish farming and trading that I'm kind of like I should use emeralds for this. Like I'll show you in case you didn't see it earlier. Yeah, thoughts and prayers for that chicken. Thoughts and prayers. Um, in case you didn't see it earlier, I have like an insane amount of emeralds because AFK fish farming pretty much perfectly leads into all the fishermen's trades. So at this point, I'd be better off using emerald blocks. So maybe that's what I'll do. What is the uh, the levels for this? Like, okay, you, dude, to get haste... Okay, but to, to get haste too, you need the whole thing, right? This just gets you the level 1 of all of these. I mean, I wouldn't mind level 1 speed just around my house. And that would only take 9. So I guess until we get enough for all of these, let's just grab like 9 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then just use that until we have enough emeralds to actually do a whole thing. Um, are these supposed to take this long to break? Okay, good. <laughs> kind of scared me. Uh, interesting. I shall thus be leaving. Good night, chat. Good night, chicken murderer. Ooh. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. What's poppin'? Not much. Zerda, how are you doing? Welcome. I mean, it, its range is gonna be really shit, so, like, we gotta keep it pretty close by. So, fuck it. Like, right here. Just give me, like, speed one for the moment. I don't need nothing too fancy. Maybe shouldn't have put this next to cactus so that if I break it and it falls into the cactus, I'll be so sad. But it's fine. Oh, I'm sure it'll be okay. Hey, Dag, when's your next Animal Crossing video? I don't know. I don't know. When's my burnout gonna end? When's Burnout gonna end? Also, when is Burnout 3 Takedown gonna be remastered, please? I don't know, man. Whenever my Burnout decides... Whenever I feel like playing the game again, basically. Did you get a beacon already? Yeah, I got one for the chests. This is my first one that I can actually use for personal use. Boom. I'm fast? I'm fast as fuck, boy? Oh, I'm fast as fuck, boy! Shoo-weesh! I don't even notice a damn difference. I don't even notice a damn difference. <laughs> it's literally the same. It feels the same. I don't think it's any different. Well, it must be a little bit different, but it functionally feels the same. Functionally, it feels the same. But, it's, uh, something. It's something. I got the zoomies. I really don't feel... Wow, that was so bad, that range. Dude, I was at my freaking bamboo and I was out of range. Oh my lord, that's so bad. That's so bad. I do have scaffolding. I have everything in this update. I got everything. Everything is done in this update, so don't worry. I got scaffolding. I just got the wither rose, which is the last thing I needed. And, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm good. I'm Gucci. First time live. Hello. Yo, what's up, Mist? How are you doing? 20% faster, but it doesn't work with sprint jumps. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. I did not know that. Well, I don't need this many buckets of water. What the hell was that noise? That was a cave noise. Um, Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty, pretty freaky. Yeah, the progress over this series has been crazy. It has been, especially lately. I feel like I've been knocking out these versions that I thought were going to be very, very tough. Despite, uh... Because of how many blocks they have. But no, like, we've been knocking them out quite quickly. We've been knocking them out quite quickly. Thanks for the hydrate. And... I don't know. Now we're left to just... Do whatever. Now we're left to just do whatever. Let's turn this into XP. More terrifying than any horror game? I mean, Minecraft is not too scary anymore in modern versions, since you can, like... I don't know. 
I Minecraft used to be scary. I don't find it scary anymore because now it's so easy to just have full diamond gear, netherite gear in more recent versions, and you're basically untouchable. The Warden is pretty scary. I'm not going to act like the Warden ain't pretty freaky. I've actually never seen the Warden myself, so I can't attest to how freaky it is specifically. But I guess the Warden's supposed to be pretty scary. But Minecraft just ain't that scary no more. With how OP you can make yourself and just how, like, you know, survival is just kind of a joke anymore, you know? What's the Warden? Ooh. The Warden is the newest mob in the game, and it li- Okay, I've actually never seen it, so my definition may not be 100% correct, but... It's a- it's- it's a bloke, and he lives, um, in the deep dark, which is in the caves, and apparently if you make too much noise, he comes out and he, like, zaps your asshole. Or something like that. Like, something like that. This is all like, you know, you wouldn't find this like verbatim explained on the Minecraft wiki, but like, that's more or less what it is. Gotta go to bed for school in the morning? Yo, have fun at school. Kinky? I mean, I did say he was freaky, did I not? Um, anyway... Even if you stay, he'll sniff you out? Interesting. So, like, you don't even have to, like... You can take all the care in the world to, like, not make any noise, and he can still find you? If you're within 20 blocks. Does he always spawn at the same place, or is that, like, random? Hmm. Interesting. I did not know that. Anyway, um... I guess we could build more of these villager huts, huh? Very in character with old school stuff in caves will kill you dead, Minecraft? Yeah, like, I don't know, nothing as far as caving has been, like, dangerous in a long time. I guess the Warden kind of fixes that, but even he is, like, so rare. It's not like he's just, you know, you're not gonna see him all that often. If you go out of your way to avoid the Warden, you probably will never find it. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, sure, let's build a, two more of these guys here. Let's make two more of these guys. Around the Shriekers, multiple can spawn? What the fuck? They got two Wardens? Alright, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven... Seven Spruce Half Slabs. And then, sure, all those into slabs. Have you done all achievements? No, I have not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. Yeah, let's build two more. I don't know where the next two types of villagers that I actually want, but, uh... I don't know. I'll just take whoever, really, at this point. I got, I think, the four best ones. I just got a Gigas Giant Clam. Congratulations! Yeah, it's so easy for some people, huh? So easy. Hey, sure, the cookie. Year. Almost a year? Yo, thank you for the 11 months in a row. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing for another month. I appreciate it. Thank you. So we need to go five more now? Is that a... No, it's a squid. I thought that was an illager. <laughs> Four, five, and good morning. Thanks for the 100 bits as well. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hope your morning is going well. Hope your morning is going well. Rar? Oh god, dude. Relax, man. You scared me. You scared me. Jesus, you just come into my chat and just type rar? Dude, fucking relax, man. I'm gonna scare someone doing that. God damn. Uh, okay, and then we actually need five half slabs here. I haven't done one of these in a bit, so I gotta, like, refresh myself. Boo! Stop, man! You're gonna fucking... Scaring. Scaring me. You gotta fucking relax, man. You need to calm down. Gonna kill me? Their LAs flew into our nether portal? I've not messed with the LAs yet. Although, they seem cool. They seem quite cool, the LAs. If that, is that how you say it? Do you call them allies? LAs? I've always said them like LAs, like the potato chip. 
Uh, right, and then dark oak fences to connect those two stairs. When you get to 1.19, bring wool, and then you don't set off anything. Don't they spawn with wool? Aren't Don't the deep dark things, like, have wool in them for that purpose? It, or is that, like, I've only ever seen them on videos. Maybe people in the videos added that wool, and I assumed it was the natural way that they spawned. I don't know. Maybe. Probably four of those. I love, dude, I used to be such a hater of this crafting book here. God, it makes crafting so easy. I thought it was, oh, it's for nerds who don't know, or it's for fucking losers who don't know all the Minecraft recipes. Which is I ironic, considering only losers know all the Minecraft recipes, but still. I was such a hater, I was like, I don't need this. No, nah, man, I embrace it now. That thing is awesome. Sunflower, thanks for the two months in a row. Appreciate that, thank you. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it very much, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's me, I'm the per- I don't know all the recipes anymore either, man. And even if you do, you have to admit that, like, I know how to make dark oak fences, but, dude, just click here. It all, it puts them straight in there. How is that not so much more convenient? I don't know, man. I used to just be a hater for no reason. Right, should probably light this up, huh? Should probably light this up. That seems wise of me. I used to be a hater, and then I'm a believer, I couldn't leave her if I tried. And then it's two stripped dark oak logs behind those stairs. They have enough wool to raid the whole thing? Yeah, like, they spawn with the wool, I'm kind of like, oh shit, no, it's not logs, it's wood though, hang on. Yeah, it's wood. was on top and not hugging the bottom. Low key bothers me that the fencing from the recipe book was on top and not hugging the bottom. What do you mean? It's at the top and not hugging the bottom. I don't think I understand. I don't think I understand. There we go. When you make the recipe, Oh, right. So when I put it together like this, it's like that and not like this is what you mean. That's a pretty trivial thing to go. I don't know. I'm sure you know this. Uh, that's pretty like, that's not a big deal. Now, surely, surely it doesn't bother you that much. Surely it doesn't bother you that much. Cult of the Lamb. Ooh, I've seen a lot of stuff about Cult of the Lamb. It looks like a fun game. Don't think I'll play it, though. Wait a minute, did I fuck this up? No, no, I didn't fuck it up. Let me have my fencing. Hey, I'll, 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 I'll fight the good fight with you, man. I'll fight the good fight. But, I don't know. It never bothered me. In fact, it would I would never have even thought about it unless you had pointed it out. But, you know, that's just me. The ancient cities have enough wool to raid the whole thing. They can give you some good stuff as well, right? Like, better loot than the end cities, maybe? I don't know. I know that you can get that enchantment, soul speed or whatever, only from there, which in itself is probably incentivization enough. So, now it's 7x7 seven seven with upside-down stairs, yeah. 7x7 seven seven with upside-down stairs. Alright. What's 7x7? Seven seven? How many stairs would that take to do 7x7? Seven if I want to do a only the outside of a 7x7, seven seven, that would take 14, 19, 24. That would take 24, and then I'm going to need two of them. So I'm actually going to need 48. 48 of these. Okay, let's see if my math is right. 49, 28. Are you sure? No, 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 no right? No, 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 because you're thinking seven times four, but I think you're not considering the corners. Or rather, I, I don't know. I think I'm right. I know I asked chat, but like, I think I'm right. I don't know. I don't know, chatty waddy. I think I'm right. I think I'm the right one here. All right, and then this goes out one further than here. And now the corners. 24 is right because of the corners. Right, and then it's 24 per. 
and then times two. So I'm right. Three, four, five. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chat shouldn't be asked math questions. Well, I shouldn't answer them because I'm not very smart about math, but still. 24 per. What's up, Danielle? Welcome back. How was your dinner? Hope your dinner was just swell. What was for dinner, for that matter? Right, and then what goes here? Just top slabs? Yeah, probably just top slabs, huh? It was pretty good. That's good. That's good. Never trust chat with any question that may result in a mild inconvenience. Yeah, or a major inconvenience, for that matter. For that matter. Pasta and sauce with crusty garlic bread. Ooh, crusty. I actually got some garlic bread from HelloFresh this week. Uh, <clears throat> by the way. <laughs> exclamation point HelloFresh. If you want 16 free meals across three boxes. Across seven boxes plus three surprise gifts. So I got a little tongue twisted there. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I'd hate to be the sucker that misses out on that deal. I would hate to be the sucker that misses out on that. Shoo weesh. Let's make point hello fresh. Use my creator code. I would hate to be the fucking dumbass that misses out on that one, man, is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna need 50 half slabs. Yeah, 50 half slabs. So 50 pieces of stone. No, 25 pieces of stone for 50 half slabs. Yeah. There we go. I like to make things exactly right. I don't want to have leftover stone brick slabs, even though I'm going to need more in the future. I don't want to have leftovers. Unless it's from Hello. <laughs> God. God, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I hope everyone's doing well today. hope everyone's doing good. I had chicken with bacon barbecue sauce and cheese with garlic bread and holy fuck dude what the fuck what the fuck jesus christ that sounds really good you know what i, I actually 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 actually, actually mm. <clears throat> so um <laughs> i am going to be gone from the 13th to the 20th i'm i'm taking a trip back home and so i'm of course gonna miss out on a week of delicious meals from hello fresh let me show you one that I have uh, ordered. So I'm leaving on a Tuesday. I get my HelloFresh on a Monday. So <clears throat> I am basically going to be able to make two meals that week. Let me show you something that I have coming up in the pipeline here that I'm very interested in trying. And bear with me here, okay? It might seem a little bit weird, but let me show you this one that I'm very excited for. Look at this one. Epic Nacho Mac and Cheese. Bro, look at this. Look at this. I, I'm, this is going to be delivered during the week that I'm going to be gone. I'm going to try to make it, though, before I leave. Because I'm really excited about making this one. Don't that look like... It kind of looks like Hamburger Helper with, like, nacho chips in there. Oh, dude, this looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. May, it, it might look disgusting to some of you. To to me, though, this looks fucking amazing. This looks fucking amazing. It's blue corn. It's blue corn. Blue corn makes blue corn chips. Anyway, I actually... Um, <clears throat> I got my delivery this week. This is my delivery for this week. We got sesame soy pork bowls, roasted chickpea and spinach salad, San Antonio beef bowls, plant-based protein ragu rigatoni bake. That's a lot of syllables. And firehouse cheeseburgers. And then I got, like I said, some garlic bread extra as well. Mm. Wonder which one I should have tonight. I wonder. Uh, anywho, let me build the, uh, the base underneath there. I need, let's see, I'll need 16 brick fences. Favorite HelloFresh meal? Bro, um, all the, like, pork bowls are always really good. Pork bowls are always a winner. So maybe not one specifically, but always pork bowls. 
And then Salsa Verde enchiladas one time I had were super, super good. Anything Salsa Verde or... Um, pork bowls. Or beef bowls or chicken bowls. They've all been very good. They've all been very good. I need a brick. I need brick. I need brick. I'm pickle brick. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But you know what's fucked up is I'm not sorry at all. I'm actually, like, not sorry at all. You know what's fucked up about that? About me saying I'm pickle brick is I'm actually, like, not fucking sorry about it at all. That's actually fucking hilarious. I actually watched the season premiere of the new Rick and Morty season last night. I watched it. It was alright. It was alright. Say sorry right now. I fucking refuse. I will never apologize for my actions. I will never apologize for my actions. Um, give me... Yeah, but not like too many here. Just give me like one stack. Fuck. I will never apologize for my actions or my deeds. Alright, and they spruce logs as well. That'll probably be enough. I'm gonna need four more stone bricks. Alright. There's a new season. Yep, premiered yesterday. It's pretty good. I thought it was good. I mean, I know Rick and Morty gets a bad rap because... I want my Szechuan re. I get it. Like, I know. You're all embarrassed and ashamed to admit that you like Rick and Morty and... I get it. But, I don't know. I still enjoy the show, despite the negative association of the fan base. And I'm, I think you guys know me that I'm not going to be one of the people that are jumping up on the McDonald's counters and, uh, you know, demanding Szechuan sauce. But, I mean, even I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit it sometimes, but it is a good show. I, I enjoy it. I like it. I like Smiling Friends as well. I want Smiling Friends. I think it already has a new season, but I'm excited for it to come out. Hot take, I never watched. I mean, it's fine. I'm not going to goof on you. I don't know if it's for the reason that, like, the fan base is kind of cringe that you never watched it. But all I'll say is, don't let that hold you back. It's a good show. Yeah, the fan base is a little funky. But it's a good show. I would recommend giving it a try. I would recommend giving it a try. Fan base sucks, but it's funny. Yeah. It's Gen Z's Big Bang Theory? Oh, come on now. That is, I don't know. The fact that, like, you, you wanted to offend me with that comment, and the fact that I'm so flustered means that you did a good job, but I want to be, like, really defensive about it and be like, No, no, Big Bang Theory was... No, 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 Big Bang Theory is, like, completely different. But, I mean, you got me, you got me kind of, like, heated now, man. You got me kind of heated. Which I think is exactly what you wanted to do with that comment. You got me all heated. I want to I wanna be all defensive, but like, I don't know. I, I imagine the people that like Big Bang Theory were super defensive about their show. So, really, maybe I am just a common Big Bang Theory enjoyer. Oh, I did not nearly have the amount of spruce logs that I needed. Oh well. Isn't as bad as Undertale slash Delta Runes? Yeah, but I mean, I did this with Undertale and Delta Rune, and I'll probably do it with other fandoms in the future. Where for a long time I didn't play Undertale because of the fandom, and then I eventually got around to playing Undertale, and I fucking loved it. It was great. So it kind of taught me a lesson, kind of served me some humble pie. And made me realize that just because a fan base sucks does not, shouldn't deter you from at least trying something, you know? It Maybe you might want to avoid the discussions about it online, but you should still try it. And Undertale taught me that, you know? Rick and Morty, I probably wouldn't have given it a chance if I was as cynical about it as I was about Undertale at first, you know? And I'd be missing out on a pretty good show. I stopped playing Undertale because of the fandom. It's like a five-hour game. What, what do you mean you stop playing? It's like five hours. Maybe more, but still. It's not like it's Minecraft where, like, you could s stop and pick it up again at any time because it's an unlimited, like, you know, it's a sandbox game. I don't know. It's exclamation point blocks. Uh, it's V. You want to get the spreadsheet that I'm using? Doesn't mean the game show movie sucks. Exactly. 
but it definitely makes people a little bit wary to try it when they see people very passionate about yeah so four five six seven eight nine ten so 20 fences 20 spruce fences yeah I guess you could do different routes, huh? I guess you can do different routes. Uh, can I have my spruce fences? Can I have, uh, my spruce fences? 15? Not gonna cut it, pal. Not gonna cut it, pal! Pengu Melon! Thanks for the prime! Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it very much, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was a homestuck. I hate everything. I I don't want to call Kristen out. Kristen liked homestuck. And then she also is kind of like that as well, where she's like, don't remind me. But what's so bad about it? Isn't it like a web series or something like that? Oh, wait. I definitely miscounted. All right, whatever. The dark time? Like, well, but no, 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 you're not, like, be, you're not clarifying. Like, what, why? Why is it the dark times? What's wrong with it? Dark fandom? Why? <laughs> you're not, everyone's being so vague. You're not telling me why. I want the deets. Give me some deets. Everyone's being so vague, like, oh, the dark times. All dramatic and shit, like, damn, tell me why. The fandom is horrid? Like, what about it specifically makes the fandom bad, though? Is it just like, you know... I don't know. I, maybe for the same reason that, like, Undertale fans might not be very desirable? It's horrid to say the least. It's a bit dramatic. How bad could it be? I did a Homestuck cosplay with my friends and a group of Homestuck people at a con threw a bucket at us. Well, you see, it's a reference to the time that the, the that this one person murdered someone with a bucket, so it's actually just a reference. This is him in the police interrogation room. Well, you see, the reason why I threw a bucket of concrete at their head is because it's a reference to this one episode of Homestuck. And the police officer's just, like, writing it down in their little notepad. Uh-huh, yeah, go on. No, they come in buckets. It's a sex joke? The bucket is a sex joke? What the fuck? Isn't that for- Isn't that shit for kids? I thought Homestuck was for kids! Huh? Yeah, it's kinda like Homestar Runner. What? This is ridiculous. This is asinine, even. What the hell? Y'all fucked up, you know that? Well, 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 well. All right, now to make the roof. Not for children? Hell no. Then why are like all the people that I know like Homestuck children? Uh, explain that one then, Poindexter. Why is everyone that likes Homestuck a fucking child then? I guess only like seven-year-olds play like the new Call of Duty, so I guess maybe that's not a great. I don't know. Has the Five Nights at Freddy fandom been mentioned yet? Bro, those people are in my chat. Are you confusing it with Homestar Runner? No. i never seen Homestar Runner or fucking Homestuck. For a long time, I thought they were the same thing. They're both like web sh comics or web shows or something. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Why do you know that many children? I'm a Twitch streamer, man! I'm a Twitch streamer. Don't hit me with some gotcha joke like, oh, how do you know so many children? <laughs> I'm a Twitch streamer, dude. What do you think? Think critically for 10 seconds and you'll know why I, I know so many kids. Because I'm fucking playing Minecraft on the internet. How what do you think? It weirds me out. It also weirds me out. But I don't know. Very popular. I have a lot of people in my stream that like Five Nights at Freddy's. They're like, Dad, you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? I'm like, no, man. I was born in 1996. Just playing freaking Minecraft at your age. Chronically online user. Yeah. Alright. 
Please send Kristen my condolences as a fellow homestuck. Why? 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 Why are you sending your condolences? At least Kristen was like, somebody threw a bucket of cum at my head at a cosplay convention. Like, that's a very good reason to, like, have traumatic memories of being in the Homestuck fandom. Nobody else is, like, giving the details. Nobody- everyone else is just being vague. Everyone else is just being vague about it. Like, they're like- I don't know, it's like- it's a- you ever, like, go up to somebody, and they're, like, clearly bummed out, but they won't tell you why? They're like, Oh. Oh, it's just the worst day of my life. And you're like, why? Why- why is it the worst day of your life, man? They're like, oh, Oh, and they're all, like, freaking mopey and shit, and you, like, you want to help them, but they're clearly, like, not, like, giving you anything to, like, help you with. They're not helping, you're not, they can't, you can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. I was a minor, too. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't help. For protecting your innocence, you don't want to know about these fandoms? Dude... With all due respect, I have seen some... I've been on the internet for 16 years, maybe? I don't know, that's just a guess. But I really have a hard time thinking of anything that you could tell me that would, like, make me shocked. Okay? Look, I understand that it might be bad, but it's probably nothing compared to some of the shit that I've seen. Like, annoying fans and, like, very passionate about their interpretation of characters being the correct one. That's not new, man. Like, that's... That's not new. This this is, like... This shit been happening since the dawn of time. It requires at least an hour to explain. Alright, well, maybe... I don't quite got an hour, I don't think. This is what people... People tried to explain, like, Five Nights at Freddy's lore to me, and I'm like... Ah... How much lore can there be in a game that's literally just meant to be like, Ah! Scared you. You'll get lost. It wasn't new, it was just the overwhelming numbers. I see. Oh, my beautiful grandson. Oh, you should have a scroll. Okay, I was trying to recite the line from the grandma from Smiling Friends. Oh, you should have a scrumptious piece of hard candy for the journey, Charlie. I used to touch everything at cons and smear gray paint on everything and walk around in huge hordes being assholes and disrupting everything. I, with all due respect, that just sounds like a con. It just sounds like a con. That sounds like any other con. No thanks, Grandma. Ah, more for me! Ah. <laughs> so good. I do love Smiling Friends. It's very good. Will the cum bucket make it into the YouTube video? No, I'm pretty sure the last 30 minutes are, like, second channel exclusive stuff. So, shoutouts to the people watching on the second channel right now. This is- this is the shit you don't get on the main channel. This is the shit you don't get on the main channel. Uh, alright, so now it's just a bunch of spruce logs, basically. Thing about the Homestuck I still enjoy to this day is thinking about the Homestuck people chilling in the piss-filled ball pit at DashCon. There's some serious need of, like, religion in this chat. And for good reason. Alright, and then it's like this, like this, here, here. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just I'm just building my Minecraft huts. Don't don't don't, don't mind me. Carry carry on your discussions. Carry carry on. I'm not here. Ooh, I'm a figment of your imagination, really. An extra hour in the ball pit. I remember watching Internet Historian's video on DashCon. I don't remember all about it, but uh, sounded like a good time. Sounded like a good time. Just kind of forgot all the forgot all the lore and pretended the author didn't exist and kept the characters in my brain. Sometimes turning your brain off like that is a good thing. Sometimes it is. 
Apparently, according to the internet, is because many of them, quite a few of them, were incredibly rude. Homestuck apparently isn't an anime, and they would steal seal their paint, and it would get everywhere. That's kind of rude. Yeah, I would describe that as quite rude. I would describe that as quite rude, to be honest with you. Anyway, yeah, I had, uh, I don't know. I, I haven't heard good things about Homestuck, but I never knew why. So thank you for opening my eyes to it. Thank you. Piss-filled ball pit? What else is there to do but sit in it? I mean, there's always the time... There's always the the time... Oh, the old-time classic of not sitting in a piss-filled pit. You know, the national pastime of not sitting in a piss-filled pit. But maybe I'm just... Oh, maybe I'm being a boring, sad sack of shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm boring. Maybe. Um, okay, so now lanterns. And now mostly just the, the colors, like the carpet, the stained glass windows, and then of course getting the villager in there. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. The United States is a piss-filled ball pit? <laughs> Maybe, man. I was a Google Plus kid? Interesting. A Google Plus kid. What did you call yourself? A, a pluser? Like, yo, any plusers in here? I feel like pluser could be a bad word. Sorry if it's a bad word. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't hate me, please. The flash animations are still dope. Isn't, like, Homestar Runner, like, Homestuck, but for, like, sane people? Thinking about streaming Persona 5 Royal when Dag is gone? Kristen had the gall to ask me, chat, if she could stream on my account while I'm gone. I'm like, you got your own account. I don't know, A-I-T-A? -A? Am I the asshole for being like, she should stream on her own account? A-I-T-A, -A, chat? Am I the asshole? Maybe. Maybe. She could ping the Discord, maybe? Maybe. I mean, I'm not like... I, I, I would love for her to stream. I would love for her to stream. I'm just like, why do you want to do it on my account? You got your own account. Let's do red and yellow for the glass. So... Actually... Yeah, hang on. Grab more. I'm substitute Dagnal. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I'm not against it, to be clear. I'm just like, you should, like, take this as a way to start your own Twitch stuff, you know? Kristen, you've been saying for, like, you've been saying for a while that you want to get into, like, Twitch and YouTube. But I'm like, well, there's your foot in the door. People are going to want, uh, people are going to want me... But I'm gonna be gone. They all want Dagnal. So maybe you can step in. Maybe they'll like you more than me, for fuck's sake. Who knows? An old school Minecraft YouTuber people? Yeah, dude, me too. Big part of my formidable years. Substitute Dagnal? Subs to Dagnal? Oh, Valisita gets the message. Dagnall pray. Thanks for the 13 months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. I actually can die one more sheep. Thank you, Valacita. And also, it's September, besties. Uh-oh, September. That's, that's everyone rushing to get their... To sub to their favorite Twitch streamer, a.k.a. me. This September. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm really taking one for the team by not streaming during September. I mean, I'm missing out on, like, probably a million bucks, honestly. I'm probably missing out on a literal, like, million dollars by, like, taking a week off during September. But, I mean, that's the sacrifice I must make. Uh-oh, my streamer wants money. Uh-oh, streamer wants my money! You're goddamn right. Thank you. For the seven months in a row, memory. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. I don't want your money. But, you know, <laughs> I'll take it. Um, 
Anywho, gotta get some glass. You know what? I'm kind of lazy. I might just buy the glass. Well, you got it now. Oh, fuck. Well, alright. I'll deal with it. I'm not allowed to spend money. I mean, that's kind of fair, right? Colleen! Thanks for the ten months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. Thank you. To be clear, for full transparency, um, you only get a discount on subs if it's a first-time sub. It kind of sucks dick and balls and ass, but uh, yeah. You only get the discount for first-time subs, which is balls. You don't get it on a resubscription. I don't really know why, but uh, that's how it is, unfortunately. Got work to do? All right, Jinsey, enjoy your work. Enjoy your work. Let's make this one red. And let's make this one yeller. Help. All right, and then how did I do the glass panes? Okay, so all around and then not. Okay, got it. I got it. Just to make it very obvious what color this villager is. How do you figure out how to use your Prime? I have Prime, but I can't find the sub with Prime. I think if you click on the subscribe button, it'll be at the bottom. But I don't know. I'd have to, like, see it to really tell you. Star Ixty. Star Ixty? Star... Sterixty. I don't know. Either way, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate that. And did I thank Colleen already? Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very, very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscribe with Prime only works on web browser. Oh, okay. If you're on mobile, then that's why, yeah. But on desktop, I don't know. I think it's, like, at the bottom, like, there's a box you can check to use your Prime. And you have to make sure that that's checked. That's all I know. You said it right the first time? Okay, well, I don't remember how I said it the first time, so I'm probably gonna get it wrong from here on out. But either way, I appreciate it. Alright, so I need, like, two... Okay, I need more carpet, and then I'm gonna need wool itself for the beds. Piss hut, piss hut. Sub for $5.99? Yeah, like, if it's not a first-time subscription, it'll be full price. Which is stupid, but I know why Twitch does it. But, I don't like it. I don't really generally enjoy how Twitch is operated, but there's nothing... Wow, that was sneaky. Get the fuck... Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Boys, you don't want to... You don't want to... Ah! Oh, I... Oh, you're... Fucking... Mm, you're not gonna like what I'm gonna do if you don't get back in there. Planning any AC and H challenges? I don't know. Is my burnout for AC and H going to subside anytime soon? It's hard to say. Hard to say. I've never seen a red sheep before. Well, now you have. You know what fucking sucks as well is I think those were my red sheep that escaped. <laughs> All right, um, well, sorry. I told you, you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it. But that's what happens. Uh, okay. More carpet. Wheat, then jump over chest? No, that sounds way too complicated. Sounds way too complicated. My Alexa keeps sending me notifications when my dad returns things through Amazon. I don't think I've ever returned... Actually, no, that's not true. I've returned one thing through Amazon, but it's not because the product was bad. It was because I bought the wrong model of the thing that I needed. So, which is to say that it's completely my fucking fault. That's the only thing I ever returned on Amazon. It's the only thing I ever returned. All while playing on my Switch, multitasking. Yo, let's go. Minor inconvenience equals death? I mean, like, it is a pain in the ass. Let's not act like that's super easy to get them back in there. It's kind of a pain in the ass, quite frankly. It's a bit of a pain in the frickin' dick. 
Let's not undersell it here. Now, that being said, here's what we'll do, okay? To make up for the two that I lost, we'll make more, okay? We'll make more. Here, how's this? How's this? Does this make up for it? PETA, are you happy now? There you go. As if PETA gives a shit about animals. Alright, just need one more red boy to eat, if you don't mind. Just one more... One more red lad to eat? That's all I need. Just one more. I hear a lot of eating. Very little eating by red boys, though, it seems. Oh, wait. Half the time, you have to pay so much m to return it and cheat. No, like, when I returned something, I literally just stuck it. They, I, they, they gave me the return. I don't know how it works in other places, but... They gave me the return label. I st I printed it out. I stuck it on a package, and then I sent. I went to the UPS, and then they were like, "Yeah, we'll take that." It was. I think it was free. I don't know. Maybe that's just my experience. Yeah, but I bought a phone case for my Samsung Galaxy uh, S8, but I ordered one for the S8 Plus. So maybe the fact that it was like real kind of tiny was adds to the fact that it was quite easy. So maybe that's just my personal experience, but not everyone's. Returning something from Marketplace. I don't know what the difference is. Alright, yellow bed, red bed. For that matter. Yeah, but I've only ever returned that one thing. You and Dag have the same phone? Ooh, I'm sorry, but I actually don't have that. Well, I do have that phone still, but it's not what I use. Now I have a Motorola, but I promise you I'm not affiliated towards any brand. They all suck. Shannon, thanks for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dag, come on. Dag, come on. What are you getting on my case for? What are you getting on my case for? I upgraded, man. It was recently. I actually, I still have the phone, but I recently, yeah, I got a new Motorola. <laughs> Calm down. I I don't think that they're particularly stirred up. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um. Okay. So, what villagers are these going to be exactly? Um. I mean, having a mason with this stone cutter might be good. Sure, we'll make one a mason. What's another good villager type? I should also decorate them, depending on their type of skill, but I don't know. Lovely Cloud, thanks for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate that. Temperature check. Ooh! Ooh, that's come down nicely! That's come down nice. Dude, it was 99 at the start of the stream. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's what's living on the coast is like right there. Librarian? I got a librarian. A Fletcher? What good is a Fletcher? But I'll get one. I don't know how to make a fletching table, but I think actually it's it's four wood and then two flint, right? It's four wood and then two flint. stick meta. Ooh, just instant, like, infinitely grinding sticks for emeralds. Don't you get, like, one emerald per stack of sticks? I feel like I've seen that before, and it's not great. Where do I keep flint, anyway? Where the fuck do I keep flint? I have no idea. Eh? Chat, where do I keep flint? I don't know if I do keep flint. I guess I don't keep flint. Thanks for the hydrate. Still 108? Ooh. You can get better deals? Four, oh, four, so per half stack. Okay. I mean, that's still quite pricey, but if you can get better deals, I'd be interested in seeing what deals you can get. Be interested in seeing what kind of deals you can get. I mean, they're pretty easy to get some more, but a little annoying. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little close. 
All right. Um. There we go. There we go. So I think it's just this for a. No, no, no I need a crafting table. I find the farmer most useful personally. The brewing stand. Can't remember the name. Oh, I know which one. I mean, is it not just like the potion maker, or the? I don't think that's the name. It sounds a bit of a mouthful. Soju glass. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. The cleric. Thank you. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes. And enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. All those water bottles? Wait, I can trade water bottles for emeralds if I get a cleric? Holy shit. Wait, really? Ooh. Is... Really? I mean, that seems really broken. Because you can trade for glass from the librarian... And then if you have a body of water nearby, then that's, like... I know rotten flesh you can sell, and I do have a lot of rotten flesh, so... That might be worth doing. Yeah, water bottles for emeralds. What are we, Nestle? That's the Seinfeld baseline. Jesus. Um, cause that was, uh, that's, that's a Seinfeld joke right there. I think that's a Seinfeld joke. Nine empty bottles for one emerald? Ooh, interesting. So, okay, so what you're saying is all those water bottles that I fish up, I could empty and then sell? That doesn't seem too prudent. In fact, the better glass trade is this guy giving you four glass, and then this guy giving you emeralds for 11 glass panes, which... Does that... Is that profitable? That doesn't seem profitable, actually. That doesn't seem profitable at all. Because it would take eight. Well, jeez. Uh, Is that profitable? I actually don't know. I, I can't do the math in my head at the moment. Anyway, um, alright. So we got two new things for villagers. Ah, shit. Got two new things. Six glass? Yeah, it'd be it's six glass for 16 panes. So you would need to buy... Well, it's a multiple of six. So you could buy three of these to make 12 glass panes. So you're minus three emeralds for 12 glass panes. And then it's 11 and you get one emerald back? Wait, that's literally... Am I stupid? No, 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 wait, wait. 12 glass would make... 32 glass panes, which would then mean that you can... That doesn't seem profitable. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, man, that's like not good. That doesn't seem profitable at all. I don't know. Could be doing the math wrong, though. I could be doing the math wrong. No, that's not profitable. Maybe the maybe I got bad trades... Maybe I got bad trades, so maybe mine aren't profitable, but maybe under ideal circumstances they would be. I don't know. Either way. It's what? Yeah, now it's nice and cool outside. I'm actually going to turn off my fan. Because it's what? Is now... Oops. Is now... Hang on. 73 still. Whew. Much nicer. All right, um, well, hang on. Let me go get some fireworks to use. I got librarians. I got, honestly, the fisherman's the biggest, the one that I'm, like, abusing the shit out of to make profit, since I AFK fish farm every night. Yeah, I AFK fish farm every night, and then I sell my puffer fish, my tropical fish, and my salmon to the fisherman, and I'm getting, like, three stacks of emeralds every time I do that. It's a little bit, uh, insane in the membrane. So that's what I've been using lately. For Jim Cramer style mad money. Get a zombie to kill them so the prices get lower? Huh? Wouldn't that... Get a zombie to kill them to get the prices lower? Uh, what would that do? Oh, 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 okay, what you mean is a zombie kills them and then you cure them and then their prices are lower? But isn't that only temporary? Isn't that only temporary? I don't think... I think that that's only a temporary buff. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, if it stuck around permanently, then that would be worth doing. But I don't think that it's permanent. Oh. In that case... Ha! I love single-player video game latency. It's really good. 
it's forever. Well, if that's the case, then that is really something to consider. I know that, um, I remember one time I defeated a raid, and so you get the, uh, the hero of the village. But, and that, that made it so that things that normally cost, like, 30 emeralds cost, like, one. It was literally, like, stealing. Is that permanent? I don't think that's permanent. I think that wears off, but I don't know. That's kind of what I want to fight a raid for, so I can get, like, insane discounts. So those books, books to librarians that you get from fishing? No, you can't. The librarian only accepts regular books. Oh, but I guess you can unenchant them with a grindstone and then sell them. But honestly, that's like pennies compared to like selling the puffer fish, which I get like an insane amount of, and the salmon. Like that's like pennies, man. I made the comparison, the metaphor earlier, that that's like if Jeff Bezos dropped a $1 bill on the ground. It's like, yeah, but should he really care that much? I don't know. It lasts for 40? 40 minutes? I mean, even still, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, but I kind of want to fight a raid. Hopefully I find one soon. I found an Illager earlier, but it was only just the one. It was only just the one. Alright, then turn all this into a paper. And then give me as many... How do you make fireworks? Is It's just this. Why is that not on my crafting thing? Why is that not on my crafting? Why? Why wouldn't that be on here? Seems kind of... I don't know. Weird. They change their spawn rates so or you're just unlucky? I saw one, but I would welcome more, but certainly having too many could be annoying. Because they use the fireworks star and shit? Yeah, I mean, not necessarily, though, right? Not necessarily. And then, um... Yeah, see, he got feather falling, which is really bad. He buys books and quills, but, yeah, I don't know. Hey, get out. I need to trade. No, 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 I gotta trade. Uh, pal, I... Fine, 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 fine. I'll sleep. Fine, fine. Hey, what do you mean I can only sleep at night? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. I sleep too. It's called a nap, sweaty. Do you want a raid? Well, buddy, do I have a good deal for you? Are you about to raid me? Are you about to raid me on Twitch? I'd appreciate it. It's not necessary, though. I would, I would commend you for sticking to the bit, though. That's, that's good sticking to the bit. Ooh, one extra. You can have the extra on the house, man. And fuck it, take the sugar cane. Who cares? Um, alright. So now, we must vote. Rage Shadow Legends? Ooh, there you go. Yeah, I don't know why fireworks aren't in the crafting book, though. I don't really know why. Alright. Singing of the best mobile game on the market, Raid Shadow Legends. They are still trying to get me to do a sponsored segment. Um, and I, 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 yeah, I don't have a whole lot of dignity, chat. I, I, I mean, I, I slave my, I slave my wicked sharp wit and my incredible humor. I waste it essentially on twitch.tv to masses of people that don't care about me or my asshole for that matter. So really like my dignity was never the issue so much. It was more like, you know, anyway, I'm never doing a raid shadow legends stream, rest assured. But they they're trying, man. They're trying. They are trying. What's up perfect toaster? How are you doing? Find all the new goat horn variants? Isn't that like the most recent update? Alright, oh, yeah, this this bullshit here. Yeah, that'll be a minute until I get to the goat horns and stuff, but we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Um, hey, man, you wanna... There you go, big man. There you go. Yeah, but they're still trying to get me to do a sponsorship. I, I, I'm a sellout, and I'll show my services for some places or some 
companies, but Raid Shadow Legends is not one of them. First of all, the way that they get you, and this is very predatory, when people try to get you to, like, sponsor their games, for example, they promise you payment if you maintain the same amount of viewership that you'd normally maintain on a regular stream. The, the catch being that when you're playing a new game, especially something like Raid Shadow Legends, which, let's be honest with ourselves, um, is fucking boring. The catch is, of course, you're not going to pull the same amount of people that you would normally pull. So, when you inevitably don't get the same amount of viewers as you normally would, then they're like, well, you didn't hold up your end of the bargain, pal. Sorry, we're not going to pay you as much. And it's like, well, thanks, man. Should have made a better game then. So that's why another reason why I would never play it is because I would need to get the same amount of viewership as I normally do. So, yeah, I don't know. He's holding your shoulders? No, he's keeping his hands in a very respectful position, okay? No, he would never do that. He understands, like, ethics. Thought you were going to say... I'm not reading that. Anyway, yeah, I will never be sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Even if, okay, you know, I was going to say even if they paid me a million bucks. Okay, ne never mind. I would totally do it for a million bucks. Like, let's not, that's just dumb if you don't do it for a million. That, that's just stupid. Anyone would call you a fucking dumbass for that, and you deserve it. Okay, I'd do it for a million. I'm not doing it for what they're asking me to do it, though, that's for sure. Okay, I'd have to be stupid and not do it for a million. Come on now. <laughs> you guys, your integrity and how highly you think of me is definitely worth less than a million dollars, okay? Trust me when I say that. Uh, Alright, son. You being my first villager. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. He probably hates me now. Oh god, he hates me. You have the luxury of picking which one you want to be. A Mason or a Fletcher. Which one? chase the paper look man i'll chase the paper if it's gonna be a million bucks okay not for what they're offering me though because i don't want to like it's not about like oh my viewers will hate me if i'm a sellout no i don't care what you guys think about me it's more so the uh i d really don't think i would enjoy playing raid shadow legends that's more so what it is you wanna there you go come on come on really dude what, what are you doing? What, what the fuck was that? He was, like, hovering. Oh, I see. He's trying to swim. Dude, come on. Quit being a bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. And then you're gonna go up another stair. You're gonna go up another stair. What you're gonna do is you're gonna walk up the fucking stairs or you're gonna get shot in the head. You're gonna get shot between your fucking fat nostrils. Alright. Now you're gonna make your way down here and you're gonna pick one of the two here. Pool party. Yeah. He heard? Yeah, he better start listening even harder here, because he has a long way to go here. No, no, no. He's already got a job. You leave him alone. He's working. Leave him alone. You just... You... You... You're being a little... You're being a little bitch. I mean, I was gonna say, like, you're being a little B-word, but no, I'm, not, I'm gonna actually say the B-word now. You're being a little bitch. You're being a little rude. Beautiful eyes, though, man. Like, those are some stunning green eyes. Maybe stunning green eyes. He's on disability? No. No, he's fine. He can work. I'm not asking him to even, like, commute or do anything. He can do it. Alright, you're gonna pick one. Which one will you pick? You're a fucking asshole! You're a fucking asshole! Leave the fisherman alone! You can't be a fisherman! I don't care! dreams and aspirations this is the fucking real world man you have to be what you don't want to be sometimes because you need money okay fuck your dreams fuck your aspirations i don't care if you want to be, i don't care if you want to be a fisherman man you're gonna be whatever the fuck you want to be and by that i mean you're either a fletcher or you're a mason all right the gates are closed i don't think that matters i guess it would maybe like open up his pathfinding but Still, he's, he's not cooperating. 
Thanks for the hydrate. Um, try to do both of these. Try to... Thank you. All right. Now what you're going to do, son, is you're going to not fall in the water. And not fall into the water. Yeah, I need a fishing rod, don't I? I could... Oh, yeah, I could just take him in the boat, right? Fuck, where's my boat? Yeah, get in the boat. In the boat. In the boat. 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 You're in the boat. There you go. Alright, now pick one. I'll put you right in the middle of these two, and you can pick which... Oh, you already chose. Mason. Alright. Uh... Fuck. God fucking damn it. Fuck! Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with yourself? I hope you're fucking happy with yourself. Alright. It's actually really, really okay, okay? It's actually perfectly fine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to shove them back in this boat, okay? You're going to get back in there. Thank you. And you're going to, we're going to back it up here. And we're going to come over here. I'm not going to bring you all the way around again. That's ridiculous. I'm not doing that. Um, and then we're going to, oh my fucking God. Come on. Over here. All right. And then you're going to come up over here and you're going to go to your post. Did I drop my shovel? What happened to my shovel? What happened to my shovel? Where's my sh I dropped my shovel. What the fuck? Alright. Go. To your post. You have a job now, man. You have a job now. You have a responsibility. There, just a little bit further. There you go. Was that so fucking hard? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. That was really unprofessional of me. All right. Who clipped that? Hopefully no one. Hopefully no one clipped that. I don't... That's a bad look for me, man. I don't want people knowing that I was, like, getting mad on the internet. That's embarrassing. Hopefully no one clipped that. It terrorize me. All right, and now we'll wait for the next day. No, we'll wait for the next day. Keep those stairs. What stairs? What stairs. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep the stairs so that we can bring the next person over a little bit easier than we did that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. By the way, I finished my homework. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Dang, you play other games aside Animal Crossing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, played lots of games in my life. I love games. I'm a, what you might call a gamer. <laughs> uh, I play video games. Yeah. Chat, I got into college. Pog. Your previous comment to that was, I love Patrick Bateman, um, before the comment saying that you got into college. Um, so, I guess miracles do happen. Congratulations. I like the little floating village on the water. I like it too, it's very nice. It's very nice. I was thinking about doing a museum of all the blocks that I've collected. And, um... I thought maybe doing something like that for the museum as well would be good, but, uh, I don't know. It is a pain in the ass to build with. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting gray hairs from stress. Beautiful and brown. Beautiful, brown, luscious hair. As a matter of fact. Help. 
Your hair smells great, thank you. Are you just emptying this village? It's called relocating. I'm relocating this village to another area. To another department, perhaps. Yeah, but, like, you know, it's fine. Function of beauty sponsor win? What the fuck is function of beauty? What the hell is that? I've never heard of that in my life. Huh? Kristen said it's an MLM. Oh, uh, she's asking if it is. I don't know, it kind of does sound like one. Custom shampoos or something like that? It's a shampoo brand? Oh, interesting. Dude, like, I'm so fucked up. I don't even know what kind of shampoo I use, chat. I don't know what kind of shampoo I use. I use whatever Kristen buys. She might know. I don't. I don't even know what shampoo I use. It sounds like an MLM, okay? Look, it may not be, but it sounds like one. You can't call something function of beauty and not have it be like a fucking MLM, man. No, I don't use... I don't know what shampoo I use, man. I just use shampoo. I don't know what... Oh, okay, no, that's not true. I know what body wash I use. I use a... I use an off-brand Old Spice. And then I have a... This is what we use. Is this any good, chat? It's what I use. Cucumber and mint? I guess that's what my hair smells like. I guess my hair smells like cucumber and mint. No, I don't use that 13-in-1 bullshit. Oh my god, I should ban you for that. I should ban you for that. I hate that shit. I hate that, like, 13-in-1, like, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shaving cream, motor oil. I hate that shit. That shit sucks. You know what it means is that it might be 13-in-1, but everything that it does is 1 13th of, like, how good the regular stuff would be. That shit is disgusting. Do you wash your face with a face wash, or are you gross? What do you mean? With a face- with a face wash specifically? No, man, like, I guess I'm gross. I guess I'm, like, acne-riddled and disgusting. Like, no, I don't wash, like, my face with anything other than my hands. Is that gross? Does that make me disgusting? I think my face is pretty clean, like... Face is pretty good. Use Cetaphil, Germa does? I'm handsomer than Germa, okay? I don't give a shit what Germa does. I'm handsomer than that guy will ever be. You can put that on the fucking record as well. Alright, squeep. Do a little 360. It was actually a 180. Shut the fuck up, alright? Shut the fuck up. Another... Shampoos and conditioners, $100 a bottle? Yeah, but why? Because people buy it, yeah. For better or for worse. Bro, seriously. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get fucking mad. I'm gonna get really mad here. Just give me like 10 seconds of this fucking honky-tonky bullshit and I'm gonna get mad. Now go up. 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 Up the steps. Come on. Will Goliath Beetle spawn if it's raining? No, I don't believe so. Don't believe so. Alright, and you're gonna be my Fletcher. Come on over. Come Fletch. There you go, he's Fletching! Ooh! Ooh, he Fletching, and he went right in. Much more cooperative than the last guy. Oh, I see. 32 sticks for one emerald? That is a pretty broken deal, man, isn't it? That is a pretty broken deal. That's crazy. Mm, Alright. Well, that's good. That's all I really wanted to do today. All I really wanted to do today. So, let's put all this shit away and let's get wrapped up here, I say. Get it wrapped up. Don't you also get sticks from fishing? You do. Not very many, though. Um, yeah, you'll get, like... Despite being a trash loot, it's not really common. They're quite... Like, you maybe get, like, 20 after a whole night of AFK fish farming. It's not worth it. It's a pretty long stream. Yeah, it is a pretty long stream. I'm happy. I'm happy. I usually I haven't been streaming very long lately. I've been feeling kind of bad about it. But even though I shouldn't. 
But honestly, I should be streaming longer because I'm taking a week away uh, starting the 10th. So I kind of want to make up for it by streaming longer on the days that I will be live. But I don't know. I got to, like, stop doing that thing where, like, I need to make up for time that I didn't stream. And maybe instead just, you know, enjoy the fact that I work a job where I have the luxury of taking a day off. Instead of feeling the obligation to make up for it like it's a real job and I have to, like work a certain amount of hours every week or something like that. Because it ain't like that. You know what I should do? Should, um... AFK Fish Farm. Get my AFK fishing on. But yeah, anyway, thanks everyone for watching today. I very much appreciate it. I'm gonna be live again uh, tomorrow. 2 p.m. Pacific. 5 p.m. Eastern. 10 p.m. GMT. 7 a.m. AEST. For Minecraft. More Minecraft.